itch you? Eh, fucking scared you, didn't I? You got me. Hang on. Do I have caught enabled? No, I have caught trolling though. Hang on, I gotta enable caught. I have a lot of BTTV emotes that none of you fucking use because you're not funny. I have a lot of BTTV emotes. But nobody ever uses them. Alright, where were we at? No. The fuck is BBTV? You see, you don't even know. Got back from practice drive with my BF. I think this is my best one yet. Minimal anxiety. That's great news. I'm gonna have to start doing that soon too myself. Oi. Educate me. It's a extension for your browser that, uh, I mean, it's called Better Twitch TV, BTTV. It makes Twitch a better experience. It like makes it a lot nicer. And 7 t Yeah, but I don't like 7 TV. It's like a... I don't know. It gives me the ick. I don't know. I don't like it. And it also, like, adds... So that I can add, like, custom emotes and stuff like that. You know, since I only have a limited amount of emote slots on Twitch. It allows you to basically make a shit ton more. Or have a shit ton more. <clears throat> That's why you might see, like, people, like... Type, like, uh... Like... That's why you might see somebody type, like, pussy in chat like that, and it shows up as an emote on, like, the bottom corner of the screen down there, but then you just see pussy, and you're like, why the, why the hell does it say pussy? Well, because people on better Twitch TV, that shows, like, Mario doing the default dance from Fortnite. I don't know why, but, you know, still... What car do you want that you can't get? I could get any car that I want. Um, actually, it's Opa Gangnam Style. Is that not- Oh shit, it is! I don't know why, I thought that was the fucking default dance from Fortnite. You're right, it is. Does K-pop owe its popularity to Gangnam Style? Any thoughts on the last F1 race? Uh, I would have some if I hadn't already fucking forgotten it. Because it was bad, it wasn't good. Um... Is that what cat kiss is? I've always wondered why people say that so much. Yeah, that's what cat kiss is. It's like a little cat and he's kissing you. And if you have better Twitch TV, it shows like a cat kissing you. Yeah, exactly. Does K-pop owe its like entire existence to Gangnam Style? Like, would we even know anything about it in the West if it wasn't for that? They played a part, yeah, but no. I just shook some whipped cream and my cat teleported. Everything is connecting now. Yeah, guys, gotta get better Twitch TV. Jesus, Judas Priest, how do you exist without it, honestly? Like, it just makes the website so much more usable as well. Forget the emotes, it's, you know, just the accessibility of it adds. Yeah. 
mean, yes, we would. I knew of K-pop before Gangnam Style. I had no idea. Look, that's not to say that, like, if you were to ask me, does music in Korea exist? Of course, I'd have said, yeah. It's just, like, would we have, like, heard about it? Would it have been mainstream? But not on mobile? Nah, not on mobile. You a bottled water or a Brita guy? Oh, I'm a Brita guy. I gotta, I mean... Always Britta. I actually gotta get some new filters. Wow, wow. That tap water is like, I can definitely tell the. You know how people say, like, it's just water. You can't even tell the difference. No, I can definitely tell the difference between tap water and, like, bottled water. You put me at. You, bl you blindfold me and you put two glasses of water in front of me one tap water, one bottled water. I will be able to tell the difference. I'll even be able to tell the difference between Brita tap water and unfiltered tap water. Because, like, my tap water is definitely noticeable. <clears throat> I definitely taste some, like, minerals in that shit. It's probably fine, though. I, uh... I, are you guys proud of me? I cooked chicken yesterday, and I didn't fucking perish. I cooked chicken yesterday, and it was actually really good. I'm so happy. I can taste the microplastics, yeah. Not yet. Well, I guess I will perish at some point, but not because of the chicken, I guess. Well, we're all gonna die. Or no. It's, uh... Well, we're all dying slowly. <laughs> uh, get in the fuck out of there. Those disposable gloves. Yeah, I gotta get some gloves for, like, working with meat, man. I hate working with meat with my damn bare hands. I hate it so much. I mean, chicken just in general is so fucking scary. Because it's like... You got to cook to 165. And if you don't... God be God, God willing. Go vegan. No, I like my animal products too much. I mean, and that's not a be all end all to my problems either. And that's why I don't eat meat. Dude, there's plenty of raw plants and shit out there that would make you sick too, alright? I have a great deal of respect for the vegan lifestyle. It's just that, if for no other reason, it seems like it's just really difficult to narrow down what you can and can't eat, to like read the ingredients of everything that you do eat to make sure that it's vegan friendly. It just seems like a pain in the ass, you know? Not to mention, like, I don't feel full with like a lot of like, like, if I were to just eat vegetables, you know? I don't feel like I would ever, like, feel full, you know? You look at a damn mushroom wrong and it'll kill you. Yeah, exactly. So I'm vegetarian, it's even easier. Yeah, but then, like, that has... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I could do it, personally. I have a great deal of respect for it, but I, I don't think I can do it. Uh, more fishing rods. I want to save the iron. How many more total catches we need here? 87, so 13? Okay. As a vegetarian, I don't just eat vegetables. There's nuts, legumes, fungi, beans, soy production. Those are all, like, vegetable, with the exception of, like, nuts and legumes. Those are all, like, pretty vegetable adjacent. Like, don't get me wrong. I like all those things. And if somebody said, Dagnal, you, you saw a young man, you need to be vegetarian for a month. I'd be like, man, that would be, like, that'd be, like, a little inconvenient. But, like, I could do it. I like, I like a lot of vegetables. I like a lot of those things, you know, but... Like, I could do it. It's just not something I would, like, want to do. You know? But, like, if I had to, I could do it. 
I might have to stop eating red meat pretty soon if, like, because, like, that's... Depending on, like, what's giving me all these fucking kidney stones, I might have to stop eating red meat. Because that's one of the things that makes you more prone to kidney stones. And I'm like, sheesh, I don't know, man. That, that, that in itself is going to be tough. Forget, like, all meat. No, I know I don't need to justify myself. There's a vegan restaurant option at a restaurant. I'll have it instead of the normal version, but I couldn't go fully vegan. It would be tough, right? And most of the time, like, vegan, friendly, whatevers are usually worse than the genuine product. But, I mean, I'm sure that that's... I've had, like, veggie burgers and all that shit. And that's fine. Those are fine. But, you know, I do prefer, like, a big old thing of meat. It's usually just better. Good day, mate. I can't read ma the word mate and have it sound right from an American's mouth. It's like saying bloody hell. This doesn't work. Vegan cheese is the worst thing ever. I kind of want to try it now. Only a vegetarian and it's struggle sometimes, but I've been going strong without meat for six years now until meat has Very poor consequences on my health as it might be doing with like kidney stones Although I don't think it's meat. I think it's like genetics and other things as well. That's doing it But until it proves to me that it's like a genuinely awful thing for me I don't have any plans on changing my lifestyle Cashew queso dip is actually really good. I have a vegan friend who will make, uh, when we go to their house, they'll make, like, this, uh, artichoke spinach dip, and it's, like, really good. And then I, I have shit like that, and I'm like, you know, maybe I could do this. But then I think about it, and I'm like, I can't just eat artichoke spinach di dip, like, all the time, you know? I can't do that. But it was pretty good. Give it one more stick. Some people have to eat meat, like red meat, for health reasons. It's a very individual thing. Yeah, I know. I've never had vegan cheese before. Or I have had vegan cheese before. It's definitely something. I want to look it up. Let's get like a... Forget the taste for a second. Vegan cheese. I want, Yeah, but it just keeps showing me like products. It looks... Um, fine. It looks okay. It's not like the worst thing. It looks it looks okay. It looks um Um it looks uh all right, let me pull up a few images here. It looks um Oi. Uh this one looks okay. This one uh uh why did they slice it like bread? That's cheese, but they like sliced it like it's bread. That is bread? No, that's cheese. That's cheese. What about another one? That's sponge. Dude, that's sponge. You that's fucking SpongeBob. Put a fucking pair of pants on him. What about Um that's probably the most appetizing one so far, but... Ooh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That looks like hummus. It looks like if you compacted hummus into, like, a shoe, and then let it sit there for 30 years, and then got it out, that's what it would look like. This is so unfair right now. Dude, I'm- the- that's not the only images I- oh my god. Duh! Why is it so tiny? Ew! Ew! No! What the fuck, man? Dude, I'm not, like, cherry-picking these images either, man, to, like, only show you the grossest ones. These are just, like, how a lot of them be looking. This looks like fucking... I don't know what that looks like. I'm not cherry-picking these images either. These are just, like, the images. 
But think about how ugly some real cheese looks. Alright, let me just search up cheese then. Oi, muy delicioso, dude. I don't know, man. Like, okay, but like, this is not cheese. Hang on. Alright, then when I pull up real cheese, I'd be seeing shit like this, and I'm like, mmm, yummy, that looks good. And then, yeah, you get this, but this might as well be vegan cheese. God knows how much actual cheese is in there. And I look at that, and I'm like, you know, it does look a little soggy. It looks like it's, like, it looks a little saggy down here, but, like, it still does look good. That's not the most appealing image, though. And then I see that, and I'm like, oof, ooh, I could take a big old bite out of that like I'm a little mouse. I, I want to, like, take that, and I want to, like... I want to do that with it. Like a little mouse. Oh, and there's the vegan cheese again. Consensus, um, I might very much enjoy the... I very much enjoy the, uh, the, the, the regular cheese more than I like that vegan cheese. Looks, purely looks wise. I would try it. I tell people, I'll try anything once. I'll try anything once. Okay. Yeah, let's get our catches up to 100. Cheese curds are the best. Cheese curds are good in poutine. I, you know, I might, like, just munch on some cheese curds, like, naturally. I don't know if I've ever done that, though, but I probably would. What's up, ghosty toasty? Hey, I hope your day has been well. Say, I woke up, and I was like, God damn, I don't feel like I got eight hours of sleep, and that's because of stupid daylight savings. But I'm alright. Thanks for the, um... That's a good one. I'm surprised I haven't caught that yet. Thanks for the 7 months prime, Ghosty Toasty. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, at least he's not a hypocrite. Damn it! I stayed up to watch the change, and I ended up waking up at 2 p.m. for the first time in my life. It's fucked up, right? Is the fish number wrong? Um, no. Yes. What did I miss? What did I not count? Hmm. Or did I count it down on accident? I don't know. I used to eat cottage cheese by the bowl full. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm sorry. I do not fuck with cottage cheese. I'm not like... I don't have like sensory issues. The cottage cheese freaks me the fuck out. Cottage cheese actually does freak me the fuck out. Ugh. If for cottage cheese, I, I just do not agree with. Show an image? You don't know what cottage cheese looks like? I like goat cheese. I've never had it. I don't know how unpopular it is, really. No, you're doing it wrong, dumbass. Dumb bitch, let me show you. I'm sorry, that was so mean. Craving feta right now? Some feta cheese. Ricotta on top? You know, I'm not a big ricotta guy. Ricotta is what they be putting in raviolis and shit, and I'm like, I don't fuck with ricotta that much. I don't know. I don't, I don't fuck with ricotta. I'm not huge on it. I'm not huge on ricotta. I kind of just, it, I kind of get it in my mouth and I'm like, hmm, that's ricotta. Only by like the fact that I can feel it in my mouth, not so much the fact that I can taste it. Oh, 
Are you engaged? No. What the hell? Munster over mozzarella. Isn't Munster cheese like stinky as hell? I never had it. Generally, I try to avoid stinky foods. Sort of like a barrier there, but... Like I said, I'll try anything. Once. Quit yapping. Sometimes I just have like a, a point to make while I'm fishing and I don't want to interrupt it. But I'm like, damn, I'm going to miss a fish yapping one day. Am I thinking of the wrong one? Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one. The stinky cheese. Now, those little baby bell ones that are wrapped in wax, those are pretty good. Nice little snacky poo there. I like those. I like those baby bells that are wrapped in the wax, because I like taking the wax off, and I like making the wax into, like, a big, long string, and then, like, eating the wax, and then getting the, the cheese eventually as well. I had too many baby bells as a child, and I can't do it anymore. Like a baby bird. That's so fucked up, baby birds. They'd be like, you, you'd be like getting too close to those things. They go like, baby. <laughs> Seriously, there's no higher sense of entitlement as like a baby bird when like their mother comes by. They all just immediately like fucking open their mouths. Like, yes, me, me, please. It's seriously so entitled. I can't believe it. I don't know. It pisses me off. I don't like birds. Nah, I do like birds. But baby birds piss me off. I love cheese. If only I didn't lack toes in my taller ants. The strand of mold used for making brie and camembert is going extinct, but their old strand... There's an old strand, they can go back to it with change the color and texture and flavor a bit, but they'll still be able to make the cheese? Ugh. I don't... I don't do mold. I don't do mold. A bird nest fell off my friend's house, and she had me dispose of the dead baby birds all over the pavement, because she was- why did I read that? That just- that just made, like- that made me and, like, a hundred people sad. End stream? Like, honestly, like, yeah. I don't know if we can pick the mood back up again after that one. Am I at a hundred yet? Am I allowed to join the island? No. 98. <laughs> hey streamer. I can't help but notice that you're doing a challenge. Like I can join the challenge, right? Like I can join the island. Our challenge. Our challenge. Not all cheese has mold in it, you guys have lost your mind. Yeah, of course not all cheese has mold in it. Not all chicken has fucking salmonella in it. But like, I just want to avoid it, just to make sure. Hey Dag, looking unsurpassed today. In what regard? Unsurpassed? I think that's a good thing, right? The big 100. Yeah. Alright. That's 100 catches in a row. So now every fish has met its total catch requirement. And now I can focus on doing the story a little bit now. It's snowing. Bread and milk time. Boy, it's been snowing here all damn day. All damn day it's been snowing in this bitch. Hey, right, good job. To me, not to you guys. Hi, can I join your island, pretty please? Doesn't own Animal Crossing? Yeah, exclamation point Dodo if you guys want to join my island. I do have my gates open. If any of you guys do want to join my island, exclamation point Dodo. Gates are open. Come on over!
Bro, I've never seen snow before. Where do you live? Guam? <laughs> Buy my shit. New Orleans on the south coast. Yeah, I know we're New Orleans, man. I know I know where New Orleans is, man. Don't worry. I want Animal Crossing so bad, but not bad enough to buy an entire Switch just for one game. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, that's what I did, but, you know. It ended up be turning into a career, so I think that we call that stonks in the business. Alright, well, we got that. Um, I guess... Now, we farm iron, we farm our trees for wood, and then we get the shop built. That's what we do. Emulate it? Oh, with, with, with Yuzu, right? Yeah! Dude, just get Yuzu and emulate- Oh, hell. Rats. Hmm. Um... Play Animal Crossing for the GameCube. It's way better. Just play that one. And then you could emulate that one, no problem. Wait, where does the Dodo code go? Oh, you go to Wilbur, or sorry, Orville in your airport, and then you go visit friends, visit far away friends, and then you type in that Dodo, and you'll be on my island. Toot sweet. Is there a Switch emulator? Well, there was, Yuzu. Now, it, there's another one, I think, though, right? There's still one out there. I don't remember what it's called. It's some other, some fucking weeaboo name or something, I don't know. Ryu Jinx, yeah. Yeah, Yuzu got fucking nuked. What's the code? Exclamation point Dodo. Come join my island, guys. Exc exclamation point Dodo. Yeah, guys, come on, join my island. Come on. I, I, I want to see. Come on. Because Yuzu is dumb as hell. Dodo Co, please bore up. Please! Dodo Man, please! Girl, what fucking Itzy fan named that shit Ryujinx? I don't even know what the fuck that is. I thought it sounds like a Pokemon. But I get a Stone Axe. Yeah, I mean, it's useful for what I'm doing now. I'm poor as fuck, so I'm putting off game purchases anyway until I got big boy money. It's, it's wise. Sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Y'all play Bellatro? I've been, I mean, I've been saying I'm into that, but I've been into that. It's a good game. Did you fail attempt two or complete it? I completed it with one fail. I completed it with one miss, and so now I'm going to attempt three. Going for no misses. I finished it, though, because I was like... I invested, like, fucking a shit ton of hours into it before I missed one. So I was like, well, I might as well finish it at this point. And now I can bank on at least being like, well, I got pretty close. Should no attempt after that one come anywhere near completion. Although, the fact that I got it with one miss tells me that it's so, so doable to do it without missing anything. It tells me it's so, so doable. It's just a matter of fucking doing it. Got back from the grocery store. Why is toilet paper so expensive? Because everybody needs it. Okay, let me, let me lay it out for you why exactly it's so expensive. It's really simple. Everybody needs it. Okay, so everybody needs to purchase toilet paper, which tells the toilet paper manufacturers, Hey, we can kind of, like, make people pay whatever the fuck we want them to pay for this service that everyone kind of needs, alright? And so what they do is they, over time, eventually make it more and more expensive, because what are people going to do? Are you just going to stop using toilet paper? No, of course you're not. And so really kind of what they do is to kind of make it so that it's whatever price that they so decide that it can be. It's not like it's like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, for example. Not everyone needs Yu-Gi-Oh cards. A lot of people like them, though. 
So if Yu-Gi-Oh cards go up like 100% in price, then people are going to be like, well, rats, I kind of can't afford to get my packs now. I can't get my pack on. Nobody would say that, but you know what I mean. You don't need Pokemon cards, which is why they're so cheap. If you're using this as a way of saying that Pokemon cards aren't cheap, then I know that they aren't cheap. All I'm saying is that there's a difference between Pokemon cards and necessity. Aw, oh, heck. Heck, friend. Those are some heckin' stingy boys. Toilet paper always goes on sale. Always check flyers. I'm sorry. I'm not going through the fucking coupon book to be like, hmm. The Scots brand TP is 30% off today. I'm not doing that, man. E Yowch! Heckin' stingy boy! I'm attacking your logic here. Okay, I mean, you don't need to do that. Nobody really is gonna think any highly of you. I am also stingy. I will check flyers religiously. Okay! Not me, though. I, I, I don't care enough. I don't think I care enough. Rats. Today's the one-year anniversary of the toilet paper stream. Yeah, that was a good game. Is it really? One year? Man, I was really out of ideas this time a year ago. How have I managed to survive since then? Good God. Or you could use a bidet and use way less toilet paper. Dude, you realize you're talking to, like, the, the number one bidet enthusiast on Twitch.tv? But you said it yourself. Use way less toilet paper. You still need it. You still need to buy it. But yeah, you'll definitely save that money in regards to, like, just using way less toilet paper. I'm talking to myself? No, you're talking to moi. You're not a number one bidet lover. You don't have a platform. You haven't made anyone buy a bidet. I have had people say, Dagnal, you have convinced me to buy a bidet. Okay? Multiple people have done that. You haven't done that. Don't try to steal my valor. The Dodo code didn't work. I... Oh my god, that's so fucking funny. Oi, boy. <laughs> Amazing. My girlfriend genuinely says a bidet cuts down our toilet paper, man. What do you say my girlfriend? Like, I didn't talk to her last night, man. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. I have 30 regular wood, 30 hardwood. I just need more. It's always softwood. Why am I always short on softwood? That's always the one I never have enough of. But I have the pole vault now. <clears throat> Keck? What was that? Ooh, burnt. Guys, that wasn't a fucking own. I literally talked to his girlfriend last night. We all played GTA Online. Guys, that was not a fucking burn. That was not an own. I, I literally... I literally talked to them. We, we played fucking GTA 5. We're friends. That was not me saying like, oh yeah, I fucked your mom last. No, that was literally... I, I literally did. Rolled and smoked? Dude, I'm not trying to smoke my boy. That's my boy. I'm not trying to smoke my boy. No, dude. I literally did. Okay, you know how that sounded? Yeah, in hindsight, that did kind of sound like I was trying to, like, get him, but no. Chatters cannot comprehend having a dog. Nah, they wouldn't know, man. They wouldn't know. <clears throat> oh, man, I, I wasn't trying to... No, no, I wouldn't do that to my... I wouldn't do that to my boy. No, I wouldn't do that. Not to my boy. Is that what was going on in the F1 VC in Discord last night? No, that was something else.
You said you wouldn't roll and smoke your boy, but real boys smoke and roll their boys constantly. Okay, but you understand something that, like, if you know your boy and your boy's girl, like, you're not gonna, like, insult your boy in regards to their girl, or you're not gonna insult your boy's girl. Like, that is a line too far, in my opinion, anyway. That's a line too far. I wouldn't do that. Do y'all think he stops streaming and then sits there until it's time to start streaming again? No, but I, sometimes I do stop streaming, and if, like, stream particularly kicked my fucking ass, then I will just sit there and be like... You know how, like, after a fucking hard day's work, you'll fucking, like, just sit in your car after getting out of work, and you'll just sit there and be like... After, like, just really fucking kicks your ass that particular day, and you'll just sit there like... Fuck. That's what I do a stream sometimes. Art, koi, catfish, nice. Sometimes I'll do that. Wait, if stream just kicked my ass that day, particularly, I'll be like, I'll just sit there for like 30 minutes decompressing. And I'll be like, fuck. Is this what I'm doing with my life? What am I doing? God, Jesus. It was a Luna Amethyst. It was always so wild seeing teachers in public. I used to see my second grade teacher all the time at Wegmans. Back when teachers actually earned a high enough salary to afford shopping I don't know who I am anymore. Wegmans. I'm getting too much money. Hey, Patrick. I thought of something funnier than 24. 25. <laughs> I gotta give them AI text-to-speeches so you can actually do that proper, though. I gotta give them AI text-to-speeches. Thanks for the 100 bits, Ira Bean. I appreciate that. I'm getting too much money! What kind of laugh was that? That was their, like, laugh after they do the 24 joke. They do- they go like... No, they go like... <laughs> But that makes me spit everywhere, all over my fucking shit. And so I didn't want to do that. It makes me fucking... Yeah, I got spit all over my fucking mouth, and I think I got some on my fucking notebook now. So I didn't want to do it like that, so I just tee heed. Dude, you guys never hear me laugh, but those of you who have heard me laugh, you guys know, I do be laughing like tee hee hee That is actually how I laugh. That's why I don't laugh on stream, because I'm embarrassed by my laugh. I'm just kidding. There's a lot of reasons I don't laugh on stream, and none of which are funny. Nah, you ain't heard me laugh. Dagnall doesn't fucking laugh. No, I don't. But those who know, those of you who heard me laugh, I'd be like, tee -hee -hee. That's, that's how I do it. Is safe to pole vault? Are you feeling happy today? Dude, that's so funny because you're sounding like my therapist, and I do have therapy later today. Dude, I got- it's so weird. I got therapy at 5.30 this evening on a Sunday night! I was supposed to be turning up! I'm going to therapy! No, actually, like, therapy is kind of turning up for me. Dag is never happy, for real? Dude, you guys are so fucked up because, like, you can't just say shit like that, you know? It's not funny. You're really just rubbing it in, really. I'm on a Sunday night bender? Ma, my ass is going to therapy. Is that bigger than black bass? I can't fucking tell. I think it is black bass, but whatever. I'm a bad dude. I'll catch it anyway. I don't give a fuck. I'm your therapist. I'm checking in early. What's the initials of my therapist? I want I, if you if you get it right, I'll be convinced. Also, I don't think therapists should be like in their clients' Twitch streams. Isn't that like uh, that's that's like against the Twitch? That's against therapist law. That's against therapy law. You can't do that. That's like uh, you can't be involved in like the business of your clients, right? That's like conflict of interest or something. DP? No, sorry. Do you trust us to make you feel better? Why the fuck do you think I go to therapy? Because you people. Oops. <laughs> Me and my stupid asshole. 
No, man, I'm getting turned on a fucking Sunday night. Honestly, I love therapy. I love... I, I like... I like Sunday evening therapy. There's kind of, like, nothing cozier than that. It's like, going to... Not going to church. And just sitting in a nice, comfy room on, like, a Sunday night and just shooting shit with your therapist, you know? That's fucking aw I don't know. I like that, personally. Me and my stupid asshole. Best buddy cop film of the 80s. Yeah, like a weekly debrief sort of thing. I say, hey, Doc, here's what's, like, fucked me up this week. And they're like, yeah, that's, that's messed up, man. Here's some Zanny. I love oversharing in a Twitch chat. It's my favorite pastime. I've been waiting all day for Sunday night. Oh, that's fucking cool. That's so fucking good. That's so fucking good. Cause the NFL rocks on NBC. Alright, 30 of every wood. Just need the iron now. Get a nice warm blank. Yeah, dude, get a nice warm blankie. Make yourself some hot chocolate. Cozy up on the couch and talk to your third Dude, what's better than that? For real, though. Like, actually, though. That's how I want to spend a Sunday night. Actually, though. That's, how, that's like my optimal Sunday. Not that, like, I... I don't know. I like my therapist, but I wouldn't, like, hang out with him as a friend. But I, I like the dynamic that we have. I like the dynamic that we have. It's nice. So bad when I overshare, because it's never intentional. I just struggle with social rules. I get it. No, I... I, I look, people who are, quote-unquote, like... Um, what would you call it? Not neurodivergent, whatever it is. Uh, trust me, everybody struggles with not knowing social boundaries sometimes. It's not purely a you thing. I do it too. Neurotypical, yeah. I mean, I don't know how neurotypical I am, but still. The bad part's working through the trauma. But yeah, it's not pleasant. It's also like, though... You get, like, established with the therapist, and you don't really need to, like, go through the trauma again. They already kind of know. You, 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 like, establish that once in, like, some painful sessions, and then it gets better after that because you don't really need to go through all that again. You, they sort of get that, like, insight about, you know, why you are the way that you are, why the trauma has molded you into the person that you are, and you don't really need to go through it again. They kind of get an idea. And that's what's nice about it. Is that, yeah, it's a little awkward at first having to retell what made your life so terrible to lead you to this point where you're at therapy. But, you know, once you got through that, then it makes it easier thereafter. I'm not too deep into my therapist's... That sounded... Start of a terrible sentence. I'm not, like... I'm only in, like, my, like, fifth session, so I'm still working through that shit. But, I don't know. It's not, it gets better the longer it goes. Yeah. Or you could spend a Sunday night with us? I'd rather spend a Sunday night with a bullet going through my head. I'm thinking about going to therapy again. Took a break to recenter myself for a little while. I think that's healthy. Gonna attempt to get into counseling next week. We'll see how long it takes. You know, if there's one thing that America is good for is it didn't take me too long to, uh get a therapist it's just that you know having to like pay for therapy which is such a foreign concept in other countries right to have to pay for like mental health services i guess that's like a foreign concept to other countries like that's ridiculous but yeah no that's just kind of normal here i even get like a discounted rate because of my insurance but i still have to pay um well, not all the wood I need. Well, no, I guess I'm probably going to want a tone. I guess I'm probably going to want a little more soft wood at some point. So I'll keep my hands on the... Well... No, all I need is the hardwood. Now that I've donated all the wood, I don't think I'll need regular wood for anything, right? 
I just need to get more iron. Thanks, Ekbio. Yeah, that was kind of this funny. This is the run. It timed the ding at the same time that I walked out. It was, I, I, I legit thought that like my alerts were doubled. I also just spat everywhere. I thought that my alerts were doubled. I'm like, wait, what the fuck was that? That was perfect timing. Thanks for the six months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Holy shit, the fucking sun's coming out. It's amazing. Thank you. If you're in university, yeah, you usually can get, like, a therapy, a therapist there that's, like, assigned by the university for free. I don't know if it's free, technically. You know, somebody always pays, but you know what I mean. If I know anything about Dagnall, he'd just be spitting all of his shit all the time. No, nah, dude, sometimes I just get, like, too excited and I, like, start spitting. You ever, like, talk and you just see, like, a big old thing of spit fly out your mouth? It's embarrassing, but it's, like, sometimes you're just, like... Sometimes the fucking spit just manifests its way to the front of your mouth while you're on a particularly passionate topic and you're like talking with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of gusto, and then you just see bing. And it just like hits the other person in the face. No, it doesn't. It usually hits them in like the clothes if it hits them at all. It's embarrassing. You gotta be like, dude, I'm so fucking sorry. I just fucking spat on you. And they're like, whatever, dude, it's fine. You do it excessively. Like, non-stop for three to four hours a fucking day. Of course I'm spitting right now. Yeah, of course, dude. I talk for a fucking living. You talk as much as I do. And you try not to fucking tinkle when you sprinkle. Or what do you know what it is? My grandma had a sign in her bathroom when I was a kid that said, If you sprinkle while you tinkle, be a sweetie and wipe the seedy. And I still think about that sometimes. She died. It was a Moo Moo Chan. Yeah, say it, don't spray it, exactly. Say it, don't spray it. I'm sorry, dude, I just be spraying sometimes, alright? I can't help it. It's natural. My friend's mom has that exact saying on her toilet, just fucking printed on the toilet. Be a sweetie and wipe the sea, yeah. It kind of goes hard, though. Dude, like, Eminem says that. That kind of goes hard. Because my grandma had it hung in the bathroom doesn't mean it ain't still, like, kind of fire, though. She died. I mean, she did. It's a big sticker on the toilet. That's weird. But, you know, whatever. I respect it, I guess. I have to. In England, everyone is entitled to NHS subsidized dentistry. You still pay, but it's cheaper. It's practically impossible to get into a dentist if you're a patient, so I have to pay private. Yeah, that's always the complaint that I hear is that it's nice if you can get in, if the wait times aren't like, you know, over a year. Like, oh man, I have this fucking toothache that's been bothering me. I really need to get into a dentist. Do I just suffer for it with a year? Or do I just, you know, bite the bullet and just pay the money? Kind of sucks, right? It's a toilet tramp stamp. I should get a tramp stamp. I only need a few more. If I got a tramp, if I got a tattoo at that location of my body, what would I do with it? I wouldn't. I wouldn't get a tramp stamp. I, I just wouldn't. I mean, the answer is I just wouldn't get one. I have genuinely considered a tramp stamp. I mean, I might get something like down my whole ass back. That, like, creeps into that, like, tramp stamp area? But I wouldn't get, like, a tramp stamp. No, the AC leaf tat- No, dude, that's too basic for me. I'm not getting a tramp stamp of the fucking sprinkle tinkle saying either. No, I'm not. I don't care anymore. I think spine tattoos are cool. Yeah, no, like... What do you mean you don't care anymore? Like, I'm fucking... I'm tired of hiding in the shadows. I'm tired of lying to myself. I think spine tattoos are cool. <gasps> People hate them? Really? Get that emo- I'm not getting that fucking emote. I'm not. I know it's not politically correct, but I think spine tattoos are good. 
You got a tramp stamp that says diagonal free po promo anywhere you go. Only if somebody sees it. If I really wanted to promote myself, I might as well put it on a part of my body that everyone sees. My fucking, like, forehead or something like that. I like the fact that a tramp stamp is called butt antler in German. Ah, that checks out, actually. Ah, I, I, I kind of get that, actually. You just have to wear low-rise jeans and crop tops. Yeah, maybe, like, have a whale tail sticking out, too. Yeah, you're right. Really go back to, like, 2001. Low-cut jeans that fucking didn't fit at all. Whale tail sticking out. And wear, like, a... Cr uh, yeah... Yeah, no, I think I gotta do that, actually. You're right. I think that's the look. I think that's coming back. Dude, I want neck tattoos. I want a whole ass fucking sh I want a whole ass fucking thing on my neck. I do. One day, 20 years down the line, my whole ass neck's gonna have tattoos. I swear to God. I only, like, finally got into a situation where I felt like I could, you know, do all the things to myself that I've wanted to do for a long time. Now that I've, like, hit that personal milestone, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go fucking crazy. I don't give a fuck. Gold. I didn't even get that last run. A choker tat. No, I've never been big into, like, chokers or piercings. It's mostly just tattoos. I like them on other people. I don't think I'd like them on me. What's your biggest fear? <laughs> Puking. Like death or the inhospitable nature of what the earth is going to be in 50 years? No. Puking. Uh, dying alone is up there too, but like... Puking. We all die alone. Uh, no, not, you know, you're looking at it. You know, you're looking at it in a... No, you're not looking at it the right way. What's stopping you from finding love? Dude, you can't just ask somebody that. That's basically just... You're, you're basically like what the parents do when their son doesn't have a girlfriend. And you're like... So when you when are you gonna bring home a nice lady? Dude, when it happens, man... When it happens, I'm not trying to force it. The best way to ensure unhappiness as a relationship is just being like, man, I should really get a girlfriend. So you like try to force it too hard. Come on, when are we going to get grandchildren? Shut the fuck up. When it happens, man. When the time is right. When I meet that person that I say, yep. That's it. And, you know, of course, that person needs to feel the same way about me as well. There's no timeline to it, yeah. We need to do child exploitation vlogs. Oi, no. I'll do that with my pets, but not with my children. I wouldn't exploit my pets either. Although I do really like this cat, Crunchy Cat Luna on YouTube. You know that cat where they just like put the fucking camera in front of their face and it just goes like... <laughs> like sometimes it's like crunching on something and it'll like make funny faces. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, Plink. That guy. Y'all need to use Plink and Plonk more. Y'all gotta, gotta be Plinking and Plonking. But no, like, I'm not, that's not exploiting to, like, film your cat doing funny things. That's just funny. When you're filming, like, your kids' first day of school, it's like, shouldn't this be, like, a precious moment that you should enjoy, like, with your kids and not to be seen on the internet? I don't know. Alright, shops built. Let's get the housing plots built. Let's do the bridge. 
That would be good. Posting your kids online should be illegal. I agree. Two days. I agree. Oh. I thought you hated Crunchy Cat Luna. What? How do you hate it? You can be, like, indifferent to it, but how do you look at a cat that's, like, chewing on something crunchy and going, like, <coughs> and be like, I fucking hate that thing. I want to fucking bury that thing. I want to shove it in a meat grinder. No. How do you hate it, really? I could be like, eh, I'm indifferent to it. It's not that cute. How do you, how would you genuinely hate it, though? Put that thing in a Wonder Bread bag. Have you seen Noodle the cat? No. You know what does freak me out a little bit is them fucking Sphinx hairless cats. One of them fucking aliens. I swear to God, if aliens ever come to Earth, they're gonna look like fucking hairless cats. They're like, they're, oh, they're like uncanny, I don't know. That's a, it's a creature, it's not a cat. It like acts like a cat. It's, it's, it's like an alien studied how cats behavior. How cats behave. And they just like, try their best to emulate it. Hairless dogs are even worse? Yeah, it, like they're weird, I don't know. I've met Sphinx Cat and they're cute. They have peach fuzz. I feel like I would pet it and it would be like slimy though. Like, ooh, ooh. I don't like it. They're like raw, uncooked turkeys. Yeah, you ever like work with turkey breast? You ever guys ever like work with raw chicken? Not turkey breast, chicken breast. You ever work with chicken breast? It's fucking like strange and unusual to touch it and it feels wrong, but it's like... It's just meat! Oh, the shop ain't even open. They do get greasy from licking themselves. Ugh! Ugh! Don't say that. If you fail this attempt, I hope it happens early so you don't lose a bunch of work. Well, I hope I don't fail this attempt at all. I mean, yeah, I guess so too, and I'm not going to deliberately throw this run to be like, well, at least it was early. <sighs> Bling blong. I love this face he's about to make. What 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 you what you what you what you what you what you what you, what you, what you thinking Tom Nook be asking when he make this face? What you think he be asking? What's 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 he saying when he be making a face like that? What 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 you want? You want the goth girl to sit on your face? Huh? Is that what you want? That's how I be asking that. I say, no, I'm not saying that. He asking for head. That's the same face you have? That's not my face. What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck, man? You never asked? This is a crumb of that. No, I'm not reading that one. No, that one's disgusting. Oh, the joke's ruined now. Somebody said something disgusting, and I'm not going to say which one it is, but you can probably fucking read which one it is, and you'll be like, oh, that's the one. I, I don't want to read that. You ruined it. That was disgusting. What if he was not Tom Nook? He called Tom Freak. Actually, end the stream. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I gotta fucking help this guy out first. That is fucking disgusting. Start the challenge over. It's done. You started it? Dude, there is a big, big difference between what I said and what they said. That was gross. Dude, I be seeing all this discourse online about eating ass and face sitting, and then I bring it up once, and it's like, whoa, Buster, what are you talking about, bro? Every like third fucking thing I read online is about something fucking like that. What are you talking about? I ain't fucking any different. Not about that other one though. Deactivate your account. Isn't that funny? That's like telling somebody to kill themselves, but online. 
deactivate your account. In the webosphere, you basically just told them to kill themselves. Is this what the Founding Fathers imagined when they signed the Declaration of Independence? Okay, now you can't use that in the example. Ben Franklin would have loved to have his fucking face sat on. That dude was a freak. Ben Franklin would have loved to have his fucking face sat on. Do you, you guys ever read about that guy? You guys ever read about that guy? That dude was a fucking freak. That dude was, that dude was like going to France on like a fucking like... For like domestic relations, and he would just pick up like 15 French girls when he was there. That dude was a freak. You think Ben Franklin wouldn't have loved big titty god dommy mommies, dude? Fuck out of here, man. That dude would have loved. That dude would have put that in the Constitution if he knew what any of them fucking words meant. He was getting pussy everywhere. Founding fathers, my fucking ass, acting like they weren't the horn dogs of today. Oh, he had relations, uh-huh. Foreign, domestic, it don't matter. He didn't give a fuck. I'm all done for now. Bro was a dog. I don't want to hear that. Oh, the Founding Fathers didn't want to... They didn't write the Constitution with this. What the fuck do you think that they were writing it for? That, cra that guy was crazy. Ben Franklin, man, what a life. That was my favorite tweets is like, imagine like sex in the 1800s having to undo like 50 fucking buttons. That must have been crazy. Only for that, like, oh, and then the rest of the tweet was fucking gross. I don't know if I want to repeat it. Alright, let's build it like... Yeah, let's build it like down at the base of this river. I doth cummed. That's the spot. Yeah, or like corsets. Uh, madam, let me undo your corset. Uh, uh, how the fuck does this go? Uh, is there a zipper on this thing? No, honey, those aren't invented till like 1914. Ah, fuck. Um, shit. Is there like fucking, you're like looking around the whole fucking thing? You're like, I don't, I, I don't know how to do this. I don't, I don't, just, can you just, just slide off? How does it work? Men can't undo bras, let alone a corset. Bras are fucking easy. I've never understood that one. It's literally like half of them are just hooks and you just undo them. Besides, you can like brute force that shit. You can't brute force a corset that like is like fucking this thin around the waist. What am I doing? Oh yeah, now I gotta do the houses. But that's it, though. I don't actually have to furnish them. I mean, political figures are some of the weirdest people. Yeah, you got that right. Buddy. I doth plant my seed in thine flower or some shit. Don't say that. Don't brute force those things are expensive as fuck. I'm not saying brute force like fucking rip it off. I'm saying like just go like yeah, you know. Oh yeah, what am I doing? I want to read that comment, B-Boy, but I, I, I don't. I'll just let other people... I'll just point other people towards it and be like, Yeah, true that, brother. Amen to that, brother. Alright. Put these down, and then I think I'm done. Honestly, I think I should have been done about 15 minutes ago, but I'm done for real after this. Why do I... I mean, just out of the way, right? Knife that shit open. She'll lose it. Ladies love a man with a knife. I oh, see so you've played Knifey Spoony before. Cross. Mm, one right here. 
Dagger, you a butt or a boob kind of guy or something else? This is not a question you should be asking Twitch streamers. You're lucky I got like a good attitude about it and like I'm willing to answer that. But like really, I'm cool to answer that. It's just that nobody wants to hear my answer. Nobody wants to hear my answer. Nobody came onto this stream to hear me answer that question. But I got a good attitude about these things, and so I will answer your question. I'm a... No, I shouldn't. What do you, what do you think? Okay, what, what, what do you guys think? How about this? Before I answer, what do you think? You think I'm an ass guy? You think I'm the ass man? Who is with this chat today? Uh, whatever, I'll answer. I don't give a fuck. You think I'm a butt guy? You're a cock and balls guy. Answer the fucking question. Butt? Butt. Butt. Thigh. Boob. Bro likes a thick, juicy plum. Booby man. Shoulders? Fingers? Thighs? Oh, I'm a f oh, honey, let me see them fingers. Let me see them fingers. boobs guy you always talk about it no i don't what the hell i've talked about ass way more than i've talked about titty what are you talking about guys i'm a uh i'm a butt guy i'm a butt guy <laughs> i personally prefer men yeah but like that's fine you can still be a butt guy and prefer men what do you mean unfollowed i, I mean i look i like the whole part of the women's anatomy i do I like the whole part of it. I like the whole shebang. But, you know, I can't say that because if I say that, that's like a cop-out, right? I can't say, oh, I just like them all. No, it's a cop-out. You want a real answer? I'm an ass man. All right, I think we're good, right? I got the ladder recipe. I just got to get enough wood to actually make the ladder, but I don't fucking feel like doing it right now. I'm the ass man, Jerry. I think J Roz for your sub seven minutes ago. I hope I did. I feel like I missed that. I might have been talking about ass. Thanks for the seven months though, or rather one month, seven minutes ago. Thank you. Attempt three? What? Yeah, we finished attempt two, and now we're on attempt three. That's how it works, counting and all that. Oh man, ever since I got rid of the decimal places, I can't do the fucking thing anymore. Where I stopped the timer at exactly 2.53.00. But that's fine. I'm gonna get going, though. Remember 2.53.00. For next time. And then we will... Say thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it. I'll be live again probably tomorrow. Well, no. Tomorrow I have something to do. Try I have something to do? What time do I have something to do tomorrow? Tomorrow from 12 to 1, I have something to do. Mm. Um... Maybe I wanted to do something after that as well. Oh man, do I stream at like eight in the morning tomorrow? Oh, I don't even like the idea of that, especially considering that's basically seven in the morning for my brain because we just moved forward an hour. So like I was fucked up getting up at 10 this morning because I was like, oh, this is nine. And so, oh, Yvay. I want to stream tomorrow though. I want to get this challenge done. I want to have a good attempt. Late night stream? What about after one? The thing is, I want to do my thing from 12 to 1. And then I wanted to... And then I wanted to... You know, like, go grocery shopping or something like that. So I didn't want to come home at 1. Diagonal after dark? Yeah, maybe. I might have to do, like, a 4 o'clock stream tomorrow. Maybe. Oi... Uh... Go grocery shopping in the morning. That's not a bad idea either, though, actually. Do what I need to do before that. No, but then I don't want to go grocery shopping and then, like, have my groceries everywhere while I do everything after that. So grocery shopping is, like, the last thing I should do. I'll probably be live tomorrow. I won't promise anything. Let's call it, like, 
4 Eastern. So like a little later, a lo like four hours later than I normally do. How about that? Like 4 Eastern tomorrow. Does that sound good? Hi, what are we doing today? Yeah, we're going to be doing the same thing that we've been doing for like two weeks now. Everyone ready? Let's go. I'm not even fucking practicing today. I'm so confident that we will just... I, I'm, I'm pretty confident we'll just fucking do it. We'll just be like knocking it out here. Today, we're at July at 4 p.m. And the fish that we need at July at 4 p.m. are the sweet fish, Napoleon fish, great white shark, and sucker fish. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I think we've already gotten... I know we've gotten the sweet fish. I think we've gotten the sucker fish and the great white shark. Yes, we got the great white shark and we got the sucker fish. So the only things we actually need are the Napoleon fish during this time frame. Which might take a while, but I'll happily relish... <laughs> like the condiment. The opportunity with which to farm some bait. So let's do that. Let me upgrade my shovel first, though, before I do that. I'm so glad you're right back up on that horse and at a good time, too. Yeah, I'm horsing. Only clicked because EP. I'm EP today. My go live notification that says click if EP colon three. Actually, I'm projecting. I'm the EP one today. I am quite tired. The clocks moved forward yesterday morning. And so, and I get up at 10. And I'm fucking like, I'm still fucked up for when that happened. I'm still fucked up. I'm like, I still haven't adjusted to the fucking clocks. I'm fucking EP today. I, I'm actually the EP one. Yeah, daylight savings. At least it's the good daylight savings and not the one where it makes it dark earlier. At least it was the good one. And not the fucking stupid ass fall back. I, I, spring forward? I, I, no. Fall back, I sleep. Spring forward, real shit? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Alright, we got a shovel. That's fine. So we're looking for a Napoleon fish and we're gonna farm bait while we do so. It was dark when I woke. Spring is the dumb one. We'll just get up later. Jeez, it seems like a simple solution. Just be- just sleep until 10. Guys, it's hard sleeping until 10. I gotta tell you guys, like, those of you who have to get up at, like, 5.30, 6.30... Like, you don't even know the struggle of, like, getting up and, like, sleeping in until 10. You guys don't even know. It's, like, real. it's hard. Like, it's actually- it's really hard. Sleeping in is the easiest shit ever? No, 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 you got it all wrong. It's actually really hard. Waking up early is the easy thing. That's no, that's no problem. It's fucking getting up at 10 that's like fucking ridiculous. Hang on, do I have enough money or by that I mean Nook Miles to get the inventory upgrade? I hope so. My natural sleep schedule is like 2 a.m. to 10 a.m., but I have a 9 to 5. I mean, that's my sleep schedule right now. I guess that's my normal sleep schedule, too, because, like, I don't really have a sleep schedule, anything that I need to do. And so that's just kind of, like, what I chose, you know? And, like, I, I, I like that. Nook Miles, is it, it's 5,000, right? Yeah, I think I have enough. Fuck off! I have enough to go get the thing. Want to take my boards for me? Yeah, and by, like, your boards, you mean, like, your penis, right? Some fucking fucked up euphemism about, like, your cock, right? No, I don't want to do that. Nice try, though. Fucking, I was born at night. It wasn't last night, though. Fucking think you're gonna get me with that. Pardon? I, what'd you fart? Pocket organization. I wish I could get up before 11. I can get you up before 11. It's fucking dunk a thing of milk Hello on your gamers, face. Hello GL Dag Nice Cock Mention. Okay, mention? You know that meme with, like, Spider-Man, like, fucking, like, stopping that fucking bus from hitting that guy who's crossing the street? That's what the word mention is in that comment. That's what the word mention is doing in that comment. Milk? I don't know. It's liquid. No, my licensure boards. Gotta get my dental license tomorrow. That's why I'm EP. Wait, do I want to take your boards? Well, no, then you're not going to get your dentist license because I'm not good at that. Anyway, thanks, uh, Rai, for the seven months tier three. Holy fucking shit. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for the Omega contribution to the Partner Plus push. Are all my rods flimsy? My rods are flimsy and flaccid. Do you have flimsy and flaccid rods? Try upgraded rods. 
They're made of iron. Call now. Four easy installments of nineteen ninety nine. And when they're using the flimsy flaccid rods, it's like black and white. Hang on, I gotta do it. In, I gotta. I, I actually gotta do like the motions here. They're like, oh no, are you using flimsy flaccid rods? And they're like, eh. They like can't cast them out or anything like that. And it's in black and white, and they're like, oh god, I hate using these rods. What's your longest run so far? Well, I completed one with one miss, and that took 19 hours and 46 minutes. OMG, digging holes lets you stand still? That's been an Animal Crossing pro tip since, like, 2003, man. That, that fucking, the tip to dig holes and hit the money rock is older than half of you in chat. Gosh sakes. And then they try to sell you a fishing rod that can also fry eggs or something. I like those infomercials because they always throw in a little something that's vaguely relevant to the product, the main product, but it's not, like, relevant at all. They'll be like, get this chop dicer and we'll throw in a free dog hair trimmer. We'll throw in some free nail clippers, free of charge, but only if you order within the next 20 minutes. And it's like, well, golly, I didn't know I needed this thing, but now that you've thrown in the nail clippers, I'm like, well, geez, man, now you got me thinking. Now I might just. That's terrible. Why do you do this to yourself? Well, you obviously didn't hear me. I missed one in, like, a 19-hour attempt. That's pretty good. What do you mean, why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? Because it's my job. I love when people say, why do I do this to myself? As if, like, this isn't just my job. Because, guys, you could phrase exactly what you guys do and make it sound equally as ridiculous as what I do. I go to my office and I sit on my computer for 40 hours a week looking at Excel documents for people that I hate. What are you doing? Are you stupid? Why would you do that to yourself? Because it's your job. Just because I do... Yeah, you look at it and it's like, yeah, it's ridiculous. You spend 19 hours catching every fish in the game is my job. That's equally, that's if not, dude, I played video games doing that. You looked at fucking Excel spreadsheets. I would rather do what I did than what you do. Thanks, Genalicious, for the tier one. Appreciate that. You're actually spitting facts. I know, I'm cooking. I know. Someone cooked here. I know. I, I speak the truth. You guys are all, you always always like, why do you do this to yourself? Why do you do what you do to yourself? Because it's your job. Yeah, you don't like it. Yeah, it sounds tedious because it is tedious, but you have to do it. I finally got better Twitch TV and I can see the emotes now. I'd recommend everyone do that if you haven't already. Thanks though, Genalicious. Thanks for contributing to the Partner Plus push as well. I love Excel sheets. All right, and I'm the strange one. I'm the strange one. I'd rather do what I'd ra I'd rad raider do what to do than go to school. LOL. Maybe consider staying in school. Just a little, you know, just maybe. Let's upgrade our fishing rods. BTTV is awesome. Okay, don't just say okay. Dude, that's Aaron. Thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. I appreciate that. Have you guys seen the Excel speedruns? No. What do you do? What's an Excel speedrun? Can we get some pussy in chat? Yeah, that's a really confusing one for people who don't have better Twitch TV. What do you do for an Excel speedrun? Can you get it for mobile? No, you can't. Hey, hold up now. I got- Wait! What the, the fuck? Why is suddenly like- why, why, why are like- Why is pussy getting held up? I just had like 15 people post pussy, no problem. And now everyone's posting pussy and Automod's like, Well, hold up now. Pump the brakes. What's this now? Why are you doing that? Why the hell did it just sudden, suddenly start holding up the word pussy? Whatever. It's good now, though. It's good. Anyway, somebody said I help them relax at work, and I'm happy. I'm happy to make people relax at work. Usually, I rile people up. You know, I've not, I've had on more than one occasion people say that like I rile their dogs up. Like as soon as they put me and my stream on, it like just makes their dogs go crazy. Like I just I rile up their fucking dogs. I don't know why. I must be like, 
I don't know. I, I rile up people's dogs, as it turns out. All right, anyway, yeah, time to grind bait. Also, I got to make a the 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 crafting table. The 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 crafting table. The 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 I I uh oh, you know what? I never learned it actually. I got to go get it from my mailbox. You really rile my dog up. And by my dog, I mean, well, let's just say my peanuts. My dogs go to bed when you put you on. Oh hell yeah. I either rile up the dogs or I put them to sleep, no in between. No dog just looks at my stream and is like, yeah, he's aight. Yeah, that's right. Dog knows a dog. Yeah. Held for misogyny. Yeah, the word pussy got held for misogyny. Even though I don't really think it's a misogynistic term. I think that you could kind of clown on anyone with that word. I feel like if you call someone a pussy, that's not an insult against women, that's an insult against the person that you called a pussy. But, I don't know, what do I know? My cat couldn't give a single fuck about you. Dude, I'm not watching a YouTube video mid-stream. Explain what an Excel speedrun is, or I'm not- or I'm not gonna fucking listen. Penis. See it lets- See it lets you say that. Yeah, like, that's kind of fu- If anything, it's misogynist- You know, you're right! If anything, it's misogynistic! That pussy gets held up and penis doesn't. On International Women's Day, no less. Hmm. Just want to point out to the women of chat. I was live on International Women's Day. Where was Ludwig? Where was Northern Lion? Where was Small Ant? Where, where were they on International Women's Day? I was live. I was grinding. Just want to point that out. I mean, vagina isn't flagged either. I guess because calling someone a pussy is a insult in a more common sense than calling somebody a vagina. Kind of like calling somebody a penis. You're going to get, like, some weird looks for that one. Diagonal's my favorite feminist. Jerma was? Wait, was Jerma live? For inter he did the jigsaw puzzle. That's actually kind of powerful. Jerma goes live once a month, but he chose International Women's Day to go live. Now, that's pretty great. That's pretty great. Germa puzzle stream. Yeah, but really, was that, like, rewarding the women, or is that punishing them? Because that stream... Oh, that's a Napoleon fit. No, that's a... Sorry, it's a sea bass. That's a sea bass. I don't need to fuck with that. Come on, now. Yell at me, though, if it is a Napoleon fish. Again, I'm not good at it. I'm bad. I'm good at fishing, but I'm not good at identifying the fish. And even the good at fishing part is questionable. Oh yeah, let me also put down that crafting station as well. I was watching him while doing a jigsaw puzzle as well, so we are we went insane together. I, I need to find I need to I need to outsource this. Is there anybody out there who would be willing to do a one thousand piece Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom puzzle for me, please? Because good god. Look at this thing, dude. There's so many colors. Well, there's not many colors in it. At least, okay, 75% of it is like the sky and the clouds, which is just like blue and white. It, it'll be really easy to do the logo part, assuming that's actually on the puzzle. I think it is. I think the, like the cliffs part will be pretty easy. I think Link will be really easy. But like, look at what a fucking nightmare it is. Look at what a fucking nightmare it is to do, like, the sky. The sky is just blue and white. It's indistinguishable. I would argue that that's not a very good puzzle uh, by Nintendo, because puzzles should be... I mean, they should have, like... They should be... You should be able to, like, put them together and have, like, easily distinguishable parts of the puzzle so you can look at a piece and be like, ah, yes, I think that this is going to be in this part. I'm going to get, like, a blue or a white piece, and I'm going to be like, well, this could be in 75% of the puzzle. I have no fucking idea. But I'll have to do it eventually. I have some friends that claim to love puzzles, and I'm like, okay, but do you like 1,000-piece, 75% same color puzzles? You ever see those puzzles that are literally just one color? I'm like, first of all, that's stupid. What are you going to do with that? Second of all, that's stupid. <laughs> it, it, it just is. That's just sea bass. That's my favorite part, figuring out the shapes rather than the picture. 
Hey, man, more power to you. I did a 500-piece puzzle recently, and I was like, I just left it sitting there for so long, because I was like, I cannot be asked to fucking work on this right now. Speed running a jigsaw puzzle. I don't want you to... I don't want to. I don't want to. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to speed run a puzzle. Legos are as much of a puzzle I can do. But, but Legos are pretty tough, right? Legos are pretty tough. Legos can get kind of difficult. They can really, like, get your goose. I just got a 6,000-piece puzzle. What the fuck? Why? I'm always feeling guilty putting them away. Well, I like completing the puzzle, and then I like gluing them, and then hanging them up. Like, I'm gonna... I, like, I don't want to, I truly, truly don't understand people who do puzzles and then just, okay, and then you put it all back in the box to do, like, again, two years from now. If you, dude, you gotta, like, glue it and, like, hang it up, put it somewhere. Have you done 3D puzzles? Dude, I can't, my brain's still processing the second dimension. How am I gonna handle the fucking third dimension? No, you, at least if you're gonna make a puzzle, you gotta glue it up and hang it up. Make it something. Make it a piece, you know? The idea of a puzzle is so fun that I set the pieces out in front of me and I think, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Nah, yeah. Yeah, nah. I take a picture of the puzzle and print it and tape it to the wall. That's pretty good. That's a good- that's a- it's kind of smart, actually. The puzzle is about the journey, not the destination. Yeah, but what if the journey fucking sucks? Yeah, I hear that, but like, what if like, the journey is like, going from Boston to Seattle on the I-90, and it's like a fucking blizzard, and there's like, fucking traffic jams every 10 miles, and like, your car stinks, because, I don't know, you brought your cat along and it puked in it, like, 15 minutes into the ride. And, like, you can't get rid of the puke smell. And you try to compensate for the puke smell by putting a bunch of those fucking trees. You know, those scent trees on the rearview mirror? You tried to put a bunch of those fucking scent trees on the side. And it only made it worse. It only made it, like, more stinky. Like, that- now you got, like, the cat puke slash, like, new car smell fucking scent tree mixture in there. And it's even worse. Yeah, puke car. Nobody likes that. That's not- that's not a fun journey, IMO. You seem to be experienced in the journey. I'm just saying, like, what if the journey isn't fun? And then, and, 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 and also, also, I enjoy the destin- 90% of the time, I enjoy the destination more than I enjoy the journey. People always say it's about the journey, not the destination. No. 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 90% of the time, it's about the destination. Being honest with you guys, I never like that analogy because I'm like, no. Nope. Journey sucks. It's about the journey, not the destination. Like, let's say your destination in this analogy is, like, to be ripped. Like, to be a bodybuilder. Okay, you don't even have to be a bodybuilder. Like, like let's just, like, say, like, get in shape. Oh, it's about the journey, uh, the, the, the fitness journey, rather than the destination. No. Dude, if I could skip the entire journey and go straight to being Jack, I would do that. Like, 1,000 times out of 1,000. Are you stupid? Like, are you crazy? I would go straight to being jacked. I would skip the entire journey, if it was at all possible. There are some journeys that are better than the destination. Like, if you're talking about, like, a literal journey, I like road trips, and I like going places, and a lot of the times it is really fun, the journey. But rarely is it ever better than the destination. Why would I be going to a destination if I didn't think that I was going to enjoy it more than the journey? You know what I mean? I never liked that analogy. The journey is nothing without the destination. Yeah, exactly. Like, what am I going on this trip for if only to get to, like, my destination and have them be like, nah, turn around, your destination ain't here. I hope that both the journey and the destination are good, but I'm certainly not going to discredit the destination because the journey was like, oh, yeah, that was where, like, the real, that was where, like, the real enjoyment was. No, man. What's up, mask? I don't like that. In fact, there's a lot of analogies I don't like. I can't think of any right now, but sometimes I'll hear an analogy and I'll be like, well, that's stupid. Roger. I don't have a Roger friend. I'll be like, that's stupid. 
That makes first of all that has like no relevance towards my situation at all. Second of all, it's just straight up wrong. What's your favorite idiom? I think that like most idioms are dumb. Is getting two birds stoned at once an idiom? I think that's like a Is that an idiom? Get get stoned to What well, I don't even I don't even remember the original fucking way to say it. I've been saying get two birds stoned at once for so long. That's a diagonalism. Yeah, but what's the original? Get two birds stoned at once, right? Hit two birds with one stone. Kill two birds with one stone. I totally forgot the original because I was so fucking... Oh. Oh, maybe. I don't think... You know what? Fuck it. I'll try it. Why not? Let's give it a shot. No, okay. Just making sure. Well, could have been a giant Chivali, I suppose. Although, I don't know if they spawn right now. We burn the bridge when we get to it. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's another one that I, I've spun into my own... Well, even though that I'm hardly not the first one. I heard it from someone else at some point, but... I'll burn that bridge when I get to it. The German version of that is... Hit two flies with one sweep. That's pretty good. I'd rather... I'd rather sweep a fly than stone a bird, to be honest. Like, I'd feel bad for stoning a bird. I'd be like, rats, that's not good. If I swept a fly, I'd be like, good, confounded animal. Get out of here. Get out of my house. You fucking thing. Get out of here. Ra, my house is shaking. Is there an earthquake? Or is that just like, what, is it just do that? Maybe they'll say, Ra, my house is shaking. And then like, what, it, it, just, it just does that? Is it like, what's wrong with it? I like this one. Preparation prevents piss poor performance. Preparation prevents piss poor performance. Okay, okay. That sounds like some shit that like your workplace would like hang up on the wall, but not like just a, any old workplace. Like one of them like quirky sort of workplaces that are like, oh, we're a family here. We get to say like naughty words. Ooh, piss poor performance. Hang that up on the wall. Hey, I swear to God there was a fucking clam. You fucking gaslighting me. I swear to fucking God they do this shit all the time. It's what I say to my managers all the time. Well, aren't the managers supposed to be saying that to you? I hate having your cake and eating it too. It makes no sense to me. Yeah, so like if you want like... Um, if let's say that you want to have a fun journey and a fun destination, th that's right, I'm spinning two fucking idioms together here. That's right. Then that's eating your cake and- wait, hang on. That's having your cake and eating it too. It's like you can't have two good things, you can only have either one or the other. And it's like, no, I can totally have like two things. Isn't this one of the questions on the autism test? I wouldn't know. I never fucking... I never took an autism test. Should I have... Should I have taken one? I thought that... I thought that, um... Those tests were like the Rorschach ones, where they're like... Okay, do you see a butterfly? Or do you see, like, a man... Cooking? Or something like that. Yeah, you should. What do you mean, dot, dot, yeah, you should? As if there's, like, a bit of hesitation there, like... Yeah, you should. What do you mean? What do you mean I should with the two dots? Why Why the pause? Two bears high-fiving? Yeah. Is this two bears high-fiving or is this two zebras engaging in coitus? I don't know. What's coitus? Take an autism test and stream it. No, I'm not doing that. Because first of all, I don't believe in diagnosing yourself by a stupid fucking BuzzFeed quizzes online. Second of all, if I were to ever have, you know, reveal the fact that I have autism, do you know where would be the last place that I would want that to be revealed? On Twitch.tv. I tell you one thing right now. Last place I'd want my autism revealed is on Twitch.tv. Tell you that right now. Just checking. Number of days since Chad has diagnosed Dag with autism. Zero. I don't think we've ever gotten that counter above, like, ten. I don't think we've ever had that counter above, like, ten. 
Meh, you're no fun. My no fun what? That's valid. Not everyone needs to know about you. Nah, people are pretty quick to, like, share a little too much about themselves. And that's fine. You're who you are. And whatever you choose to share about yourself is on you. I wouldn't really need people to know that about me. You know? It wouldn't change who I am. It wouldn't change how you guys see me. Well, it might. But, you know, I wouldn't want it to change how you guys see me. I like how you guys see me. Well, I don't know. At least, I hope so. Anyway. That's HIPAA? What do you mean? Was the counter 10 when you took a 10-day break or something? Um, as far as, like, active streams, 10 active streams in a row without diagnosing me with autism or any mental illness uh, is probably the max. That's probably the max. <laughs> The amount of people self-diagnosing themselves with autism is so annoying. I mean, it's not just autism, but it's like kind of everything. And it's not even that so much. Like, first of all, I don't believe in self-diagnosis. I think that if you suspect something, that's good. I'm glad that you're aware enough of yourself and your symptoms. And you should probably go have a professional as a result uh, of potentially being self-aware enough to realize, hey, I might be ADHD, for example. Well, then, that's good. That's step one into maybe getting it tested by a professional, you know? I'm diagnosing you with swag. <laughs> Styling while a gamer, right? <laughs> I self-diagnosed myself, then actually medically diagnosed myself with a rare genetic blood disorder. Wait, so you're the medical professional that diagnosed yourself? Can you do that, actually? Like, no, 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 seriously. If you're a doctor, can you, like, diagnose yourself with something? You could be like, oh, I, I got this fucking, like, shit growing on my, like, I don't know, my leg. I got, like, uh, I, I don't know. Like, if you, if you know, could you, like, do it with yourself? I mean, basically, I told my doctor to order the test to confirm it. Oh, okay, so your doctor did it then. Okay, got it. Nope. I didn't think so. It kind of seems like something... Y you shouldn't... I don't think they should be able to. I guess I'm mostly just wondering. But, like, could you... you know, I think I've asked this one, like, a long time ago on stream, and I'm pretty sure the answer was also no. But... You can't, like, prescribe yourself with something, right? Which, that makes a lot of sense. Because, let's say some, like, doctor is just wanting to get fucking turned. And so they just prescribe themselves with just a shit ton of Xanax or something. I don't know. There's no way you'd be able to do that. You can't treat, diagnose, or prescribe for family. That also makes sense. I mean, it's just a conflict of interest thing, right? No, it's very illegal. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna go to doctor jail. Yeah. You're gonna go to fucking... Dr. Phil is gonna send you to jail. Tumblr kid romantici romanticization of mental illness has taken so many forms over the years, and I'm fucking sick of it. Yeah, preach. If you're a doctor, do you have a doctor? Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. You think therapists don't have therapists? Of course they do. That's kind of fucked up. Dude, if you're a therapist and you get a client that's also a therapist, do you get, like, a bit of, like, a... Do you get, like, a bit of an ego boost that, like, wow... I'm good enough to be, like, a therapist's therapist. Would you get, like, an ego boost for that? Like, I think I would. I think I'd be like, holy shit, wow. Like, a therapist thinks I'm, like, good. I think I would. I'd be like, oh, yeah, all right. All right, so the therapist comes to the therapist, huh? And then I go to my own therapist. And eventually, I work my way up to the chain of command until I meet God himself as my therapist. I imagine they would just battle. Like, just they just start fucking duking it out. Yeah, that sounds about right. Is that how it works? I feel like you would judge the other's professionalism. Well, I don't think that they're coming to you as a professional. I think that they're coming to you as a client. Just in some point, they would mention that, like, yeah, I'm also a therapist. But you wouldn't see them as that, you know? Maybe it's like a therapist loop. Like, there's a big circle of therapists where this person goes to this person, goes to this person, goes to this person, etc., 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 until you work your way all around the... Yeah, yeah, actually, you're probably right. 
Imagine being your therapist's therapist. Well, you can't do that, right? That's against therapy law. You can't, like, know your clients, right? Like, it, it, it's, 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 once again, it's like conflict of interest, right? You can't know your clients. You can't have, like, a personal relationship with your clients because it's, like... Well, that's not good, right? Like, I'm pretty sure, actually, uh, if your therapist sees you out in public... Um, like, if your therapist sees you out in public... They're like, it, it, like you're seeing them off the clock, and you go like, oh, hey, doc. They actually have to, like, cover their face in their shirt, and they need to leave the establishment as soon as possible to avoid going to therapy jail. Because otherwise, it's like, hey, what are you doing there? Maintaining a personal relationship with the Wegmans with your client? Hey, you can't do that. Teach me about reactions. Yeah. They, they break into a sprint, and they leave the building as fast as possible. Exactly. It's like, fuck, dude, I gotta go. I'm not getting fucking arrested today. Mm -mm. They have to drop all their groceries. They anamorph into a rat and scurry away. Yeah, and only once they're within, like, they're outside of, like, a 500-foot radius of their client will they morph back into a human. Yeah, that's true. It's called, uh, it's called the rat principle. I don't know. It's called the, the, the varmint clause. I don't know. Who were the starters in this attempt? Fuchsia and fucking, what's, I don't actually remember. I remember I like Fuchsia more. Oh yeah, Mac. Mac. Wonder why there's so much of a stigma going to a therapist anyway? It's probably seen as like weakness. If there's one thing I know about being a bro, a guy, is that, uh, not that I do not people I hang out with don't feel this way, but, uh, like, weak, right? You go to a therapist, why don't you just man up and deal with it yourself? Dumb fucking shithead. I am new to this game. You tell me how long the mail takes? I bought a wetsuit and instead it would deliver it in the mail. It will be delivered at 5 in the morning the following day. We're in a rehab center. If I see a past patient, I have to pretend not to know them and then leave the building. Yeah, like, my my varmint clause is really not all that wrong. You might as well, like, turning into a rat part. That's, it's pretty true. Like, you aren't really supposed to interact with your clients. Like, I don't think that it, I think that if you, if you bumped into your therapist and said, Hey, what's up, doc? They could be like, hi. But you probably shouldn't do that. Every therapist has the ability to wild, to like shapeshift, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's a blue moon. One time I called the hotline and I was scared because I didn't want to seem weak, but the operator was so nice, she called me a gamer. One time I called the, I didn't call the hotline. I fucking messaged the hotline and they must have got me confused with somebody else because they were like, Describing, like, my situation, they were, like, trying to explain, like, I know that this situation that you're dealing with is really hard. And then they listed the situation that I was dealing with, and I'm like, that's not my situation at all. And then they were like, they disconnected immediately, because they realized their mistake. And I was like... Oi. Oi, 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 ve. They were like, I don't remember what it was exactly, but they were like... I'm sorry that you got laid off and that, you know, you're behind on, like, your bills. It must be really hard for you at all. And I'm like, that's not what I said. I didn't say that. I think they even didn't call me by my name. I think they called me, like, Frank or something like that. They were like, Frank, I'm so sorry about your house being laid off from your job. Just want you to know that, like, you're really brave for reaching out. And I'm like, I'm Daniel. And they, they disconnected. And I'm like, oh. What the message Frank got? Daniel, I'm so sorry that the crippling loneliness of your existence is weighing down on you a lot. I just want you to know that there are people that care about you just like me. And Frank's like, that took my job. They actually gave Frank your message, yeah. 
Frank, I know that being self-employed is really hard and it keeps you from interacting with a lot of people. You know, I know that like a lot of people who are your age, you know, they have to like, they're either in school or they're at work right now and that's how you meet others. And when you don't have that, that, that ability, you, you know, you work from home and, you know, you're not able to go out and mingle as much with your friends. I know that the loneliness of your existence can be a burden and I know that you have like the fear of dying alone. But just know that like life will work out it always does, you know? You seem like a really nice, responsible young man, and I think life will work out. My house burned down! I hope Frank's doing alright. I don't know if that was his name, I just made it up. But I definitely got someone else's message. I'm not afraid of death. Okay. Dag, what Amex should I get? I don't even know what that is. Isn't that American Express? Like, what American Express debit card should you get? I don't fucking know, man. What's up, set a hard? What do you mean? What Amex should you get? Isn't- Are you asking me, like, what, like, business credit card you should get? Like, wait, wait, I don't know, which has the most, like, cashbacks bonus, you know? Are we credit card neighbors? Oh, you want me to read out my credit card? No. Y'all ever do that where you try to text your phone neighbors and they're like... You know, you try to text, like, somebody whose uh, number is, like, one before or one after you, and you're like, Hey, you're my phone neighbor! And then they tell you to, like, kill yourself or something. You ever do that? I haven't. I'm f I'm really scared of, like, doing that and being told to, like, to go fuck myself. I'm really scared of that. Are we expiration date credit card numbers? I think the expiration date on my card is January of 27. I think it's January of 27. I'd be so embarrassed. Yeah, no, it's, it is. It's embarrassing. Maybe, maybe the love of my life is one phone number away from me, though. You have to think about it like that, though. Maybe, maybe, like, my, my, my soulmate is, I'm just gonna make up a number, is 814-708-3023. Five and not four. Maybe, actually. Do you play Elden Ring? No. Animal Crossing. Write that down! Write that down! Guys, I just made that up. The only part of that that is true is the 814 area code. But, you know. Oh no! You can tell I live in western Pennsylvania now. Eesh! Hey, I heard you, dumb shithead. Why did I call him that? He's not- he doesn't even have a brain. No way, that's my number, wink wink. Yeah. That's what I picture whenever somebody says wink. I picture them going... I, I, can, should I try like a sly wink? I don't think I can wink. Guys, please help. Someone is pissed in the elevator. Dude, sometimes those things are like too slow and you can't- you can't wait. You just get over it. You ain't cleaning it. That's a heinous wink. Western PA, Erie, or Pittsburgh confirmed. Well, I just told you 814. You know it's not Pittsburgh, because that's 412. There's always dog piss in our elevators. Oh, yeah, I guess a dog could have done it, too. I guess other things make piss as well, huh? Anyway, a sly wink. How about, like... I don't know if I can do it, but I have to, like, look you in the face when I do it. No, that's not good. As someone from Erie, Erie, I'd like to sincerely apologize. Oh, I don't want to hear that. Erie's nice. Yeah, it's got its problems. I don't give a shit. It's nice. I like it. Oh, everyone hates Erie. Everyone's always, oh, I hate Erie. I hate Erie. I don't, I, uh, it's all right. People keep coming back. You're going to kill me with these shitty winks. All right, hang on. Give it like five years. It'll break- DUDE! Born here, moved, came back, moved, came back. Dude, I've lived in Erie 20 years of my fucking life. I don't want to hear it, alright? It'll break you. Dude, I've literally- I'm from here, I've lived here in four different occasions. Moved, reset the timer, I'm sorry. Dude, I bet- I would be willing to bet you I've lived here longer throughout my life than you have, alright? I don't want to fucking hear it. Like, I actually want to, like, time you out. Dagnall, you're my favorite Twitch streamer. Thanks. 
Thanks. That was a, was that one all right? Was that one all right? Hang on. Thanks. No, that one looked like a twitch. Thanks. No, don't make the noise. Don't do the voice. And he 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 says he realized he went too far, so he he said in a joking voice, "Who said that? Don't do the voice." Hang on. No, I didn't even wink that time. No, it's stupid. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. What the hell? Don't do the voice. The noise kind of worked. I get a strong pelvic urge when Walter White from Breaking Bad does you guys know he only does it like maybe three times throughout the show but he will do that where he'll go like he'll do that and every time he does it every time brian cranston does that oh my god gets the loins burning he's a sex symbol yeah dude no you guys know what i'm talking about you guys know what i'm talking about you know when when walter white does the this is fucking hot, man. I'm sorry. It just is. I'm a hetero man, but like I can find that I can find sex appeal in that. Why is the hydrate thingy gone? Are you dehydrated? No, everyone's just annoying about telling me to hydrate. He looks like my uncle. Really? Bald guy, goatee, glasses. I guess that's not... That's sort of like the boomer white guy, right? The boomer, like, 20... Like, like I'm the... I'm the traditional 27-year-old white guy. I think Walter White's, like, the traditionally-looking, like, 50-year-old white guy. Bald, glasses, and goatee. I'll show you later. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Wait a minute. Tell me something now. Now, oh, you know what? I know why. I was about to say, tell me something now. How'd I get the fucking achievement for getting 50 clams? Now, 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 I, now, 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 hold up, now, listen to me now. How'd I get the achievement for 50 clams? And yet, I ask you, how do I have 49 bait? Well, it's because I had to release one. I remember because my inventory was full. I was about to sue the game. I was about to sue Nintendo right there. I was actually, I, I, my lawyers. But no, I realized my mistake now. The actor that plays Walter White is attractive. You can't say the actor that plays Walter White. His name is Brian Cranston. Come on now. His name is Brian Cranston. Nintendo needs to lawyer up. I think that they got enough. They need to save some of the lawyers for the common man. I think, anyway. Would you win against Nintendo? Like a fight? Yeah, probably. Wait, Walter White isn't real? Tell me it's not true? Oh, he's real. It ain't an animated show. Briger Crinston is one of my favorite actors. I don't want to hear it. Oh, I don't want to hear it. I haven't even seen a Napoleon fish size thing. I mean, I'm not looking very diligently. I will be honest with you. I am not looking very diligently right now. Like, I am, I am full, like, clam grinding mode. Maybe I should, like, take a break and check the other beach. Because I, I feel like I haven't even, like... I mean, I know that's not it. Shit, I just realized my sub expired because I'm getting ads I need to renew. Okay. You, you could just do it. Someone is yelling outside, I'm being Squidward looking through his blinds. Oh, dude, I do that all the time. I do that all the time. Is that weird that, like, whenever somebody, like, makes noise outside, I'll, like... What they doing down there? Uh, I'll be, like, peeking out the window. And it's like, dude, if you don't want me peeking at you, fucking quit making noise. No, it's normal. Yeah, exactly. Can I see how many fish you've caught so far? I don't know. Now I'm fucked up. Now I'm fucked up. That's no way that's a sea bass. I'm like 99% sure. But it's just that 1%. Okay. 
Just making sure. Just making sure. You should become a plant dad to match your plant fit. I Guys, I gotta ask you something. Question. Um, this morning I wake up and I see this. Just ate a wawa cookie fuck you sheets. Uh, I'm not reading that sub now. Look at it. I got plants. They're growing, man. They're growing. I got plants. I am becoming a plant dad. Problem though, I got shrooms. I got shrooms, man. Is this okay? I had shrooms in my fucking plants today. Look. I got shrooms. Shrooms are even better? What? Meow. Shrooms are totally normal. They'll die off. Okay. Yeah, I got some shroomies in my... I saw some shroomies in my plants today, and I'm like, Oh, hell, what, is, what did I overwater them or something? Too moist? I don't know. But, hey, that's good news. Thanks, Beetle Sharks, for the four months, Tier 1. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it, and thanks for contributing towards the Partner Plus Push. Thank you. Shrooms equals good, mold equals bad. Okay, well, I got no mold. I do got some shroomies, though. Should I eat them? They're probably fine, right? They probably would just, like, do nothing if I ate them. I'm not going to, though. Damn, he was not kidding about not reading my sub. Just ate a Wawa cookie. Fuck you, sheep. Yeah, what do you expect me to do, man? Thanks for the 11 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for contributing towards the Partner Plus push. All right, there you go. Just make sure that you um, sleep tight tonight. Just make sure that you, like, stay safe tonight. Just, just let, you know... Make sure that you're make sure that you're tucked in snug tonight in your bed. That's all. And don't let the bed bugs bite. Yep. Definitely make sure not to let the bed bugs bite. Ow! Oh, you're done, buddy. Oh, you're done. I'll sleep good because I'm watching twitch.tv slash Dagnall. Yeah, exactly, right? Um. Um. Uh, uh, you're done. Do the YouTube video of the guy who ate nothing but sheets for an entire month. Uh, no? Like, good things. Dude, like, to be honest, okay, if you ate sheets for an entire month, there's enough variety on the menu where you could still eat, like, a balanced diet. Yeah, it's probably, like, not healthy. Yeah, it's probably, like, not cost-effective. But, like, you'd be fine. There's enough shit on the sheets menu where, like, you can get plenty of vegetables and shit. Like, I get a breakfast sandwich from there sometimes, and I'd be putting, like, onion and green pepper on that. There's your vegetables, okay? You got like, dude, you can be, you'd eat fine eating at Sheets. They got so much shit on the menu. They have so much shit on the menu, you'd be perfectly fine. And it's not like that guy who ate McDonald's every day for a month. I'm pretty sure he ate Big Macs specifically as well. Didn't that guy supersize me, that documentary that came out in like 1874 or whenever the fuck? About the guy who only ate McDonald's for however long? And, you know, oh, by the end of it, he was, like, almost fucking dead. No, he was perfectly fine. Isn't that documentary full of shit? Yeah, that's why you guys like it. <laughs> it was a solid video. I think you'd enjoy it. Can someone give me the tea, the, 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 the turtler? Can someone give me the turtler, the TLDR? About that, like, he's fine, right? He's alive. And he was probably like, yeah, yummy, that was pretty good. I liked sheets, eating sheets only for a month, because it's good, and I like sheets. Raging alcoholic during the filming process as well. Really? Man, that documentary, every time I hear about it anymore, just gets clowned on more and more. Drove through to Ohio once, and I'm from western New York, and a sheet, I went into a sheets, and it was magical. Yeah! Sheets is good. Fuck the haters. 
You know what they say about the haters, they can lick my taters. The guy was vegan, so of course suddenly eating a fuck ton of burgers made him sick. What the hell, man? Every time I fucking hear about this documentary, there's one more added layer of bullshittery to it. Now he's vegan? And... And then, okay, so first now he's vegan. He's a tool, a raging alcoholic. What the fuck? This guy seems like a real... Yeah, you know, this guy seems like a real jerk. This guy... He seems like a real jerk. What are you? Is that big? Is that black bass? I gotta try that. I don't know. It looks bigger. Oh, that's way too far. Seems like a real jerk. I mean, this guy's a real jerk. Oh, no. That's totally a black bass. Or that. Please explain to German what the fuck Sheets is. Alright, fucking... You gotta make me fucking go through all this fucking work here. And we gotta go like this, and then we gotta go like... There we go. Alright. Sheets, Inc. ist eine amerikanische Kette von Convenience Stores und Coffee Shops im Besitz der Familie Sheets. Die Geschäfte verkaufen maßgeschneiderte Lebensmittel, Getränke und Convenience-Store-Artikel, wobei alle Standorte seit den 1980er Jahren einen 24-Stunden-Service anbieten. Okay. You got it now? You on the same page? Well, good. All caught up. Google is free, by the way, chat. Just a little reminder. It's a nice little reminder. It's just a nice little reminder. Danke von der Deutschen Community für die Aufklärung. Auf... Auf... Klarung. Auf... Klarung. Auf... Klarung? Yeah, whatever, dude. Germany, Australia says thanks, Dag. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. I love how I understand a good bit of that. My German is finally improving. I mean, I understood the whole thing. Google search function has been pretty bad recently. I've noticed one thing about Google searches. Correct me if I'm wrong, but usually when I searched Google on my phone, where I don't have ad blocker, I would usually get like one or two ads at the top of my Google search result. Now I feel like I'm getting like three to four. Now I feel like I'm getting like three to four ads before actually getting the real results. You know how you get the sponsored results at the top of the Google search? And then you actually get the real ones? I feel like I'm getting more sponsored results now and I have to go through the sponsored results more than I had to do before. DuckDuckGo also steals your data? Or are we comparing Google or um, search engines? It's like the lesser of whatever evil, you know? A can be pronounced by, like, A in Big Mock. Oh, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Offer GX for the win? Oh, you mean, like, the, the gamer's browser, right? There's so much AI-generated stuff and images now. On Google? Oh, hell. Y'all ever fallen for an AI-generated image? I feel like I... I haven't, but, like, the fact that I say I haven't means that I might have, and I just don't know, you know? Like, I saw this picture of... I saw this picture of Donald Trump one time, and he was given... You guys know what self-suck is? And I was like, man, that's crazy. And now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, man, that might be a doctored image. That might have been a doctored image. I'm not so sure now. I don't know. I thought he did it. I, I thought... It, I just thought he did that. I was like, yeah, that just seems like a Sunday evening for him. 
Fuck out of here. Don't whistle at me. No, that one's real. I took it. Ah, okay, good. I haven't fallen for an AI image yet, luckily. You see that Willy Wonka event that was advertised by an AI-generated image and the actual event was awful? Literally, the internet couldn't shut up about it for like a week. How could I have avoided it? What kind of images you looking at, dog? Do you want me guys to show you my, like, image folder? Well, I can't show you the image folder. Not because it's bad, but just because, like, there's so much shit in it. I'll pull up a random image from my computer. How about that? Like, I will literally close my eyes, go to my image folder, and, like, fucking pick one. Like, I'll just scroll up and down. Close my eyes. Stop it. And then pick one. I have... Ooh... This one's called scumbag.png. This one's called scumbag.png. Right, because people... Oh, I know why now. Because people who do the left portal are scumbags. People who do the right portal are good. Let's do another one. Um, I have this fuck... I, I, I'm going to explain this one. Like, you don't need to see this one because I'm just going to explain it. But I have the, I have that fucked up image of Brendan Fraser who's with like beat red eyes and he's like crying and he's got like the shitty haircut. I have that one. I also have this one. I don't know why I got that one saved. Cornerless portals are actually the worst. Good. All right, I have that one and then one more, one more. One more image roulette here. Well, that one's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why I have this, but I'm sure I must have used it for some reason. Miku! Should I put, like, a tiny Miku on the screen? Like, you'd never know, like, Miku is standing there, but she's there. Yeah, a little tiny Miku. And it's now she's just there. Like, somebody's gonna, in the video, gonna be like, What is this, like, fucking, like, little blue thing? She's so hot. Alright. I'm gonna put Miku there. That's gonna stay there until 2026. Can you put this on screen? No. That triggered my fight or flight. Um... I want, I want to sell. I don't know why I came in here when I could have just dropped it in the fucking box. Especially, it's literally a tire. What the hell am I doing? Hell no. No! Just leave the store. Leave the store and drop it in the box. Put the nether portal overlay over your face cam. Wait, is that a transparent image? Well, no, I can't, because I got the fucking Miku there now. You want the Miku there, or you want the portal there? Alright, you gotta choose one. I'm not making another fucking image source in OBS. I don't feel like it. Alright, uh, that's... That's, that's like... That's not, like, all the bait we're gonna need for the challenge. But that's as much bait as I fucking care to farm right now. I'll be honest with you guys, that's as much... Frickin' bait as I care to farm now. I'm not doing anymore. You know, I should've sold that gold nugget as well. I can also drop this axe. I don't need that anymore. Hell no. He he hell no. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna check the other beach for a Napoleon fish. Should I just like... I should kind of just like fish everything, right? I mean, I'm still at the point where I probably need like a lot of things during this time period, but I don't know. Eh, I'll just go for the Napoleon fish. This light is fucking me up. I don't know. I don't like having a big bright light on me. It's like distracting. I feel like I'm getting like hot. With it like I mean how could I not? It's like fucking beaming in my face, but like that's a sea bass. It's like fucking beaming in my face, but I mean I'll be alright. I'ma ask you again. Remove it then. Oh you're just full of answers, aren't you? You stream earlier than usual today? I'm streaming like four hours later than I normally do. But I mean, like, if you really wanted to think about it, like, what is four hours later, if not 20 hours earlier? Ooh. <laughs> All 
I almost just like I I like threw up a little bit. It was a Leony. I noticed you stream late because I could catch it at 5 p.m. Oh, I get it. Catch it. That's funny. Like, um... Like, the the fish. You're catching the stream. That's that's funny, actually. You got, like, a good career of, like, uh, comedy. Yeah, you got, like, a good... You got a good comedian career ahead of you. I <laughs> time that person out. For 20 hours. You'll ever read 1984. That's a good book. Yeah! Yeah, let's just read this little... It's a bit underground. It's a little indie. You ever read this book, 1984? It's a little... They, yeah, I got this book I recommend. It's, uh, it's a little niche. It's, you may not understand. It's, it's called King James Bible. No, nobody's ever read that, man. No. That guy needed to learn how to make a fucking paragraph break. 1984? George Orwell? You talking about George Orwell as that guy? My guilty pleasure. Oh, I just love curling up in bed with a good book. <laughs> what you reading, honey? King James's Bible. Oh, that's nice. What are you at? Corinthians. Are you got a fin? No. Well, how about um, go fin fuck yourself? What about you? Are you big? I can't tell. By golly. Yeah, you ain't seeing it. What's this comment? I should be in bed, RG, but I mean you're streaming and I have my priorities. Sleep is overrated? Nah, man. Broke? Sleep is overrated. Woke? I'm gonna go to bed at a healthy time so that I can ensure that I get eight hours of sleep. Dag is off the shits today in the best way KJV sent me. Who the fuck is KJV? Slept for 14 hours last night, my man. Well, you're depressed. Eight hours of sleep in this economy? Dude, I, I'm a flex on y'all. I'm a flex on y'all. I'm a, I'm a strike a pose. I'm a strike a pose. I be sleeping eight hours every night, and I gotta say, best shit of all time. You guys gotta try it. It's fucking awesome. Come on, give me something good. Damn it. I thought, I know it was a sea bass size, but Mahi Mahi Giant Trevally, I don't know. I don't even know if they can spawn right now. I feel like they can. I think they're like June to October, right? Man, I got insomnia. Well, you know, like, they say sleep is for the weak, so I guess you can interpret that as like you're really strong, but I don't know, man. I hope you catch a mahi mahi soon. You know, if I didn't think that that if I didn't know for the fact that that was a fish, I would think that you're like cursing a disease upon me. Like, let's pretend that mahi mahi isn't a fish and it's like a horrible disease. I'd probably kick your ass for saying some shit like that. Like, if you didn't know that mahi mahi was a fish, I would assume that you saying I hope you get a mahi mahi soon. I would think that like I would interpret that as like I hope you get like a fucking paralyzing. Cancer. But no, I know that you mean fish, so don't worry about it. LOL, did you like that one? That was a good one, right? When you look to the side for the fishing, it looks like you're showing off your side profile. Well, that's an added effect of it. I hate my side profile, though. I think it's stupid. That's a big honker. That's Honk City. <laughs> like that, Honk City. It's not Hong City. It, oh, wait. That looked fucking... It looked long. It looked long. 
It looked like a long boy. I love... Dude, I seriously miss the era of when people would call, like, their pets, like... Blank boy. And they'd always put a space in between each letter. Like, if they had, like, a fucking... You know those Russian dogs with, like, the really long noses? And they're just, like, like point, what are those things called? I loved it when people would be posting those dogs and be like, Look at this heckin' long boy. Like, unironically. I still do that. I love when people, I, I don't know why, that just, that chuffed me. That tickled me pink. Yeah, Borzoi. I love when people post, like, their boyzoys, Borzois and be like, Look at long boy. Yeah, I don't know, that was always so funny to me. I don't like that whole heckin' doggo fucking thing, but I do like long boy, or... Thin boy or whatever. I don't know. That always that always just that always just chuckled me. They look so stupid. They don't look so stupid. They look, they're fucking awesome. Borzois are great. Oh lord, he coming. I do like oh lord, he coming too. Except I hate that it comes at the expense of um a fucking obese pet that their fucking owners neglected to the point of. Making them a heckin' chonker. Hey, stupid shithead. Look at me. Man, I'm really like... I'm striking out, man. Elongated boy. Yeah, I like those. Master Muir? I am kind of mewing, but that's just because like... I'm not doing it on purpose. I promise I, I'm just a fucking mouth breather sometimes, alright? What's the difference between being a, a mewer and a mouth breather? Have I gotten both the eels? I know I've gotten the ribbon eel. I do need the moray. When the sun hits your eye like a big pizza pie. I don't remember how it goes after that. Damn it. Well, kind stranger. L uh, thanks for the gold, kind stranger. That's a more and no, I was a ribbon eel. Nope. Just a ribbon eel. Mewing apparently stops mouth breathing. Yeah, you know what else stops mouth breathing? Um, shooting someone. In the head. With a gun. <laughs> Heck, friend! My hacking shovel borked! Shut the fuck up. Bro? What do you mean, bro? I'm right. You broke Reddit! And you'll never fucking find me. You'll never find me. That's so fucked up. You guys will never fucking find me. You'll never catch me. You'll never fucking catch me. You're never gonna catch me. Odd vibes going in on stream today. Yeah, it's called being funny. You, sir, have won the internet for today. How is your hell going? I already completed a run in 19 hours and 46 minutes. With one miss. So, actually, like... That told me this is so doable. That told me that this is, like, so doable. And now we're four hours in, and I still haven't fucked up. Which is just confirming the fact. I think we're good. I think we're doing alright. Dude, how? Well, some of us are good at bugs. Some of us are good at fish. That's it. Because you're too streetwise. I think I'm pretty- I got my ears to the streets, yeah. Don't call me a pussy. Actually, I'd rather be called a pussy than like... <clears throat> I mean, let's just- they're strong, you know? Better than being called like a nutsack. Those are weak. Sensitive. Oof. I don't know. Just me personally. I don't know, just something to think about. I was watching something with headphones whilst I watch I fish. I wait. Okay, wait. Am I having a stroke or are you? I'm always watching something with headphones whilst I fish, so I've mastered the soundless fishing. Okay, it was me. I was having a stroke. 
ball bag. Is that actually what you call it? Fish are easier than bugs because they don't get scared away by running. Yes, they do. <laughs> they absolutely do. What do you do? Yeah, yeah, they do. Look, there you go. And then I would show you me scaring away a, fi a fish by running, but that would sort of kill the challenge, wouldn't it? But yeah, no, they, they absolutely do. What do you mean they do? Yeah, they, they, what are you talking about? How, when you fish and you need something and you see something that isn't what you need, you scare it away, right? And you, you run past it. Oh, uh, hi. Hi, colon three. Hi, 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 hi. Come on, Arapaima me. Yeah! Hey, that's the first bit of progress we made this entire stream. We haven't done fucking shit. What the hell? Alright, we're fine, though. It was not a sabotage. I swear I just had no idea. No, I know, but yeah, no. Like, you can definitely scare away fish by running next to them. Don't bling me. Don't make my controller vibrate. It scares me. It, like, fucks me up. Semi colon three lowercase c. Semi colon three lowercase. Oh, you're going like. I had to picture it out in my head. But you're going like. <laughs> with like a little winky poo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's like. Dude, wait. Dude, it's over, man. If you be sending that to someone, man, y'all y'all too far gone. If y'all actually be unironically sending someone semi-colon 3C, you're fucked. You're, you're done. You've gone too far. You need to end the conversation. Like, nah, you're too far gone. Just, like, marry them at that point. Ah! I just thought about something. See? Feels nice. And I just thought about something. That's scared, dude. I got scared thinking about something, man. Oh yeah, I don't know bait. I'm not not fucking focused right now. I'm in full like fucking. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I seriously, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I think I might be going insane. Your scream woke my boyfriend up. Dude, I'm sorry. I You ever just fucking just realize something and you just fucking, like... What'd you think about? I can't say. You really want me to, like, go into detail about what made me react like that? You heard me react like that. You think I want to go into detail about it? Oh my gosh, no. Dude, I just... I don't know. I just thought about, like... Where I'm at in life. <laughs> I just thought about, like... Wh what the fuck am I doing, man? Like, what actually am I doing? And it just, like, it scared me. I don't know. I just think about that sometimes. You're doing the challenge. Right, 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 right. But, you know, on, like, a grand scale. You know, that's, I mean, that's what life is all about, right? You do little things to help you achieve the overarching goal of your life, whatever that may be. But then I'm like... Oh, right. What is the overarching goal of my life? Like, what am I put here on this earth to do? And I'm like, am, am, I, am I working towards it right now? I mean, I guess, but like, I don't know. Yeah, like long term. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you could say I had like a little existential like crisis there. Just split second where I realized like, man, I got no direction in my life. I don't know what I'm put here for. Not that I think that we as humans need a purpose, you know? Diogenes, he just sat around and jerked off in public. And, you know, he said, good, that's just what I'm here to do. And he did it. Ah, no, you don't need a purpose. But I guess I'm a creature of purpose. I'm a, I'm a creature of, like, I like having a goal. I like achieving something. And I just, I don't know. What's up, howdy boy? Hi. Hi. It's about the journey, not the destination. I want to fucking eat anyone who says that. I actually, I want to I want to consume them whole. I want to swallow them whole. What a stupid-ass fucking idiom. The destination is so fucking awesome. The journey most of the time sucks. 
I hate the journey. I like the destination. Me. Uh, you know that meme that's like, haha, yes. Fuck yes. You know that meme that's like me, um, me reaping. Yes. Fuck yes. And then me sowing like, no. Fuck. What the fuck? That's me. Me at my destination. Yes. Fuck yes. Me on the journey. No. No. It's about the destination, not the... I just closed my nose, and... <laughs> I, I did a Squidward voice on accident. I actually was, like, breathing when I did that, too, and it, like, scared me. I was like... Oh, no, I just stopped breathing. You ever just worry that you're just gonna stop breathing one day? You're just gonna, like, forget? I don't know. It's about the destination, not the journey, because the journey can be long and difficult and painful. Yeah, you're... Ex you're... Long... Difficult... Painful. Not exactly three adjectives of things that I would describe that I enjoy. So you're real. All you're doing is reinforcing that the destination is fucking awesome and the journey fucking sucks. That's all you did. You've only made it so that. Uh, I mean, ocean sunfish maybe. My friend, all you've done is you made you reinforced my point. When the inevitable destination is death, it's definitely about the journey. You're acting like death wouldn't be fucking sweet right now, man. Come on. Me, after 60 milligrams, I'm gonna stop breathing in my sleep and die. 60 milligrams? Oh, what the fuck are you taking? The destination is the journey. Nah, I don't wanna- don't add another fucking dimension to this. Just, you guys, you can just say that, like, an idiom is fucking stupid without having to find, like, deeper meaning in it. You guys know that, right? You guys can just be like, yeah, that idiom's stupid, and it doesn't apply to my life at all. You can be, you can say that, and it's fine. You don't have to add another layer to it, and it's like, well, the destination is the journey. No, it's a stupid idiom. You don't have to add, you don't have to, like, make more, you don't have to, like, justify its, like, just insane... It, asinine idiom it's just stupid all right here we go focus lock in lock in we're locked in we're fucking locked in let's fucking go we're so back you're a stupid idiom i'm gonna fucking unmod you Mm -mm. No, no, no. I just fucking spilled water all over myself. Cheers. <sighs> Cringe bit. I... One day... Let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that, shall we? Sleep soundly tonight, is all I'll say. Make sure that you're tucked in tight. Alright, that's everything at July at 4pm. Now, July at 9pm for... Hang on, hang on now. Hold up, hold up now, hold up now. Hold up now, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up now. Now hold up now, son, now hold up. Alright. July at 9 p.m. for the Surgeon Fish and Puffer Fish, but we already got that. So, let's turn the page. That's my turning page noise. For August at 9 a.m. for the Giant Snakehead. Um, moray Eel, Ribbon Eel, and Ocean Sunfish. We've got the Ribbon Eel. We still need the Giant Snakehead. The, oh my god, that water I spilled on myself just rolled all the way down my fucking stomach. And it's like cold it's cold it's so fucking cold giant snakehead moray eel and ocean sunfish we already got the ribbon eel all right august at 9 a.m did you update the counter oh shit i totally forgot i had the counter in fact i was at 25 when i started jesus that's gonna be so fucking hard to find in editing now god damn it i am at 27 right i better be i'll check when i load load in again 
All I'm saying is that if I had somebody who sat below, like, my desk and, like, just rubbed my feet while I streamed, I would pay you handsomely. And it's not, like, a weird thing either, like, just so my feet are sore. I walked, like, two miles today. Which is not a lie. Don't, don't, be, don't be one of those junkies that's like, well, I ran 15 miles today. I don't give a fuck. What? Dude, I literally said it's not a weird thing. I, I, you guys wouldn't want a foot rub? You guys wouldn't want a foot rub? You're fuck. you're the weird ones. No, it's not a weird thing. Yeah, feet mentioned. Dude, I fucking hate that. You can't even mention feet on the internet anymore. He said it wasn't weird, guys. Yeah, I literally just said. No, no. Dude, if that's fine if that's your preference, but don't act like it's weird to want a foot rub. It's normal to want a foot rub. Y'all clearly never had a relaxing foot rub. Dude, I had a pedicure one time. Oh my god. I think I told you guys about this, but I was actually really embarrassed at my foot rub because... The lady doing the pedicure... ...had the fucking water. I don't know if she thought I was a fucking lobster, but the fucking water that she dunked my feet in was so fucking hot. I had to be like... And I was like wincing in pain asking this. I'm like, ma'am, could you turn the water down a little bit it's it's too hot and she's like oh okay fucking pussy she didn't say that but she probably thought like i was a big fucking baby she was probably like what a fucking bitch giant snakehead moray eel ocean sunfish got it she probably rolled her eyes absolutely she probably looked at her fellow pedicurist and was like hey look at this fucking asshole Get a lot of this fucking idiot. Probably called you a slur in her head. Alright. Got slurs on the mind, do we? I have a pedicure Friday and I'm regretting the appointment. Oh, you will not regret it. It was a it was a fantastic experience. Outside of that embarrassing moment, it was fantastic. She probably didn't care all that much. Nah. No, but like, okay. But okay. She she maintained her professionalism. I am not dunking on her at all for her lack of professionalism. She called me a fucking pussy when I asked her to turn the water down. I will never return to this facility. No, she kept it professional. But just as we all keep it professional in front of customers, we're always in our head like, what a fucking asshole. Anyone ever, like... You work at McDonald's, and somebody, like, returns a fucking... I almost said a Whopper. Somebody returns a Big Mac because they were like, Um, excuse me, I don't like mustard on it. When they didn't specify that they didn't want mustard on it when they ordered it, and you're like, Oh, sure thing. Let's get another one made up for you. And in your head, you're like, Fucking piece of fucking shit, I'm gonna rip your fucking spinal cord out and use it to whip you 50 times against the fucking wall. Oh, here you go, ma'am. Um, excuse me. I'm allergic to mustard. Well, you shouldn't have come to a McDonald's then, you stupid ass. Oh, we'll make one right up for you. You fucking rotten piece of garbage. I hope that you... Mm. <laughs> make sure you don't choke on it. Do be careful, chewing. You guys know that video that's like, load my car into the ship first, and those guys are like, Hoi! it's like from, what's that anime? What's that fucking anime? I can't remember. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, no, no, it's not the Simpsons. Shut up. Give me a real answer. You guys know the video, right? What's it about? Oh my god, I have to just find the video. What anime? You guys seriously don't know this video? Load my car, the black tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed racer, guys. He orders the workman to load his car, the black tiger, first. He goes like, load my car, the black tiger, first. And then it pans over to the two working guys and they go like, Oop. you guys know the video. Don't even act stupid. Did someone say The Simpsons? Did someone say Season 3 through 10 Simpsons compilations on YouTube? 
Oh man. I'm there. Speed Racer is one I haven't watched. Right, 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 right. That's the one anime we all conveniently have not watched. Right, got it. Eight Hour Simpson comps are my bread and butter. You gotta watch this guy on YouTube. It's called Things I Can't Find Otherwise, and he just uploads like the best fucking Simpsons clips. Can I visit your island? Yeah, exclamation point dodo. Come on over. Look at me. Look at me. What's your favorite anime? I think that they're all terrible. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, are you fucking serious? I'm gonna tie you into a knot when I catch you. Thank you. I know it's not much, I want to say good luck. Hey, I appreciate that. Not much is... It's, it's not nothing. Appreciate it. Thank you for the 95 bits goopy milk. Oy. Okay, now I'm going to mention something very specific. Now, if somebody says, I don't know what you're talking about with this reference, I'd understand completely. This one's a bit niche, okay? All right, the SpongeBob episode where Gary goes missing and... It's towards the beginning of the episode where they're just discovering that Gary is missing because he ran away. And Spongebob says to Patrick, like... Or Patrick is, like, taking a glass of milk. He gets a, he gets a glass of seahorse milk poured for him. And the milk is, like, basically solidified. So he takes the glass that it's poured in and he, like, puts it upside down and it goes, like... And it falls to the table. And then he picks it up and he eats it and he like shivers like, oh, yeah, I'd say a week, maybe six days or ten days. Ten days? Yeah, it comes out like a jello cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's what that, that's what goopy milk reminds me of is that fucking scene where he drinks that fucking rotten ass seahorse milk. That's disgusting. That's a good episode, but that was mighty nasty. That was mighty nasty. Oy. Can't even lie to you, man. I really don't think that episode's that good. Reminds me too much of that weird newer SpongeBob shit. That scene does specifically for me, too. The rest of the episode, I think, is alright. I like it. Like the jellied cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving. Yeah, but that shit is fucking awesome. I love the fucking canned cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving. That shit is the best. That shit is the fucking best, man. That's- I- 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 I thrive on that shit. Karate Island? I don't- but no, Karate Island's a terrible episode. What's up, Simcetera? Karate Island's a terrible episode. That's like- that- I think that episode is where I thoroughly think the show jumped the shark. Because that was like season four, and a lot of season four is okay, but then that episode gets thrown in there, and it's like, nah. Nah. Thanks, Scott Nutt. JP for the tier one. Appreciate that. Wowee. Fresh sub. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. Thanks for contributing towards the partner plus push. Hey, hey, Tone. Tell him, tells him thank you. No, stop. You're going to overdo it. Thanks, Cat Sam, for continuing the gift sub they got from Curly Fries. Thank you. You, you don't get an alert for that one for some reason. But I appreciate it. Does that mean you turned the tier 1 sub into a- or the gift sub into a tier 1? I appreciate it either way. Thank you. And enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing. Give a word to the boss. Tell him- Tells him thank you. For contributing towards the partner plus push. Says I owe you, the family owes you. I didn't like the caveman episode. Leave. You're talking about UGH? The episode called UGH? Leave. That's one of the best episodes. I don't want to hear it. Maybe Trevally, Mahi Mahi, who knows? Maybe. 
or that, which I didn't have planned for a while, but okay. I was like, it's a sea bass sized fish on the dock. Give it a shot. I didn't even know a ray could spawn right now. It must have been like the, I think it's like the first month they can spawn. All right. Well, that's another fish, and I have been forgetting to up the counter. Are we at 27? I was going to check this. 28. Shit. You guys got to, oh, right, because I caught a, um, well, the ray, and then I caught something before that that I think I forgot to count. I don't remember. SB129? No, not SB129. That's the one in the future. We're talking about the one, the prehistoric one. The one with, like, the robot. There's, like, a live-action sequence at the end. Fuck! Where the robot comes out and fights the caveman, and the caveman's played by the guy who voices Patrick. I forget his name. His a oh, yeah, the Napoleon fish, probably. Yeah, you're right. His ass goes back in time, I remember it, but yeah, you know what I, I know what you mean now. Yeah, but that one also goes back in time, but there's a whole episode that takes place in the, in the past, so that's the one I'm talking about. Patchy just annoys me. I... Dude, you're a kid, all right? It's 2002, all right? It's 2002, new episode of SpongeBob's premiering. And the first thing that pops up on the episode is... Hey, kids! It's fucking Patchy the Pirate saying, Hey, kids! We got, like, a special episode for you today. And you're like... <laughs> you turn the fucking TV off? What the hell is wrong with you? What the actual hell is wrong with you? You don't like the Patchy episodes? I genuinely want to, like... I don't know. I wouldn't turn it off, I just prefer other episodes. What a you fucking horrible take. Look, I'm sorry, man. What's up, little rat dude? I thought Patchy was spooky at first, but he grew on me. Yeah, you know what else grows on you? Cancer. I like the episode where Spongebob had to go up the Karate Tower. That's fucking Karate Island, it's a terrible episode, and I think you should, um, leave my stream. But I guess everyone's entitled to their opinion. How about this, alright? Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but if your opinion sucks, you are not entitled to your opinion. What do you think? Thoughts on this? I, I just came up with this idea. You are entitled to an opinion, but if your opinion fucking sucks, then you're not entitled to it anymore. Thoughts? I'd like to hear some feedback on this. Who decides if it sucks? Me. The guy who's streaming. You're entitled to your opinion, but if I declare your opinion sucks, you're no longer entitled. I'm no longer asking you. I mean, that's Napoleon fish size, but I don't need anything that size anymore. Not right now, anyway. You're entitled to your wrong opinion. No, you're not. Once you have a wrong opinion, you're, not, you're no longer entitled to have it anymore. You should disregard that opinion. Thoughts on the episode where Spongebob tried to get his license? That's like... 30, 40 episodes. That's like 30 or 40 episodes. Which, granted, I like all the episodes where he's in boating school. But the, you, you gotta narrow that down, man. That's like 40 episodes. That's like a whole theme of the fucking show is that he can't get his stupid license because he's an idiot. And he's bad at driving. I've had dreams like that where, like, I, like, get my license and I, like, just fucking forget how to drive. Ever have those dreams where you just don't know how to fucking drive? 
you're like fucking pressing on the brake pedal, but it's just not stopping. And so you have to like swerve through traffic not to hit people. And you're like, oh my God, I can't like, I can't stay between the fucking lines. I'm literally incapable of staying between the lines. Oh, I hate those fucking dreams. Stress me out so fucking much. I've seen that clip of SpongeBob going, who put you on the planet? Ugh. That's, yeah, that, that's, that's a strange one. You ever have dreams where you're driving from the back seat? No. No, I have dreams where I'm in the fucking driver's seat and I don't know how the fuck to drive. Now it's on Shanghai. Dude, it's Apache episode. I love Shanghai. Gotta love Shanghai. Yeah, and then the dreams, yeah, where your brakes don't work. Now you just gotta use your big, big toe. I'm actually doing that. I have a set of Logitech pedals below my desk, and I'm doing that right now with my big toe. Oh, uh, yeah. That's classic right there. Stop! Big toe. Doink! Mm. My phone just yelled at me. As a thank you for your loyalty, you've earned an offer for an additional line of credit. How about you... Fuck yourself, Capital One. I don't want an additional line of credit. I read the damnedest thing the other day, and this is a... You gotta be, like, 18 or older to enjoy this, but, um, conversation. But they were like, the optimal lines of credit is 11. 11 lines of credit? What the fuck are you doing with 11 lines of credit? I'm gonna open 11 credit cards? You're fucking insane. 11 lines of credit? Dude, I have, like, two and it stresses me out. What the hell is wrong with you? Eleven lines of credit. For an optimal credit score, you must have and maintain at least ten to twelve lines of credit. What? What are you talking about? Shut up. That's fucking... Eleven is fucking stupid. The optimal amount of debt is 270,000. Eleven lines of credit. That's whack? Yeah, I was like, there's no way. I read that years ago. God knows if that's still the advice, but I'm like, 11? 11? I have a credit card. Shit, I think I only have one. I have a credit card, and I, like, barely use that. It's 16 now? No, there's f no fucking way. How many lines of credit should I have? In a recent analysis, FICO found that cardholders with score above 800... Dude, you don't need 800, man. If y'all going for an 800 FICO credit score, dude, 750 is fucking good enough. No way! Dude, r slash credit cards! r slash credit cards i have eight credit cards 10 to 15 is a good range 10 to 15 you're fucking crazy thanks hexadan for the 18 months enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing you guys, you guys want a guys want a credit score reveal? <laughs> this is such a this is the stupidest thing I think I've ever done on stream. This, this might be the stupidest thing I've ever done on stream. Y'all want to y'all want a credit score reveal? Y'all want a credit score reveal? This is not my FICO score. This is my what are the outlets? Truest seven sixty three. That's my TransUnion credit score. Oh, wait, hang on. That hasn't been updated since February of last month. Mine's 942? No, the fuck it isn't. The max is 850. Mine's 764. That's my TransUnion credit report. God knows what my fucking FICO one is. I mean, probably about the same. That's great. Yeah. February of last month? Yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah, whatever, okay? That's pretty good. I'm in, like, the... I could probably get, like, a pretty good, like, deal on a... On, a, like, a car loan or something. On Experian, mine is 900 plus. You must got different standards. The max credit score in America is 850. Also, and you don't even need 850. You don't even need 800. You know what? You guys want to hear a little, little tale of a glow-up? 
Yeah, go chase it, dumb dog. I'm sorry, that was that was not called for. You guys want to hear um a little a little tale of success? Um, when I dropped out of college, and you know you don't get a grace period to start paying your loans when you drop out of college. Usually, when you graduate college in America, you get a grace period before you have to start paying your loans because they're like. Let's let them have, like, six months to get a job after they just graduated college, and then we'll start making them pay their student loans, because that six months, like, lets you get a job, usually. You know, not always, of course, but... Anyway, you don't get that grace period when you drop out, so I had to hit the ground running, essentially, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't pay my loans when they first started. So, I felt, like, really behind. Moray eels just don't exist. Shit. I fell really behind in my credit score. My first credit score I got was like 390 something. It's like 390. This is like 2016. It was like 390. But here I am. Seven, what was it? 764 or whatever? Here I am. 764. You can dig your way out of that hole. Are more eels even available right now? August 9 a.m. Yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't have written it down. I dug myself out of that hole. You can do it too, by golly. Yeah, it took eight years. Well, I've had it good for a few years now, but... Yeah, it took quite a few years, but we got there, eventually. I'm proud of you, Daddy. Thanks. <laughs> really? You know, I'll toss the occasional bait off of here just to see. Like, God knows, might be a Mahi Mahi giant Chivali while I'm looking. You never know. Where's it try? Can I flex my credit score real quick? Yeah, everyone just fucking share your credit score. Why not? We're at that part of the stream. Have you seen lore accurate LeBron James? No. In the UK, you don't pay your student loans until you earn 25000 per year. That's a pretty low threshold, really, but yeah, I guess that's fair. Mine is 9... You guys, you obviously... Don't say your credit score is 900-something, because you obviously live in a different country. I have no idea if that's good or not. Because you can't have 900 credit scores here. I don't even know what a credit score is. You'll, uh, you'll get older one day. Or you maybe live in a country that doesn't have them. Who knows? Maybe you don't. Finally, Jesus. Jesus? I don't know. Whatever, I got it. Who cares? Jesus. God. I was gonna say Jesus, and then I was gonna say Judas. And I said, Jesus. Cletus! The dog's out again! Shut up, ma! I'm gonna get a fucking noise complaint. I'm going to get a fucking noise complaint. Also, I would never tell my ma to shut up. That's Cletus. Cletus told his ma that, not me. I haven't checked mine in years, and my bank is saying mine is 807. Seems wrong. I mean, if you haven't, like, missed a payment in those years since you've checked it, I don't see why it would be. As long as you haven't, like, fucking messed it up. It generally just kind of goes up as long as you're just doing what you're supposed to be doing, so I don't know why. Hey, I made you check your credit... Or I, 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 made, I, I got you to check your credit score, and you're like, wow, that's good. Good golly. And so I think I made your day a little bit better. By golly, I, th I think I did it. I think I made somebody's day a little better. By, like, being like, hmm, maybe I should check my credit score. And then you're like, it's good. And then I think I made your day better. Might be the only human instance of me making somebody's day better. I made one of the best soft-boiled eggs for my ramen. Is the soft boiled egg is where like the yolk is like kind of mushy but like not fully runny but also not like fully Okay, hang on a second cuz I've thought this my entire life and actually I need the time to like mentally prepare myself for how I'm going to 
I, okay. I don't know how I'm going to phrase this, but by golly, I need at least one of you to validate me here. But I need like a second to manifest how I'm going to fucking say this. All right, one second. I'm scared? No, no, I'm cooking. I'm actually cooking the fucking most delicious meal you've ever seen. All right. So you guys know those things, those door stoppers, where, like, they install them on the wall. Here's the wall, and then here's where the door handle hits the wall. They'll put, like, a thing on on the wall to, like, absorb the hit, so that basically you don't put a fucking hole in the wall. You guys know those things, right? Door stoppers, the thing. You know those kinds that look like egg yolks? Like, hard-boiled egg yolks? I've always wanted to, like, eat one of them. No, not the springy ones. Like, the ones that look like egg yolks. No, okay, I gotta show you. Door stopper. Is that what they're called? Door stoppers? I gotta find you specifically the ones that look like egg yolks, because you'll never fucking believe me otherwise. They, 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 they like, absorb the, 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 the door... They, like, absorb the, 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 the door handle hitting the wall. God, I can't find them. They must be so old at this point that, like, no no picture of them exists anymore. I get, like, the springy ones that go, like, boing, 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 boing. I know those ones. Yeah, actually, somebody needs to, like, post one of these to the, um, if I could fucking find one. Somebody needs to post this to, like, that, uh... Forbidden Foods subreddit and be like the Forbidden Egg Yolk. Yeah, these, okay? These, 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 these. Except, usually, okay? Except usually, they're like, they've been on the door for so long. Specifically the left one. The left one. The left one, okay? You ever see one of those ones on the left, but it's been on the wall for so long that it's like sort of yellowed? And it's like, it's like this yellow green and it looks like an egg yolk? Forget this. For, honestly, don't even look at this fucking one on the right. It's going to distract you. This one. It, it, I don't even know why it has the nipple, really. Be, like, they usually don't. The one that was in the bottom of computer mice? No, that's a mouse ball. That's completely different. Also, I hated those things. Yeah, and the, yeah, 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 yeah. And the rubber is, like, yellowed because it's been on the fucking wall for so long. We have one on the left of our bathroom door. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes they'll be, like, yellow, and I want to, like, take it, and I want to I wanna eat it, because it looks like an egg yolk. That's normal. It's normal. Everyone feels that. I have seen a bite taken out of one of those. Yeah, it's fucking... It was me. I did that. Or at least I've wanted to do that for, like, a long time. That's just, like, the male fantasy, really. That's not normal, dude. I have seen everything that you guys have said in my chat ever. They Every message that you guys have ever posted has been logged away in my brain. For every 100,000 weird things that you guys do that are, quote, not normal, I do one thing. All right? So don't even make me pull out the plethora of fucking strange fucking things that you guys have said, done, or otherwise proven to me that you are not normal, all right? If I say one not normal thing about you, I promise you guys have said a hundred thousand things that are way less normal than that. I'm sort of like King Normal, really. Like, I think, you know how when you're a Pope, you can choose your name? Like, people think that, like, Pope Francis the 15th is, like, the 15th guy with Francis as his last name to become Pope. No, actually, you pick that shit. And actually, you pick that shit based on, like, well, you can pick whatever the fuck you want. I would pick Pope Normal. I would be Pope Normal the first, because I'd be the first normal Pope. Hey, man, ate a baby bell today. What the fuck is going on in life right now for me? Dude, you're off your fucking rocker right now. You're on a baby bell? You're off your fucking potato skins. I'm genuinely the most normal person here, and you can't prove me wrong. 
Do I need to pull up your entire chat history? Because I promise in the 999 plus messages that you have dropped in my fucking stream, I will find something that is very, very not normal. Your message on March 7th, 2024. F the libs. Get pwned. Pretty abnormal, dude. Pretty abnormal. Message. March 6th, 2024. You're touching my spot? Flushed emoji? You are pretty normal, though, I have to say. I'm, I'm struggling to find, like, a lot of abnormal things. Oh, here's a good one. February the 24th, 2024, at 12.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Quote, you're cutting off your pee-pee? I, I don't know if I can show it, but you're just going to have to trust me. That's not normal behavior, man. All right. Even if you are pretty normal, overall, you are by no means normal. Yeah, I'm a little fucked up. I'm not a fucking stupid fucking idiot. I knew it was just a pig, but for 50 seconds, I thought I was gonna die. I didn't fucking do this! Go ahead. Pull the plug. I'll kill you. What did they do to us? Not me, I'm normal, just a wee bit ignorant. No, you guys are normal. I gotta give you guys more credit. You're more normal than a lot of Twitch chats I've seen. You're more normal than a lot of Twitch chats I've seen. You ever go on, um... No, I'm not gonna clown on another streamer. Because ultimately, the chatters do not reflect the streamer. Most of the time, anyway. Damn it. Totally a sucker fish. Um, totally sucker fish. You guys remember that show Totally Spies? Weird. On ABC Family? Not weird. ABC Family was fucking awesome, but Totally Spies? Weird show. Loved it? Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't want to ruin it for you, but like, weren't the writers like a little strange? Weren't the writers like a little like weird? Ooh. Yeah, a lot of questionable shit in there. Do not forget to update the counter. Yeah, but what have I caught where I need to update the counter? I'm at 29, and I'm at... What the hell did I miss? Hey, thanks, Coffee, for the Tier 1. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Damn it, man. I keep forgetting to update the counter, and it's going to make it so much fucking harder for editing. I gotta... Guys, you have to yell at me every time I get a new fish. Counter, 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 counter. I'll remember what you're talking about, Okay. My request to you guys, please yell at me when I catch a new fish to update the counter. Until I get into the rhythm of doing it. But until then, I need your reminder. Um, Let me get back to my crafting table. And then I'm going to use the turlet. I just eyeballing him. Just eyeballing him. Just give him the old eyeball. Give him the old once over. How many clams have you collected so far? I don't know. I have no idea. 
Daggy boy, are we not a reflection of your personality? Thus, if we are weird, then you must be an oddball yourself. No, you guys aren't a reflection of me. I just said, chat is not nece necessarily a reflection of the streamer. Therefore, I cannot hold other streamers accountable for how weird some of their chats are. Because if somebody were to do that to me, hey, they think I'm a real fucking nutter. They think I'm a real fucking like whack job. You know, I, you know, I really couldn't have chosen two more fucking like masturbation adjacent words than nutter and whack job. Could I? I really couldn't have chosen two words. I gotta go. I have to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Oh my god. Whatever. I'll be right back. Hey, it looks comfy as fuck. It's not. Chair sucks. I gotta get a new one. Chair fucking sucks. Okay, but the common denominator is you. It may not be a coincidence that everyone in chat are silly geese. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Sure it is. I'm so glad that you guys... Never mind. I'm glad... Never mind. I'm just ha- No, no. There's no point. What's the point? There's no point. What am I looking for again? Ocean sunfish. Just for now, the ocean sunfish, and then eventually I'll work on the giant snake head as well. What happened? No, don't worry about it. You're not happy that we are, are ye? Why well, you say it like a pirate? Nah, what's the point, though? Yeah, exactly! Like, what's the point? There is no point. Opinions on yellow card, man? What is that? I don't know who I am anymore. I'm getting too much money. Part 1. Hello Dagonal, I found you on YouTube a couple of months ago, and I've been binge watching you every day. My grandma passed back in December, and your videos have been helping me greatly. No, you've been, wait, Bing watching me? Oh, that's cool. No, I'm, I'm happy. You know, whatever, like, method you use to watch my videos, I, yeah, I greatly appreciate it. I'm sorry to hear that. About your grandma, though. Um, personally, I use Google, though. Me personally, I'm a, I'm a Google guy. I don't I don't really like Bing very much. I think it was a bit shoehorned, like trying to get people to like convert from Google to Bing. Like, eh, that's gonna be a tough sell. But I'm I'm a Google guy. But thanks and thanks for the hundred bits. I appreciate that. Thank you and uh, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Not much of a Bing guy myself. No, no, not me. Damn, ruined a whole ass moment? Yeah, we don't really do moments here, man. We don't really do moments here. We don't really do, like, sentimentals here. Uh, we do jokes. We do jokes. J-O-K-E-S. Jokes. We don't really do sentimentals here. But I appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, I can't be sentimental. It's, like, literally not- I'm not capable of doing so on stream. I have to- I have to laugh through it. Google Edge, though. Shite sucks. Google Edge. Hang on a minute. He looks like a stand-up bloke. He looks like a stand-up guy. What's wrong with him? He's currently signed to All Elite Wrestling, where he performs under his real name and is former one-time AEW TNT champion. He is best known for his 25-year tenure in WWE from 98 to 2023, where he performed under the ring name, Edge. 
All right. What was, what was I doing? What did I do that for exactly? What was that relevant for? He seems like a nice guy. What's wrong with him? Yo, fuck that guy. Fuck, that's my guy. Is that your guy? Hmm. All right. I think chat just edged you. See, going for an edging joke is what we in the business call a low-hanging fruit. Not that I haven't feasted upon some low-hanging fruits myself in my day, but that's what we call a low-hanging fruit. That's called the low blow. That's called, like, the easy joke. Oh, fuck that guy. I don't know who he is or what we are doing. Well, I think that's, like, the epitome of wrestling. Like... Yeah, I don't fucking know who that guy... That's how people get into wrestling. They're like, yeah, I don't like that guy. I fucking hate that guy. I'm gonna fucking cheer for anyone who beats his ass. And then someone beats his ass, and that becomes your favorite wrestler for your entire life. I think that's just how wrestling goes. Like, you say, hey, fucking, I hate Hulk Hogan. Hey, what's this Randy, Randy Savage guy? He's kicking his ass. Hell yeah. Randy Savage becomes your favorite wrestler for the next 20 years. I think that's how it works, though. Like, yeah, you don't need to know that guy, but, like, you like, hey, you either like him and you're like, yeah, I like this guy, or, like, fuck this guy, I hate him. That's just how wrestling is. I miss Randy Savage. He died? No, I'm just kidding. I know he died. can't even get a fucking ocean sign. I mean, they are pretty rare, let's be honest. I never understood the appeal of wrestling. Yeah, like, me neither. I, I do understand the appeal. I really, I do. But, I don't know. I just never got into it. The only appeal of sports to me, and, like, I know, I don't drop the fucking, don't drop, don't say the word. You guys know the word. Don't say it. The whole reason why I even like sports in the first place is because, like, it was ingrained into me since I was a kid. I don't really think- I don't know how many, like, people become sports fans, like, halfway through their life, and they realize, like, oh, yeah, this stuff's kind of lit. I like this. It's more just, like, I don't know. I've just been watching them since I was, like, three, and so I just kind of, like, kept watching them, you know? You know? That's it. Yeah, sports ball. I, I, ooh, I don't like it. I don't, I, I don't like it. I, I love it. I hate it. I hate it so much because when people say like, oh, I heck and love sports ball. First of all, tell me that you got shoved in lockers when you were a kid without telling me that you got shoved in lockers when you were a kid. Second of all, I love how you just diminish things that I'm passionate about by turning them into one goofy word that completely diminishes my entire enthusiasm for what I enjoy, that being sports, by bastardizing it down to a, 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 what, to a, to a joke? Sports ball? Oh, it just gets my fucking goose so fucking much when people say sports ball. Oh, it just fucking gets my fucking goose so much. I, I know, I know, I shouldn't fucking care about it. I'm not a stupid fucking idiot. I just, I knew it was a pig. It, uh, it angers me. I don't like it. Dag likes playing with balls. The next unfunny joke that gets posted in the chat, I'm actually banning you. The next person who actually goes for, like, the unfunniest joke in chat, I'm going to ban you permanently. And I will have no sympathy for doing so. Be my guest. Didn't grow up with sports, but men have cooked here, so now I'm into F1. It seems like a lot of people who like F1 don't like any other sports. Dag so funny. Yeah, I know. I try to keep a high level of professionalism here. I try to keep a high level of professionalism and humor in this chat. And when you guys, since you are a reflection of me, don't reciprocate that, I get angry. I get really mad. When you guys go for the low-hanging stuff, I get really mad. You have to ask yourself, what- Have you ever asked yourself, what would Dagnall do? WWDD? 
Have you ever asked yourself that? What would Dagnall do in this situation? Dagnall hates chat. Thanks. You finally got it. Big Bois? Hey, just joined. The stream looks crispy today. The lighting is great. Thanks. No, I can't do that. That's just stupid. Yeah, and then I do the opposite. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was getting at. Like, you got to the punchline before I even told the joke. Have you played New York Times Connections? No, but I know what it is. It always is like, name four, four famous actors from the 1980s, and I'm like, ah, you lost me. Ah, I don't really care. Nah, I don't really care. Name four colors? Easy. Four Oscar-winning actresses from the 1940s. I, I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. I still play the Flaggle every day. Go fuck with the Flaggle. It's the only Wordle game that I still play anymore. We should invent a sport called sports ball so that people can't use it as an insult anymore. Ah! Scared the fucking shit out of me. Thanks, Kyra Lynn, for the raid. I appreciate that. Thank you. <clears throat> Hope your stream is good. And, uh, um, Dagnall. Name five kinds of trees. Goddess. Shit. Oak. Sycamore. Birch. Teak. Redwood. Got it. Boom. Boom. Time that person out. Time that person out for ten minutes. Challenge me. You're coming into the fucking ring with me? Asking me tree questions? Boom. No maple? Dude, I can't name every tree. You're asking me to pick five? I'm gonna... I'm going to... I'm going to... Just... I'm sorry. I'm gonna miss your favorite fucking tree. I'm gonna miss your favorite fucking tree. I'm sorry. It's just the reality of the situation. I'm gonna miss that tree. Alright? I can't name every tree under the exi entire existence. I love weeping willows. I love weeping willows. I can't name weeping willows, dude. I, I gotta think of, like, the easier ones first. Time that guy out for 200 hours. Stream is good hunting for Molly at 100 tickets and no luck. Molly. Molly. Molly, 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 Molly. No, I'm not gonna say it. No, I'm not gonna say it. I was gonna make a joke, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna follow my own advice and not go for the low-hanging fruit. Yeah, Weeping Willows, dude. They're good. No, you just blow them from stupid town. Dude, don't say that to me. Dude, no, I just blew up from Smart Town. Smart people. Like, fuck Mark Zuckerberg and people. Yeah, just whatever. I don't care. Don't say that to me. I'm really smart, actually. Don't insult my I baby don't know Molly. Who I am anymore. I'm getting too much money. Part two. That was my first ever cheer. I've never even bought bits before. There was a discount for 300, so, you know. Wait, I was gonna say, do you want Molly? I got a guy for that. Ah, no, okay. No, I, just, I was just thinking, no, it's not funny though. It's not funny. Nah, that, was, that wasn't that funny though. Ah, that's, 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 that wasn't that funny, though. Ah, that's, that, that wasn't funny. Nah, it's not funny. You don't have to laugh at that one. I'm not asking any, I'm not asking anyone to laugh at that. I'm not asking anyone to laugh at that. You don't have to, it's okay. Yes! Come on, not whale shark. Well, if I haven't gotten a whale shark... Well, have I gotten a whale shark yet? Okay, I haven't, so that's fine. I mean, I would have rather had it been ocean sunfish, but whatever. That's fine. It's good. Counter. Don't even say it. I got it. Ha! <laughs> Your ass thought I was gonna forget. 
Nah, that's good, brother. You like that one? You like that? I thought that one was all right. I thought that one was all right. I thought it was okay. What if I, like, wore my glasses, like, not even, like, down to the absolute bottom of my nose? But, like, would you guys notice if I, like, put my glasses down, like, down here for an entire stream? Would you be like, man, something's fucking off about him today, but I just can't put my fucking finger on it. What the hell is wrong with him today? Like, you're just looking at me like, man, something is just fucking off about him. He doesn't look right, but I, I, I just can't figure it out. I bet you guys would never figure it out. Damn it. No, I don't like it, though. Well, you turned that way? Wait, what? Is that not noticeable? This is Judge Judy. I call this the Judge Judy. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm getting too much money. Thanks for the 100 bits. Dot last one. Flies away. Thanks for the 100 bits. Thanks for the 100 bits before that. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free view. Y'all fuck with the Judge Judy? Hang on, y'all. I can't even see it because my fucking... I can't see it because my... I'm fucking blind. Hey, I gotta take a screenshot of it. Oh my god, it's freaky. I don't like it. Hang on. Hold up now. Oh, it doesn't show up. It's just black screen. The hell? Alright, whatever. That's freaky. I don't like it. I love having big glasses, man. Big glasses are so good. My my tax guy, God bless his soul. I love him so much. You know he's a good tax guy when you fucking love your tax guy because it's like, man, taxes. Hate that. I hate anyone who has to deal with them. But I know I love this guy. But, you know, he pisses me off. He doesn't, but he, and he doesn't do anything to piss me off. But he, but he has like, and, and, and I'm sorry, they they just make me mad. And, and this is not an insult to anyone who prefers this style. But he has thin glasses, and I'm talking about like, like really thin glasses like this. Hang on, I have to pull up my webcam. His his glasses are like rectangles, and they're like this tall. I'm like, how do you see out of these? They're like, they're like, they're like, they're so small. I'm like, dude, you gotta get some, like, big glass, big, big is in style, man. I wanna, I wanna shake them. I wanna say, dude, bigging them, bigging those things up. That's how you know he's a numbers expert. Hey, it's your tax guy here. Yeah, what's your initials? What's, the, what's my tax guy's initials, huh? Drop them. If you drop them and they're right, I'll believe you. Drop them. Yeah, Bay exactly. Bayonetta's glasses pissed me off, too. Although, I think in Bayonetta 3, she got new glasses. But yeah, her glasses in 1 and 2 fucking piss me off. Yeah, they do. Actually, yeah, Bayonetta's glasses do piss me off. They do. I hate thin, tiny glasses. I'm scared to dox myself in front of these toxic chatters. That's why I said initials. That's why I didn't say drop your full name address and your fucking go-to McDonald's order, man. I said drop the initials. Fine, drop the first one. Drop the first initial. Drop just your first name initial. You have a 1 in 26 chance of getting it right. No, I asked them. I didn't ask Joe Blow. I didn't ask all you guys. D? Ah. Get out of here. You're not my tax guy. You're not my tax guy. Beater? Uh... Hey, Peter! No, it's not there. Hey, Peter! No, it's really not there today. Um. Hey, Peter! That one's. Alright. Why aren't you just doing it on stream? Dude, imagine. Oh, you know mewing? I do that, but like 10 times that. I like puff my jaw out about 10 times fucking feet to put on that fucking voice. It's embarrassing. 
Hey, Peter. Hey, uh, Peter. No, it's not there today. Some days it's just there, some days it's not. It's just one of those days. It's just one of those days. It's not there. You gotta accept that. Don't fight it, just accept it. It's, it's, it's not there today. Is that hat... Has that hat son Miku next to the timer? I've been here all stream. How did I not notice that? The hell are you talking about? Who's that? Who is that man? I don't fucking know. I'm asking them. Who? I don't know. Why do you think I'm asking? You didn't you if I knew, wouldn't you think I'd say some shit like, oh Hat Sun Maku. Oh I love them. Weird comment? Elaborate. What is that? Who is that? Alright, whatever. What do I need? Oof. You know who I'm on about. Don't say that. Alright, man. Don't disrespect my girl like this. Oh, you dating? Dude just made it up and expected us to roll with it. Dude, if I'm gaslighting Gertrude, if you expect me to believe that. You're crazy. Can y'all ever make your therapist cry? No, I haven't. I'm, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I have not. I'm normal. Hey. Oy vey. Give me a get me a drink, bartender. It's big, but I don't think I need it. Oh, I do! Cool. I was like, I didn't know Blue Martins could spawn right now. Cool. Nice. Get me a drink, bartender. Does anyone know what I'm referencing when I say that? I, I say that like all the time. And I feel like People are just like, why does he say that? I, I probably reference a lot of things. I probably reference a lot of things that you guys just don't know. And you probably just think it's like some weird, like, tick that I have. Where I just randomly say, like, fucking stupid shit. Get me a drink, bartender. Yeah, it's the fucking town with no name shitty ass point and click western game from like 2000. Get me a drink, bartender. I'm glad at least a couple people know. Have you heard of the game Ooblets? It's a fun collectibles game with tasks. Nah. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's good, because half the time I don't know what any of you are talking about. So, honestly, how's it feel? Ooblets is fun! Ooh! Oh, I'm gonna go try it! It's a- it's a- <laughs> It's a cozy game! <laughs> it's so cozy! <laughs> I'm fucking insane today. I don't know. I'm I'm fucking I'm off of it today. Oh, it's a cozy game, streamer. You gotta play my cozy game. <laughs> no, I don't. Check general channel. I'm not gonna check. Gen I'm not. Gonna you can't just summon me like a fucking wizard to the general channel of the Discord. I'm not like you're fucking. You can't just wave your wand and expect me to do something, man. Also, never mind. It's like Dagnall found Molly. Dude, if I was on drugs right now, it would I would be like calmer. I would be like calmer if I was on drugs right now. 27 months. Hope you get that partner plus. Thanks. Thanks for the three years, Sarah Bear. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. And thanks for contributing towards the partner. Plus, push. 
ADHD be like that? Okay, so let's see. I've been diagnosed with autism today. I've been diagnosed with ADHD today. Look, I'm not saying I don't have ADHD. But, I don't know. If I had ADHD, wouldn't you think I'd say some shit like... Guys, I'm so ADHD. Think about it. Just some, Just think about it. Just think about it. You don't have ADHD? Yeah, I probably do, man. I probably do. I probably am like... I probably got like a lot of shit. I don't need Twitch chat telling me that, though. I don't need a doctor telling me that. Because you know what they could do? They could scribble their little pen. And be like, yeah, get this guy some Zanny. 50 milligrams. Is that too much? Would that like kill me? I don't know. What are you looking for? Like in life? Like a purpose. Like, I, I, I want to I seek a purpose, all right? I want to, like, feel like I finally, for the first time in my entire life, have, like, fucking something to work towards, okay? Somebody to love, somebody to love me, a purpose to fulfill with that person, okay? I want life to have meaning, and I want to enjoy the time that I'm here. I don't fear death, but I do fear dying alone. I do fear... Laying on my deathbed and recalling my life and realizing how much time I've wasted on this mortal coil. Wasting away. That's what I'm searching for, is to not have that happen. Okay? If I'm asking for fish, ocean sunfish. I fucking love pussy. Okay. Quarter life crisis caught on camera. Dude, this is not just an epiphany that I had just now. You're not alone. You have us. That doesn't make it better. I think that makes it worse. Bro, my cat typed on my keyboard and typed, yo. That means he's hungry. You don't want to feed him. Hello from Denmark. I'm new here. Oh, I'm Dagnal here. Welcome to Dagmark. Good lord, this man is so funny. <sighs> Dagmark, baby, can we get some mods in chat? Can we get some bands in chat? Whatever. The smile. Ah, Are we daggish? Are you pregnant? Stop giving me the worms. What is the fucking? I already caught both the worms. What are they called? Worms? Can you buy an island and name it Dagmark? Um, you got like a tier three for me? Then I can start talking about buying an island. You just got no turnip next to your name, and until I see that turnip next to your name, I don't think I'm buying shit, man. What's the best pizza place in your town, Dag? Oh, are you the one that's coming to Erie for the eclipse? Um, best pizza in Erie, man. We're not like really a pizza. Dude, if you want to come to Erie, you got to eat wings. Okay, I'm telling you, if you're coming to Erie, you have to eat wings. Don't come here and say, I want some good old Erie pizza. No, we don't have very good pizza. You got to come to, if you're coming here, you got to get wings. We have, we're a great wings town. In which case, I have some good places to recommend. Pizza, though? Best wings? Okay, I really like... Otis 12 has really good wings. I... Coaches, it's a sports bar. Really good wings. Start there. I mean, you're not, you don't need that many recommendations. You're not eating wings every day that you're here. Start there. That, that's probably like the only... That's probably the biggest ones. Thanks, little rat dude, for the tier one. Appreciate that. Will you buy an island now? No, I can't buy an island. What do I look like? But thanks for the tier one. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. And thanks for contributing towards the partner 
plus push. Appreciate that. Favorite type of wings? I'm a honey mustard guy. Although I do like a good garlic parmesan dry rub. I like a oh, just classic buffalo wing. Classic. It's good. I'll bounce somewhere between those three, depending on how I'm feeling. Basic bitch? I'm gonna fucking... I, I got your nose. What are you gonna do about that, motherfucker? Sorry, I gotta. I'm, 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 I'm an uncle now. I gotta like. I gotta start doing uncle jokes. I gotta start doing uncle jokes, guys. Do you think I'm gonna be like the funny uncle? Do you think that I'm gonna be like the uncle that like, yeah, I get to stay with Uncle Dag, yeah, woo? You think I'm gonna be the good uncle, or you think I'm gonna be like the, oi, what's Bozo doing here? You'll be the Funkle. That sounds like an infection. You look different today. Like a good different. One second. I can explain? Ew, turn the light back on, please. Dude, imagine looking at somebody and thinking that it's okay to say ew. I wouldn't personally, because I would fear that the other person would be like, ew. What do they mean, ew? But, you know. Hmm, that might cause some, like, deep-rooted insecurity that bothers them for the rest of the day. But I don't know, maybe I'm fucking weird. I don't know, maybe I'm fucked up. I thought you were leaning into the mic so that we can listen to your tummy grumble. What would that even do? How the fuck would that even... What, what did I... Somebody said you look different today. Oh, hey, Dad, you look really different today. Oh, thanks. <laughs> the fuck would that do? Would it just be the weirdest thing? People would just think that I'm fucking strange. People would just think that I'm fucking weird. That'd be the stupidest fucking thing I've ever done. Why would you think that? Are you good at throat singing? <laughs> Wait, actually. Wait, actually, maybe I am. Holy shit. Wait, once I find it, though. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, not really. I don't know what's worse, that noise or when you burp. Dude, a burp is like, and then I'm done. That was like 15 seconds of like the worst shit imaginable. My neighbor mowing their lawn sound like, yeah, only if it's at fucking six in the morning. Are we at the right amount of fish? Yeah. Me when I take a massive sh- okay. What hole is that sound coming out of? I don't know, like, what are you implying? Never mind, don't answer that. I got acid reflux, so I'd be burping like every five seconds. Guys, somebody answer me. I'm not reading that comment. You know which one, though. 
Somebody answer me. What's it called when like you burp a fucking lot, but you don't drink soda and you don't have acid reflux? You just fucking burp a lot. What's that called? Is that called gassy boy? What is that? Is there a disease for that? Just like you just fucking burp a lot? <clears throat> drunk as hell? I'm not drunk. It's called gassy. Yeah, I guess I'm just that gassy guy. Just gassy Gary over here, I guess. Fuck off. What's up, ordinary plants? What fish are you looking for? Ocean sunfish. It's hiding, but I'm gonna find it. I just came in. Okay, finish the sentence. We need a drunk stream? No, I don't drink. I hiccup a ton. I hic hiccuping pisses me the fuck off. Dude, I I don't know. Is anyone else like do I have like anger issues but like hiccuping pisses me the fuck off. Hiccuping I like <clears throat> And by like the third one I'm like I'm fucking mad. I'm like angry. I'm like god, why is it why am I doing this? This is so fucking stupid. Just fucking <clears throat> stop. It, it actually makes me mad. Like, I do get, like, a deep... I feel like it's, like, a primal rage. I really do feel like it's, like, a primal rage. Like, somebody just fucking, like... It activates the part of my brain... That's, like, somebody just bashed, like... My fucking, like... Tree fort down with a rock. Like, I'm a caveman, and you just fucking destroyed my shelter. That's, like, the part of my brain that it activates. I just get mad. I'm like, stop. This is literally just, just stop. I like hold my breath. I do everything and stop. Fucking stop. And then just keep going. It pisses me the fuck off. It's such a, oh, I don't like it. I don't like when my body is out of my control. It makes me mad. I will get it one day. One day you'll feel my wrath. Yeah, plug your nose. This is what, and then, and then this is what like everybody's fucking hiccuping advice is: plug your nose and ears and chug water. Do it upside down for 180 seconds while breathing rhythmically throughout it. And it's like, dude, I'm not doing all that. I'm not fucking doing all that. Do I look like I'm made of time? No. Do I look like I can just do that? I don't have the. I don't have the means. For me, it stops as soon as someone acknowledges I have it. Oh, you're breathing right now. Your heart is pumping right now. Me, when I do a little trolling, the game- Fuck you! Seriously, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Man, what the fuck, dude? Are you serious? What the fuck? Come on, man. Fuck you. Do you know your bones are wet? Yeah, I'd be more concerned if they were dry, to be honest. People always say that, like, oh my god, your bo your bones are moist right now. Uh, yuck. Yeah, what is, but that whole fucking, like, insides are moist, dude. I hope your tongue... Meow, 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 meow. Dagnall does do a little trolling. I was gonna threaten a viewer. So thanks for that interruption. I appreciate that. That probably saved me from getting banned. Thanks for the 18 months, to Little Toaster. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate that. Dude, that's fucked up. Your brain is pretty wet too. Probably the wettest of all. I don't like thinking about my brain because it's, I don't, I know it's like such like fucking like, oh yeah, <laughs> it's like literally the most like brainless fucking thing you can say, ironically. But like thinking about my brain fucks me up because it's like, it's my fucking brain thinking about my brain. I don't know. It like fucks me up. Sometimes I think about like, what if, what if like I thought about the idea of like my brain stopping? Well, that's my brain thinking about that. Could, does my brain have the ability to like shut itself off if I think about it too hard? 
I don't like it. I don't like it. It's, it fucking freaks me out. Does your brain have the ability to do that? And like, if I'm like a little bit zonked and I'm like a little bit anxious, I'll be thinking about that and I'll start to have like a little like, ooh, I like jump because I like freaked myself out. You ever do that where you freak yourself out and you do like, ooh, God, you snap yourself out of it. Look at my shit. Look at my little thing. Look at my thing. Oh, big boy. Big boy. No. Yeah, too much weed does that. That's what happens. Yeah, you really sound like you're a big weed guy. You sound like you know what you're talking about. All right, Mr. Weed. All right, Mr. Marijuana. That's what I'm talking about. Mary Jane herself. Nah, man, I quit smoking. Yeah? I never started. Don't stop me. Please, miss, please, Mr. Weed Guy was my father. Please, call me Mary. Nah, that wasn't funny. Nah, dude, I gotta, like, I gotta evaluate my own jokes when I tell them. I'm not shy to say, like, ah, that wasn't funny when I didn't find a joke funny. I just didn't think about it before saying it, and I'm like, ah, that wasn't funny. That one wasn't funny. Sorry. On a, on a 0 to 10, that one wasn't funny. What was my best joke today? You guys gotta, at the end of stream, we need to have a little, like, meeting, and we'll be like, what was Dag's best joke today? What was Dag's best joke today? So I'll ask you, what was my best joke today? What's the deal with one way in? What the hell is that? It'll always be the seafood joke. I didn't make the seafood joke today, though. Also, what's the hell's the seafood joke? Nah, that wasn't funny. I like the cancer one. Dude, that's fucked up. You weren't supposed to like that one. That says a lot about you, really. They weren't supposed to like that one. wasn't supposed to be funny. The growling stomach. Yeah, that one was that one was pretty funny. But then again, that wasn't even me. That was just like a hypothetical that was set up by somebody in chat. That barely even was me. It wasn't exactly a joke, but the one that talked about Frank. Oh yeah, that was that was pretty funny too. I like to think that of the average twenty-seven point like six year old. What to see? Hang on. April, May, June, July. Um, birthday's a little less than three months away. Or full rest of April. April 11th, May 11th, June 11th, July 11th. So like 3 point like 3.6 months away. As the average 27.75 year old... I think that I've made more people laugh than the average 27.75 year old. I think I have. I think I've made more people laugh than the average person my age. My laughs per minute is kind of like off the chart. I'm not like Norm Macdonald yet, but I think I'm doing all right. I don't think that's true. What do you mean that's not true? I've made way more people laugh than the average person my age. I think so, anyway. Yeah, my LPMs are off the chart. Damn, D Dangle got the funny. <laughs> I don't get it. Is that blue? That's blue, right? Okay. But don't yell at me. My mom texted me an hour ago. Oh, man. What the hell? Why didn't nobody tell me? Um. Uh. 
I don't care. You guys are making fun of me right now because I'll tell you in a second. Yeah, guys. I, uh... You guys want to know how I type on my phone? Wow, ignoring your mother? Mother is calling me during work. She knows what she's getting into. You guys want to know how I type on my phone? I, I be typing like... I'm a one finger guy. Remember how yesterday I was saying how two fingers is best? Well, that was something else entirely. But I'm a one finger typer. Old man, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You know what I even do sometimes? I, I, I use the swipe on my fucking phone. I do. I fucking swipe. I'll use the fucking swipe. And I'm not fucking sorry for it. I am not fucking sorry for it. I wouldn't do all the edit. I will never apologize for being the way that I am. I am as God made me, after all. I'm not, but I will never apologize for who I am. You valid? Yeah, I know. I'm not, it's not anger issues. I don't have anger issues. You guys just... You just hate- you hate me for no reason. You say, ah, oh, he just fucking types like a bitch. No, I'm good. Are you a fan of Minesweeper? Yeah. Y'all wanna play a quick game of Minesweeper? Two fingers for what? I don't know, I didn't make the comment. I use- sw I love swiping, yeah! So you weren't lying about being 40 years old. I never- I never did. Play Minesweeper? Alright, I got you. This literally won't take but, like, one minute. This won't take but, like, one minute, I promise. Alright, we got, ladies and gentlemen, we got ten mines. Alright, one. That's right there. So that's good. These two are good. These two are good. We got one, that's right there, got that. We got two here, let's come back to that. One right here, got that, right there, right there. Got one right there, we already got that one covered, that's right there. We already got one right there, okay, so we got four there. Right, let's come back to that. Let's go here, here, those are the two that that one indicates. Right, we got that one here, which means those two are bombs. Okay, back to it here, that two right there. So one of these two right here is a bomb. Ooh, it's gonna be tricky now, folks. We got one right there. Hmm. Oh, dude, this is a fucking toss-up here, man. We have no idea what, what... We got one more bomb, and there's three spaces here. Okay, well, we know that this one's good. Okay. And then we know that this one's bad, so this one's good. Got it. Easy. Told you. Hoo wee I don't know, I thought Minesweeper was more of a guessing game. There are situations in Minesweeper where you might have to guess, like a 50-50 chance. You literally cannot figure out, through logic, which one's a bomb and which one's not. That happens sometimes, but you can usually deduce it. Are you the best at Minesweeper? Nah, not even close. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Haters and shambles, they stay picking the corn out of my shit. gonna be a YouTube video? Um, yeah. I was very passionate about Minesweeper when I was younger. Yeah, I mean, I had a family computer. The only games that I think was able to run was Solitaire and Minesweeper. You, dude, if you were my age, you know how to play Minesweeper because... I mean, you're my age. You had a fucking Windows Millennium Edition or Windows XP family computer when you were a kid. And ain't no fucking games on that thing. You had to play... When you didn't have... When you couldn't fucking log into the dial-up, because, oh, my, 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 my friend's gonna call. Don't use the dial-up, my friend's gonna call. And so you're like, ah, but I want to play something. So you play Solitaire, you play Minesweep, you play Spider Solitaire. I love Spider Solitaire. Spider Solitaire is fun. Everyone's a hater, though. They say, play a real game. Play Overwatch. If you're not getting called slurs in the game, is it even really a game? That's what people say to me, and I say... I don't know what I say. I don't know what I say. Honestly, they owned me. I got no comeback. They owned me. They got me. 
I got fucking owned. I got nothing to say. You guys ever get owned and you just can't even think of a comeback, so you just walk away, like, crying? Ah. Uh, streamer gets silenced. Come on, please. Please, God, be an ocean sunfish. I'm so tired of looking. Please, 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 please. Yes! 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 Alright, we're good. Nice. Alright, and now we just need to get a giant snakehead from the pond. Yeah, then you figure, oh, you're in the shower, like... Your mom! Damn it, I should have said that. Yeah, well... <laughs> Brad? More like bad. <laughs> oh, man. But you, you thought of it about five hours too late. Where's my pawns at? Is that really where my pond is? Judas. I'm gonna grab some bait. Oh, yeah, the counter. Thank you. Counter's fucked up? Wait, it's fucked up? Wait, what, did, what happened? Why is it at that low? What the hell? Was it not at, like... How long has that been fucked up? Guys, you gotta be on this shit. 32, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? A while, I think? Wait, so you've known for a while that it's fucked up and you didn't say nothing? Making the editing process so much harder? Eh, she scared it away, not me. You ain't paying attention? You're not paying me any money. Well, yeah, you are. You gotta turn up next to your name. Rats. Whatever. Oh, was it from Minesweeper? Oh, yeah, maybe. Sometimes I tab out and, like, yeah, it gets fucked up for no reason. Even though the hotkeys to make it go up and down are up and down on the keyboard. And I'm like, well, I don't remember ever pressing up or down. There must be something else that triggers it then. Bitch, I did. Are you calling me the B-word? I'll have you know. That's a naughty word in many languages. Don't ignore me, young man. Stop. I mean, I'll catch everything in the pond that I see that I know isn't a giant snakehead, because I know for a fact I haven't caught anything in the pond yet this run. Except for a carp, I think. But that's it. Definitely nothing this size. So we got the crawfish. And we got whatever this is. A crawfish. Okay. That was the first game you ever played. Um, well, breathing. Um, like, crying. Like, the first game I ever played. Breathing, crying, uh, thinking. Um... I don't know. Getting out of the womb. He's not exactly like your household... There we go. Nice. He's not exactly your household classics, such as Monopoly and Life, but, um, you know, still games if you choose to make them. Such a thing. Fun fact, babies mutely cry in the womb. Well, it'd be kind of fucked up if I was just like, if they wasn't mute. Be like, honey, your stomach, it's its crying. Are you hungry? What's going on? There we go. Although, I don't know if it's that size. I feel like it's bigger. Yeah, cart. Oh, I haven't caught a carp. What? Wait, really? What did I caught? I swear to God I caught something in the pond already. I thought it was a carp. Oh. Guess not. Alright. Almost halfway, then. Dude, life in the womb was pretty sweet. Not that I remember it, but, you know. It's sort of like getting out of bed in the morning. 
Nice. All right, we got it. All right, and that's everything at Nog... Nogus? August at 9 a.m. Now September at 4 a.m. for a catfish. But wait, 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 wait. It was the catfish that I had already caught out of the pond. That's right. It was the catfish that I had already caught out of the pond. Yeah, so we actually don't need that. We can skip that and go straight to September at 9 a.m. for the nibblefish, piranha, and olive flounder. Which we have gotten the olive flounder, but not the nibblefish and not the piranha. All right, let's do that. Are you also donating, though? Not donating. Mm -mm. Well, okay, September 9 a.m., be there or be square. Yeah, that's fucking right. Got it. Got it. Ow. Damn it, I can't snap. Nah, I ain't there. Hi, Diagonal. I found your videos a little while ago. They're really enjoyable and rekindled some AC love for me. Keep up the good work. Thanks. I'll do that. I appreciate it. Counter? The counter's good. Counter's fine. I'm just saying counter on occasion so he can't moan at us for reminding him. No, what you're doing is you're making me think that the counter is off, and it gets me paranoid that it's off, and I have to go into the fucking Nook Miles app to check that it's not off. All you're doing is you're fucking me up. So stop. Only say counter if the counter is off. Do you know how to whistle? Fuck. Um... No, I don't. Like, I whistle that, even getting that, which is lame as fuck, is like, I have to inhale for that, which is strange. I feel like you shouldn't have to inhale to whistle, but I can't exhale whistle. I can, like, that's inhaling. No. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do what I just did. Uh, and definitely don't do it with your fingers right here. Um, no, I can't do it. No, it's just wet in my lips. I was just trying to, whatever, I don't care. This light, now that it's getting darker outside, this light, I swear to God, is getting brighter. If my skin, somebody tell me, please, if my skin starts, like, melting off so that I can, like, and, like, put it back. That'd be so fucked. Dude, that would be so fucked up, man. If my skin just started fucking melting in the middle of the stream. And so he's like, is someone gonna tell him? Yo, is somebody gonna tell him that, like, his fucking skin is melting off of his fucking face? Like, is, who's gonna tell him? His skin's doing the thing again. And I gotta be like, oh, thanks for telling me. You know, I, like... I, like, put it back. Oh, yeah. Your skin's melting again, dude. It just... Oh, thanks, man. Like a fucking wet spaghetti-o. <clears throat> anyway. Where's the shop? I hear the motherfucker has a flea on him. Stupid ass. I hate him. He has a flea on him. I I don't see it. I don't acknowledge it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Is that what you meant earlier by putting your face on? Um... No, that was just a joke. That'd be fucked up. I, I wouldn't do that. What was it, September? Yeah, so this is probably a salmon, right? Let's get that out of the way. That'd be easy. Piece of shit. Biting down five times just to mess me up. Alright, got that. Man, they stopped doing SpaghettiOs with the mini sausage slices. Good. Good. Honestly, if it makes people eat that fucking infernal dinner meal, that's a good thing. That's- that's- Chef Boyardee, I'm just gonna say it. I'm- I'm throwing down- I'm throwing- I'm throwing down with Chef Boyardee's little bitch. Chef Boyardee and his confections 
the worst fucking thing you could ever possibly feed, like, a growing child. They're for kids? I don't give a shit. They're disgusting. It, it's honestly the worst goddamn thing you can feed your child. I hate them so much. Bouillardies? I don't get it. But it did, like... It made my, like, teeth hurt. Spaghetti's always tasted like metal. Yeah, like uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. Why well, they do taste like metal? Why is there some shit that just tastes like metal? I swear to God, they be putting metal in things. They go down to the steel factory. They call the boys of the steel factory and they say, "Hey, we need some fucking steel." What's your going rate for like shredded steel so we can put it in our fucking spaghettios? I swear to God, they do that. Paint on hamburger helper. Mm. Mm, I'm rubbing my tummy right now. Oh, I love Hamburger Helper. I'm doing like a big old like... Mm, you know, like some fucking like Looney Tunes shit when they're like hungry. And they'll like rub their belly. Yeah, I'm doing that shit right now. I fucking love Hamburger Helper. What's your favorite food? I don't know. I don't know. Fucking bread. <laughs> no, seriously, though, bread. Bread. Like, Wonder Bread? No? What kind of bread? I, I don't know. Bread. It's, a, it's the basis of everything good. It's the it's the base. Like, I don't, is bread the tastiest thing in the world? No. But, like, I love some fucking good ass bread. I love bread. I, on a pizza, for example, I love pizza, and there's nothing that makes a pizza kind of ruined for me than, like, when the crust is kind of, like, bad. I'm like, man, this sucks. I really wanted some good crust. Piranha. No. Well, have I caught that? No, I haven't. So, I guess that works. Pink lung. <laughs> That's funny. That's one of the better puns in this game. Fuck you. <laughs> Pink lung. That's funny. I like that. ACNH pun tier list. That's actually a good idea. Good idea. No, but like, bread itself is not the tastiest thing in the world. Some bread is really fucking good. Sometimes I just get a hankering for like toast and butter. I don't know why. I'll have, like, every year, and I'm sort of getting out of this phase now, but every year I'll have, like, a two- to three-month phase where I just buy fucking bread and butter, and I swear to God, every night I eat some bread and butter. Like, toast the bread, put some butter on it, I just eat toast. I, I swear to God, it's the fucking most delicious thing in the fucking world. And it's like, yeah, it's not like fucking, I don't know. It's not like the tastiest, but it is to me in that moment. That's like the tastiest fucking thing in the world. I swear to God. I I, I, I love bread. I love bread so much. I, I really I do. And it's like the basis of like everything good. If something has bread in it and that bread part isn't good, I'm like, it's ruined. It's, 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 it's over. This pizza's bad. Nibblefish. No, but again, haven't caught it, so I'll take it. This is why it's good to start in summertime, because you'll end up just getting a lot of things that you don't need when you need them, but... Or when that you do need, just not when you need them. And it works out. Saves from having to get it later. Oh... No. Are Berliner balls a thing outside of Europe? Uh, 
I don't know what the hell those are. Oh my god, a crisp sandwich? Yeah, dude, putting like potato chips on a sandwich is kind of elite, actually, yeah. Putting potato chips on a sandwich is pretty elite. Like, that is just a surefire way to make the sandwich better, crunchier, and better. Did you get a new haircut? No, I actually need a haircut, like, really badly. I'm, I'm getting fucking shaggy, dude. I'm getting shaggy. I'm about to start saying some shit like, Zoink, Scoob! That wasn't very funny. Nah, that wasn't. On the... No, I hope that that's nobody's favorite joke at the, uh... At the end of the stream, where we go over our favorite jokes. I hope nobody says that one, because that one wasn't very funny. Nah, that one wasn't very funny. I just made a sandwich with some Dutch crunch bread. So good. Monica, you live in San Francisco. Not to dox you. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. But you live near Pescadero? You gotta go Arcangeli Grocery in Pescadero, California. Go get some good-ass fucking bread. Oh my god, it's so good. Please, go to Pescadero. Damn, okay, geez? No, I promise, I'll make it up for it. I'm, I'm good for it. Just try that bread and you'll forgive me. It's so fucking good. Get some artichoke bread. It's so fucking good. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Do crepes count as bread? But they're like bread based, right? Yeah, actually, this goes for anybody who lives in California. Pescadero, California. It's this tiny little, teeny tiny little town on the coast of California. It's right off of the California one. And they have Arcangeli Grocery Company in Pescadero. And I swear to God, they sell the fucking best sandwiches of all time. Their bread is fantastic. Oh my god, if you are ever driving up the west coast of California, or down, if you live in, like, Crescent City, please, god, go to fucking Arcangeli Grocery in Pescadero, California. You will not regret it. This is a certified... Da Tell them Dagnall sent you. Tell them Dagnall sent you. Hour away from me? Worth it. Tell them Dagnall sent you. They'll be like, ah. That's just what they'll say. They, they're not even going to say anything other than that. They'll just be like, ah! And you'll be like, what was that? And they'll be like, ah! Yeah, Dagnall certified. They're going to stamp it on the door. They're going to be like, who the fuck is Dagnall? No, I just told you. They're going to be like, ah! They're just going to make that noise. And you'll be like, okay. Um, it's a bit too far away, but if I visit the U.S., I will go there. Yeah, I mean, I did say, like, people in California or nearby. I didn't really, like, summon, you know. People from East Timor. Yo! East Timor mentioned! Let's fucking go! My country! Hoo, 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 hoo. Cheese or no cheese on your pizza? That's a bait question. We call that a bait question in the business. We call that rage bait. Yeah. Cool. Does Canada count as nearby? Well, it depends. That's a big country. Like, I don't know, the second biggest one. Um, so, you could be in, like, Ottawa, and then it's like, nah, not really. Then you could be in Vancouver, and you're like, yeah, maybe. Anyway, that's 40 fish. So, halfway through this one, still good. Still good! We did get to 40 last time, without any misses. I don't remember which one we missed on last time, but, um... It was definitely a little bit past 40, if not, like, well past 40. Wait, I already got the nibblefish. What am I doing? Although, I mean, that could still be, like, a lot of things that I might need, so I don't know. Eh, no harm at all. 57? 47? Eh, something like that. Eh, something like that. 
Let's try to get the piranha, and then we'll wrap it up for today. I feel like it is probably well past time to have done so. It must be the plant outfit giving the good vibes. You think so? Maybe. I'll have to wear this every day. I'll have to wear this shit every day until it's, like, fucking disgusting. What's, like, the longest you've worn, like, the same shirt? I feel like I've done, like, a few days. And that's not good. A year? Uh, no, you haven't. Like, a week? Is that big, or is it black bass? I don't know. Black bass, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. <clears throat> I'm a chronic clothes changer. My laundry's piled up right now. Right, I mean, I'm pretty good about it now. Like, honestly, I wear, like, two different shirts a day at this rate. It's kind of not good, but... I mean, it's like a lot of laundry, at least. Now, honestly, dude, at like my worst, I'd probably like three or four, probably something like that. Not good. Not good. I wore the same sweatshirt for months at a time without washing. I'd sometimes sleep in them too. Gross. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, thanks for bidding donuts for the three months. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing, my friend. What does he mean? He didn't say my friend when I subbed. Am I not his friend? Oh, I hate this guy. Hey, I hate this guy. No, like, that's just, like, my guy. No, let's take it personally that I didn't say, like, my friend when you guys subbed. Like, that. No, it's just, like, my guy. Don't take it personally. <clears throat> just, you know, it's felt like saying it. It's just a word, a couple words. Now, last time I played Animal Crossing Wild World. Well, you're on the DS all the time. That makes sense. Pushing your little buttons, doing your little snaking. Yo, guys, shout out Abel. I put his streams on all the time in the background. What are they, does that mean they call you Daniel? Does that mean they can call you Daniel? Yeah, you know, they can call me Daniel. Yeah, they can. Fuck it. All you can call me Daniel. Fuck it. All you can call me Daniel. I don't care. I'm, it's parasocial. I don't give a shit. All you can call me Daniel now. You can do it. No thanks? Dude, what do you mean no thanks? It's a fine name. It's a fine name for a strong young man like me. David... Actually, that, don't fucking say, if you're ever at the Daniel convention, do not call any of them David, you're gonna get your fucking ass kicked. Not me, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna get fucking mad. If you say any of the following names to somebody at the fucking Daniel convention, David, Dan the man, damn Daniel, look at it again with the white vans, or anything adjacent to that, you're gonna get your fucking ass kicked, alright? Danny boy? You're getting fucking punked, dude. I'm just telling you right now. You ever waltz up into a fucking convention full of Daniels and you start saying that shit? I'm just warning you right now, you're gonna get your fucking ass kicked. Alright? I would be very, very, very fucking careful if I were you. Danny Phantom? You're gonna get your fucking ass kicked. Not by me. I can take it. But somebody, some Daniel out there who has a little bit, little bit more of a temper than I do. Don't fucking do it. You're gonna get your fucking ass kicked, alright? That's like why, don't say Danielle, alright? Some people might take that one personally, me, I don't care. You could be a little feminine around me. Not everyone's gonna take too kindly to that. You're gonna get curb stomp at Daniel Con. Yeah, you are. Why, why don't we do that? No, actually, though, why don't we do that? 
Dude, this is a great idea. Billion dollar idea. Actually, no, I'm not fucking kidding at all. This is this is a billion dollar idea. Somebody just needs to put it into action. Why don't we do conventions of just people's names? No, not curb stomp people at Daniel Con. Why doesn't Daniel Con exist? Why don't people do like conventions of people's names? It's just like you have to show them your ID. Your ID has your name on it. They say, no, you can't come in. Your name is fucking Richard. You can't come in. Go to Richard Conventions in September. You can't come to Daniel Con. I show my ID and I'm Daniel. And they'll be like, my man. They dap you up as you go on in. And that's good. And then, and then you just meet a bunch of fucking Daniels. And that's good. That's just, dude, that's a fucking just great way of just getting to like hang out with people. That's just a great way to hang out with people, man. Don't say Dan the man. You will you will get your ass kicked, all right? You will... Don't say that. They had a Josh can... Dude, yeah, 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 yeah. We need, like, conventions of people with just, like, names. Now, I'm sorry to the Ediths of chat. There's probably not going to be too many Ediths that are attending the Edith convention. So, I'm sorry. You do kind of get left out if your name isn't a very popular one. But, it's, that's fun. I think we should do that. And I think that there should be, like, all over the world. Daniel Khan. Sarah Khan. I can't think of any more names. I thought, I forgot every name that ever exists. I, I forgot every name that ever exists. Mm. Gender neutral names. Sam Khan. That's gonna go crazy. Pam Con, Sam Con, Taylor Con. Um, that's all I can think. I forgot every name that ever existed. Alex, Con, Alex Con. And, 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 and okay, let me ask you something. You're the bouncer at Alex Con. Do you accept an A L Y X? Do you accept A L Y X, or does it have to be strictly A L E X? Do you accept an AL an ALYX? Do you? What do you think? Thoughts on this? All welcome. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Good. Piranha. Nice. All right, I'm good for today. I'm good for today. I think that I am going to get going. We're going to come back tomorrow for September at 4 p.m. for Softshell Turtle, Tilapia, Salmon, King Salmon, Dorado Gar, Saw Shark, Hammerhead Shark, and Arapaima. We'll work on that tomorrow. Pause the timer. 6.06.46. That's fun. And we were at 41 of 80. See, look, this is the, the lighting gets, like, dramatic when it gets dark out. Because now I'm like... Fucked up. Alright, guys. Favorite joke of the day? Joke of the day? What was our favorite joke of the day? What was our favorite joke of the day, guys? Come on. We're gonna start doing this. Favorite joke of the day? Zoinks? No, that was, that was a terrible joke. No, the stomach growl? That was pretty good. No, the Zoinks one was stupid. Stop saying it. No, not the Shaggy one. Guys, the Shaggy one was literally the fucking worst joke. Want to know my favorite joke? Remember when that person said, Can you explain sheets to a German person? And I fucking took the sheets Wikipedia article and I translated it into German and made the text-to-speech read it out. I thought that was a good time. I thought that was a good time. When you had a midlife crisis and screamed? That was a good one. That was a good one. All right. Good, good, good. I think we should start doing that. Jokes of the day. Jokes of the day. Keeps me, keeps me sharp. Keeps me telling jokes. Keeps you guys listening and engaged. It's good. Joke of the day. I like it. I think we're going to start doing that. I think we're going to start doing that. Thanks for being here today. I appreciate it. I'm going to be live again tomorrow. Uh, Yeah, I should be live more normal time tomorrow. Noon Eastern. Hi. How's everyone, uh, how's everyone doing today? Looking cruciferous today. Thanks. 
I uh, appreciate that. What's up, man? I got the fucking light on. You know why? I got the light on and my light situation still sucks. What the hell? I think it's because it's <clears throat> so bright in here today because the sun. Like, I mean, look at the sun. That's like a white square, dude. That's not... you. Know, you that, it's like... Dude, that looks like, like somebody cut a hole into my carpet and underneath it is just like white void. That's how bright it is in here. That's just white void. You don't even see like the carpet texture there. That's just... That's just void. It's fucking bright in here. And, like, I think my camera's compensating for it by, like, darkening everything up. And so, like, my, my lighting looks like it sucks again, even though I still got that big old light there. I think once it gets darker, ironically, it'll get brighter. Go into the light. Dude, it looks like that if I walked over that. Does it not look like if I walked over that, I would fall straight down? Like, hang on. Let me see. Hang on. Am I gonna fall straight through this I'm all right I'm all right. I didn't. I'm all right. Yeah. Anyway, it's pretty bright in here, so uh, I guess that we're going to just get started with the poor lighting. Maroon suits you. It's it's so fuck. The lighting's so fucked. This is it maroon, but it, yeah, it shows up as like a deep red. It's really just a normal red. Anyway, we left off at 41 of 80 at 606.46. My Harry Potter glass is eating. Whatever, man. Not every round glasses is Harry Potter, all right? Not every white guy with brown hair and round glasses and his name Daniel is Harry Potter, all right? Come on now. Ridiculous. You people are ridiculous, you know that? Hey, are you okay? You seem kind of grumpy today. Dude, I have been grumpy for like 10 years now. What does your mug say? It says Hello Kitty, but a little bit of the H is peeled off because, um... I put this thing in the dishwasher and it specifically says to hand wash only. And I assume it's because it will chip off the, uh, the writing on the side. But if you think I'm gonna fucking hand wash dishes, you got another thing coming. <clears throat> but hey, the, um... The actual Hello Kitty is perfectly fine. She's still there. She? Probably. Bow tie. Classic, classic, like, feminine touch, right? Hello Kitty. Why'd you say, like, Scooby Doo, man? Alright, whatever. Let's get started. We are at September at 4 p.m. For a soft-shelled turtle, a tilapia. Hang on, let me go over what I've already got in here. Uh, we already got the tilapia. I knew that. Soft-shelled turtle we haven't gotten. We gotta get that. Salmon and king salmon. We got the regular salmon. We gotta get a king salmon. Dorado. Have I got a Dorado? No. Um, Gar. Need that. Saw shark, hammerhead shark. We do need the saw shark. We don't need the hammerhead shark. And the arapaima, which we already got. So really just... Soft-shelled turtle, king salmon, dorado, gar, saw shark. Okay. What do we start with, do we think? Maybe, like, start with the soft-shelled turtle and king salmon, dorado? Try to get those. Just, like, focus on the river, and then we'll worry about everything after that. For the gar, we'll probably need bait. So maybe I should even try to knock that out first. Try to get that out of the way. Well, or then maybe, nah, let's go for the river. Let's do the river stuff first. Let's do the river stuff first, because then I'll grind for the saw shark and also farm bait to help get the gar easier. I do have a little bait still, but still. Hey, thanks, uh, Fire Llama, for the gift sub to Shipping Legos. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes, Shipping Legos, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Soft-shelled turtle is black bass sized. Let me double check that. Black bass sized. Yeah. 
black bass sized. All right, got it. <clears throat> so not that basically, not that. So guys, um, before stream, I got I went to go get my coffee. I was a little late to get my coffee today. I usually see the normal crowd. Ooh, hang on, already hitting the ground running here today. Hang on. Come on, gotta be a Dorado, right? Yeah, all right, that is nice. 42. Um, that was a great start. So I go to get my coffee usually at like, let's say like 11 to 11. No, not even that late usually. I'm usually pretty tight window here. Pretty tight window usually. With getting my coffee, it's usually between like, let's say 10.45 and 11.15 is usually like when I'm up and out of bed and I have enough energy to go out and go make me a coffee. Which in case you don't know, I need to like go to my apartment complex's office building where they have a coffee maker and make a coffee there because I'm too cheap to buy one myself. And so every day, and it's, it's a little embarrassing, but every day I, um... Thanks, Anonymous, for the gift sub to Can We See Your Bussy. That's a strange username. Uh, anyway, Can We See Your Bussy. Thanks uh, and enjoy your gift sub. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Um, anyway, it's around like 10.45 to 11.15. I walk over to my uh, apartment complex office to um, make me a coffee. I say, get me a drink, bartender. I don't need that. Anyway, I'm sort of a regular, and, um, today I was a little late, though. But I, so usually, which, which is to say that between that 30-minute window that I usually go to get coffee, I usually see the same crowd, which is not much. There, there's not a whole lot of crowd there. But, you know, if I do see people on my little journey over there, it's usually the same people. Today I was a little late. I went over at, like, 11.30, and so I saw, like, a different crowd... And, you know what? Never mind. There's no point. There's no point. It looks like Miku. Who looks like me? me? Yeah, exactly. It's I'm paying the rent. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's my logic to it. And by the way, I always exchange pleasantries with the people who work at the office apartment complex office. I always exchange pleasantries. They don't have a problem with me. They're not like, man, this guy... And, and by the way, I also bring my own, like, coffee cups. I bring, like, my own coffee to make. I, I just need the actual machine with which to, uh, make the coffee. Uh-oh, is that another... Oh, man. Oh, man. I was... It was too slow. Uh, it was another Dorado, and I said, oh no, because I was like, oh no, I just got a Dorado. Man. Man. I, I, I was like, uh, I was so focused on not pulling up too early that I did it too late. Mmm. I didn't practice. You know what it is? I didn't practice before this. I said, no, nah, I don't need practice. I just get straight to it. Ah. I was too slow. And, and I said, oh, no, when I cast it, because I knew it was a Dorado. And I was like, I don't need a Dorado again. When I cast, like, as I pressed the button to cast, I was like, oh, black bass size fish. Maybe soft shell turtle. Fucking no. And I said, oh, no, when I realized it was Dorado. 
And I was like, oh man, I better not like be too slow. I don't, I, you, you don't want to have to catch something that you've already gotten, especially if it's something that's tough like a Dorado, which isn't tough. I was just literally like too stupid. Uh, anyway, when did I start last time? I started at like, uh, should I start at a different time this time just to like mix it up a little? No, let's probably just do like, mm, how fucking annoying, man. I think I started at July at 4 p.m. last time, so let's I guess just do that again. Oh, that's so annoying. Let's do... Th yeah, let's do, like, the second, the first, at 3 a.m., so that the time will roll over, like, 345 <sighs> And get started on attempt number fucking mm, four. And restart that all the way back down to zero. Do you want to practice first? Well, I guess I already did, didn't I? I guess I already did. Also, Miku was a attempt three exclusive. Sorry. Sorry, if I'm in a bad mood, you're all in a bad mood too, all right? Miku's gone. Fuck Miku. Miku's out of here. <sighs> ah, man. Like, so much happened. You know why I think I failed that one? I mean, obviously, it was too slow, but, like, I just... Too much going on, like, with the whole, like, oh, fuck, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be catching this thing. I shouldn't be catching this thing. Okay, okay, make sure that you don't, like, pull it up too early. Oh, yeah, I was, like, rattled from the start. And then I, in my effort to make sure I don't pull up too early, I pulled up too late. Fucking just annoying, man. Just annoying. Such a simple mini game, fishing mini game in this. So simple. So, like... So simple. How, how, how do you overthink this, truly? But yet I do. I managed to find a way. I managed to find a way. You should do a dark, twisted, fucked up version of Miku this time. No, Miku's gone. Miku was a- it was an attempt three exclusive. Fix the attempt number? Oh, did I not? Oh, I think I know why it went back. Because I have to change it here. There. Ah. <sighs> Alright, anyway, what was I talking about before that? I was talking about going to get a coffee. Anyway, I saw... A no yeah, no, and then I said, nah, I don't want to talk about it anymore. And now I really don't want to talk. I was like, I didn't want to talk about it anymore before I fucked that attempt up. Now I really don't want to talk about it anymore. Now I really don't want to talk about it anymore. Now I'm really pissed off. Whatever, just keep your head... Just fucking... You know what I do when I'm in this mood? You, and I think that I need to get better at doing this sometimes, like on stream, is sometimes you just need to shut up, you need to keep your head down, and you need to just put, just put your nose back to the grindstone. You need to, yeah, I know, it was like six hours of progress, yeah, I know, I got like halfway through it, but how many streams do the bugs take? Like, fucking two weeks almost, and we're, get, we're kind of getting there. At least I have already completed a run, even if it was with one miss. It's just, uh, Anyway, just keep your head down, put your nose back to the grindstone, go back to what you were doing where you just talk about whatever the fuck, and before you know it, you'll be back to where you were. Before you even know it, you'll be back to where you were. It, you'll, you'll be back. Go with this island, it's got the most second level cliff river area, and just keep your head down before you know it. By the end of tomorrow's stream, we'll be back to where we were, assuming we don't fuck it up. Might as well, right? I love you. Alright. That's a hell of a bold statement for a first time chatter. They say four is a lucky number. Two is a lucky number! And two was the one where I just missed one, but I completed it, and I was sad. That was the attempt. If it was gonna happen, it would have been then. <laughs> Platonically? Oh, okay. And four is double two? I don't believe in that, but what I, you know what my two lucky numbers are? Two and seven. Don't invalidate J Block 2's feelings, man. No, I'm not. I'm not, okay? Uh, you're coming on a little strong, but you know what? In the age of, like, political correctness, I think that it's not political correctness, but it's more like in the age of, uh, 
I, I don't know what I'm even getting at anymore. I don't even know what I'm getting at anymore. I, basically, what I'm saying is I should skip attempt 4, 5, and 6, go straight to 7, because that's my lucky number. Oh, and look at these starters. Oh, and look at these starters. Fucking Frobert. Sylvia. Oh, vey. And cherries. Oh. God, could this attempt be any worse to start? Seriously. For the sake of your sanity, I hope you don't get the 7. Fail on purpose to get the 7. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'll try to make the best of it. That kangaroo is from Just Dance? Is it? Yo, actually, I found something... They are vibrant. I will give them that. They are bright... They are brightly colored villagers. You'd find them at, like, a rave. You know what I found a picture of yesterday that I had forgotten for a solid, like, 15 years? Y'all know the spider DDR machine at Chuck E. Cheese? The one where it, like, lights up buttons at the bottom and you have to stomp on them? You guys know that one? I have a picture here of it, in case you don't. You guys remember spider stomping at Chuck E. Cheese, man? Where'd it go? There it is. Y'all fuck with spider stomping? Every kid wanted to play spider stomping at fucking Chuck E. Cheese, man. Look at this shit. Look at that. That was the fucking shit, man. That looks- it's so di di dilapidated as well. Holy shit, that thing is not in good shape. That thing is not in good shape. Holy smokes, man. Come on. What am I doing? Huh. <sighs> That's the spot. I remember the soccer machine everyone didn't play because they were like, That's homosexual. The damn fun zone closed down. What the hell is homosexual about soccer? There was a Simpsons, like, soccer game where Homer was the goalie and he would go back and forth and you had to, you know, kick the ball past him. That looks good to me, girl. Are you a skee-ball kind of guy? Yeah, 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 I'm a skee-ball. I fuck with skee-ball, yeah. And, like, I fuck- I don't- I don't pussyfoot around in skee-ball either, dude. I go straight for them 10k corner pockets as well. I don't fucking go for, like, the conservative, oh, I'm gonna throw it, like, 5,000. I'm gonna throw it straight. No, no pussyfooting around, dude. I throw that shit in the 10 grand. 10 grand or nothing, man. It's nerf or nothing. Fuck you. Anyway, thanks, Tay Wow Wow, for the Prime. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. You fuck with carnival games for the Wii? I didn't have carnival games for the Wii. I had Wii Party. I had like. I had a bunch of like party games for the Wii, but not that one. I don't remember the Simpsons video game? Dude, Simpsons Hit and Run? Yes, it's one of the probably best selling PlayStation 2 games. And it's probably not just on the PlayStation 2, either. Last time I was here, there was a tiny Miku at the top of your cam. What happened to it? I shot her. I shot Hatsune Miku. She's fucking dead. I shot Miku. Honey, I shot Miku. You remember Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? That was a scare- I didn't like that movie. It scared me. Relax, she's a computer. She can't be shot. But that also means that she can't love you. So, you know, it's a bit of a double-edged sword in that way. Alright, whatever. Just keep your head- Don't even fucking acknowledge the game's existence. Because if you acknowledge the game's existence, you're gonna- un You're gonna- You're gonna have, like, an understanding of how, like, slowly and tediously you're gonna get back to- Have to get back to the point that you were at before, but you, you can't think of it like that. You can't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Except that, like, you know, you're just gonna have to, like, spend five, six hours getting back to the point where you are and just try to have the most fun that you can in between now and then, alright? That's- that's the goal. That's the goal. <clears throat> New movie idea, Honey, I Scared the Hose. That's pretty good. I like that. That- I can make it even better, though. Tyler Perry's Honey, I Scared the Hose. Mmm... I just made- I just made a billion dollar movie. I just made a billion dollar movie. That's make- that's pulling in a billion at the box office. Hey, isn't Kung Fu Panda 4 terrible? People be saying Kung Fu Panda 4 is fucking terrible. 
Is this true? Because that's sad, man. I like the first three so much. I love the first three Kung Fu Pandas so fucking much. But then four comes out and it's fucking terrible. Like, they just completely biffed the entire thing. That's sad. Truly. That's, that's, that's really unfortunate. I'm sad. I like Kung Fu Panda. I want to see it do well. Jack Black, that's my boy, even though I didn't like Nacho Libre that much. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Not a big fan. Have you seen the Robots movie, or the movie Robots? No, that was... Surprised they didn't watch that. I was a kid when that came out. That was prime, like, robots watching territory. I be saying this sometimes, and I'm gonna keep saying it until it changes. Nobody be talking about Meet the Robinsons enough. Nobody be talking about the Disney movie that, like, everyone forgot about. No, not Mars Needs Moms. What are you talking about? Everyone be forgetting about Meet the Robinsons, man. That was a good-ass movie. Also, Mars Needs Moms was Pixar, not Disney. Fucking idiot. They kind of just... You know, it was kind of fucked up. Because, first of all, Pixar, they didn't miss. From, like, 2000 to 2009, they just did not fucking miss. They didn't miss. It's like, dude, they came out with, like, fucking... I mean, I'm gonna group Disney and Pixar into the same company, because as far as I'm aware, they are. They didn't miss. 2000 to 2009. I swear to God, they didn't make a bad movie. Not a single one. Like, they went from, like, ba it was kind of fucked up. They went banger, 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 banger. Mars Needs Moms. Banger, 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 banger. Did, like, a fucking, like, writer's strike happen in, like, the middle of that that I forgot about because I was a kid and I didn't know what a writer's strike was? What was up with that? Was Mars e Needs Mom... I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't even watch it. Is it really that bad? Was that... Is this the recession? No, man, they were still making bangers in the recession. I think the recession was, like, when... That was, like, okay, that was, like, 2008... What came out in, like, 2008? It was, like, Cars, WALL-E. I think, like, Ratatouille or WALL-E came out in the recession. Those are, like, my two favorite movies from them. I don't think so. Pretty sure there was a strike? Is that actually why Mars Needs Moms was a box office flop? <clears throat> I remember the recession. I didn't give a shit. I'll be honest. I was... 12? I didn't give a shit. I was playing my Nintendo Wii, man. I was playing Need for Speed Nitrous. My parents probably at the kitchen table being like, man, how are we going to pay the bills this month? And I'm like, hee hee hee. That's just what I did. I didn't say any words until I was like 20. I just did hee hee hee. Eventually I figured it out. Need for Speed Only Round 2 is superior. Yeah, I know, but that wasn't on the Wii. Time to sub, I guess? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you guys are getting ads, it's time to sub. Sorry. You Don't just, like, deal with the ads. Don't just, like, you know, let the ads play and, like, go do something else while they're playing. Like, oh, I got a minute and 30 seconds of ads. I'm gonna use that time to, like, sit here and complain about ads. Like, not like I'm gonna go, like, I don't know, get some water or, like, take these cups off my desk and go put them in the sink. Or, I don't know, use the toilet. Or, I don't know, get up and stretch a little bit. No, you guys use that time, uh, because you're very productive to complain about the ads, so. Yeah, you might as well sub. It's the only solution. You're right. Stop calling me out with the cups. Dude, I know my audience, alright? It's kind of my job to know my audience. I know you guys got cups on your damn desk. A $5 sub is basically free if you think about it. That's true! That's kind of true! If you think about it, really, like, that buys you not only a sub to my channel, but also, like, um, the satisfaction of knowing that you, 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 like, made my day better for just five dollars a day. Just a cup of coffee. Yeah, they ever hit you with one of those commercials? Donate to the ASPCA. In the arms of the angels. For just five cents a day, you can help get the animals off the streets. Some of them like the streets! Nah, I'm just kidding. I, I, I wanted so badly to donate to the ASPCA when I was a kid. Because I was like, five cents a day? 
I got five cents. And then not realizing five cents a day, you know, probably adds up to like, I, they, there's no way it's five cents a day. I think it was like, I think it was 50 cents a day. Not realizing that it would be like 180 bucks a year. <laughs> and I was like, I don't have 180 bucks, but I do have 50 cents. That's how they get you. Thanks, Jess, for the gifts of the hot sauce wet farts. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes, hot sauce, wet farts, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Alright. Don't, don't talk about the game. Don't, I was about to say, like, alright, let's go put the fucking cot down. And, so, don't talk about the game. Don't talk about the fucking game. Just don't even fucking worry about it. B-Boy, um... Message me on Discord and say, like, um, I don't know, I gotta, like, have you say some specific shit so that I can remember about what I was gonna talk about. Um, say... I don't know. I, I gotta think of something. Something that'll remind me that I wanted to talk to you about something. Um... I'm on the hook, just let me know. Ah, no, I can't think of anything. I'm trying to think of, like, an object that will, like, jog my memory. Earwax. Say earwax. Message me earwax, and I'll remember. How are you doing, Dag? I'm fucked. I'm fucked in the head, man. I'm fucked in the head. I'm fucked in this attempt. <clears throat> I'm fucked. We do 20 pounds a month and pay for a cat and dog pen and a rehabilitation center for animals. We get photos of who we sponsor monthly and a leaflet about them. That seems nice. That doesn't sound like what, like, the ASPCA would do. The ASPCA would probably be like, hey, thanks for your 50 cents. Yeah, fucking idiot. I don't know. I don't trust them. Just because they got Sarah McLaughlin singing. There's nothing. There's, it's an extremely predatory commercial. If you think about it, it's tugging my emotions. It's completely fucked. It's completely fucked. I hated those. I, I legitimately... I, like, as a, as a kid, I was like, Oh, they're so sad! Now, as an adult, I'm like, Fuck you. You're toying with me. You, this is a, appeal to emotion. This is classic manipulation tactic from you. ASPCA. Fuck you. It's like a damn election ad. Did you know Barack Obama personally shot everyone who came over the border? Wait, no, wait. The Republicans would love that. <laughs> they would fucking vote for him in an instant. Did you know that Barack Obama would is going to legalize... <laughs> Did you know Barack Obama is going to let... 100,000 illegal aliens, but not the ones from, like, other countries, but, like, actual fucking UFO-ass looking fucking aliens into the fucking country? Did you know that he's gonna do that? Do you want to have your wife fucked by an alien? Have a little fucking, like, little alien baby walking around? No, the fuck you don't. John McCain. The contents of this message is sponsored by the John McCain for President Fund. Or whatever the fuck. You know that Barack Obama personally fucked every Republican to walk the earth? Man, that's powerful. And it's like, this is like a condemnation of his, of his character here? Alright, done with that. On to the- on to- done with like the 90% water, on to the 100% water. Mmm! And I immediately spilled on myself, that's fucking classic. Have you completed any challenge in under five attempts? This is the first challenge that's required, along with the bugs. This is the first challenge that has required me to like, have attempts. I don't do attempts, where like, if I fail, I restart. These are the only two challenges. This with the bugs, this with the fish, where I've had an attempts-based challenge. So, yeah, all of them have been done in one. Thanks, Ellie, for the gifts, or rather, the regular sub. Thank you, tier one. Three months in a row. Appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. And thanks, Marsh, I guess, for the gift sub to Rubycubics. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
And Ruby Cubics, enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. By golly, I, I just appreciate it. I'm just an appreciative fella. I walk in to see attempt four crying for you. Yeah, well. I just gotta just just fucking do it. Just fucking do it. Just catch the fucking fish, fuck boy. Just do it. Idiot. That's my logic. Why don't you sell the HHP photo? Uh, it sells for, I think, 10 bells. I think it sells for 10 bells. When I have the Nintendo Switch that I got in the mail, that sells for, like, almost 10 grand. New challenge idea. Pay off your debts with only sticks that fall from trees. Yeah. that That's such a, that's such a fucking, like, YouTube commenter suggestion. When I know damn well if I did that challenge, they would be like... This is the most boring shit ever. Because all that would be was just... Pressing the fucking A button over and over to get sticks from a tree. That's that fucking YouTube co commenter challenge that doesn't think before they suggest an idea. Because... The idea is just boring as hell. People have suggested some pretty fucking awful ideas for challenges for me. Because they'll be like, just try to like, no, don't like make the challenge entertaining. Make it like literally the most daunting fucking thing that you could ever do for the sake of calling it a challenge. Even though it'd be the most boring thing to make, it'd be the most boring thing to edit, and it would be the most boring thing to watch. That's just such a YouTube commenter suggestion. Didn't you explain in a video how many sticks it would take? Yeah, I think I did. And what what was the answer? Sticks take like, they're five bells, and debts in this game is like two point something million? Yeah, do the math. It'd be a lot of fucking sticks. It wouldn't be fun. This is influencer blasphemy. What, are you talking about me? Are you talking about me? Are you saying that like, I'm being an asshole right now? No, I'm being honest with you, that's a terrible idea. Look, man. You want- you want fake shit? Go watch any other Animal Crossing stream. I'll tell you when your idea sucks. That sounds like some- get a five-star island, but you can't leave your home. Yeah! Either, like, suggest a challenge that's literally impossible, or suggest a challenge that's so tedious and boring that I wouldn't enjoy making it, I wouldn't enjoy editing it, and nobody would enjoy watching it. Just being honest. You know, and I don't like that either, where it's like, well, at least he's honest to justify being an asshole. Look, I'm not gonna deny that I might be, like, a bit of a dick sometimes, but, like, I'm not be I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm just trying to be, like, I'm never doing that. Bold to presume YouTube is made for enjoyment. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. That's, that's quite silly of me. Uh, I'll make that. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm getting too much money. Hi, it's the Twitter Hamburger Helper Enjoyer. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, is that you? The one who I tweeted last night, like, I should become a Twitch streamer, as a joke, because I was just like, fuck it, I don't know, losing my mind. And I was like, I should become a Twitch streamer. And you took that tweet as an opportunity to suggest to make a Hamburger Helper review, and I'm like, that's bold. But I appreciate it. Thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes, and, or rather, bits, whatever. Thank you. What's up, Rai? How much can you develop your town in 24 hours, start to finish? 24 real-life hours or 24 in-game hours? You can't make any progress... You, you can't make enough, like, in-game progress to even do anything in 24 in-game hours. If you're saying, like, 24 hours in-game to, like, get to a 5-star, you literally can't do that. 24 real-life hours? That would be easy. I've done that plenty of times. 24 real life hours to get like the best looking town. First of all, I don't like designing, but second of all, I could easily get a five star town in five real life hours. That wouldn't be that hard. Did you ever finish the Minecraft blocks challenge? I'm all caught up and I'm just wondering. Uh, no, but I'm almost caught up on YouTube from where I was at on Twitch. I just don't have much motivation to make that to make that those videos because they just don't perform as well as my Animal Crossing ones. So I just, you know. I just don't do them as much. <clears throat> this guy is such an asshole, I know. I know, I know. <sighs> Alright, well, time to fish. Hmm. 
I mean, that's a decently uncommon one to start with, I guess. I wish they did. They're so fun to watch. Yeah, but, you know, it's the reality of YouTube. It's, you know, when it, it's always hard to branch out to other things doing YouTube because, you know, you build your audience on one thing. There's no promise that they'll follow you for anything else that you do, you know? It's just tough. It's tough. And that's why, like, people say, like, oh, you should branch out. Okay. That's a great idea. You're right. I, I should branch out. To, like, what? And, like, would other people enjoy it? No. <laughs> Maybe not. Not necessarily, anyway. I've done, like, Sardu stuff before, but that's because that's a very big crossover, fan base wise with Animal Crossing, so it's sort of a safe bet. That people will watch that, too. Okay. F123 Team Career Big Money B-Boy Racing just offered you a contract. Fuck it, I'm a buy fucking F I'm a I'm a I'm a make my I'm gonna make my character called Cash Me Outside and I'm just gonna get like two billion dollars. I'm gonna buy the whole ass team. Wahoo. Wahoo. That's also a pretty good fish to get, like, really early. And that's my fourth fish, right? So I'm, like, fucked up. I'm already, like, the counter's already fucked up. No, 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 I thought it was my Critterpedia. I don't get that until I actually donate. Shot. 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 The fuck up. Got it. All right, four. Uh, thanks, Spikenoid, for the five months. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. And thanks for contributing towards the Partner Plus push. I appreciate that. Thank you. Maybe community polls to ask YouTube people what they want. You must have missed the part where I said YouTube people suggest, like, the worst video ideas ever. I, I'm telling you guys, like, I don't really get people... Fans don't rarely ever suggest video ideas because fans often suggest not very good video ideas. Sometimes they do, and sometimes I'll do them. But, um, yeah, most of the time, not really. Alright, that's fine. October 2020, I'm informed that Nintendo has removed Joe Biden's Animal Crossing Island. A tear falls from behind my fogged up glass. That's a good tweet, man. You should post that. <coughs> it's a good tweet. Pretty funny. Paying Nintendo $2.6 million to pay off their home loans. Hey, you guys better start fucking tier 3 -ing. All of you in chat better start tier 3 if you want that video idea. Should I tweet that? Yeah, you should tweet that. That's pretty good. Those ideas just sound cool, but in practice, they're awful to perform. Yeah, that's usually, like, the suggestions that... That's that's usually, like, what happens, where I'm like... That's a... That, like, usually, they don't even reach, like, the interesting threshold. But sometimes, I will see an interesting idea, and I think about how I'm gonna do it, and I'm like, Oh, that doesn't sound fun. And so I just don't do that. So I just don't do it. But, you know, it's... It's at least at least you met the interesting threshold. I guess that's like a good step one. Catch fish emo. Catch fish emo. Well, thanks Cubivore S A for the two months. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free your emotes. Oh, that's deep actually. And enjoy your ad free viewing. Thanks for contributing towards the partner plus push. Appreciate it. Emo fish. What's the most emo fish? It's gotta be the barred knife jaw, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be the barred knife jaw. Catch fish, comma, emo. Dude, I could probably pull off a heck of an emo look, actually. Stupid idea tier list? No, man. No. I mean, that in itself, a bit meta, but that would go into, like, the F tier of the stupid idea tier list. I have an idea. It's mind-numbing and repetitive. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I try to avoid. 
emo is a state of mind. Is it? But like, if I said like... No, it's not working. Yeah, not good. No, it's, it's, it's not working. I don't think it's gonna work. I used to wear my bangs down. I used to say some shit like... I'm Daniel. No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that, it's terrible. It's terrible. Well, fuck about to be Jamal Lewis 2.0. <laughs> Just flip your hair in the other direction and you're golden. Yeah, no, I've been there. Dude, I had such bad acne in high school. And as soon as I started, like, wearing my hair not on my fucking forehead, whoop, it's all gone. Why didn't nobody tell me this shit, man? I was, like, about to, like, fucking... I was about to start getting, like, that fucking... What's that shit called? What's that shit called? That fucking shit? You know what I'm talking about. That shit with Mila Kunis in the commercials? No, I don't look good in that style. Pro proactive? Yeah, I was about to get some fucking proactive or Accutane or whatever the fuck. And then I just started, like, wearing my hair not in front of my face. And I'm like, whoop! Acne's gone. All good. Fixed. No problem. I got proactive. It didn't work for me. I'm pretty sure isn't proactive like a bit of a scam. Like there isn't really a be all end all to like acne. You just like like the the reason why like uh, Accutane works is because it's like an actual injection, right? And it like it reduces like your oil output. Like that's like it, it biologically changes your body. Just putting like a cream on it is not gonna change it though. You know, like I think that you actually need like the the, the proper injection, or is it a pill? I don't know. That was my bangs in high school, and I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, like magic, right? I love the proactive commercials as a kid, but I was too young to really understand the point. It was just top tier entertainment. Was that? Wait, no. Was it Mila Kunis or was it Selena Gomez in those commercials? I didn't even fucking like care about the commercials. I was just like, hi, Selena. Hi, Mila Kunis. <laughs> That's all I did. I was just Oglin. I was all Oglin. I was Oglin Odin. As me. Russell Wilson with Dags coaching is winning back-to-back -back MVP. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that Russell Wilson move, actually. I mean, he's cheap as fuck. It's like... Fucking one year, like, one point something million? Why the fuck not, man? Steelers fans be mad as hell. I'm like, bro, how can you be mad? He's literally... He's one million, man. Come on. What's the worst that can happen? Nice. Don't Accutane fuck up with how your nose looks sometimes? <laughs> uh... No? I don't, I don't... I don't remember hearing that. Better than Kenny Pickett or Mitch Trubisky? Definitely Mitch Trubisky, that's for fucking sure. I still have a little bit of faith. Just a little bit of faith in the old Pickler. But it's waning, quickly. Doesn't Accutane make your bones green? Now you guys are just making shit up. It makes your fucking bones green. You're just making shit up now. That's like some shit like a child would say. I heard that makes your bones green. Now you're just lying. Well, why me when I lie? It kills your grandmother and takes your firstborn. It poisons your water supply, burns your crop, and delivers a plague unto your houses. Bioluminescent Accutane. Yo, y'all ever see that um, bioluminescent plankton in the ocean? It's kind of cool. I actually never saw it, but, like, I've seen videos of it. I used to live next to the ocean where it would happen sometimes, and I never saw it. It's pretty cool, though. <clears throat> I 
That might be new. Oh, or a rock. <laughs> it's not a boulder. We'll sit to Pickens for 74 yards every game. I would fucking... Oh my god, I don't know what I would do. I would kill a man. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't. Jesus, what the hell is wrong with me? Oh, I wouldn't. Good god. Jesus, I'm fucked up. Some medications change the color of your bones. Yeah, like, is there anyone that makes them, like, purple? That'd be kind of cool. Dude, what if they, like, dug me up in fucking ten years and was like, Oh, he's, like, bones are purple. What the hell? Oh, he's a Grimace's offspring. Are we doing this? I like my bones a neon yellow. Dude, I want my bones to be seen, like, underneath my skin. I want them to be, like, underglow neon. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> First time chat message, colon three. Hi, you're gonna fit right in. I vaguely remember people pooping rainbow poop as a child. Might have been a dream. I I don't think I've heard that. But dude, if like honestly, dude, some of them cereals be like a little too colorful to where I'd like totally believe it. <clears throat> Not that. I don't think I remember a cereal turning my 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 dung green or well any color of the rainbow for that matter. But I do remember Honey Smacks making my pee smell. Like Honey Smacks. Not like, you know, rotting corpse, but... I do remember Honey Smacks making my pee smell. Something about puffed wheat, I guess. I, I looked it up one time. It's not just a me thing. It's true. Yeah, that happened to my buddy, Nikki's buddy, Eric, one time. Am I even at fucking... I feel like I've totally missed at this point. What am I at? Shut up. Ten. Ten unique? Or ten... Yeah, that's ten unique, right? Yeah, eleven total. Am I at that? No, I'm at nine. Alright, whatever. I'm probably, like, editing through this part at this point, because we've already got to this point, like, what? Four times now? Isn't that thing with beets, too? Like, it'll turn red if you eat too many? I think that that is true. Yeah, actually, I, I do. I do think that that's true. Something, it's got something in it, man. I don't know. Luckily, I don't like beets. My stream early tomorrow. Speaking of uh, medical concerns, I... Uh my stream early tomorrow is I have a doctor's appointment at 1.30. So, just letting everyone know. If I stream at all, I might just... I might be too heckin' mad. I might be, like, in a, in a real rotten mood. I might be like, well, I don't want to fucking stream today. So, we'll see. But if I do stream, I think it's at 1.30, right? It check my phone calendar. Dude, I'm the guy who's, like, chronically fucking putting shit in his phone calendar. Because I know my ass will not fucking remember. Doctor's appointment, 1.30 to 2.30. Yeah, 1.30 to 2.30. So, I might stream at, like, early tomorrow? I might stream early tomorrow. 10, so if I start at 10, 11, 1 hour, 12, 1... No, that's still, like, not enough time, really. Oof, man, I don't know. Stream late? I don't want to stream late again. I It fucked me up yesterday, streaming late. It fucked me up. It was like... I don't know, my entire day was thrown off. So I might just like, not at all. No, I just remember I had surgery Thursday. Ah! GI with the doctor, though. Oh, G GL with the... I was about to say, it's not a GI doctor. No. Nah.
It's fucked up. Everybody in my family has GI issues. I'm the, like, exempt one. I'm the one who didn't get GI issues, but I got kidney issues. I'm the fucking... I got the fucking kidney issues. We all got fucking problems. I got good intestines, yeah. I got the BK, though. Burger King. Oh, bad kidneys. Hey. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. Thought you boys was talking about the military. Nah, no G.I. Joe, man. I didn't care about G.I. Joe when I was a kid. What's up, uh, Elizabeth? How are you doing? Uh-oh, attempt four. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't get so lucky. Gallbladder issues run strong in my family. Had to get mine removed. Look, I don't want to dismiss your, like, issues, but you can't really, like... I think I'd rather have that than GI issues. You can't really get rid of your GI tract and, like, have your issues be solved. You kind of can't, like... You can't just have your, like, your... Your entire fucking intestines taken out. That kind of don't work. I'd rather have something that it can at least be taken out, and then I don't have to worry about it for the rest of my life. But, you know, I'm sure that it was its own problems that were very annoying. Not to dis- not to dismiss your... struggles. And technically, you can! Yeah. Hi, Mom. I remember when New Horizons first came out, I spent a solid four days in lockdown, catching 5,000 ants for the You've Got the Bug achievement. Okay. I mean, that's a strange thing to do. Like, why ants? Why do you go so hard for that achievement? And like, I guess just why in general? But, you know, like, whatever. I mean, I, you, my people might look at the time that I spend on shit that I do in this game, and they might be like, why? Why does he do that? And I'm like, I don't know. Money? I make money off of it? At least I kind of have an excuse. It was lockdown, right? <clears throat> I suppose so. Hey. What's cracking, daggy boy? Ah, my back, my fucking wrists, everything's cracking these days. <clears throat> I love that huge rock patch there, but I suppose this isn't about decorating. Wait, huge rock patch? Where? No, I, this is literally the default island. I have not modified this island at all. I got that? Yeah. On the left side there. Oh, you're not talking about like the rocks that you can hit. You're talking about like the fucking pier rocks. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is a kind of nice island. Not that I give a fucking shit. <laughs> not that I give a fucking rat's ass. Am I at 20 total yet? Must be close. Is that no? No. Discord notification said we're halfway through attempt three. What in the clickbait is this shit? I don't want to hear it, dude. Hey, right, we are at 20. And then 13 total. Is the counter still right? Yeah. Yeah, kind of not in the mood to hear that right now. So 20 unlocks a good bit of fish. Turn the sound up. That might be part of the issue, actually. As much as I wanted to, this comment has been removed for other users' mental safety during lockdown. I kind of miss it, and I want to play Final Fantasy VII Remake slash Doom on release, man. Yeah, no, man. I hear you. 
There's Animal Crossing kept me going. Kept me going. And then like... Now what keeps me going? I'm like... Fucking... I, I don't know. The obligation to do my job, I guess. And while I'm not expecting one anytime soon because I'm not delusional... Yeah, like a future Animal Crossing entry does kind of keep me going. More so for the fact now... That it's my job rather than the entertainment of the game itself, which is kind of sad, but... Um, yeah, the prospect of... Oh man, like a new Animal Crossing game will come out someday and it'll rejuvenate my career, you know? Potentially. No promises, I suppose. Hey, that'd be sweet to get a Mahi Mahi early. But I think maybe... Giant Trevally might be 20. Mahi Mahi might be 50. Or a red snap. Okay. We can only hope that we get a new time, new one anytime ever. Dude, it's the second best selling game on the Switch. We're gonna get a new one. They made future entries when it was like not as not anywhere a fraction of successful as it is now. You think that they're just gonna stop now? It's the second best selling Switch game. How the fuck are they not gonna make another one? They just have to make another console first. They've never released two Animal Crossing games on the same console. Why would they? Are they gonna release another big title on the Switch? What was the last title they released? Mario vs. Donkey Kong? I want to shake these people sometimes, because I'm like, if you truly think that they're going to make another Animal Crossing on the Switch, you're crazy at this point. They're going to they're gonna announce a console, and then if you're very fucking lucky, and I would not expect it at all, I'm not expecting it at all, and I would hope that you guys wouldn't expect this at all, if you think that Animal Crossing is going to be a... a a release, like an on-release title? You're crazy. But the earliest you could reasonably expect, like, another Animal Crossing title will be, like, probably a couple years after the next Nintendo console, wh whenever that may be. People have been speculating for, like, two years now that, all oh, the next console's coming. No, the fuck it's not. I have to urinate. I have to urinate. I'm going to pause, not the timer, but you know, my life for a second, and I'm going to urinate. And run some ads while I do that. And I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. What's the play tonight, crew? Ow. A Wild World remake would be awesome. I am sad that they never... Well, I'm not even asking for a remake, but I really wish that they would have maybe ported um, GameCube to the Switch, Virtual Console, something like that. I really wish they would have done that. I'm um, not asking for a remake, but a uh, you know, Virtual Console release for one of the previous games, which I know we got Wild World on the Wii U, but... I don't know. I feel like City Folk would have worked well on the Switch. I really do. He took Miku off the screen. Oh, I'm pissed the fuck off. Yeah, Miku is a Attempt 3 exclusive, alright? Don't be sad that it's gone. Be happy that it was here. I shot Miku. Hatsune Miku has been shot. Do you think that that would be, like, world news? Like, do you think that, like, Miku being shot would be world news? Like, ABC News. ABC World News with David Muir, alright? Lead story tonight, Hatsune Miku has been shot. They've shot her. You think that would be, like, the lead story? Ooh, maybe. Anyway, thanks, Suswack, for the 11 months. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for contributing towards the Partner Plus push. I appreciate it. How would you shoot something that's a projection on stage? I guess that's why it would be the lead story. It's like, how the fuck did they shoot Miku? 
Man, these guys are good. All of them. Damn it. Miku died? Yeah, Miku died. It's an inside job. What if they made another Miku, but like it's not Miku, it's someone else, and like that person shot Miku? The Japanese ex executives are like, Sir, sir, Miku, she, 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 she's not selling records anymore. Like, uh, she, 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 the fans don't love Miku anymore. We gotta get someone else. Stat, stat. So they make another Miku, and then in the Miku-verse, that new Miku shoots the old Miku. And they're like, I'm the new Miku. It's like some wrestling shit. I don't know. It's just an idea. Just bouncing some idea in case any, like, high-up Japanese executives are watching. Okay. I don't know. What's the Mi- what's Miku-verse? It's- it's like, uh, I don't know. Like, with Avril- Avril Lavigne? Avril Lavigne was never shot. Right? Not American. Stop. Don't ignore me. You know what's the most embarrassing thing? Um, I go bowling every Thursdays. You guys know this. Well, maybe you don't, but I do. Um, every Thursday I go bowling. Bowling alley I go to is a little old. It's a little, it's a little like, it, it could use some upgrades. So sometimes, um, you know the pin setters? They set the pins. Sometimes they miss a pin. Or rather, when I bowl, I mean, I don't bowl strikes all the fucking time. Otherwise, I'd be the greatest bowler ever. So sometimes when I miss a pin, let's say I leave two pins. Sometimes the pin setter only puts down one pin, and so you have to call the guys up front that tells the guys in the back behind the machine, hey, can you put the four pin down on lane whatever the fuck that I'm bowling on? And then they do that. It takes like two minutes for them to like work their way over there and go do that. And then it's the most embarrassing thing when you essentially waste their time Takes them like two minutes to go over there, put the pin down where it's supposed to be, manually, by hand. And then you can actually, and then you can bowl. And then you fucking miss. And you just wasted their time. It's the most fucking embarrassing thing. It's the most fucking embarrassing thing. Because you're like, hey man, I need like the four pin on lane 10 here. Um, can you send somebody over to do that? And they're like, alright, hey Jeff, behind the things, can you go set the 4-pin on lane 10? And he's like, oh my god, I'm setting the fucking 8-pin on lane 26! And he eventually works his way over there, and then he puts it down and he says, alright, you're ready to go, and then you fucking throw the ball and you miss. You fucking miss. And then you're like, oh my god, I just wasted their fucking time. It could, it, the same result would have happened whether that pin was there or not. It's so fucking embarrassing. It makes me want to die every time. Maybe don't miss. I ain't trying to miss, alright? Also, I would school your ass at the alley. They watch you do it. They're pr they, yeah, exactly. Uh, they, they probably watch me, and they're like, oh, watch this. He's gonna miss. He's gonna waste everyone's time. And then I do. And then I fucking do. Because the pressure's on. It's embarrassing. I hate it. Does it break if they don't put it down? It's like a it's a it's a league. It's not casual, but it is casual, but it's like semi-competitive. Like there's prize money. So you do need to be accurate when you score, okay? It would be very disingenuous. It'd be very disingenuous of me to not have them put down the pin that I missed. Because, you know, 
if I pick up the spare that I wouldn't have otherwise picked up if that pin was there, that my team that I'm playing against would probably be like, hey, that guy cheated, you know? And God knows at the end of the league, that might end up, like, costing, like, a place and, like, 50 bucks of prize money or something like that. Yeah, it's unlikely, but, like, you know, we try to keep, like, a good sporting atmosphere, you know? So, yeah, it, it is seen as, like, you know... In good faith. You always crawl under and put the pet pins back in yourself. I'd like to work as a bowling alley. If not, no, you're not permanently, but I'd like to try it out for a day or two and just see what it's like back there, you know? I bet it'd be kind of fun. And then I get summoned to go fucking put a pin down on the on the, on lane two all the way fuck over there, and I'm on lane 24 trying to put down the four and the eight pin. And I'm like, fuck, man, this sucks, and it's hot back here, and I'm sweaty, and I hate it. I'd probably hate it pretty quickly, honestly. Just an olive flower, please. Thank you. What are we at now? 20? Is that accurate? I'm gonna get a bling blong here. Yeah, there we go. So it is good. Alright, I guess let's redeem our miles now. I need to get all my... I need to get my first debt paid off here before 5 a.m. Isn't there a final destination scene related to the automatic pin setter? What, where you get trapped in, like, the gears and shit? Yeah, maybe, honestly. That does sound like something that would happen. I'd be, I'd be kind of scared, yeah. Like, what if I have, like... You probably, like, can't wear, like, loose clothing when you work behind the alley, right? Because, like, God forbid your clothes get stuck in, like... Like, when I worked in the factory with heavy machinery, I would, like... They would tell me, like, hey, don't wear loose clothing. You get sucked up into fucking shit. And die! What is, like... Did they ever show you guys, like, fucked up, like, workplace safety videos where you worked? Like, fucking genuine, like, gore? And it's like, that's what's gonna happen if you don't follow, like, safety procedures. Fucking, like, I had to, like, mentally prepare myself because people told me, like, the ones that they're gonna show me, like, it, during my training are gonna be, like, particularly bad. And I'm like, okay, I, just, I gotta, like, desensitize myself, sort of. Hang on, what time is it? Oh, nice. They did that for driving school, too. I imagine so. What time is it? 4.43. Alright, 17 minutes. I'll get a little weeds. Oops. Yeah, forgot. Yeah, I do. So I got forklift certified, and that was part of the process of being forklift certified, was being like, hey, watch what happens when you get run over by a forklift. And I'm like, no, I can imagine. It's alright. No, no, you don't need to show me. No, I got it. No, like, no, 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 please, watch it. It'll scare you straight. And I'm like, no, I'm already straight. The first thing I learned at boating school is don't wear loose clothing on heavy-duty jobs. Yeah. What I learned in boating school is... What I learned in boating school is... I can do this! I can do this! <laughs> is it hot in here, Mrs. Puff? Oh my god, I think it's hot in here. Oh, my hand, it's cramping, Mrs. Puff! Make it stop! Ah, oh, classic. Ah, oh, classic. Already have that memorized, dude? I'm fucked up, alright? You know, when you're a child, your brain is so malleable, it's so squishy. And it's like... Your, your brain, it, 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 it's, at, it's at its most squishiest and malleable. You're absorbing everything when you're a child. And I used that not to, like, become, like, a Nobel Prize winning, Nobel Peace Prize winning scientist or whatever. I used it to memorize every fucking Spongebob episode ever. Ever! Fuck up. What is that title preview? Dude, I've been streaming. How are you guys still seeing the title go live notification an hour and 20 minutes into the stream? Wait, is Twitch so fucked up that they, like, can't even get that right anymore? Judas Priest, man. Got that. 
Take a photo with the phone. Go to the... Whoopsie. Twitch is broke? Is it actually, though? Like, they are, like, literally from a monetary standpoint broke, but are they, like, actually broken right now? You see that shit that, like, Twitch is just losing money. So, we're gonna use... We're gonna punish our viewers and our streamers as a way of cutting costs here. Spoken by Dan Clancy, CEO of Twitch. Hmm... The users will be the ones who will suffer for the fact that we are not a profitable business. Hmm, yes. I love Twitch. Twitch had huge layoffs recently. Yeah, bet you Dan Clancy didn't get a salary cut. Be willing to bet. I, I, I don't like that guy. Like, literally, like, the epitome of out-of-touch CEO. Hello, Dagnall. Good luck today. Also, have a great day, chat. Thanks. But you didn't wish me a great day. You wished me good luck and then chat a great day. So, like... Am I to go fuck myself? No, I'm just kidding. It's perfect. Tumblr has never made a single cent and it's still up? Has it never made a single cent? It's not like hosting... Well, I don't know. I'm sure that there is more to it than I'm aware of. Oh yeah, I was going to plant these flowers as well. Dude, you're playing Animal Crossing. The chance to have a great day is already forfeit. Dude, if I didn't enjoy playing this game even to a slight extent, I wouldn't play it. I promise you. Guys, I promise you, I don't suffer when I make my videos. Yeah, they're annoying sometimes, but I don't suffer. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. It's that simple, really. Twitch is almost like sort of parasocial in the sense of like they're protective of me and my enjoyment of my life. They're like, oh, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Guys, I wouldn't. If I didn't want to do this, I wouldn't do it. I already wish you a good day. You're covered. All right, let's go. Isn't Twitter also largely unprofitable? Yeah, but like that one I can understand. Tumblr, I don't really understand. Uh, buy something from here. And then I'll probably have enough after that. Do you know when the third season of Spongebob aired? That would have been like... 02 to 03, probably. Maybe creeping into 04, who knows. Let's go... Hello, tank. Yeah, give me that. Nerd? Dude, I'm sorry. 2002? Yeah, what did I say? 0203? Twitch had 2.8 billion in revenue this year. Yeah, not Twitch chat getting confused. Revenue versus profit. Oh, not you guys not knowing the difference. Um, yeah, yeah. What's your opinion on podcasts? Like in general, boring as fuck. Or, like, literally the most boring thing. God, I could listen to anything else. Alright, that should probably be enough, right? It's investors throwing money at it in one to hope in one day it'll turn a profit. <laughs> turn a profit. Now that's funny. Um... Nah, I don't know. I don't know what the situation is. Dag, do you fuck with boba tea? Would you fuck with boba tea? I've never had boba tea. I gotta try it. I can't be an Animal Crossing streamer without having tried boba tea. Like, truly. I, I'm, I'm an outcast. I'm fucked. Brother, you gotta try it? I don't have to try shit. Alright? I had plenty of opportunities with which to try it, and I haven't done it. If I had to do it, like, if somebody if somebody was holding a gun to my head and they said you have to try it, then I would argue I would have to try it, you know? But nobody's doing that, right? I love trying shit. Yeah, I love trying shit, too. I tell people I'll try anything once. It's just that when it... I'm, I'm weird because, like, I have, like, food. I don't eat, like, a large variety of food. Because I sort of have, like, the things that I, I... I do prefer, and this isn't just food, this is, like, everything. I would prefer something that I know versus something that I don't know and may or may not enjoy. 
Now that goes with movies, TV shows, and food. If I know I like pizza, I will choose to have pizza over something that I haven't had before, like... Something that I haven't had before. Like, uh, how about just in a, in, a, in, a, in a broad sense, Mongolian cuisine? I don't know. Hey, we had, like, let's go pink this time. Last two have been yellow. Scallops. Okay, that's a good one, yeah. Would you rather have scallops or would you rather have pizza? Of course I'd rather have pizza. I don't know if I'm gonna uh, like scallops. You know, but I will try scallops. I'll try anything. I'll try this movie and TV show that you like. But I'm just not gonna, I'd rather watch, like, Spongebob again, like, on repeat for the 50th time. Promise you that. I, I promise you I would rather be eating pizza right now. I promise you I would rather be watching Spongebob. What about media you know you'll dislike but enjoy in an ironic way? The way I see it, my friend, life is too short to watch things that you dislike, read shit that gets you mad, or really just do anything that pisses you off. Life's too short to be indulging in shit like that, which is why the cynicism of the internet fascinates me. It's like, why do you do things that you know will just make you mad? When you could just be like, I'm gonna go, go like jack off, you know? Do something else, man, I promise you. Do something else. I don't know, maybe I'm fucked up though. Okay, too far! Whoa! Oh, too far! Whoa, Jay Owing! Whose stream is it? I can't reach that. What, cranking the fucking hog is too much? Grabbing the old dog? Is too much? Hm. Well. SMH Society, I know. Fuck up. What's up, Kippin? Cranking the hog. What did I get? Oh, okay. I have to go to school and t have Twitch blocks, so I won't be able to watch the stream. Alright, bye. See you. Cranking my hog to Animal Crossing stream on twitch.tv slash dagnall. Yeah, you guys could be spending your time in much better ways. Like that. <clears throat> What are pier fish and how many fish do you have to catch beforehand? What are the pier fish? Blue marlin, tuna, mahi mahi, giant trevally. And I don't know exactly. What the total catch requirement is for all those, but I'm going to guess like 50. I think 50 for all of them or like, I don't know. Maybe like 20. I don't know why I'm thinking the giant trevally is 20. And then everything else is 50, but I don't know. I don't have all of them memorized. That would be ridiculous. What the hell is this? Is this just black bass in a weird spot? Yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> Are you confident this is the run? Nah. I promise you guys, though. No matter what it is that you choose to enjoy, I promise you, you're better off doing that than doom scrolling. Which I know is easy to say, I do it all the time. But, you know, I don't understand people who actively seek out things that make them mad. There's a lot of people on, like, Twitter. I mean, of course, Twitter. A lot of people on every platform that do this, but I, I do, I can think of many examples on Twitter where, like, They tweet, like, I don't know, 20 times a day about, like, their outrage at various things. And I'm like, this is just not... Like, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. But I can just tell you that that is just such a terrible use of my time personally to do that, you know? And I'm like... It's just... It's, 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 it's sad. It's, I don't know. It's just a sad way to live your life. I don't know. I don't really understand. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm from Brazil. I start playing this week, and I really don't know how to get the Nook Miles Plus member. You have to have built your house. You have to have upgraded your house from a tent to a house. Is 
Daniel squad. Stay strong. It's cringe watching people argue on Twitter with random people. Like, who fucking cares? It's not even, like, arguing. It's just the, like, excessive consumption of, like, shit that you know is, like, going to make you mad. Because you want to, like, garner, like, rage from other people, you know? And it's, like, it's one thing if it's, like, your life and, like, your job. But, like, to do that in, like, your own recreation is just, like, I don't really get it, man. I don't really get it. Life is too short for shit like that. I'm not a philosophical person, but I know that that's true. And, like, drama. Drama on YouTube. Drama on Twitter. Whatever the fuck. Like, people eat that shit up, and it's like... I don't know. Ignorance is truly, truly, truly bliss sometimes. I like looking at boobs on Twitter. Hell yeah, brother. Who just Discord messaged me? It was you. Jen. Got me fucked up. Then we started on drama. Sometimes it's not even drama. It's genuine real life shit. It's one thing to like be informed and stay in the loop about current events. I do think that even that, there's an extent with which you should, like, be like, okay, I gotta cut myself off here. I don't need to know this much about the world, you know? Don't be ignorant, but also, like, don't be stressed out about shit that is just not in your control, you know? That's the way I see it, anyway. Easier said than done, though. I'm well, well aware of the fact. What, how much time do I have? Three minutes? Ugh, it's gonna be tight. I want to try to see if I can harvest these rocks real quick. I left for 30 minutes and you're at 21. I mean, you always make progress fast in the beginning, especially when you're in summertime when there's so many fish available. But yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Do I have the axe? Yeah, I do. I had some loser on Reddit DM me with an accusation of photoshopping an image of a menu. I posted it on r slash English, like... Right... Yeah, I mean, Reddit is a classic example of that as well. No, not money. Yo, I'll be, like, putting up a J, and I say some shit like, money, and then miss completely. Fucking airball. I'm that kind of guy. And I will not apologize for who I am. I don't not give a fuck. The feeling of powerlessness fuels my depressive episodes. Ignorance is bliss, my friend. But yeah, I get it. Truly, I do. Hurry, I need my last rock. I need my last rock. I need my fucking perk! I NEED MY PERK! One perk is never enough. Where is my last rock? Is that- is it that one? Yeah, I guess so, huh? Make sure there's no fish nearby. Oh, that's not gonna scare him away, right? Yeah. Really shouldn't have, like, tested it, really. I looked at the Germa Reddit one time, and I wanted to redact it. Yeah, I also wanted to kill myself. Alright. Uh, I guess let's get a little wood over here. Might as well. Make somewhat productive use of our time. Love when the sky looks like this at New Horizons. Yeah, that green sky. And, like, that doesn't happen in real life. What do they- I don't know when they thought that, like, the sky turned green, but... Whatever. Whatever works. Diagonal and everyone else, should I go emo, yes or no? Well, somebody said earlier that emo is a state of mind. So, in many ways, you sound like you're already there. But as far as, like, the look, the aesthetic of it all? Yeah, sure, why not? It turns green during tornadoes, does it? I, w I, I haven't ever seen a tornado. I want to see one sometime before I die. ac and hs design is really nice. The visual design, the sound design of this game is fantastic. I wish that in many ways it wasn't the best part of the game. 
If you go tornado hunting, live stream it at least. Nah, man. I wanted to stream the eclipse, and then I realized, oh, no, I kind of, like, don't want to be online for that. Just because, like, I want to, like, cherish the moment without having to be like, yo, and I'm, like, fucking pogging, and I'm pointing at it, doing the fucking soy face. Uh, I realized, like, I should just, like, sit there and be like, wow, look at this, like, once in, like, a, maybe once or twice in a lifetime event. I mean, it truly is like a once-in-a-lifetime thing that it's going to be a total solar eclipse and I'm going to be in the path of totality where I live without having to travel to it. That is like a once-in-a-lifetime event. And I was actually about to be like, do I stream this once-in-a-lifetime event? Do I like, do I take this opportunity not to cherish such a wonderful, wonderful experience, but rather use it as an excuse to be like, yo, guys, <laughs> can I get some pogs and chat? What a lame thing to do. And so I thought about it, and I'm like, no, I'm just gonna fucking do it. I'm just gonna watch. I got my glasses, gonna invite some friends over, and we're gonna watch. Yo, can't we get some subs for this? And pray you don't have cloud cover? Yeah. I, exactly, like, why plan a whole stream around it when, like, God, you might get, like, a cloudy day. Might as well be like, well, if it's a cloudy day, that's fine, but at least, you know, it sucks, but, like, I'm gonna invite some friends over, still try to make it a fun day, right? I got, like, a nice camera and everything. I could probably get, like, a good, good video of it, but I don't know. The eclipse will never happen again in our lifetime. Next total eclipse after the current one the next one won't happen until 2044 i mean look i anticipate being alive at 48 personally well if nothing else happens in between now and then which god knows who knows right But will it happen in the U.S.? Will it happen in the U.S.? It's actually a good question. Next one won't happen for 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, so like, well, hang on. 2044 solar eclipse. When's, where's that gonna happen? Oh, uh, that one's gonna be like... Path. A total solar eclipse will clear in Greenland, Canada, and in the U.S. In the U.S., the path of totality will cross over Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota on August 22nd. So, yeah. I don't live in those states, but yeah. I mean, this is, like, crazy. Like, the fact that it will happen, like, over the United States, over Pennsylvania, over Erie. You know, like, it is kind of fucking crazy. And that's, like, once in a lifetime enough for me to be like, you know what? I think I'm going to take a day off the internet for that day. Cherish it. Revel in it. God knows it's not, never going to happen again. Never probably going to happen again. Probably going to break now, huh? Oh, no. Okay. You just keep, keep, chugging, you keep chugging along, my man. Yeah. And now that I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't hit the rocks now with the axe. Hit, hit, get a shovel and do that. Be more efficient. Yeah, and it's going to be like four minutes of total darkness as well. It's like, that's awesome. I don't know. I just hope it's not cloudy. Even if it is cloudy, it's still going to be like pitch black in the middle of the day. And it's like, fucking, that's going to be weird. I don't know. Even if it is like cloudy out. Yeah, it'll suck that I can't see it. But I don't know. It's still kind of cool. I should have enough for after this. The upgraded tools and the tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got it, right? Okay. All the night- yeah, all, like, all the crickets are gonna start chirping as well, and they're gonna be, like, fucking confused. They're like, what the fuck, man? My circadian rhythm. The Zaza threw off my circadian rhythm. Hello, diagonal. Hi. Twenty 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 forty four. I'll be five. I'll be fucking forty eight. 
Like, and then, like, that's fucked up, because that's, like, not even that long in the future. Oh, like, I'm already halfway there. Double my age? Double my age, I'm gonna be, like, middle of my life. Like, almost retired. That actually kind of sounds nice, actually. I got RNA strands in my hookah. Every puff is an insult to God. Fuck, I'll be 50? That's not even that old. You know what, I think about it, and I'm like, that's not even that old. That's not even that old. Not even that old. 50? You ain't even old yet. I think old will be like 70 plus. Yeah, I agree. I think that'll be like 70 plus. Just joined. What happened to attempt 3? Oh, I failed. And so now I'm on attempt 4. Critical thinking off the charts today, I see. Context clues, critical thinking. Alright, now I want to sell. Yeah, we just skipped it. I just got bored. I skipped it. You're right. It just didn't feel right. Yeah, I didn't vibe with it. I got like halfway through that attempt and I was like, you know what? Yeah, guys, I know I'm like halfway through this one, but I just, I'm just not fucking with it anymore. You know, I'm just like, nah, I don't feel, I don't, I just, I'm just not feeling it. It happens. Shit happens. Didn't feel right. Okie dokie. I only got three iron out of all that. That's so tragic. That's so tragic. I need more software is what I need. Let's go with like... How many sticks do I have? 25. Let's go... Well, yeah, I mean, make them all into fishing rods. You don't need sticks for a shovel. Dying at 48, living his best life, relaxing, chilling, vibing, random chatter enters the store he's at. Hey, I remember you. You're the guy that used to play Animal Crossing. You should get all the DIYs in New Horizons. Holds a gun to your head. No, dude, if I ever met somebody who was a fan of mine, I would be, like, the nicest person ever. I would be the nicest person ever. I, I would. I would. I would. Hi, Dag, I'm at work. Don't tell my boss. Put me on speakers. Put me on speakers. Like, actually, though. I promise you I will not abuse this privilege. Put me on speakers. I promise you I will not abuse the privilege of being put on the speakers right now. I will not shriek. I will not scream. I will not say, Hey! You're watching Twitch at work! Sue him! I don't know. I'm not gonna do that. It's fucked up. He's such a sweetheart. Yeah, I'm a real, I'm a real sweetheart. No, I am. I'm pretty nice, I think, anyway. Pretty good tools. Streamer outs poor worker. How do you know they're poor? What if they're, what if they were a billionaire? Then you wouldn't have much sympathy for them, would you? You'd want to eat them. Who's to say? What if they're like a fucking high-ranking executive at a Fortune 500 company? You don't feel bad for them. Yeah, then why aren't you tier 3 subbed is the question. That's a good point. Thanks for making my carbonated lemonade come out of my nose. Ow. That sounds like it hurts. It hurts going down my throat. Can't imagine it coming out of your nose. When I'm outside, I can press up to jack my little shit. Who said that? Eh, I'm gonna need axes. Fuck, I do, uh, you know, I can just buy the axes, though. Ah! I want to crank my hog. I want to go crazy. I love the Pennsylvania, one of the Pennsylvania senators. 
Because the dude one time, the dude's got no fucking filter. John Fetterman, y'all know him, right? The dude straight up tweeted one time like, oh, maybe if I cranked my hog in the... I don't know. I just, I, he, yeah, he's funny. I love that guy. He's so funny. American politics is kind of fucking crazy. Just in general, really. It really is like a drama show. Okay, right. I have none of my shit assigned. John Fetterman, based God. That's my man right there. Yeah, now we're in the fucking part where I gotta, like, actually progress the story, and I hate it. Oh, free softwood. What a sight. I'm from PA. Everyone here is crazy? Hey, I'm from PA. Am I crazy? Actually, yeah, you're right. If anything, I'm living proof of that point being true. Yeah. As a non-native English speaker, the phrase cranking my hog is so funny. It's funny as a native English speaker. That's why we say it. We're like, yeah, I just felt like cranking my hog. Just felt like tugging on my shit. Just, I'm just cranking my hog right now. Puffing the old oinker. How crazy, though? I don't know. I think I'm just, like, a little bit, like, jaded from reality. I'm, I'm the I'm the jaded from reality crazy. I'm not, like, the, uh, oh, I'm gonna, like, uh... I'm gonna, like, start, like, uh... Fucking, like, up public property crazy. And, like, just start fucking fighting everyone crazy. I'm just, like, the jaded from reality crazy. I'm, like, the guy who just needs, like, a little, like, care and nurturing crazy. I'm like the silly, goofy crazy, yeah. Time for me to peace out. Have a good rest of the day, dag and chat. Thanks. Appreciate it. Society has fucked him. Yeah, I'm not like the society crazy. I'm not the Joker crazy. I'm just like the, uh... Like, I just need, like, a little help crazy. That's me. That's all I am. There's a true queen. I'm Jade from Victorious. What is Jade again? I watched that show very briefly. Very, very briefly. I had the hots for Ariana Grande before any of you motherfuckers did. I'll tell you that right now. I had the hots for her. She's hot? Which one is that? BRB, PewDiePie. I have to do my chores. Wait a minute. Why is that... Why is that... Hold up. That's a fucking reference to something. Like, you're not just saying that. That's like an actual reference to something. What the hell is that a reference to? Oh, she's the goth one. Oh. Oh, oh right. BRB, PewDiePie, I gotta do my way, this is fucking with me. You're- you're referencing something, and I just can't put it together in my head. Oh, yeah, this is just like a fuck. I don't know, I don't even know if this is funny. Like, is this funny? It was just like this kid one time that commented on a- Dude, actually, this is fucking great, because th this is fucking... First of all, it's it's wholesome, but it's just this comment some kid left on one of PewDiePie's videos one time, and it's just like, BRB, PewDiePie, I gotta do my chores. I'm back. Is like, sometimes I'm like, it's so funny. I, I, I remember the days of being a child on the internet, kind of fondly, and then on the other hand, I'm like, I, I, I don't know if this is, if, if I did this, if this would be embarrassing, or if I'd be like, oh, how cute of me, you know? No, like, if I said that in here, you'd be like, nobody asked, bro? I would, but that's because I'm cynical. But then if I take, like, an objective look at it, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of cute, you know? He's just a little kid, you know? He doesn't understand, like, internet etiquette. He doesn't know that PewDiePie doesn't give a fucking shit about whether he has to do his chores or not. He thinks that, like, PewDiePie is, like, his friend. And it's it, it, if it wasn't, like, creepy, it'd almost be kind of cute, right? But he's just a kid. It's creepy when adults do it. It's kind of cute when, like, a child does it. 
Oh, let's see here. Twitch has just informed me that today we're moving the React feature from channel pages. Oh, okay. Another feature that they introduced and no one used, and now they're getting rid of it. That's glad to see. Am I at 20? I felt like, yeah, I was about to say, I think I'm at 21. I wonder where he is now. Well, considering PewDiePie hasn't been very relevant from a YouTube perspective in probably like 10 years, he's probably like one of you. He's probably one of you. For fuck's sake. Probably around your guys' age, really. Cringe Lord. He's not a cringe lord, man. He's a kid. Now, there is a large crossover there, but it's fine. Oh, Samuel Martinez is doing well, or whatever the hell his name was. See, any Samuel Martinez in chat? Wait. <clears throat> I know for a, for a sure fact that one one people one person in my chat is named Samuel. I know there's at least one Samuel in my chat. We're halfway there. We just gotta get the last name now. Just use the Twitch React feature on twitch.tuvaloo slash diagonal. That's probably the first and I mean that's that's probably the last one I'll ever get. It's probably the last React I'll ever get. I never used them. Where are they? Sniff them out. I have a- I mean, this is kind of understandable. I have a really large honker. I can fucking smell shit that nobody else can. I swear to god, I'm like a fucking- I, I'm, I'm- I'm like half a bloodhound. I swear to god, I was a bloodhound in my last life. I have like a fucking chronically obese nose. And I put that shit to good use, man. It's terrible. It can be a blessing. It can be a curse. Most of the time, it's good, though. Someone said, thanks for the host in a VOD the other day, and I nearly lost it. Wait, thanks for the host? In a VOD the other day? Remember when you can comment in VODs? You remember when you, you could, like, chat in VODs? You remember that? That was a long time ago, and they got rid of that, and I actually enjoyed that feature. I remember that. You could actually, like, chat in VODs. I miss that. What's the point of that? Well, because other people will watch the VODs, and it'll distinguish that this was a VOD comment. Is there a piece of wood there that I missed? Oh, okay, I guess I must have hit that one. It'll, like, other people who watch the VOD will also see the VOD comments and be like, you know... It'd be like somebody's commenting on the VOD after the fact, and it's, I don't know, it's kind of cool, it's just a cool feature. I don't know, I didn't use it all that much, but it was cool, it was fun. I need a little bit more wood, and a lot of more iron. Hey, I need a lot of the more iron. Have I already hit this one? I think this was the money rock, right? It, m -m -m money shot, yeah, or something like that, I don't know. I need one more axe. I miss the old twist. I miss that Justin.tv shit. I wasn't around much for Justin TV. I definitely remember it, though. You get a runny nose when it's cold outside simply because condensation builds up in your big-ass schnoz. Just because that that's the case for my zinger. What a sentence. Um... Kind of, yeah. I mean, I don't know what the norm is, really, because I've never had, like, the norm as far as nose size. You know? So I don't really know. You know what I do get? You know what's the worst shit ever? You know what's the worst shit ever? Is when it's so cold outside that, like, it pierces through your, like, skull and it makes your brain... It gives you, like, a headache. It gives you, like, a headache because of the cold outside. Actually, like, it's cold and it's windy and it pierces through your, like, skull and makes your brain cold and gives you, like, a fucking headache. That is the worst shit ever. And then I have shit like that happen, and I'm like, how the fuck does anybody like the cold? When that shit ha that doesn't happen with the heat. The heat doesn't fucking pierce my brain and give me a headache. That doesn't happen. Oh man, why am I using this? That doesn't happen. Somebody- people like the cold. They like the existence of your brain and being outside. To feel like that? I don't understand. I don't- I truly, I don't. 
And like, and you breathe in the cold air and you can feel that cold air in your lungs and you're like, what the fuck? It's too cold. He gives me headaches? You're weak. You're weak. Get your weak shit out of here. Get, you, get out of here, pipsqueak. I love calling people pipsqueak. That's such a funny word. Get out of here, pipsqueak. Oh, that's so funny. I gotta start calling you guys pipsqueak. Bam that, ban that pipsqueak. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Any pip squeaks in chat? Uh oh. You know what I'm gonna do? Giant brain move. What's up, roses and milk? I mean, I don't know if that was faster than dying and just respawning at my house, but I don't know. Yeah, there's a uh, villager's uh, catchphrase is that. I don't remember. It's a mouse, I think. Got called Pipsqueak in third grade for being short. Oh, I've heard, I've had my fair share of Pipsqueaks directed in my direction. Yes, and that's I think what's what made it so funny because I'm like, it's not even an insult, man. That's just hilarious. Oh, Pipsqueak. Ninety nine on ball IQ, dude. I'm not like the best at this game, but my like my Animal Crossing IQ. Would be like my like 99 stat in Madden. It would be. And create a streamer. Put that awareness 99. Strength 50. Agility. Happy 11th sub. 60. Thank you for streaming for the past 11 months. They've been great. To 11 more. Awareness 99. Crank that slider, dude. Hey, thanks, Dark Fluffy Face, for the 11 months tier three. Holy shit. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Thank you. What sucks so much, what hurts the most, was not having enough soft wood to which to donate to the shop and also be able to make a pole, vaulting pole after the fact. Oh, Rascal Flats, he was so real for that. He was so real for that. You ever grown your facial hair? No, because I can't. Like, what you see now is like one week of not shaving. Maybe not even that. It's probably like five days of not shaving. It's not good, I promise you though. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Dude, some people just can't grow beards. Can't do nothing about it. What do you want me to do? Dude, if I injected like a serum that made me able to grow a beard, but like... I, I feel like I would need to like have some like monkey paw serum. Like, this will make you... Okay, how about... Let's do like a hypothetical here. This will, um, this potion will make you 50% more attractive, but, but, what's like the negative of that? But only to men. It'll make you 50% more attractive, but only to men. Do you drink that? Because I think no, personally. Hetero male, I don't drink that. Plus, I think I'm already a strapping-looking fella myself. Sign me up. I mean, for some of you, that's an easy yes. For some of you, that's kind of a thinker. It's like, I don't know. Hard pass. Absolutely not. That's not a downside to me. Yeah. Some people, that's not a downside. It's barely even a thinker, right? All right. Drink this serum, and it will... It will increase your IQ by 20... But you will be 50% less attractive. So you're smarter, but you're uglier. How much is a pole? Vault, 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 vaulting pole? IQ is fake? Yeah, but like, picture it though. It's five. Fuck. I don't believe in IQ. Alright, you guys are like thinking just way too much about it. So, no point. There's no point. Forget it. Forget I even asked. You guys are just trying to be, like, thinking way too hard about it. I would trade all my smart points for attractive points. I mean, I don't have many smart points. But, yeah, I'd probably trade a lot of them, too. You're only 50% more attractive to crazy people. 
And if you say that, there is no downside. You need therapy. But, like, dude, like, we're all a little crazy, though. Like, we're all a little fucked, right? What's the threshold of being crazy, I guess, is my follow-up question. Like, where's crazy? Where's the line drawn? I'm a little crazy. I'm a little fucked up. I just need one softwood, please. Just one softwood. It's no problem. Just... It wouldn't be like... There you go. There you go. We're all a little fucked up, man. Steelers signed Patrick Queen. Literally who? Like, dyed hair crazy? It's not that crazy, man. Oh dear, my pockets are full. Do I really have two stacks of- Wow, really? What the hell? What the fuck? What the hell? Don't do the voice! Dollar sign emoji. Quit fucking with them. Is it like in general or are we getting into specifics? Do I become like a standard model or do I have a freakish, unbelievably painful, anamorph esque transformation every time I accidentally walked into another man's line of sight? Nah, it's like permanent. It's not just when like, you know, you see someone like that. It's just like, ah, it's permanent. But it just, like, only affects them for whatever reason. It's like the psychic drone from RimWorld. No ex no explanation to it. It just is. There's a blue moon. OMG, I'm late? Yeah, sorry. Uh, on the attendance sheet, I am marking you as late. Because we take attendance here. And, yeah, it's, like, really important that everyone's, like, here on time. There was a rock on the other side. I should hit that. Whoa! He's a heckin' heckin' chonker alert! Whoa! Oh, Lord, he coming! Oh, look at this heckin' long boy! Why is there a flying vehicle very close to my apartment building? Am I gonna get bombed? Alright, Arapaima. I think? Yeah, alright. It's good to get that early, I suppose. See you. Where's that rock? It's not a boulder. It's a rock. Well, guys, looks like we got a heckin' chonker here. Shut up. No, no, you could have sold it. No, streamer, no. Because the challenge is trying to sell X amount of worth of fish in however many attempts, right? Yeah, yeah, you got it. You're right. Oh, I totally forgot. I'm so stupid. God, you're right. Anyone ever tell you how right you are? That's my homie, Mr. Right. Did I fuck this up? No. Let's make sure there's no fish when I do this. I want like eight iron, please. I want just like six. It's just five iron would be good. Yeah, four iron. That's fine. Three and eh, two. Yeah, I mean I've always wanted. Yeah, there you go. I guess three is probably like about standard, right? Buster, straight Buster. Eh. Fuck out of here, bug. Alright, so I can donate all the wood now. Um... 10 iron. It's actually more than I thought. Alright. 
I got more perks than there are stars in the Leo cluster. Oh, I gotta watch those again. I haven't watched them in a while. Toilet cleaning set? Excuse me? Alright. Do I focus on... I don't think I need an axe anymore. No. We're good. You can sell that. I think now we focus on... I don't like focusing on the story. I kind of want to get back to fishing, but I'm also like, I'm going to have to fucking do it eventually. So I'm like, whatever. CJ? Oh, my dog! That is about the sound he makes. I'm hardly exaggerating, really. And I have this five extra wood. What the hell do I do with that? What can I do with five wood? I don't want to use it, but I don't want to, I don't want to just drop it and not use it. I could sell it. Oh, you know, I'm going to have to make these. I will have to make these for the bridge. So, yeah, maybe I'll hang on to it for that. Now, Flimsy Axe takes hardwood. I can make a birdhouse. I can make this, which I should make, actually. But that takes hardwood, whatever. Yeah, we'll hang on to it. Um, I guess time travel now and get iron and build the shop and get that done. You have to do that eventually as well. Alright. No? <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm gonna fucking... Oh, any, any good sales? Actually, there are some sales, right? Because Mario Day, it like... Actually, I think because Mario Day a couple days ago, I think they're running like a lot of sales on some Mario games. Bro is going shopping. I'm fucking... whatever. It wasn't registering the fact that I was holding down the right D-pad. Guys, I gotta check out some sales. And I was like, what a ridiculous concept. Nintendo games going on sales. But no, I actually do think that they're putting like a lot of Mario games on sale for Mario Day. Or that's actually Mario Week. You guys remember the year of Luigi? I looked through the sales and none of them were very good. I think, like, there was a couple Mario parties, right? I remember. I looked at the Twitter. I looked at that old Twitter. Hang on. There's, like, a few good games, right? Ooh, it's raining! They got fucking... They got... Dude, they got Luigi's Mansion 3. They got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on sale. Y'all been looking to get Mario Kart? Super Mario Maker 2, Super Mario Party, Mario Golf, and Mario Tennis Aces. Okay, they do kind of fall off as the list goes on, but... Still. Dude, this is so fucking weird. I tweeted, um, earlier today. I, I did a little, little Twitter thing. I just saw this as I was checking Twitter, and I tweeted, October 2020, I'm informed Nintendo has removed Joe Biden's Animal Crossing Island. A tear falls from behind my fogged up glasses. Good! You don't need that in video games! I don't want real world events in my video games. Okay. It's just a joke, man. Just a funny, funny tweet. At least I thought it was funny. So I tweeted it. You can always sight read some people, you know? Sometimes you can just, you just know. Where were you on... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, let's get iron. Fuck. Left the target audience. Yeah, I left the target audience. Exactly. That one wasn't for... Yeah. You're right. That's what happens, man. That's what happens. That struck a nerve, yeah. Fine, though. 
Don't harass them, though. I'm shocked some people haven't bought Mario Kart 8 Deluxe yet. I actually never bought Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It came with my Switch. I think that's why it outsold Animal Crossing is because, right, it came bundled with the Switch. And, like, you know, that's how a lot of people even got a copy of the game. I think that's... Is, that maybe not the only reason why it outsold Animal Crossing, but, like, that's at least a large part of it, right? Animal Crossing came bundled with Animal Crossing Switches, but those weren't near... Like, these were just regular old Switches that it came bundled with, so I'm like, I don't know. I don't have the DLC. Oh, but it's so good, though. Like, and honestly, the fact that they've been making, like, so much... So many new tracks for it, at least over the past couple of years. They're done now. That probably sold a lot more copies as well. Which I don't want to be like, they should have done that for Animal Crossing, because, you know, they did give it a constant flow of updates for, like, a year and a half. I don't think that the game is abandoned, as many do, you know, think so, but... You know, if it did get, like, as much updates after the fact as Mario Kart did, you know, you never know. Another Mario Kart stream when? I'm in a bad mood playing Animal Crossing. I'm in a bad mood playing Animal Crossing. You want me to play Mario Kart? Oi. Dude. Dude. Fucking Jesus. I would eat the controller. The controller would have already been in my stomach. I would have gone go gurgle gurgle in my stomach. Yeah, the new tracks are shit. Oh, sick. I was... Okay. I was like, yeah, the tour ones are not that good. But, like, you know, in general, I like them. Even if most of them were shit. I mean, it's still, like, however many new tracks. 48 new tracks? Still, like, a fucking lot. I'm worried that this will get scared away, so I'm gonna get it. If I hit the rock, it might get scared away. Ooh, okay. Take that. What happened to attempt three? Well. In the challenge where we have to catch every fish, but if we miss one, we restart and we go on to the next attempt. I'm gonna make an educated guess, given no other context whatsoever, that I made a mistake and missed a fish in attempt number three. And thus, we are now moved on to attempt number four. That's my, like, context clue, sort of, like, critical thinking part of my brain that I'm using to deduce that that is likely what have happened. But, you know, I could have just, like, got bored and, like, moved on to attempt four and been, like, I was bored with attempt three. And so I was like, guys, I just want to restart and go on to the next one. I suppose that's a possibility as well, but when I run it through the old critical thinking part of my brain, I likely come to the conclusion that I missed a fish. We love you, Daddy. Two minutes. In the corner. How goes it so far this stream? It's alright. It's going alright. This attempt is going alright, at least. God send mods for that one. We love you. Yeah, that was me. That was me. How much iron do I have now? Not enough, I think. Hang on. No, 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 no. That, that, that. No, I want to keep that. 
I don't need this five. Honestly, get rid of it. I don't need it. Get rid of the rocks. And then we're at 18 iron. All right, so now go to the next thing. We hate you, Dag. Romantic. Dude, I mean, that's how, like, girls be flirting with you back in the day. They'd be like, oh my god, I hate you. That means you love me. And it went both ways. When the boys mess with the girls, that means they had a crush on them. And vice versa. That's just how it was. Sometimes Dag has to smite the unworthy, yet too eager. I don't even know what that comment means. Catching every fish, but every time you catch a sea bass, it's at least a C plus. I have had people try to tell- You know what was one video idea that I actually genuinely considered before realizing how fucking ridiculous it is? Was catching every fish in the order that they appear in the Critterpedia. And first of all, it's literally impossible because you can't catch every fish while only catching 80 fish. And second of all, it's like, how would you ever... That, that's just ridiculous, right? You can't do that. Yeah, like, you literally can't do that. But also the fact that, like, once you get to, like, I need... Oh, man, I need, like, the arowana. Or I need the barrel eye. Good luck catching that without catching, like, 50 horse mackerels first, you know? Is love not accepted in this chat? No, it's more like the daddy part. That's really not kind of cool. And the fact that I need to tell you that makes me want to time you out again. It was a pain. I thought it was crushing on them, but I wanted to genuinely bully... Okay, I'm gonna end stream. Yeah. Cooling concept, but hard as fuck. Yeah, like that... I genuinely thought about it, but then I was like... Yeah, no, that's like, well, first of all, along with literally not being possible, it's also like effectively not possible at all. Back to the grind. Try to have a good day, Dag and chat. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. 21. Golly! <laughs> Fucking flowy, man. That's not gonna get scared away, right? Why even risk it? Why even risk it? Why even risk it? There's no point. Why even risk it? Is that something I might need? I mean, yeah, God knows it might be, but I don't know. I'm not even worried about it right now. There was one... Over here. How is the tat progress going? I haven't caught a stream in a few weeks. The tat progress? I'm not working on it. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't need the goal, but at least it's sort of salvaged after four fucking rocks. I'm sort of salvaged. Not that I need the bells, but at least I can sell the gold. Good to see the challenge is finally moving somewhere. I've been in every... I think every attempt before this one, I have been further in the progress. Well, no, I think attempt one reset at like an hour and a half, but... Uh, So maybe not that one, but attempt two, attempt three, both got further than this. I'm just mindlessly, I'm just being a little drone right now. I'm just mindlessly getting through the story mode. Dude. 26. And... Have I hit this one yet? Yeah, okay. Fuck, I broke it. God damn it, man. 
I have hardwood though, right? Yeah, not much, but some. I'll just buy the fucking shovel, I don't care. Only like the 100th time you're completing the story mode. Yep. Yipper. Better to break it now than when you hit the rock. Uh-uh, it doesn't break when you hit the rock. It doesn't break when you hit the rock. It doesn't break when you hit the rock. When you use a shovel and you hit a rock and that something comes out of that rock, the shovel will not break. That is why I'm so mad that I broke the shovel, because it will never break if I did what I was supposed to do and only hit rocks that have things that come out of them. Lock in? Dude, I've been locked in. I ain't fucked up yet, have I? I was locked in ever since I started this attempt. That's what sucks about this, and that's why I'm not, never going to do, like, one of these challenges ever again, where I'm like, if I fuck up once, I restart from the beginning. Because if you're not locked in for even just one second, you throw away hours of progress. Are you progressing the story to get a bridge? Yeah, to build the shop, get a bridge, get the three housing plots... Build the ladder. Ladder allows me to access the upper levels of the river, which allows me to get a string fish, cherry salmon, and char later on. Yep. Basically. Hopefully we can get all the iron that we need today, though. I fucking love string fish. I've only caught the string fish in one attempt, right? Attempt two. I never got to it in attempt three, and I never caught it before that. Hmm. Maybe next challenge you should do it challenge... Maybe the next challenge you should do is challenge others to do their challenges before suggesting them. It's really easy to suggest things without actually wanting to do them yourself. I don't blame people for suggesting things that might be silly. I guess all I would ask is that people do, like, think about the implications of the challenge before they ask. I'm not asking them to do it themselves, though. Although I do feel like if you suggest a challenge for Animal Crossing, you should have at least, like, bare minimum as far as, like, in-game achievements go. You should have, like, at least, like, completed the museum. I'm saying it. Before you can suggest a challenge that I do, you need to have proven your fucking nuts. You need to have proven your worth. You need to have completed the museum, at least. Before you can suggest something. I think that would be good. I think that would, like, weed out the people who don't really... Eh, not completely, but, like, weed out the people who... Suggest silly things. Like, get every Nook Mile stamp, complete the museum... Get a five-star island and do all that while blindfolded. Can you do ACGC 100% speedruns? No, I'm not going to 100% a game that is is open-ended and dynamic as Animal Crossing GameCube. What goes into a 100% Animal Crossing GameCube speedrun? That's full catalog, all fish, all bugs, all fossils, full museum, which, you know, kind of goes along with the other ones. You don't want to know? Okay, well, I'm not going to do it then. I assume dupes and codes are allowed, which, I don't know, sort of takes away from it, honestly. Is the art in J... Is there art in GCAC? Yes. If there was ever going to be a game that I... Not 100%, but complete the museum in. It's not going to be GameCube. Well, I've already done GameCube. Uh, it's not going to be Wild World. It's not going to be City Folk. It's going to be New Leaf. Because in Wild World and City Folk, I don't think there's a way to cheese getting genuine paintings like there is in Animal Crossing GameCube. One iron when I only needed one more to have enough. Dude, this is really stinging me right now. There's no way to cheese getting genuine paintings, and there's also no tell to whether a painting is real or fake in those games. So it's a true, like, trial and error 
not even trial and error, because that would imply that, like, eventually you'll get better at figuring out which ones are real and fake, but there's literally no tell at all. You could buy ten famous paintings in a row and have none of them be real. You know? That's kind of why I don't want to do the full museums in those games. Log on to GameFAQs.com and get those ACGC cheats. I was a Neo Seeker kid. I was Neo Seeker Animal Crossing Wild World cheats. If you hit the store with your shovel three times, Tom Nook will pop out. I promise, guys, it's true. If I hit this one already, I think I did. I don't even want to take the chance. Just go to the next day. Full Hyrule Compendium? No. Cheat Code Central? Fuck! I've heard of it. I don't think I was ever a Cheat Code Central. I don't know if I'd want that showing up in my browser history when I was like eight years old. God knows. Probably think I'm like trying to like hack the CIA or something like that. That's like a scary name for a website. Always leaves holes next to my rock, so I already know I hit them. Yeah, but then you have ugly-ass holes everywhere. Hi, Dag. My name used to be Kadai, but now it's this. Thanks for the content. Three. Three. You're welcome. Thanks for the 17 months prime. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad reviewing. It's about to rain. Actually, I hope I stay on this day if it's about to rain. That'd be nice. Looks like it's about to rain anyway. It's not a bad idea, but, you know, now I only need one more iron. Which makes it extra fucking sad that I managed to get one iron out of that rock when I only needed two. Rain music is top tier in this game. There is no music in this game that is top tier. Maybe the museum tent track, but then you move on from that pretty quickly. People say that I like the ambient music that's playing right now before you build resident services. Eh, gets a little repetitive for my tastes. Probably one of the weakest aspects of this game, to be honest with you. 5 a.m. is nice. Like, it's nice. It's just like none of them are memorable for me whatsoever. I have a lot of memorable tracks from every game or every Animal Crossing game before this. Just nothing from this one except for 3 a.m. because of how ridiculous it is sticks out. That's why I like 3 a.m. Even though everyone hates it. Maybe I'm fucked up. Yeah, why didn't they bring back the accordion from Animal Crossing Wild World and GameCube, right? Why didn't they bring that back? I miss that so much. Like those are like some of the most iconic tracks in the in the in the series. I feel like they added a lot of like other instruments that really fit well in GameCube that they never brought back either. I feel like they almost tried too hard to make like island music when they made this game. And I feel like they kind of forgot like what made the past games so good as far as music goes, you know? I don't know. That was one of my favorite things to look forward to when this game came out was the music, and I was so disappointed when I was like, I don't really like it. I don't really like it. Not, I don't fuck with it as much. I like New Leaf's music, though. Even if it didn't have the aspects of the previous two that I mentioned, but I don't know. I still liked it. The prologue music is pretty good. It's so repetitive. It's like, you just, I don't know, it just, it just loops like way, it's way too short. It just loops way too much. I don't know. I don't like it personally. What am I at? I'm at 30 and 5. Okay, well, I'll get more though, because I will need more. I want to move these rocks. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's drop these. It doesn't sound like AC. I replaced the New Horizons music and put Wild World and New Leaf hourly music on with Yuzu mods that suits the game more. Well, now you can't do that anymore, though, can you? There's still Ryu Jinx, right? I don't know the whole situation that's going on with Yuzu. But I guess you can't do that anymore, right? Rip Yuzu, by the way? From what I understand, weren't they, like, fucking stupid? And it's, like, their fault entirely? I don't know, I don't keep up with the situation personally, but like, 
it was entirely their fault for like encouraging the distribution of uh, illegally acquired ROMs. And as soon as they got caught doing that, they were like, well, because that's like the entire like that's emulators uh, entire like uh, safety net is being like, make sure that all the ROMs that you use with this emulator are acquired legally, like extracted using your own legally bought copies of the game. And they were like distributing like illegally acquired ROMs, and it's like well that kind of like under under undermines like your entire safety net, right? I don't know. Which killed Citra? Is Citra not around anymore? Oh man, that kind of sucks. All right, we're good. Have you heard how Me Metallica is suing Napster, dude? I didn't even know Napster was still around. That was like some like 2005 shit. Yeah. Metallica is still around? Yeah. I'm like, N Napster and Metallica are two things I didn't know were still relevant. Oh, because Yuzu and Citra were the same team, so they both had to shut down. Oh, okay. You see the patch notes for 1.6 Concerned Ape is released on Twitter yesterday and today. He said he's going to release a non-spoiler patch note every day until the update releases. No? I think I may have saw, like, a tweet that was, like... It was about, like, fruit trees, right? If you're talking about, like, that tweet that I saw yesterday, it was about, like, how fruit trees... ...are, like, whatever... I didn't really understand it completely, but, uh, I remember there was that. Was there another one today that he released? Because, no, I haven't seen that yet. What's the new one? Have you played Cult of the Lamb? It's really fun. No. This can go here. One from yesterday, released another one today about fixing a bug for making harvesting faster. Wait a minute. Fixing a bug? You're not talking about that, like, animation cancel bug that all the speedrunners use, right? All the speedrunners have, like, a hotkey setup to where, like, you can do animation skip where you can, like, harvest things without using energy or some shit like that. You're not talking about that bug, right? Isn't that, like, a critical bug for speedrunning the game? No, he's not fixing that one. Okay, good. That's what I was worried about. I'm like, why would you fix that? It seems like a that seems like it would be like a unanimously round upon fix, which he doesn't really do that. Generally. Okay, put that down. Got the shop funded at least. And then yeah, let's do the bridge and then we'll at least be caught up story wise. It's like harvesting left to right was slightly faster, so he evened it out or something. So, when he says you evened it out, did he make the traditional method of doing it as fast, or did he slow down the fast method? Not that I even understand what you're talking about. I guess I'm trying to understand, though. He made it as fast as. See, that's good. I like it when... I like it when, instead of fixing a bug that makes the game more enjoyable for a lot of people... They instead make an alternative that everyone can do to be able to catch up to that. I like that. I, I don't know if that any of that made sense, but I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, he's always struck me as just a guy who knows what's best for his game, listens to his community. He's always struck me as somebody who has a good sense of what people enjoy about it. As opposed to Animal Crossing. Does anyone know when it comes out on console? I don't think it has a release date on console. I only know that it's like, what, March 19th for PC? Steam? If he truly knows what the community wants, he'd make Carolyn and Jody dateable. I think that he looks at stuff like that and he's... Uh, not that I'm him, I can't speak for him. But I've, he probably looks at stuff like that and he's probably like, You know what? I'm not gonna make that canon. But if somebody... And I know some mod maker's gonna come along... And it's going to be like, no, he'd make Clint dateable. I'm going to, I'm going to ring you out like a washcloth if you want Clint to be dateable. Clint. I'm going to ring you out like a freaking washcloth. 
No, he probably just looks at like the mod community and he's like, you know what? If they want to make Carolyn and Jody dateable, that's on them. That's on them. Attempt four, what happened, Dag? Uh, well, I failed. Attempt three. And so when I fail an attempt, I move on to the next one. And I go to attempt four, number after three. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Called a timeout. I did. I did it. I did it. I needed a timeout. Reading Metallica suing Napster took me back to fucking 2002. Is this something that happened recently? I'm gonna Google Metallica suing Napster. Metallica versus Napster Incorporated. Oh. On... It was a 2000 U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California case that focused on copyright infringement, racketeering, and unlawful use of digital audio interface devices. Oh, so this happened back in 2000. Yo, I thought that you just fucking... I thought this was, like, recent. When did Napster shut down? I guess it never really shut down. It says that its final release was September 3rd, 2002. In 2002, the Napster streaming service was acquired by two Web3 companies, HiveMind and Algorand. There you go. Is not a thing anymore. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering if people talking about Metallica suing Napster. I thought this was like a thing that happened recently. Alright, make the bridge. Or, yeah, yeah, the bridge first. Favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. Cookies and cream if I'm feeling like a little bit fucked up today. If I'm feeling a little fucked up, I might go to the fucking Dairy Queen and ask for a cookies and cream Oreo blizzard. Otherwise, I'm cool with a vanilla ice cream cone. Does anyone um, ever eat ice cream and then like feel uh, short of breath? I I'm not allergic either. Don't diagnose me. But I'm, I'm serious. Does anyone like eat ice cream and then take a deep breath and be like winded? Yeah, because it's cold. Yeah, but like what's the logic to it? Yeah, kinda. Does anyone cough? Yeah, I feel like it's like it's like it tied into like coughing as well. Yes, and coughing. Okay, well, like, some of you are, like, no question marking me, like, I'm a fucking idiot. But then some of you are like, yeah, no, that, like, it happens to me, so maybe I'm not, like, an idiot. I don't know. Probably your diaphragm getting cramped. Does anyone else, speaking of diaphragm, does anyone else run? This is actually, like, what made me have to stop running when I was a kid. It got better as I got older, I don't really know why, I didn't really do anything, but... When I was a kid, I used to get this really, like, bad pain. Like, right... Uh, you can't really... I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing, but, like... Right... Like, underneath my rib cage, Like, my lower rib cage, I used to get a really bad pain when I ran too much. When I was a kid. And I actually had to, like, stop running for a while to, like, help, to, like alleviate it. I get that, too? A, a stitch? Is that what it is? Yes, I did. I got that sometimes. I got that too. What was that? Like, what was the actual diagnosis of that? I call it a stitch too. Hang on. So if I Google, like, 
stitch after running. Side stitches are a common phenomenon for runners. While many people may go through an episode with a few deep breaths or stretches, some will need to stop exercising to alleviate the pain. Wow, so this is like a thing that actually like happened to like a lot of people. Is it just like a cramp? Yeah, and, and like when it happened when I was a kid and like over time it just kind of got like better. I don't know, like I do, I, I bet you if I ran now I would still like feel it. I was told like I had to do like stretches when I was a kid. I think it's just a cramp. Interesting. I thought that this like only happened to me. Like my doctor would like try to tell me to do stretches and shit. Hmm. My pediatrician back in the day. Can I fit this here? No, I don't think so. Man, this is kind of unfortunate. I can't really fit this anywhere. I don't think I can fit it here. The excuse that they give you for this bridge is the most stupidest thing ever. To place a bridge, you need the river to be just the right width, and the land on either side should be even. I remember that there's one thing where you can't put down a bridge, and it's like... the stupidest excuse ever. Hang on, can I move that down one? Yeah, that's probably better. I just wanted to be closer to the ocean. The more I'm on the internet, the more I come to terms that I've never had a singular unique moment in my life. You say that, just wait until you have a computer problem that literally only you have ever had, nobody else ever, and you Google it, and you're like, wow, fuck, I guess I'm literally the only one to ever have this problem. Okay, got that built. Let's do the plots now. Don't wish that on me. I'm just saying. It's happened to me. It, it happens to me probably like once a year where I have like an issue with something software hardware wise and I google it and I'm like oh surely the fine folks of reddit somebody will have had the same problem as I do so I type in my problem and then I type in reddit afterwards nothing nothing and then I take the reddit out and I'm like well anyone else on the internet have this problem and no nothing if you're lucky you might have like a old microsoft forum post saying that problem and then somebody's like Hey, I have this problem. I've never seen anywhere. I haven't seen it anywhere on the internet. I was wondering if it happened to anyone else. Zero replies. Last posted six years ago. No way you're getting in contact with that person. Mm -mm, ain't no way. So you say that, but you'll run into it one day. Got to get a random 2008 forum post that never got nothing answered. That's what I'm saying, brother. That's what I'm saying. Plots. Gotta check Yahoo Answers. I used to be a Yahoo Answers power user, guys. I used to fucking... I used to be a Yahoo Answers power user. I swear to fucking God. You'd, you'd, you'd probably... Honest to God. You'd look at me, and you'd be like, Yeah, that checks out. But I... It's, it, it, it's true. It's true. I used to be like a Yahoo... I tried to get... Whatever those points were, I don't even remember what they were called. But whatever those points were that you got for being awarded, like, best answer on Yahoo Answers... I, like, used to fucking farm for that shit, man. My entire ego was based on how many of those fucking Yahoo answer points. They might have just been called answer points he had. That was my entire, like, existence. I used to use Yahoo Answers for math answers. That was just that was just what you did back in the day, man. 2013. Well, that, even that was a little late for Yahoo Answers. I'm talking about like 2009. I remember my top websites in like 2009. Top three: Yahoo Answers, Go-To Quiz. I used to love making quizzes on Go-To Quiz, and then AddictingGames.com. Those were like I was I was a fucking power user back in the day, man. On my fucking dial-up internet. Ask Jeeves, yeah. This is the shit, man. Bro is the quiz whiz. Yeah, dude. You probably still find my old quiz. Is that still a thing? Go to quiz? Go to quiz. Yeah, it is. Wow, that's still a thing. Dude, it looks literally the same as it always has as well. It literally looks the same as it always has. They haven't changed this website since like 2009.
Wow, this is crazy. Can I, like, look up my old quizzes that I used to make? Oh, this is fucked up. This is, like, scaring me, actually. This, this, it literally looks the exact same. That's so fucked up. Line Rider. Oh my god. Dude, I, I was huge brain. I would go on to Line Rider. I would go to addictinggames.com and go to Line Rider. And then I would turn the internet off so that my mom can't yell at me for having the internet on. I'm expecting a call! And I could be like, I got you. I'll go on Line Rider and then I shut the internet off and I would just play offline. I was huge brain shit, dude. Huge brain shit. Alright, well we got the ladder, we got... We're good. We're caught up. For the most part, anyway. Not to the fish, but story-wise. Gifted kid activities. Yeah. <laughs> Gifted kid activities when you're my age are being promised of being the best at what you do. Oh, you have such a bright future ahead of you. You're going to grow up and you're going to do great things. And then not growing up and doing those great things that you were promised that you would be able to do. And then having a sense of dread because you had so much promise when you were younger. I was always one of the best in my class at math, at reading, and all that stuff. Golly, you're going to go on and you're going to be a doctor. You're going to win the Nobel Peace Prize. And then not ultimately living up to the dreams and expectations that were had of you. And then realizing that, well, I guess I'm a disappointment. Yeah, that's just, that's fucking gifted kid shit right there. I have enough miles for the pocket expansion? No, not even close. No, I got the ladder, though. That's all that matters, right? I'll vote for you when you're president. Where's my astronaut license? Hey! I was a gifted kid. I, I, why I oughta. Why I oughta. How many total fish are we at? 56. Okay, we gotta get those numbers up. Yep, and now I'm here answering questions like, what happened to attempt three? Alright. Did y'all ever get into gate testing? What the hell is that? They used to literally take us to another school for our gifted kid program, and we only ever read Goosebumps books. I always wondered where those kids went. Like, I was always an honor student, but they would take, like, the gifted kids, and they would make them go to, like, somewhere else, and I'm always, I always wondered, like, where they went. I always wondered where they went. I was like, where do they take you? Jail? I genuinely always wondered that. Thanks for, like, shining some light. I genuinely had no idea. I guess they just read Goosebumps books. Good for them. They got out of class and everything. We just went to the spare conference room to play puzzles. Really? That, that was the best use of your time? Alright. You could have been learning, like, fractions, man. Maybe, like, they actually took you to the other place. And made you do bullshit stuff like puzzles and Goosebumps books to make you stupider. To, like, bring you down to, like, everyone else's level. Maybe that was actually the plan. They were like, well, hold up now, son. You're too smart. We gotta dumb you down like the rest of the kids. And so they made you, like, do puzzles and shit. Shit that, like, wouldn't do anything. I played a lot of block sores. Ah, oh, I fucking love block sores. And that game actually makes you think. That's a good gifted kid activity. No, I really think that was the goal. Yeah, they gotta stupid you up. Yeah, make you like the rest of them kids. Shut up. I did hesitate there, because I was like, wait, can I scare this away? Yeah, you're fine. Updated my catch. Hang on one second. 
23, 23. Okay. What music do you like? Eh, I don't know. Everything. It's true. Kind of everything. This seems like a painful challenge to do. Yep. If I got you the money is calling jacket, would you wear it? Uh, no. Just being honest with you, I would not. You would never catch me in that thing. It's only painful for the weak-minded. Dude, I'm like the weakest mind of all time. I'm literally the weak-minded. The only reason I'm still doing it is because I'm like, man, it's my job. Otherwise, I'd have, I'd have clocked out. Dude, I face any... I face any adversity and I'm done. Is that new? Yeah, it is. I face any adversity and I'm done. I'm the weakest minded person of all time. I face any adversity in what I do and I'm like, okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. I don't I don't I don't want to do this anymore. I I that's me. You're talking about me. The only reason I'm still doing it is because it's my job. But, like, I got, like, start to, like, exercise. I'm like, I gotta exercise. I gotta get in shape. I exercise for one day. And it was really hard. And, and like, I'm really sore the next day. And I'm like, alright, I'm good. Nah, that's too hard. I don't feel like doing it anymore. No pain, no gain? Yeah, no. Like, you're right. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, my gain, my desire for gains is no longer there. Because I am now feeling an extreme amount of pain. Now nah, I'm good. That's why I need, like, an accountability buddy. I need someone to, like, live with me and nurture me. But not in, like, a girlfriend way. Like, I need somebody who just, like, pops in occasionally and is like, um, go to the gym. And I'm like, ah, but I don't wanna, I'm fucking tired. And they're like, and they literally like pull out a baseball bat. And they threaten me. Go to the fucking gym. And I'm like, ah, right, fuck it, guy, okay, whatever. And then they follow me to the gym with the baseball bat still in hand. And they make sure that I'm at the gym actually exercising and not just like, you know, doing whatever. I need that kind of person. It's a hostage situation. Yeah, but like a consensual hostage situation. Bro wants a conscience to nag him into better habits. Oh, I got the conscience that nags me. No, trust me, I have that. It's just, that doesn't overpower my will to procrastinate. Or to put things off that I need to do. Oh my fucking god. If I get another fucking piece of trash, I will actually end the fucking stream. I swear to fucking god. I genuinely got, like, really mad when I saw that boot. I was like, uh, I, what's the opposite of, like, serotonin? I had bad juice flowing in my brain. There was bad juice there. How much are we willing to pay for this service? You get to live in my apartment rent free. I already do. I'm in your walls. You didn't need to put the in your walls part. I got it from the first part of the comment. It actually would have been funnier. My smoke alarm went off while trying to cook steak. I'm so worried about that. Whenever I get like a- whenever like what I'm cooking gets like a little smoky, I'm like, dude, the entire fucking building's gonna have to evacuate.
the entire building is going to like the fire alarm is going to get set off for the entire building everyone's going to evacuate and they're all going to know it's because i was like i i like put the onions on the pan for like a minute too long they're all going to know it was me i'm going to be like fucking essentially excommunicated from my apartment Like, you know those, like, sprinklers that are on your ceiling where, like, they have, like, a thing where if it detects that it gets too hot, it'll, like, break that glass and the water will start, like, spraying everywhere? I'm always so fucking worried that, like, whatever I'm cooking is gonna make, like, a little bit too much steam where it sets one of those off and, like, my entire fucking apartment gets flooded because it sets off those fucking things. They put it right above your stove for a reason. My college apartment smoke alarm would go off from boiling water. My old apartment, not this one, but the one before this one, the one before the last one, would do that. You would literally, you wouldn't even boil water, dude. You would turn on the stove. You would open up the oven when it was hot, and it would go off. And it's like, it was loud, and it was placed right above the fucking oven, and don't do this, but we eventually had to just take, like, a Ziploc bag and, like, put it over the alarm so it wouldn't go off every time we took a shower. We would take a shower, and the steam from the fucking shower would set the stupid thing off. I had to put a fucking Ziploc bag over, and I'm like, I can't do this, man. If there's a fire, it'll melt the bag. It'll be fine. It'll still function. I don't give a fuck, though. This is just annoying. If the fire department saw that, they'd be like, oh, shit. You can't do that. Happened to my school once because the teacher used the popcorn button on the staff room microwave, and it burned a little, and the whole system went bonkers, and we had to evacuate. So fucked up. What's up with teachers and eating popcorn at school? Can someone answer that? What's up with the teachers and just eating popcorn in the middle of, like, class? Or, like, whatever. They always- they fucking ate- I swear to god, that's all they eat. It's an easy snack? I, mean, I guess. Teachers fucking loved popcorn, man. What the hell? It is an easy snack, though. I understand why. It's just like, man, is that not just, like, a my school phenomenon? All my fucking teachers would eat fucking popcorn. We would smell popcorn from, like, the hallways, and we're like, ah, oh, fucking Miss, Miss Christy all day eating popcorn again. And the fucking ear-piercing, blaring-ass... <coughs> you ever had that happen in the middle of a fucking test? Oh my god, it was terrifying. Everyone's all quiet and shit, and just suddenly... <coughs> you are such a little bastard. fucking scary. Some goober, some kid, couple times, pulled the fire alarm. <laughs> and we had... It was kind of funny. It's not funny. Don't do it. But they would, like, yoink him out of the school by his arm. Like, he's a fucking, like, prisoner being transported between jails. I'm like, man, he just... He was just doing a little trolling, man. Come on. You ain't gotta treat him like a criminal scum. But don't do that. But don't do that. Don't do it? No, I'm doing it? Well, don't tell him- don't say that I told you to, then. Avast, storms are coming. Look at my asshole. I can't get this guy if you're sitting there, Gulliver. And god, it could be a fucking Mahi Mahi or Giant Trevally as well. Dude! I swear to fucking god, this guy's hitbox for talking to him is, like, giant. And so far, I'm going to my fire alarm went off at work once, and apparently everyone was told it was just a test apart from me, so I evacuated. They were watching me on the cameras and laughing. 
That's almost as bad as my fucking fire drill story that I told the other day, and so I don't want to really tell it again, but still, yeah. Not that it's a dick measuring contest, but yeah, no, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Alright. Finally got our first shark. I did already get a sucker fish, but not a shark. Saw shark's what I needed last time. That was the only shark I needed last time. Now it's the first one that I got. Do you have a fire drill during winter where you had to stay outside for over an hour, or is that just me? No, we definitely had them in, like, some pretty cold, bitter winter days, but I don't remember a fire drill ever lasting an hour, no. Fire alarm was going off at the vet, and they proceeded to stay inside and see my dog while the alarm blared. Is that good, or is that bad? I think I'd be like, yeah, no, that's kind of a good thing, right? Like, it's probably, like, I don't know, they don't really do fire drills when you're veterinarians. I think most veterinarians are adults, and they kind of know that if the fire alarm goes off, they should probably get out. I don't know. I can't tell if you, I can't tell, Garfield, are you slash J? Or slash SRS? Fire drill stream? No. Also, yeah, that shit sucks for, like, your pets as well. I don't... I don't see... I don't think this is a common occurrence, but I've seen pictures of people bringing, like, their pets to, like, concerts and shit, and I'm like, do you realize that they can hear, like, five times better than you can? That's not good for them, man. That's not good. Hey? Butterfly fish, maybe? I feel like a horse mackerel would have seen that. Or a surgeon fish, I don't know. Yeah. It'll do that. I've seen pictures of it before. People bring their dogs everywhere now and I don't get it. Well, because they like them. I don't know. When I was in California, it was... I want to put this rod in a place that I probably shouldn't say. And now they're just not going to see that. I, I got to wake this guy's ass up. I have to. I have to. I have to wake his ass up. There's just no way I can... Uh, okay. Damn it. Say it. Uh, his asshole. I like California. Because people did kind of bring their dogs everywhere, but, like, everywhere was, like, kind of chill about it, though, you know? I never did it, but I don't know. I sort of like being out at the grocery store and just seeing, like, he's just a little boy, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm fucked up, though. Maybe I'm fucked up. Cool. Got that. Yeah, if they were well-behaved, of course. You've given me closure? Oh, I'm happy to provide. What are we at now? Like, total? Don't fuck with total, the cereal. Eighty-one. Okay. Okay. Twenty-six unique. Is that counter right then? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Wait, is he like all the way over there? Can I even reach that guy? I'm just gonna ignore you, I guess. 
I can't reach them. You know what I should have done is I should have built the bridge here. Why did I do that? Why did I build it over there? Well, I guess because that allowed me the access. Yeah, you know what? That's actually fine. It allowed me access to the bigger side of the beach. This attempt is going quite swimmingly. <laughs> I. That's a good one. Nah, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Fish swim? Well, so is like everything. Generally, anyway. Yeah, get up. Honestly, honest to god, you're saving me so much fucking effort just getting up and getting out of the fucking way. Even if I have to go through all your fucking dialogue, it is so, so much better for me to just wake you up and get you out of the fucking way. Damn, boy, you'll never finish? Alright, if I finish, I'm gonna ban you. Well, now if I finish, I have to ban you, right? It's the only way. In fact, I'm gonna mark your name. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a um, like a marker next to your name. If I come complete the fish challenge, I can't spell. Okay. You are now marked. You are now marked. You already have finished. Attempt to get banned. In case you guys uh, weren't aware. Or in case you guys need proof. In case we need proof here. You're a marked man. Marked man. <laughs> Catching a live Dagnall stream for the first time ever. Hi. Goodbye forever? Oh, I haven't completed it yet. I haven't completed it yet. But we'll get there. I would just say, like, enjoy your last moments, perhaps, because God forbid this be the last attempt. I... God forbid. I would hate to see it, really. I would hate to see it. Enjoy your last moments, weeks. Eh? That's what it takes. That's what it takes. You restart the whole island if you miss a fish? I sure do. Arapaima, I think, which I already got. Is that anything else that I might need? That's not Dorado. That's way too big, so let's not even fuck with it. My steak is a perfect medium rare, despite the smoke alarm incident. I am happy to hear. I've never cooked a steak before. Is that wrong? Am I weird? 27, never cooked a steak. Kind of have no desire to do it, really. It's not weird, right? My pits are getting a little stiff. Mm, 
you gotta do your stretches. Make sure that you're doing your stretches, guys. Make sure that you, as a chronic stiff pit sufferer, I found that doing my stretches generally keeps them nice and loosey goosey. I can't recommend it enough. Make sure that you're doing your stretches. Does scaring it away include not being able to catch a fish? What do you mean not being able to catch a fish? It almost ruined my boy's night last time. Do you gotta tell your boy? Do the stretches. Very important. The hell are stiff pits? Jeez, like your pits are just like a little stiff. That's it. He's never like fucking like felt your pits and just like, oh, I'm a little stiff today. Never? You're the weird one. What are we at? 90 something? 84? Have I really? I thought I checked that like 30 minutes ago and it was like 81. I've caught three fish in 30 minutes? There's no way. No way. I don't tend to touch my pits. Really? Alright. You don't have to touch them, though. It's just a sensation. It's just, like, stiff. I don't know. It's feeling a little stiff today. I see a fin. No. I feel like I'm on the verge of missing one. Something about like my mentality. I hope I get to 100 soon before I do though, so I can take a break. I want to get to 100 and then end the stream. I'm gonna get to 100 and then end the stream. So I can at least end off at like a good spot. What else, what all do I need during this time frame anyway? Is this squid new? No, okay. Sweetfish, Napoleon. Oh, right, the Napoleon fish. Sweetfish, Napoleon fish, great white shark, sucker fish. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. The science of pits stains when Googled. What are stiff pits? Dude, I can't describe it other than you just wake up one day and you're like, Oi, mighty stiff today in the old pit department. You know, can't describe it. Just is what it is. Uh, uh, you guys want like a scientific evaluation of it. No, it's just sometimes you wake up and you just stiff pits. It's like a headache, you know? Can't can't describe it. You just your head just aches. Your pits just stiff. You're thinking too much about it. it just is. Just got my first Dagnal Chatter message DM. Shit! Long way to go? What's it say? Yeah, sh show pits? Dude, it's almost tank top season. It's almost tank top season. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm telling you. Even my knee pits got stiff the other day. I ain't experienced that. What the fuck? Yeah, y'all ever deodorize your knee pits? Like the the like w underneath your knee? Y'all ever do? I've done that before. Really? Why isn't there like why is deodorant only for your armpits? There's a lot of like crevices of our bodies where like sweat and like it gets it gets humid and sweaty. Like, behind our knees, under our pits, of course, but, like, also, like, our ass? Between our legs?
Like, why is that the only part of our body that we're like, hmm, it gets mighty moist down there. Why don't we, like, do something about that? Because it's not close enough to our faces for us to smell. But there's still smell. Like, an yeah, our ass. Thanks, Amy May, for the tier one three months in advance. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing for a few months. Thank you. Thanks for contributing for all months of the Partner Plus push. Appreciate it. I deodorize under my hongas. Uh-huh. See? But no, that's, a, that's, that's another good example. Like, why isn't... Why doesn't deodorant, like... I mean, I guess you could use it there, but, like, that's not what it's supposed to do, right? Nothing's stopping you, right? But I'm, I'm also, like... I don't know. I feel like it would, like... It, it, it's not designed for there. It would, like, cause problems. Like, I'd get, like, a rash or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Last place I want a rash is, like, between my ass cheeks, you know? Never thought I'd say, I'd hear Dagnall say hongas, but here we are. Yeah, I mean, that is probably the first time I've ever said that word in my entire life, so really you should feel privileged. But second of all, I was just reading a comment. It wasn't even me. Somebody else said it. I got anchovy? Yeah. We had a hundred. Mama, please. 96. Good year. Are you trying to catch the barred knife jaw? No. I'm just trying to catch everything until I get to 100. Don't fuck up the last four. I mean, I'm going to try to not fuck up the last four or anything before that or anything after that. Yeah. No, but you're right, though. You are right. I asked my husband if he'd use his deodorant for anything other than his pits. I said no. He said no, and why would you? Well, your pits aren't the only part of your body that gets, like, nasty and sweaty. It makes a lot of sense. And also, it's not a guy question. You don't have to ask your husband. Like, the guy's the only guy that gets nasty. One more. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Mm, he's a big boy, too. Great white shark. Or any shark that I haven't gotten. Yeah, like that. I think. Yep, that's good. Alright, I think that's a hundred as well. So... Yep, bling blong. Alright, hundred total catches, and... Now every fish is unlocked, and 27 unique catches. Okay, I don't... What were we at last time when we got to 100? I don't feel like it was 27. I feel like we've gotten pretty lucky with the fish that we've caught. In, so far, anyway. Oh. Oh, Ivey. 
bad vibes today. Best joke of the stream? I don't think I told a single joke this stream. I really don't. I haven't been in a jokey mood, really. Bad vibes today. But I'm gonna get going. Thanks for being here today. I appreciate it. Be live again. I don't know about tomorrow. I really don't. Um, because I have a doctor's appointment, like, right when I stream, so... I either have to stream early or late, and I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm in the mood for either. So we'll see. To be determined. Join the Discord, that's when I'll announce whether I stream tomorrow. How are you feeling after... the stone emergence? I don't know. Probably the same. <clears throat> Thanks, Sailor Aaron, for the two months. Enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing. And thanks for the partner plus push contribution too. Now I, I feel normal. I feel fine. Like, whatever. I mean, it's just like another thing, really. I'm through the worst of it, from what I understand, anyway. The worst part was... <clears throat> knowing it was there. So actually, it was kind of been like a crazy two-day span um, since I last streamed. I'm going to talk about it, despite the fact that nobody fucking cares because they want me to play the video game. Um, but I went to the doctor because, I, I mean, I've been telling you guys for like two weeks now, like, hey, there's something like, there's something... There's something wrong. Like, I am swear to God, guys, I'm getting another kidney stone. Because, like, I don't know. I just know what it feels like at this point. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, I can't describe it. I just know what it feels like. You, 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 you can sense when something is wrong with your body because you just know what your body normally feels like. And so you notice changes. Um, thanks, Annalena, for the two months. And Steph for the tier one. Appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing. And thanks for contributing towards the Partner Plus push. So I went to the doctor because I knew something was wrong. And he said, I don't, I don't want to get into too many details. But there are grim details to, uh, you know, a kidney stone. I don't think I need to go into too many details. And he said, yeah, we, like, found, like, this, and, um, you're that we definitely suspect, like, another kidney stone. And I'm like, uh, rats, doc, what do I do about that? And he says, go to this clinic and get an MRI, or, sorry, a CT scan scheduled. And so I did that. And after I left the doctor's office, I went to go get a haircut. And I got my haircut, and it's, it's nice. I like it. Um... And, uh, after, uh, so I went downtown to get my hair cut, and so I'm like, ah, whatever, I'll just, like, hang out downtown for a while. I scheduled my CT scan, so I did everything that I needed to do that day. So I was like, alright, I got my medical shit out of the way, let me just, like, spend a day downtown. I, uh, so I'm downtown, and I'm like, I, I, look, guys, I'm sorry, but there's no way to... <laughs> It, it, this there is no way to tell you guys what happened without it being like disgusting all right if you don't want to hear the details i want to tell you right now probably like mute the stream for like 10 seconds okay oh god how about i put it like this let me give you the medical word for it How about I give you the medical word for it? I, I, I had a bout of hematuria. 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 Uh, and I was like, well, that's not good. And so I went to the ER. And that's when the stone began to pass. So... Uh, yeah, bold of you to know what that is. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said it vaguely, so that if you genuinely want to know what it is, you can look it up, and if you don't know, you don't know. Ignorance is bliss. Um, so I went to the ER, and that's when the stone began to pass, and I was like, well, but it actually wasn't even that bad. Uh, it, honestly, the pain was not even that bad. They put me on some medicines, and they pushed me out the door, said, Alright, on your way. We need this room for someone else. 
Actually, they didn't even have a room for me. They shoved me in. They shoved my ass in the hallway. They shoved my ass in the fucking hallway, man. Of the fucking ER. Did you get to keep it? It's still inside of me. It's still inside of me. It's a 2.1 millimeter kidney stone that I gotta, like, grab when it comes out. I gotta yoink that shit. And if I don't, then I can't send it away to someone else and be like, Hey, what's this made out of so that I know how to prevent them in the future? That's, that's where I'm at now. But honestly, I'm at a very manageable level of pain. About a very manageable level of pain. Ew! Ew! Chess streamer, I don't want to hear about your medical issues, even though you probably described them in like the least gross way that you possibly Why could have when dealing with a love you as much as well do. kidney stone. Streamer, I know you tried to describe it in the most like tasteful and respectful manner that you could possibly could describe it in regards to a kidney stone. But like, ew, I'm not here for that. Play the fishing game. Alright, anyway, thanks SimSetter for the 28 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for contributing towards the Partner Plus push. Let's just get started. There's no point. No, quit, quit fucking around, right? Quit fucking around. Who cares? Just play the game, right? Thanks Panic at the Dog Park. I like that, actually. Bro, ain't no way, boy. Bro, it's fucking... It's the human body, alright? It's the human body. It's the way it is. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't nothing you can do about it. What can you do? Seriously, what can you do? Alright, so when we left off, we left off at 27 of 80, but I'm gonna I'm be honest with you guys. I practiced on this save file for like 10 minutes before starting the stream just to like get it, just to get my, just get a feel for it. And we're now at 28 of 80 because in the process of practicing, I got a bluegill. Not exactly a thrilling catch. I'm not too upset that I didn't get that one on stream. Uh, here's where we're at, though, with unique fish. We got a decent bit done. Um, and we got up to 100 total catches last stream. 28 unique, 111 total. We got up to 100. I caught 11 off camera just now to practice. So we got up to 100. Everything can spawn. We're at July at 4 p.m. where we need a sweet fish, a Napoleon fish, a great white shark, and a sucker fish. Do I have a great white shark? I know we have a sucker fish, and I know we have a sweet fish. Do I have a great white shark? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Okay. So, great white shark, Napoleon fish, and grind bait while we get both of those. Sound good? Start the timer. Happy fry yay yay fry yay no I hate Fridays truly actually I in my current situation not in general but I do not like Fridays for my current situation I don't like Fridays because I live in an apartment complex with students and all the students throughout the week let me throw all this shit out as well all the students throughout the week are gone and I love that. I love when the students are gone. I love, like, Monday through Friday. Free, eh, fellas? I, I love, like, Monday through Friday from, like, n when I wake up to, like, around 5, because no students are in the building. No no roughhousing going on. No bullshit. And then Friday comes along, and that's when the parties start. And I'm like, ah. Uh, uh, uh. Thanks, Morgan Cundy, for the 13 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for contributing towards the Partner Plus push. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's buy the uh, pocket expansion. How many switches do you have? Just two. Which is... If you're going to be an AC YouTuber, that's a pretty reasonable amount. Now that's a good-looking turnip. Long have I coveted the aesthetic mint turnip. And now you're done, right? Now you're done. You're not you're not subbing any more months because you want to keep the green minty one. It does match your name, at least on my screen. Anyway, thanks to the year, Maddie Webb. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Appreciate that. I can make a couple more rods. I got one particular Yahoo. Uh, okay, I just want to say first of all, calling someone a Yahoo is very, very good. I do, I do like what I do like using the term Yahoo to describe someone. I got a, I got a real Yahoo over here. I got a real 
particular Yahoo neighbor that makes me hate weekends as well. My water glass will have that Jurassic Park Trex ripple from their music and dune buggy revving. Yeah. That's the shit Mario says. No, it's not the shit Mario. Mario does say Yahoo, but he does not use Yahoo to describe people. It's calling somebody a Yahoo is a lot different. You need to understand the nuance there. Benjamin Cranklin. That's what- never mind. Uh, I'm Benjamin Cranklin my shit right now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If Norm MacDonald told that joke, it'd be funny. Because he makes everything funny. I'm the Yahoo neighbor? I don't know, man. I'm not a big Friday guy. Gotta keep working towards the perp? Which one's the perp? I don't remember. I, I made those forever ago. I don't fucking remember which ones are which. All I know is that, um... Like, four years of subs is, I think, like a rainbow turnip, which is what I... Is that not what I have when I post? Oh, no, I have a gold one for five years. I think maybe four years is a rainbow one. <clears throat> oh, well, so if any of you guys want to get up to four years, I got a rainbow turnip badge for you. That's pretty cool, right? Like, that, 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 that definitely justifies... Oh, you know what? I should upgrade my shovel as well. I think I have a crafting table here, though. You know what, let's get some iron as well, because I think that was the last of my iron that I used. Gay turnip. Yeah, at four years of subscribing, you actually do turn gay. And if you are gay, then you actually revert back to being straight. It's quite the phenomenon, actually. And then five years, you're back to being gay. It's crazy. I don't know how Yo, it works. Who is excited for the stream? Cool face. Hope you are cool doing well, Dagnall, and have had a good week. I have... I have not... And I'm not guilting you for saying have a good week, no, I, but I, I want to be very clear. I am, I have had one of the worst weeks that you possibly can have. But thanks so much for the five months, I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for wishing a well week, even if uh, it was, pr quite honestly, one of the worst weeks imaginable. From like a, for the perspective of everything, really. Do they give you back the kidney stone if you send it away? I don't- I don't- I wouldn't want it back. <laughs> I don't- I hope not. I hope they don't send it back to me. I hope I'm gonna send it away to them and they're gonna, like, investigate it into a lab and be like, Yeah, the reason why you got this is because, like, your whatever levels are high. Here's some, like, medication that we can use to prevent that. And I'd be like, gee, thanks, doc. And then... I never see the confounded thing again. I hope I never make one ever again. No, I hope I don't ever see it again. Look, I don't want to make, like, the bad week contest. I don't want to make it, like, a bad week contest. Like, who had the worst week? But I had a pretty bad week. I'm not saying I had the worst week anyone could ever have, but good golly, it was not very good. From the perspective of really anything. Do you drink enough water? Brother, it's all I drink. It's all I drink. I have a coffee in the morning. That's what this is. After that... Straight water. Don't drink anything else. That's all I drink. It's all I drink. So, I, I don't know what I do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I do to deserve this. I don't know what I do to deserve having this fate. Some people are just chosen by God to have kidney stones. And when you have a stone... Is this not my beach for clams? They're not getting a lot of clams. Dag, the counter says zero. Oh, yeah, I never changed that. We're at 20... 28. I don't know why God, when he decides to craft each and every human, because he does that. Um, wow, that's my first clam that I've collected? Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> I didn't do any clam collecting last stream? Good God. What the hell is wrong with me? Anyway, when God crafts and makes every person... I can go to the other beach. This beach sucks. I got no clams over here. Let's try the other one. He just decides. Some people will get cancer. Some people will get kidney stones. Some people will be depressed. Some people will be fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some people just have none of those things. And I'm like, wow, golly, that's crazy. That's wild. Life ain't fair. God gives his toughest battles to his silliest soldiers, and I am a silly little guy. Um, yeah, I guess I'm pretty, uh, 
pretty quirky myself, then. God gave you a bonus freebie. I mean, the idea... Look, it is... I'll be honest with you. It's kind of metal. The idea that, like, my kidneys make, like, these calcified stones that I could, like, you know... That I, like, piss out. Like, isn't that, like, kind of metal? If you ignore how excruciating it is, it's kind of metal, right? Like, that's kind of, like, badass. But, like... It's not... I, I don't want to be metal anymore. I want to be squishy. I want to be cotton candy. I don't I don't want to be. What are you living on a fucking cotton candy house? Oh. The whole thing is metal. Even the pain. Yeah. As the entire time I'm in excruciating pain, I'm going like... Argh! And like doing the like Gene Simmons thing with my tongue that I can't do. But I'm working on it. Bro is brewing something malicious. Yeah, my my body at all times is brewing something malicious. That's kind of crazy. Right? And also had a stuff this is completely irrelevant to everything else that's been going on. I've had a stuffy nose for like the last 12 hours and associated with no other signs of of, of sickness. I've just had a little I did a little stuffy. I did not just say little stiffy there. I said a little stuffy. I've just been a little stuffy lately. I don't know. It's too early to talk about God abandoning us. No, it's not. No, it's not. Allergies? Yeah, but like, what if I- I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. Did I went bowling yesterday. I'll be honest with you, I was probably the only one at the bowling alley with kidney stones, so I guess I could say that I had that going on for me. Yeah, I may not have bowled the best, but at least I got an excuse. I got stones in my kidney. Yeah, this is definitely Clam Beach over here. How was bowling? Did you win? Actually, we did win, like, all of our games yesterday. But that was only not really in part due to me. I didn't bowl that well. I bowled, like, average. It was a band slam. Got stones, huh? Yeah, it's like that Got Milk campaign where they would, like, put, the, like, the milk mustache on you. Except it's got stones, and instead of putting the milk mustache on you, they stab you in the kidney with a red-hot catheter 1,000 times. It wasn't as fun. Not as fun at all. I had a stuffy note and a sore throat right now. This stream is my distraction. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Unless, like, well, I guess I kind of, like, didn't distract you at all, because if anything, me talking about this has reminded you of the fact. So really, like, I haven't done a very good job distracting you, really. I haven't really done a very good job at all. It was a Milo's and Mario movie. Real catheter hours. Who up? You were stoned while bowling? Okay, I wasn't stoned while bowling. I had a stone. Congrats on passing your stone. Hope it never happens again. It's gonna happen again. It will happen again. It's a matter of time. I've had three in three years now. It will happen again. But thanks, Aaliyah, for the nine months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thanks for contributing towards the partner plus push. It will happen again. No, I wasn't stoned while bowling. I had a stone while I was bowling. But, funnily enough, the guys that we went up against... Last night, um, fucking zonked the entire time. You can smell it. They, I will see them before we go bowling, uh, lighten up a J. That's a joint for you kids out there. They will be lighting up a J before they go bowling, and you can smell it on them as you're bowling. And I'm like, shoo weesh, man. You guys start early, don't you? I don't know. The guys that I went up against were definitely fucking stoned while they were bowling, though. So I, I don't know. I don't get it personally. I don't think I can do much while I'm stoned. I think I just like sit on the couch and watch YouTube videos. Like any more than that, and I'm like, yeah, you're asking me to do too much. Can't do all that. I'm making brownies when my cat tries to stop me from making brownies. We'll give him a little brownie. He deserves it. Y'all know that that I I don't engage much in Zoomer. Um, would you call it, like, uh, culture, maybe? But I think that, like, the Zoomers, the young people, I'm young, but, like, the younger-than-me people, but, uh, 
They like to watch this cat. Like, you know that, that cat on YouTube where they just like feed it like pebbles and shit and it goes like... <laughs> you know, that crunchy cat Luna? I love that little guy. He's so cute. Yeah, the plink and plonk guy. Yeah. Yeah, you have to refresh Mario movie if you want to resub, if you want to share the sub. I love that guy. I don't know. I love that guy so much. Give him a little brownie and like film it. He's like crunching down. I don't know. It's cute. He's cute. I don't know. He's not a pussy, dude. Come on. No, he's nice. And it's just the funniest thing. I don't know. Is that like a Zoomer thing? Or is that like a... Is that a Boomer thing? And like, I enjoy that. And like, other people my age enjoy that. And like, the kids these days, they're like, they're, oh, the cat's stupid. I don't know. Whatever the fuck they like. Yeah, he just... He crunch. Exactly, dude. I don't know. It's just good. It's just good content. I don't give a fuck. It's easy to watch good content. No, the kids love it? Okay, that's good. Is there some- like, what is something that, like, everyone of all ages enjoys? Is there, like, a- and I'm maybe not even a meme. I, I don't like calling things memes just because they're, like, popular internet things. Even though that kind of is what memes are. It, is, is there, like, a meme that transcends generations? Like, a, a, every age group loves it? I'd like to hear some examples, because I bet there is, and I just can't think of any. It's like an internet meme everybody enjoys. Like Spongebob. Well, I don't know. Even like the old, old generation was the generation that told my generation, Hey, if you watch too much Spongebob, it's gonna rot your brain. And I'm like, Oh well, yeah, you're right. Rick rolls? Uh, 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 I don't know. I guess it's kind of like history at this point. They have like a, the Rick rolls have like a legacy factor. They've just been around for so darn long, you know? Definitely, yeah, I, I think just animals in general, but, like, even, like, that's too broad, though. You gotta, like, specifically, like, Neon Cat, like that, I don't know. People still like Neon Cat, is that how you say it? Neon Cat? I don't know. Minions? Yeah, I kind of fuck with Minions, actually. I, 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 I actually do, I, I fuck with Minions, actually. Minions went from unfunny to extremely funny. <laughs> Not minions. Yeah, I don't know if that's truly everybody likes it, though. No, and not everyone likes peanuts jokes, okay? Some people are very... Some people find them crude and undistasteful. Some people don't like penis jokes, and it's kind of crazy to me. I don't know. Then back to unfunny? I'm still waiting on minions to become unfunny again here. Me, You know that meme of that guy who's like, uh... Gonna prank my dad when he comes home. Day one, day two, day 300, whatever the fuck. That's me. Me waiting on minions to become unfunny again. <laughs> it ain't never happening, dude. It ain't never happening. I think, I think, I think minions memes, I think minions memes stay funny. Farts? Yeah, no, actually, farts are fucking hilarious. No, farts are hilarious. You're right. Maybe dog videos? Yeah, probably. Yeah, like, everybody loves dogs, right? I don't care if you're allergic to them. And, like, I can't be around a dog. Yeah, but you still like them, right? You like watching them, right? How could you not? Were they ever funny? I don't know. I like them. I think that they're epic, actually. Dude, like, yeah, reverb fart, dude. It's fucking fun. I'm sorry. Like, it just is. Farts are funny. It's so funny. I pray on their downfall. You guys aren't funny. I'm, I gotta, I gotta clarify this question before I ask it. Like, I have to ask funny people only. Like, I need to, like, I need to have a thing where, like, you must be like this funny to enter my stream. Do you know I'm allergic to dogs? I think, yeah, somebody mentioned it. But, like, you have a dog anyway, and you just deal with it? Because that's, like, what... Yeah. Because I'm, like, allergic to cats a little bit, but I've had cats in my life, because I'm, like... I mean, I, I, I just deal with it. It's not bad enough to where I can't still live, you know? Did y'all play Wordle 1000 today? I actually did. I, I, I was kind of surprised, like, damn, Wordle's three... Almost three years old. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> 
Is that why I keep getting kicked out of the stream? Yeah, because you didn't meet the funny threshold. Yeah, that is why you got kicked out of the stream. You must be this funny to enter. Yep. And they boot you. They boot you out of this stream if you're not this funny. Honest, if you're watching right now... I mean, I guess you must be funny enough. Otherwise, my automated systems that I have in place must not be working well enough. Good thing I'm hilarious. I don't... I, I'm not the one to judge. It's it's the automated system. It's the algorithms, really. It's, it's not me. It's not me. I've never been booted. Let's see here. Any timeouts? No, no timeouts, no bans. All right. Ah! Well, don't ruin it now. Don't get cocky. I've been doing Wordle connections in the mini like every day recently. Yeah, is Wordle about to come back? Is Wordle coming back? Maybe I'll start doing the Wordle again. Like I told you guys, the only dull I still do every day is the Flaggle. Which is the flag one. Which actually today, I don't want to spoil it to those Flagglers out there. Which sounds like a slur. But those who do the Flaggle every day, my first country that I chose is the fucking one that it was. And so I got it in one today. And so I'm feeling pretty damn stellar right now. I'm feeling... If I had some... If I had some suspenders right now, I'd say I'm feeling quite... I'd feel I'm feeling quite dapper today. And I would grab the suspender straps and I would pull them out and I would whip them back under my body. And I'd say, yep. Feeling good today. <laughs> Thanks, Taco Fars Yummy, for the follow, by the way. Slide, so shout that one out. Has Josh told you about the Poke Doku? Is that the one where you have to, like, align, like, the two different types? Like, psychic, ghost, whatever? I think I know of that one. I've seen a lot of them. You sound like my grandpa. Your grandpa's a smart man. Unless he's not. If he's an idiot, then, um... Well, I hope that... Uh, then I'll time you out. How about that? It's types and also regions and stuff. It's so fun. It does sound fun. I'd be total dog shit at it, so... I, uh, Me personally, I, 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 I'm not gonna play it, but, you know... I like Immaculate Grid, but that one's for, like, baseball players. So, like, that's one that, like, you guys would be like, I don't really get it, I don't really understand it. But I'm like, yes, fuck yes, got that Jack Wilson 0.1% on the Mariners and Braves crossover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got that Jason Bay Red Sox Rookie of the Year. Mmm, that's a 4%. You should try Icicle. Oh, wait, shit, really? Icicle? Is that a thing? I, I'd be good at that. Holy shit, Icicle? Guess today's... Oh, shit. Wait, okay, actually, none of you are gonna like this, because... Well, unless you play Isaac, but actually, hang on. What the hell? Wow. Alright, I gotta play the Icicle, guys. I don't know how this works. I'm kind of scared, actually. I Isaacle. Um, game mode selection. Classic. Guess today's Isaac item. Hard mode. Less HP and hints are less helpful. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm pretty good. Search for an item. Um, how about <laughs> how about we start with a good one here? Um, C section. Ow! It hurt me. Okay, so it's a it's not a quality four item. Hang on, I gotta I gotta fucking mute this. It's gonna drive me insane. The only thing I got right is that it's a passive item. I got the item pool wrong. I got the description tiers. I guess it's a tiers item. Colors pink, red. Unlock character. Release repentance. Okay, so I got like nothing right there other than that it's a passive item. Okay, well how about we go with like um. Or we go with uh, number one. Okay. Also a passive item. Right, but it's not a tears item. It's all... Okay, so it's unlocked from the start, and it's a flash-based Isaac. So that was in... It was in the first version of Isaac. 
and it's not quality two. Is it quality one? Or it's either zero, one, or three. And it's not in the item room. It's in the secret room, boss room. Let's see, boss room. How about box? Just regular old box. Passive, beggar, and boss room. I'm going to guess it's just a boss room item then. It's all we have unlocked. And apparently that was in Wrath of the Lamb. I had no idea. Hmm. There's sound. Yeah, there's a, there's sound. You guys aren't hearing it. I'm sorry. Every time I get it wrong, it goes, eh, which is the damage sound from Isaac. I guess it's a... Speedball? Ow! The fuck was that? Devil deal hints. Trade up for a clue. Oh, this is cool, dude. Passive boss room. I think it's just boss room. Gray and white. Brown. Okay, so it's a white item. It's a white item because both of these were white. And apparently that was also Wrath of the Lamb. What's a, what's a plain white item in the boss room that was introduced in Flash Isaac? I assume it's the, it has to be the boss room, right? Yeah, it has to be. The boss room item, plain white, introduced in... Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm not going to take too long on it because nobody knows what the fuck I'm doing right now and nobody cares. Um. Or at least mostly white. Golly, I don't know. I just got it. Give me... Okay, so I think I know the item pool, the description. Give me the description. Ah. Trade HP for clue. Wait, that's just what I did. HP stat plus one more. Mm -mm. <coughs> Hang on. <coughs> so it's an HP up in something else. <laughs> it's an HP up and something else. Is it just like one of the fucking like food items? Oh yeah, actually toothpicks is it's not an HP up though. What if I search white? No, white white pony is a boss item, but it doesn't give HP. I need to go through every fuck. I'm not going through every fucking item. This would be ridiculous, right? I'm not going to do this where I just scroll through every single fucking item until I find out which one it is, right? No. I can't do that. No, I can't do that. No, breakfast, I don't think... Holy shit. It's... it's but that's actually a great guess, though. Always unlocked... Wait, what do you mean white and the, the fucking... Oh, so it's white and something else? Also, beggar? This is barely a fucking boss pool. It, 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 it's, 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 it's fucking, it's, it, it's, it's, uh, dinner? That's not white. Lunch? That's not white. Uh, breakfast is what I just guessed. A snack? That's brown. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, and honest to God, like, I don't really care. HP stat plus one more. What are you doing? I'm playing a game that I enjoy. I I truly like don't know. It's white and something else. Yes, I know that. But like so is every item. It's like multiple colors. Hmm. I want to go on, like, um, what's that website? I want to go on that, I want to go on that, oh, is it Lard? Oh my god, it's Lard, isn't it? No. Oh, wait, that's an item room item. Fuck it. I kind of just want it to kill me at this point. I kind of just want it to kill me at this point. Just tell me what it is. Was it, is it synth oil? 
That doesn't give HP, though. Bar of Soap is white, but it's not Flash. Crystal Ball, Crack the Sky, Daddy Long Legs. Divorce, divorce Papers is not Flash. Not a guppy item. Jar of Flies, no. Lost Soul, no. I wish you could type HP up and have it like give you all the items that are HP ups. That'd be nice. Polyphemus, no. I legit like cannot think of it. Oh my god, wait, is it? No, it's not Steven. The first letter is R. Oh, okay. Well, that will probably... I'll probably get it with that. If I go R and then... Tie, and then fucking lard, no. Well, hang on a minute. It's giving me all the Cs. Why don't you give me the, uh, the R ones first? It's not R key. Oh, it's rotten meat. That's it. Dude, I don't know the names of the fucking HP items, alright? I just know that they're HP items. I don't know the names of the HP items. I just, I don't know that that's rotten meat. It's just, it's, it's, it's a fucking, oh my god. That's the worst item you could have given me as like the first time playing that game. That's the worst item you could have given me as the first time playing, not that you gave it to me. But, the silhouette made it obvious? Where the hell was there a silhouette? Not that you could have, you know, prevented it from giving me, like, one of the worst items that could possibly be. But honest to God, all the HP up items in that game, I don't know their names. I just know that they're HP up. I don't know snack, dinner, breakfast, rotten meat. They all do the same thing. Oh, if you don't play hard mode. Well, I wanted to be hardcore. Anyway, back to the, the bad game. Animal Crossing. Yeah, and there's like a fucking like one million HP up items. And like, m not most of them, but like a lot of them are just purely HP ups. And it's just like, well, they all might as well be the same item, you know? Why are your streams always tagged as Need for Speed, SpongeBob Movie, Fairly Odd Parents? Oh, because they're funny. And I thought that I would like uh, make people laugh by like putting those as my tags because they're funny. Like, as after all, that is the goal. Not that you would like know by, like, you know, the content and quality of the stream, but the goal is to make people laugh. So, like, I thought, like, yeah, you know, I'd, 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 like, make them, like, funny, relatable, like, hey, I played that game when I was a kid, I played Need for Speed when I was a kid. Spongebob movie, that's a classic right there. So I'd, like, make people laugh. Alright. You make me laugh. Thanks. Have I seen a single, um, anything that I need to catch yet? I don't think so. I have been, like, a little bit too focused on getting bait, but I do, like, peek out into the ocean occasionally. Ooh, self-burn. Nice. Yeah, I've never been self-deprecating on my stream before. Yeah. Oof. Those are infinite cranberry sauce. Looking for, let me remind myself and you guys... Napoleon fish and great white shark. So anything shark and anything bigger than a sea bass, aka uh, not that. Hey Dag, how are you today? I play the fifth. You know, I've been watching this guy on YouTube a lot. Um, I've known about him for a while, but he's called Legal Eagle. He's like this, uh, he's the gamer's lawyer. He's the gamer's lawyer. Um... No, oh, he's just like this practicing lawyer who just makes like a bunch of interesting videos about like law shit. I don't know. Devin is awesome. Oh, you know his first name. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not like that big of a fan where I know his first name. We love L.E. around here. I personally... I, I found, I watched like a few of his videos. Uh, one of them in particular was like bad advice on the r slash legal advice. And he's just like, you know, clowning on people who are giving legal advice on Reddit. 
He will be like, I am not a lawyer. Which is funny because when you abbreviate that, it's I anal. So people always say on the legal advice subreddit, like, I anal, but I think that you should sue the shit out of them. And I'm like, ha, it's funny because it's a butthole. But, um, I don't know, I just watched a few of their videos. It's kind of interesting. They're in like that vein of like people who have jobs that I wouldn't normally be interested in learning about, but because they make videos that are engaging and interesting to the layman like me, um, I do find them entertaining. Him, lockpicking lawyer is another one. I really like lockpicking lawyer, if you guys have ever watched him before. All I know is he's a handsome fella. I think that, you know, I could be a handsome fella too if I made lawyer money. He he anal? Yeah, it's funny, exactly. His background has actual books, too. Oh, as opposed to what? The plushies of Opus from Bloom County, Rosie from Animal Crossing, and various corgis, and a Major League Baseball signed by various Pittsburgh Pirates from, like, 2005? Oh, what? He's got actual books behind there. None of that fucking rinky-dinky-ass shit. Caleb Hammer made me interested in finances and budgeting. I... Caleb... I haven't heard of them. I would like to be interested in shit like that, but I... I have an interest in that stuff, mostly out of the obligation of knowing that I should be good at that stuff. I don't have any obligation into being, like, a good law person understanding the law, though, you know? Ow. He has an actual good background? Well, dude, I'm sorry. I don't have, like, a whole lot of shit, alright? I'm a very, like, pe big penny-pinching person. I don't like spending money on things. Alright, like, I don't like- I, I should decorate my shit behind me. I mean, it's already, like, okay. I, I don't know who I am anymore. I'm getting too much money. You didn't get the massage yet, did you? I'm not mad. I'ma just keep throwing support at you till you take care of yourself. Dude, I just had a kidney stone. I'm not really in the market for, like, a massage right now. I'm kind of, like, in the market to, like, I don't know. Is there anyone, like, instead of- Okay, how about this? Massage- Billion dollar idea right here, okay? Billion dollar idea right here. Um, massage parlor. But instead of giving you a massage, alright, you following? Instead of giving you a massage, they shoot you in the head. Thoughts? I'd like to hear some thoughts on this. I'd like to hear some thoughts on this. I, cause like... Then we can start talking. Then we can start talking. How about that? Euthanize me, Captain. Ah, that'd be good. That's just called an Oslo gay nightclub. Right, right, right. And tickets to Norway are how much exactly? Alright. Finally. Let's focus here. We haven't caught a fish in a while. Let's focus up. It's a big boy. Ocean sunfish? Great white shark? Hey, I think I've already caught one of those. I have. Erg, curses, and etc. Foiled again. I love saying curses foiled again. When some no do gooder foils my plans, I do like say I do like dropping a curses foiled again. Uh, I do like that. <clears throat> I don't know, anyway, if somebody opened a massage parlor where they did that, I think that, uh, I'd be, uh, I'd be, a uh, well, I, I'd say I'd, like, be, like, a, a regular there, but really, that's kind of like a one and done. You don't really need to go back after that. Sounds very Dr. Kevorkian. That's so funny how I only literally heard of Dr. Kevorkian yesterday, and now I've heard of him twice. That's so funny how I only discovered Dr. Kevorkian like, last night, and now this is the second time that I have heard of Dr. Kevorkian. Interesting. Uh, anyway, by the way, thanks for the 500 bits, Incognito Alpaca. Yeah, I'll, uh, as soon as they open a massage parlor with my description that I mentioned, I will, I will be sure to spend your money. 
Who the fuck is Dr. Gavorkian? I, I actually don't really know. I just think he's like this guy who, before the days where assisted suicide was like a more common practice medically, he would like help people with that. I don't know. You could see it as a good or a bad cause, but it's sort of a controversial figure in like the late 90s, early 2000s. How are the attempts going? Obviously, it's attempt four, but how did the actual scaring occur? Oh, because I'm shit at the video game. That's it. I think I'm gonna not, like, allow that, probably. Probably shouldn't, like, allow that one. Just being honest with you. Yeah, it's like a two nickels situation. Then again, like, what's the phenomenon behind that? Um... Like, I... When you hear of something once, and then you, like, immediately hear about it again for the second time... Is it because you... Is it a coincidence that you've heard of them for the first two times? Or have you heard that name before, you just never associated it, like, or, like, never registered it in your brain? So it's actually not, like, the second time that you've heard it in your life. It's actually the, just the second time that you've heard it since you actually knew that person. Frequency illusion. Confirmation bias? I don't know. Caught a stream. How are you? Eh, way. Eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. Post man standing, and I think that that's me right now. Post the emoji man standing, and that's about how I feel right now. Yeah. Yo, Diagonal, how's it going? How's y'all's day? We'll refer back to the man standing comment because that's that's pretty much accurate still. That one, no, that's um, that's pregnant woman. No, that's that one's not me. No, I just you know it's just it's just put on a few pounds, just put on a few pounds. Where's the spitter? I saw him. You're not a big either, are you? No, you're just a sea bass. Yeah, just man standing, dude. That's just how I'm feeling today, you know? Like, you know what I like about man standing? You know what I really, really like about man standing? Is that he's not trying to do too much, you know? He's just kind of letting, like, the things that happen to him happen. And he's accepting that, like, you know, I'm just gonna, no matter what, no matter what happens to me, I'm just, I'm gonna keep standing here. And I'm, I'm, uh, by golly, I'm just gonna keep doing it. And like, you know, the, like the worst shit imaginable might be happening in front of that guy's face. And by golly, he's still just standing there, staying strong. Worst shit ever could be happening to him right now. But he don't give a fuck. Just hanging out. Carrying the custom bowling ball under the shirt. Ah, I'm going bowling again tomorrow. I'm so excited. It's nice to be excited about things, you know? It's nice to have things on the horizon that you're looking forward to. Genuinely. I'm a big diagonal downer. How could you not be these days? But, you know, there is something. If you ever want to turn to... Yeah, you know, I'm great at giving good advice. You know, isn't that funny? How, like, the people who are the most miserable always, like, like give, like, good advice. Well, maybe not always, but, you know. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah. Alright, that's great white shark. Got that. Now just an ocean sunfish. So, well, no, not an ocean sunfish. Sorry, I think I have that for next month. But, I mean, I definitely would want an ocean sunfish. Napoleon fish is actually what I need, but we'll keep catching sharks if we see them. That's not a Napoleon fish. That's just a sea bass. Good to know. Drew eyebrows on my dog, and now every time I look at him, he's giving me the... I can I can give that face like it's no one else. Like it's no one's business. I love being the person that people turn to for advice, even though I'm dumb and miserable. I, I, it, it's, it's, a, it's a role. It's a duty. And I know I just said duty, and that's really funny. But by golly, it's, 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 it's big shoes to fill, but we fill them. You know? We do. It's hard being us, but, you know, whatever. Ah, what can you do? Your eyebrows are painting-worthy. Okay, then paint them. Somebody paint them. 
If somebody painted me in like a Picasso esque style, or like a what's that guy's name, Jackson Pollock, where you just like fucking piss all over the canvas and call it art. Yeah, if somebody drew me in like that style, I, I'd hang that on my wall. I'd hang that on my wall. Ah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm pretty good at, like, giving good advice because, I don't know, in a sense, like, I, I... I feel like people who are at the extreme opposite ends of, like, happy or miserable can give, like, the best advice at how to be happy or miserable. Mostly happy. Not many people look for advice to be miserable. But so, like, when it comes to, like, giving happiness advice, people who are happy obviously know how to, how to, how to do it. They, 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 they walk the walk. And people who are miserable, they're like... I know what it takes to be happy. It's just like, you know, these steps don't work for me, and that's why I'm miserable. But I can give this advice to other people and be like, yeah, you go for it. Be the happy that I can't be. I'm good at giving advice. I'm not good at following it, or taking it, or doing it. What did you just say? I don't actually know what I just said. I don't, I don't as far as I'm aware, these are the first words I've spoken all day. As far as I'm aware, anyway. Up counter for the shark. Actually, thank you. Appreciate it. And, uh, hey guys, I'm on Flomax. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what Flomax is. Uh, it's a medication. Now that, now, but now that you know it's a medication, I feel like now that you've, like, I feel like you can piece together, uh, given that context clue, what Flomax is. Uh, and if you haven't yet, then let me just say that I need to use the bathroom. Uh, and that will probably tell you what Flomax is. So I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be right back, and, uh, don't go anywhere. Flomax. Dude, Doctor's... Doctor's so funny. Yeah, I'm Flomaxing. Doctors are so funny because they'll be, like, prescribing you shit, and they'll be like, Okay, I'm gonna give you, like, four things to take home. I'm gonna prescribe you, like, four things, alright? Here's an antibacterial that you need to take four times a day. Here's a, uh... Here's this medication that you need to take twice a day. Here's a medication that you need to take as needed. And then here's a medication that you need to take, uh, four times a day for three days only. And I'm like... Ah! I, what? What do you mean? I forgot all that information. I forgot all that information. As soon as it was said to me, I forgot all that. Luckily, they write it on your prescription bottles now. I, I, I'm like, pardon me? And like, what's what? They all like put their like medical names on them. You know how like Zoloft, everyone knows Zoloft, but did, did, did you know like it's it's medical name is Sertraline? No, nobody knows that it's fucking Sertraline. They all know that it's Zoloft. See, I think that that's a sea bass, but I'm just gonna double check here. I'm just gonna give it a little checky poo here. Nobody knows Sertraline, they know Zoloft. So when they be saying like, take, I don't know, I can't even think of the name. Yeah, just a sea bass. Take one Gu Guantanamo blah blah scheisse four times a day, and I'm like, well, what the fuck is that? And then I Google it, and it's like, oh, that's Zyrtec for your allergies. That's the medical name for Zyrtec. And I'm like, you should just told me Zyrtec, idiot. I can't, I don't know what this is. Ectoplasm. Shut up. Use the layman's names, man. Come on. My PTSD from psychopharmacology. Ah, whatever. Spent forever looking for my L Lexapro. What you mean? It's... S... S... Eskital... Esk... Eskit... Escitalopram. I don't know, dude. It sounds like a Disney princess. I don't fucking know. I can never pronounce that one either. I would fucking flunk medical school. Actually, I mean, that's just kind of true regardless, but I don't think I gotta get that eel because the moray eel I don't think spawns until next month, so don't worry about it. I already got the ribbon eel. In Canada, we call it the medical names. Oh, yeah? 
Well, you're stupid. I couldn't think of anything better than that. I'm sorry. I was trying to insult your country, but, you know, it's the best I can do. Ah, you're just fucking stupid. Ah, good, uh, whatever, nerd. Give me your lunch money. I don't know. Good one, Dag. You got him. Yeah, dude, I, I think that that's, I think that'll shut you right up. <clears throat> I think that'll shut you right up. G the generic names are usually harder to say. Uh-uh. No, they're not. Zoloft is one syllable. Sertraline is three syllables. Well, in that regard, it's easier to say. I mean, and look, just look at the fucking word and tell me that Zoloft is a harder word to say than Sertraline. Get the fuck out of here. Zoloft is two. Yeah, like literally what I just said. Nah, you said one? Yeah, but I think I counted two on my hands, so you clearly knew what I was trying to say. But, you know, keep being, like, nitpicky. It'll really get you far in life. Bupropyrin! Yeah! For Wellbutrin! Yeah! And you gotta tell me Wellbutrin is harder to say than Bupropyrin. I feel like my... Fuck it. I feel like I'm gonna puke saying the word, for God's sakes. Try hydrochloratiazide. Hypochlorotiazide. How's that? Pretty good? Not bad? Eh? You know what's funny is, um, before I went to the doctor the other day, they give you, like, a mental health intake form. Which I think is nice. I mean, that's cool. I, I, I guess that it tells me that at least they vaguely give a shit. Or at least they put on the facade of giving a shit. Which, you know, sometimes that's good enough. And it'll ask you, like, um... You know, like, have you had, like, have you had, like, uh, you know, thoughts of, like, despair and hopelessness in the last couple of weeks? And the options were really funny. Because it was, like, a zero to, or it was, like, a one to four chart. And one was, like, never, I don't have those thoughts. Four was, like, every day. It, and you'd think that, like, one would be, like, eh, a couple days. No, it went from zero, no days, to one, several days. Two, most days. Three, pretty much every day. Four, every day. And I'm like, Doc, what if I only had like a little despair, like one or two days? You need like a 0.5 option in here. I'm like, this isn't... First of all, not for that question. That would have been, like, every day. But, like, you know, like, some of those questions, I'm like, I don't... I feel like maybe, like, not... Somewhere in between several days and no days. What about, like, a couple days? Why can't y'all just let me do a 1 to 10? Like, how bad does it hurt? I'm gonna tell you... Not you specifically. You, the entity of chat. I don't even like those. I don't even like those medical charts. I don't even like those medical charts. The ones that are, like... Well, how's your pain? You know, the doctors will always ask you, how's your pain? One to ten. And I'm like, fuck if I know. Here's here's how you would truly get me to tell you whether my pain is a one or a ten. Because I truly, truly, I do, do, do not know. Give me a ten pain on my left arm, and then whatever pain I came in for, have that exist as well. And then I'll tell you in, in an active comparison against that ten pain how bad my other pain is. That's the only way. I have no scale of what a 10 is, because I don't know if I've ever felt a 10. I don't know if I've ever felt 10 pain before. God, I've never been stabbed. I've never been shot. I imagine that's a 10 pain. So, like, how bad is, like, my headache right now on a scale of 1 to 10? I don't know. I don't know what a 10 is. You'd pass out at 10 pain. Well, I'm not passing out. If it makes sense, my kidney stones were not, like, the worst pain ever, but they were, like, a... It, 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 it's a pain that you just can't, like... It's a pain you just can't make it go away. You know how sometimes you get pains and, like, you know, you, but you, like, shift your body in a way and you can sort of relieve it? Kidney stones, you can't do that. You, you can't do that. It's, it's, a, it's like a... If I could give you a number, and this is the number I gave the doctor, it's like a seven... 
but it's like a solid seven. Like, you can't get rid of it. You can't shift your body and make it like a five. Ooh, you can't, like, you know, rub on it a little bit and make it like a five. It's, it's a seven, and you can't make it go lower. It's a seven, and it sucks because it does not go away. Like, a headache, you can, like, put an ice pack on your head, and it helps a little bit. Not kidney stones. Not kidney stones. Like, ten- and it's also dependent on the person, right? Like, if I've gone through kidney stones that are, like- That's why they use the smiley chart. Well, I'm always frowning, okay? Because I'm depressed. So I'm always on the frowning end of that chart, whether I'm in pain or not. So... But that's exactly it. It's, it's, it. it's true. Somebody who's been shot knows what a 10 is, okay? So if somebody who's been shot before comes in and they're like, Doc, I got a migraine. And they're like, okay, we'll point on the chart where it's at. And they're like, well, I've been shot before. So that's like my, that's my standard for like a 10. So I'm probably like a 4 right now. And the doctor might be like, well, you're a fucking 4. What the fuck are you doing in my office? And he's like, yeah, but like, it still fucking hurts. Just not as much as when I got uh, shot, you know? That's why I don't like those. Good afternoon, Monsieur Dagnell. Hi. So what do they do to get rid of them? Oh, you don't get... You get rid of them by... Spitting them out! But not out of your mouth. Not out of your mouth. I've heard being shot isn't as painful as people think. The adrenaline helps a lot. Yeah, that's what I hear, but... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Anyone want to shoot me? To, like... Anyone want to shoot me? I got, like, some spots picked out already. Like, like here... Here... Other... Do other side. Don't matter to me, man. I got some spots picked out. Anyone want to, like, help me out here? Uh, anyone works. Fuck it, try it. A lot of people, probably? Yeah, shit. Step up. I'll- you- you have to provide the firearm, though. I think the shock of having a hole in you would alleviate the pain a bit. I already got a hole in me. Natural childbirth is a solid 10. That's what I've heard. I can't wait to experience that one day. Ow. Fun fact, sometimes, to break up your kidney stones, you get submerged in water and shockwaves sent to your kidney. You guys love explaining my stones to me. You guys love stone explaining me when I'm the one who has them. Oh, I know. I've seen them before. I've seen them before. I've, I've, I've seen all dust me, dude. I've WebMD'd every fucking kidney stone symptom, pain, uh, cure, everything. Oh, I've WebMD'd it all. Guys, come on. I've spun the block. It's fucking Minecraft to me at this point. Pretty sure kidney stone is supposed to be comparable to giving birth? Well, all I know. How about this? All I know, the final word on it, is when I be getting a kidney stone, I be saying some shit like, Youch! I be doing some, yo -oh 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 -oh. I be saying some shit like that, dude. I be saying some shit like that. Bottom line. Bottom line. Everyone asks you how much a kidney stone hurts, I'll tell them, well, I, I don't know. But i tell you one thing. When I got one, my first thought was, youch! Some shit like that, maybe. Hey. Ocean sunfish. You fucking ugly bastard. Let me check something. Ocean sunfish does spawn past four, right? Ocean... Sunfish, A, C, and H. It spawns past four, right? And I'm not wasting my time. I think it's until nine. Yeah, it's until nine. Are you drinking coffee now? Yeah. A, a bin. You ugly thing. You piece of penis. It's a big boy. I think it's a great like shark again. No, whatever. I didn't need that. Then drink some water too. Oh, 
on top of, like, nobody asked, you're also wrong. Like, I got water too, man. This is, like, 90% water and, like, a little bit of beans. This is water. And also, nobody asked, man. The medical advice from chat is... Cheers. Nobody asked, man. I didn't ask. Not a Napoleon fish. Lay off, dude, please. Check in. I'm gonna get rid of that command. It actually, like, annoys the shit out of me. He's a grown adult, do you think he can take care of himself? Yeah. <clears throat> but you know, if anyone wanted to, like, take care of me, I would appreciate it. Backstream days are the best days. Three yippee. Yay. Thanks, small mini, for the eight months. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Oy vey. Give me a drink. Give me a drink, bartender. Speaking of medicine, I have an important exam coming up that I'm leaving for in an hour. May I please have a slice of well wishes? Yeah, good luck. You'll do great. I think. I, I look. I don't. I don't know. You. You don't need my like. Uh, you don't need my like fucking uh, encouragement. You don't need my approval. You don't need my like. Uh, my well wishes. You know. You probably studied enough to where you have a level of confidence in yourself that I, I I don't know how much you studied. Maybe you didn't do fuck all for studying. But, I don't know. Maybe. Good luck, I guess. If it does something for you, slime, then good luck. I just finished Subnautica. I am free. Yeah, good job. I just ordered some bomb-ass food to tackle my migraines. Oh, hell yeah. I was thinking, well, no, I got food. I was thinking about getting something yesterday, but I didn't. I am, I am sticking very strict in my don't get DoorDash, like, claws. Once a month, that's how often I get DoorDash. That's my, that's my, and, and I know I'm breaking the streamer mold. <laughs> I'm breaking the streamer mold, and I'm... I, I, I am not getting DoorDash. Like, I, <clears throat> I try very hard to restrict my intake of DoorDash to, like, once a month. <clears throat> and I'm doing a good job. I don't think I've, I've gotten it once in March yet. I think I got it once in February. I think I did it twice in January, which is a little... Uh, I don't like it, but I haven't done it yet in March. I'm pretty happy with that. So, like, if I get to the end of March, I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll spoil myself, you know? Because it is just that. It's a little treat, right? And I, I think that's what it should be treated as. I'm trying to do better. Because I wasn't always good at that. I mean, I'm still not great, but... I, I, I honestly... I feel like such a degenerate getting DoorDash. I... 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 I I, I, I do feel, like, terrible. Like, don't get me wrong. I feel great when I actually eat food... But in between that, like, and God, it is like an hour fucking long. In between that, like, hour when you order and when you get your food is, like, the fucking, like, worst. It's like, oh, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Fuck, man, shit! <laughs> what an idiot! I'm stupid. God, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm feeble. I'm weak! Oh, I should be shot. I caved! But then you get your food, and you're like, Yeah, that was alright. That was really risky. I didn't really see if there was a fish there before doing that. Ah, and you're like, Shit! And then your food gets here, and you're like, Yeah, this was worth it. Well, 
Maybe. Depends on if, if, if it's shit, then no, it wasn't worth it. That may, that really just reinforces the fact that you shouldn't have gotten it. You better hope that what you get is good. Because if it's not good, then you don't even get the reward part of getting yourself a little treat. Hype before the food, hype during the feast, guilt afterwards. Ah, uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I definitely don't feel good, but, um, about eating... 10 boneless wings, and 6 very greasy, delicious pierogies. That's my go-to DoorDash order, in case you weren't able to tell. Um, but... I don't know, man. You know how, like, people, like, pat their big old belly after they, uh, eat? That's me. Because, honestly, like, I, I do get, like, a little... Think of it like a buff. Like a, like a, like a, like a video game buff. Any gamers in chat? Anyone play a video game ever? Think of it like a buff after I eat. I get like a 30 minute like mood buff. And I'm like, ah, that was good. Plenty satisfied from Terraria. I have big guilt when I ordered sushi for two people and it's like 70 euros. What the frack? You see the price, you realize you shouldn't do it, you do it anyway, it tastes good, then you're back to thinking about the price and trying to justify it. The way I see it, okay? Part of me is almost like... This isn't good. I shouldn't say this. What the hell's wrong with me? I was gonna say something. Ah, I'll just say it, whatever. Who cares? I've said more shit. I almost wish that I was given like a year to live. Because I don't want this to happen. But part of me is like, man, what would I do if I had like a year to live? I would eat the best food. I would travel to all the places I've ever wanted to travel to. I would blow through every fucking dollar that I have. And I wouldn't regret a single fucking thing because I'm like, I'm dying in a year. If somebody said, you young man, you're going to die in a year. And I'm like, rats. But then I'd be like, I'd immediately start getting plane tickets to everywhere I've ever wanted to go. I would, get, I would, I'll be honest with you, I'd get DoorDash like every fucking day. And I would, I would live it up. I would... I would do a lot of shit I probably shouldn't say on stream. That's the more tame stuff that I'm talking about. Part of me is like, man, I wish I had that, like, will to live, like, without, like, the overarching, like, hey, I'm gonna die in a year thing, you know? I would definitely go naked into the ocean. Like, okay, so what time is it now? It's 1.18 p.m. on the 15th of March, 2024. So assuming exactly one year from now I'm gonna die, I will be in... Like, where would I want to go? Like, I got like 10 minutes left and I'm like, where, where am I at? Where am I at? I'm probably like... Surrounded by my family, but like, where? Where am I surrounded by my family? I don't know. Fucking, I don't know. I'd have to have time to think about it, really. No time, though. Ocean sunfish. Oh, shit. I didn't know he was looking at it. I got so scared there. Jesus. And it's just for a fucking sucker fish. Go down to the mall and do something crazy. Yeah! <laughs> Where would you go? Oh, dude, I'd get to, like, I would spend half of the year in, like, not even in North America. I'd be in, like, Europe. I'd be in Australia. I'd be in, like, Africa. I'd be in Asia. Oh, my God. Speaking of Amtrak, you want to know something fucked up? Yeah, is it related to my trip soon that I probably don't want to share publicly? In the Outback, eating cheese. Yeah, like, fuck it, dude. I don't know. I'd be, like... I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I'd have to think about it. I guess that's what the- I guess that's what people call a bucket list, right? Come on. Ocean sun. Damn it! I'll text you. Okay. Well done being able to name more than one continent. How honestly stupid do you fucking think I am? That I can't name more than one continent? Dude, I live in North America. Do you think that I wouldn't at least be able to say South America? Honest to God, how- Well, you are American? Alright.
Euro snob spotted. All right, whatever. I can sit here and rattle off the Countries of the World song by Yakko Warner, but uh, it's not even worth my time, really. It's not even worth my time. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominica, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador, too. Greenland's a territory of Denmark, not actually a country, but, you know, whatever. Euro pours don't know the power of an American V8 on the Le Mans straight away. Sorry, the layman's straight away. I think that if you gave me a, a map of the world, unlabeled, no country was labeled, I could tell you every single country. Okay, gotta be honest with you. I would definitely not name every single, like, one of those Pacific Island countries. I'd be like, is that Palau? Is that Nauru? Is that Tuvalu? I don't fucking know. Alright, look, I'd probably get, like, 90% of them. Because those fucking Pacific Island countries. But, and also, um, those, like, uh, Antilles Islands, like Antigua and Barbuda, Granada, uh, those, yeah, I don't know those either, sorry. If we're talking about, like, countries that have a population, or how about a GDP of more than, like, a uh, billion dollars? Yeah, I think I can get them all. I'd probably get half of Asia and Africa wrong. Uh, about ten comments before that, you said, I consider myself a Euro snob as well, don't hate. Well, you're obviously not a Euro snob then, because, uh, well, if you can't get half of Asia and Africa, then, well, I don't know. Not so snobby. At least not without the gall to back it up. What about Trinidad and Tobago? Yeah, I actually could get Trinidad and Tobago, because I think that's like a little island that's just north of the continent of South America. I think I can get Trinidad and Tobago. Although Trinidad and Tobago actually are two different islands. One, obviously, is Trinidad. One is Tobago. If you ask me to tell you which one is which, I don't know if I would be able to do that. But Trinidad and Tobago, yeah, I think I can get that. I don't like the stereotype. It's sorry, it particularly digs me a little bit. You, you dig it into me when you try to call me like an ignorant American because I don't know in your words, any other continent other than the one that I live on. It, it, sorry, that, like, digs me a little bit, because, like, geography is actually something that I am, you know, it's one of the few things I'm actually, like, a little bit passionate about, and so when you're trying to, like, accuse me of being an ignorant American on a subject that I'm actually very knowledgeable about, it gets me, man. It fucking gets me. Do I, like, just call the one attempt that I've had, like, good enough? Do I call, like, attempt two good enough and, like, just end it? Or, like, what? I don't know. You make fun of me for not knowing any states if you want to? Nah, I think I'll just do this. Do I just, like, call attempt two good enough, like, with missing one? Because, like, honest to God. Oh, yeah. I gotta edit it in here. I don't know, man. As much as I want to do it, like, part of me is, like, I want to do it, like, off camera. So I don't even have, like, the distraction of, like, chat or anything like that. Not that I'm blaming anyone other than myself. But it's, like, also, like, holy fucking shit is this just, like, so fucking annoying. Just so, so fucking annoying to, like, have to, like, do this and also, like, talk and yap. And it's, like, oh, my God, man. Take a break? I can't take a break. It's my job! I have to make the video. I haven't made a video in a month, man! The, 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 the like, it's, 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 it, it, you guys don't understand. You really don't. You guys don't get it. It's just my job. It's my job. Oh!
Rent is due. Maybe try a different challenge and then come back to this one? Alright, you guys name me one challenge that I want to do, and I'll do that one instead. Oh wait, you haven't. Nobody ever has. I asked for them, and I said, uh, no, 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 no. You haven't dazzled your viewers in 36 days. Yeah. Actually, though. Thanks, Unaware Anchovy, for the Tier 1. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for contributing towards the Partner Plus push. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be annoyed. It's okay. Don't let it get to you. It's okay to feel the way that you do. It's okay to be angry. You have every right to be angry right now. It's okay to be mad. Every... Oh, you know what I gotta do, actually? I need to be at... Not this time. Like this. So I know I sound like a psycho, but like, genuinely, holy shit. Relax and play a game that you enjoy challenge. Yeah, sorry dude, that doesn't get viewers. Sorry to say, that doesn't get viewers. People don't like that. That doesn't make YouTube money, so sorry. The curse of doing something that you enjoy for a living, turning into something that you don't enjoy, more of an obligation than anything, truly is a fickle bitch, isn't it? <laughs> Something chill, like trying to get five stars using only DIYs? Uh, it doesn't sound fun at all, just being honest with you. Any challenge that requires getting five stars is always been, like, the most annoying thing ever. Because the star system in this game is just annoying. <clears throat> it really is. Like, don't get me wrong, plenty of, like, annoying shit in this game that just, you know, exists in general. But, like, that in particular, like, I, I, I don't understand it. I really don't. I guess. I guess this one. Didn't even get close that attempt. Didn't even get close. <clears throat> Maybe you can do part one, part two? No, because then I'll be accused of milking. Like, if you make a video, I've never done the precedent of, like, part one, part two for a challenge video of mine. And if I do, then that'll be like, oh, you're putting two videos out there instead of one because you're trying to milk ad revenue. No? Accused by who? Of YouTube commenters. You know, like, the, uh, the people who make my living. Sort of. But it's okay. You went through enough pain for milking to be warranted? I don't even, like, I don't even do that much, really. Like, I, I don't do, like, I don't even do that much. People do harder shit than me. People, like, work more than me. I'm not even, like, I don't know. These are great starters, though, I must say. Do people genuinely think like that? I've never once been like, oh, two parts, because they want more money. Yeah. Move. Oh my god, it is not a good time. Ever try beating a past speedrun? Uh, no. I don't really do, like, follow-ups of previous things that I've done. At least it's not gotten as bad as the big one yet. It's getting there. And also with, like, no end in sight, really, but I don't know. Animal Crossing Smash or Pass? Animals. You wanna know how that video would go? 
I'd be like, um, all right, pull up the like, alphabetical order of villagers. What is that? Let's see here. Villagers. A, C, and H. Pull up here. We say, uh, Ace. Pass. Admiral. Pass. Agent S. Pass. Agnes. Pass. Al. Pass. Alfonso. Pass. Alice. Pass. Ali. Pass. And then do that until we get down to, uh, Zucker. Pass. And then I end the video staring into the camera. They're animals. And then fade to black. Not even a fade to black. I don't know, maybe I'm fucked up, though. I don't know, maybe I'm fucked up. I don't know. I mean, I'm fucked up. For that reason, I don't know. I'm fucked up. Did I watch you do anything? Okay. Okay. Let's see. Where are my guys at? You know what I gotta do? You know what I have to do? I, I might have to make an exec executive decision. I might have to make an executive decision. I think this will be my last true attempt. No, I... I think this will be my last one. I think this will be my last one. I need to... I need to tell myself, like... You don't need... You don't need to do... It. You already had a good attempt. But you only missed one. That's pretty good. And I mean, I, I finished that attempt because I was banking on, like, maybe not getting an attempt that good in the future. And so I was like, let's finish this one so that if I can't do this again in the future, which I'm seemingly not able to do, we can at least bank on this one being the one where I can at least put it into a video and say, I did as good as I can. It's the one? This has to be the one. It's gonna be the last one. I, I don't know, like, I don't think I can do it anymore. I don't think I can do it anymore. I, I, I don't want to, really. And I knew I would get to this point where I'm just like, I don't want to do it anymore. Which is why I finished attempt two, and I was like, this is like a, this is, I'm putting this in the bank. I'm putting this one in the bank. This is gonna be, like, the reserve, okay? Like, you know, like, the break, fucking break glass, fucking, like, break glass in case of an emergency? That's what I did. I put attempt two behind some glass, and I said, break this out in case of emergency. I said, if I can't do nothing, if I can't get anywhere close to this again, break the glass and bust out attempt two and say, hey, good enough. Right? One miss? That's pretty fucking good. It's got my wisdom teeth taken out. It's gonna be perfect for me to watch. Sorry, I should read that in the appropriate voice. You said my wisdom teeth taken out, so this is gonna be tasty to me as Is that funny? Did anyone laugh at that? Was it anyone laugh at that? Did anyone find that funny? That was mean? No, that was funny. You misspelled funny. Just mean, dude. You're not the one that I was talking about. That's exactly what I sound like. Yeah. See, there you go. The person who's- the person whose comment I was mocking said that's exactly what I sound like. There you go. Don't speak for them. What am I doing? I need one more rock, right? I thought that was funny. 
That's if, if if I think that might have been the only joke I've told today. So at the end of the stream, when we do the uh, best joke of the day, that's got to be like everyone's favorite, right? Unrealistic. When I got my wisdom teeth taken out, I was definitely too high to speak. I never had my wisdom teeth taken out. I guess mine just exist. They didn't fuck me up enough to where they got rid of them. <laughs> but they're there, I guess. I only learned this recently, but I guess they're there. I was like, Doc, do I have wisdom teeth? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit, all right. Because every kid in high school, when I was in high school, fucking had to, like, miss, like, a week of school because they had their wisdom teeth taken out. And I'm like, what an idiot. Just don't have wisdom teeth like me. Because it turns out... Oh, I have three. What the hell? As it turns out, I guess I do. And I guess they've, like, just kind of, I don't know, just been there, chilling. We put them under the rink of the Devil Stadium. The next year they won the cup. Marone? We put them under the rink of the Devil Stadium. The next year they won the cup. Dude, the Devils haven't won the cup since, like, 2003. You weren't having, you didn't have wisdom teeth in 2003. Unless you're talking about something else. You really only need them out if they don't grow in right. Yeah, but like, I don't even know if mine did grow in right or wrong. I mean, I guess not bad enough to where it caused me pain. My sharks are on a tear to the Stanley Cup. A lot of season left. I'm pretty sure I saw a tweet the other day that said like, the sharks are the second team that have been mathematically eliminated from Stanley Cup playoff contention. Huh. Yeah, we were moving silent back then, boss. Shoo, weesh. Boy must have been like six, seven. Yeah, that's fake news. Oh, okay. Got it. You have 39 points. Yeah, I mean, that's 39 more than you had at the start of the year. I mean, shit, think about it. Take whoever's going to win the Stanley Cup this year, okay? I don't know who it is. Doesn't matter. And then take their point total at the beginning of the year. And that's... You have 39 more points than they have. Shoot. You can't argue with the math. The math is infallible. Ah, I'm the motherfucking motherfucker who calls the shots. You mean, I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. I think that's what you meant. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. There you go, you fat piece of shit. Kane's legend, legend Jake Gensel? Fuck you. My oral surgeon wouldn't let me keep mine. I've seen people, not with their wisdom teeth, but, um... With their kidney stones. I mean, this is more relevant to me. But people have taken their kidney stones and they've made, like, necklaces and shit out of them. And I'm like... Mm. That's so Victorian core. <laughs> Never mind. M merch idea. No, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Necklaces is crazy. I mean, the fact that somebody, some sad, sad man, woman, non-binary, that's the thing about kidney stones. They don't give a fuck what you got down there. It don't fucking matter to them. Some sad person made enough kidney stones to make a fucking necklace out of them. That's what I, I... I don't know, like, the shocking... The shock factor of making a necklace out of them is one thing. The fact that you've made so many that you could make a necklace out of them is kind of sad. Like, that's the sad part for me. I'm like, no. I, I've made a few of them, and I think that that's... By golly, I think that's enough. I think that I... Uh, me personally, I've had enough. I'm putting my foot down. I said, ah, I'm done. Howdy. Three? I don't think you make a necklace out of three. I have Bing watched you after discovering you last week. Jesus. Between the ant water and the seafood diet, you have me in tears. 
Oh, you, 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 you binged watched me? Like, on Bing? Well, I'm on YouTube, mostly, but yeah, I mean, you know, whatever, like, video medium that you, like, use to watch me is, is good. I appreciate it. Whatever method you use to watch me, I, I appreciate it. It says binged, bro. Like, yeah, you, like, bing something, like, you Google something. It's become, like, a verb, right? Like, to Google something is now in, like, the fucking dictionary. I mean, if Bing was, like, as popular as Google was, then that would be, yeah. No, but, like, no, I get it. Personally, I'm not a fan of Bing. I, I, I use Google. Duck, duck, goose? Oh, you mean duck, duck, go? I don't know. That's just me. But anyway, thanks. I appreciate the support. Are you going to play playing Stardew next week for the update? There's an update. Ask Jeeves. I miss that guy. I remember when Ask Jeeves went away and we're like, rats, it's just ask.com now. I've lost, it's lost the personal touch. I don't feel like I'm asking like this butler or whatever the fuck he looked like anymore. What the hell happened to him? They shot him. Do you guys know that? They shot him. They shot Jeeves. They shot him. Crazy. I had to use Bing the other day to get Chrome installer when my Chrome broke. I felt so icky using it. Bing? Not like Edge? They assassinated him. His swag was too much. Yeah. His swag too different. His bitch too bad. They killed him. They shot Jesus? No, not Jesus. Jeez. Google used to be called Backrub? In 1996, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, I never knew how to say that name, Sergey? They called their initial search engine Backrub, named for its analysis of the web's backlinks. Larry's office was in room 360 of the Gates CS building, where he shared with several other graduate students, including Sean Anderson, Tamara Mun Mun Munzener, and Lucas, why'd I read all that? I just wanted to see if the fucking back rub thing was true. And I guess it is? What the fuck? Yo, dude, rub my back. Yeah, wait, what you wanna... Yeah, dude. No, I don't get it. I, someone can piece a joke together. I can't. Oh no, what happened to attempt three? We're on five. Jesus was shot too? Is that true? I never read Bibble all the way anyway. I got to like... Five Genesis and I was like... I don't get it. I created the world. Why? On the first day, God created the Earth. What, is he stupid? And I didn't read any further than that. I was like, well, that was a stupid-ass thing to do. Why'd he do that? And now I have to, like, go to work? And now I gotta, like, fucking... I gotta, like, take a walk? And I gotta, like, fucking drink enough water so that I don't die? The fuck is wrong with you? Why would you do that, stupid ass? What an asshole. What an idiot. Jeeves would have given you a back rub? I would have let Jeeves give me a back rub. Nah, I don't need it. You're quite certain? Yeah, I can figure it out. They 360 no-scoped his ass. I saw a tweet the other day that was like... You guys remember when you were able to, like, decorate your, like, guns and icons in Call of Duty? Where you'd be able to, like, make, like... Not, well, yeah, skins. Like, skins for your guns in, like, Call of Duty on, like, the, like, editors or whatever the fuck they were. You guys remember that? I saw a tweet that was like, why don't they let you do this anymore? I missed this feature. And it was, like, this video of guys, like, putting, like, 
people meticulously creating, like, uh, icons for their Call of Duty, uh, like, clans or whatever the fuck they were. And putting, like, Squirtle and, um, Bulbasaur and Charmander on their, like, guns and shit. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. That was a great use of that feature. You want to know why that- I know why they got rid of it, though. Because they would draw, like, members of the KKK and swastikas on them. That's why they got rid of it. I- I remember. Me, personally, I- I, I do remember why they got rid of those. I remember. I don't know if you guys were there, but I was there. The amount of half-naked women I saw while a small child on COD? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's why they got rid of it. They brought it back recently for the new game, I think, and it was instantly full of exactly what you would expect. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it at all. Uh, we don't need to do all that right now. We can just go... We'll probably just go straight to here, right? I just wanted cock and balls on my MP5. Dude, I'd... I'd much rather seen cock and balls than half the shit that I saw. I didn't even... I wasn't even a Call of Duty guy either, but, like, I'm not... I mean, I'm around that age. Or, like, I mean, I grew up with that shit. I know why they didn't bring it back. I can tell you that right now. I know why they didn't bring it back. I know why. I'd love to. Oh my god. I just want to be shot. Yeah, do it. Do it! I Lyle your shirt. Thanks. I appreciate that. This is why you need custom codes to find other people's designs in Animal Crossing. Are you saying that, like, we don't have that? Because we do. Oh, I, I Lyle your shirt. What happened to the KK shirt? KK shirt? I still have it. I just, uh, if it makes sense, I don't like wearing, um, merchandise for games. Not because I don't like those games, but mostly because, um... I don't want to be branded in a way, you know? I don't want to be branded. I don't want to be- I don't want to walk around with KK Slider on my shirt and have people be like, Oh, Animal Crossing fan. And I'm like, no, actually, I hate it. No, actually, I, uh, I quite hate that game. I barely like, like, band shirts, which is exactly what I'm wearing now. I barely like those because I'm also like, last thing I want is somebody coming up to me and asking me, not that this would ever happen, but I want to avoid the possibility of it ever happening. And also, it's ugly. Like, I'll be honest with you, I'm a very big aesthetic, very big, a a like, aesthetic and style person. Um, and I'll be honest with you, plastering, very cheaply plastering uh, a character onto a shirt is very rarely visually appealing. I like this one because I think the design is quite cool. Um, but really, I don't like band shirts because I don't want people coming up to me being like, yo, yo, you like less than Jake? Like, yo, dude, I'm a big fan. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably a bigger fan than me because I don't really, like, pay attention too much. I don't really, like, pay attention too much. And I'm kind of like, uh, st well, I'm stupid. Look, I'll be honest with you. The second somebody comes up to me and says, yo, like, uh, less than Jake, that's a good band. I like them. Yeah, I used to listen to them all the time back in, like, high school, back in, like, 2004. Which favorite Less Than Jake song, and I'll be like, I've forgotten every Less Than Jake song to ever exist. I'm so sorry for wasting your time. Like, really, I am. I'm sure you can come up with aesthetic design for merch, TBH? Yeah, but like, well, me? No, I can't. I am not aesthetic in any way. I've tried to consult other people on maybe some merch designs for my channel. As it turns out, uh, really hard. What's something that is aesthetically... What's something that's like, that, that screams Dagnall? And is aesthetically pleasing to put on a shirt? Something that I would personally not be embarrassed to wear around? 
As if, like, wearing around your own merchandise isn't already fucking embarrassing. I don't know. Froggy chair? No, that's, 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 that's the same point of absolutely embarrassing. That's not something I would wear. Like, no, like, I, I, guys, anything that has my face on it, I don't, do you understand? Dude, that's a fucking, that's the worst thing ever. That's like some shit a sim would do. That's some shit a fucking sim would do. Wear a fucking shirt with their face on it. Are you serious? Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Guys, you want me to put my own face on a t-shirt and then wear it around? You understand? People will think I'm a fucking, like, narcissist. What the fuck? Seriously? No. I'd wear a shirt with my face on it because I think it would be hilarious. Hey, w whatever suits you. Me, personally, I don't want people thinking that I'm fucking, like, Cranking my hog to myself every night when I go to sleep. Me personally, I don't know. Got to get you a clean little logo. I, I've like the thing is, is that if you can make something that is Dagnall, the Dagnall brand, looks good, and put that on a piece of merchandise. Let me let, let, let me let me let me let me go through the steps of why. I don't have merch. Let me just, let me just, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me give it to you. Wait, am I at 4 p.m.? Why? 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 I'm supposed to be at 4 a.m., you fucking idiot. Let me tell you why. Because the design needs to be something that I would want to wear. Me. And I'm pretty, like, hard to please. I don't buy, like... I'm a big style design person. I'm a big like patterns. I like I like patterns. I like I like styles. I like designs. I don't like uh, like words very much. I don't like um, characters. I don't like faces very much. There's exceptions to all of these rules. Um, well, take 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 a look at what I have. Like there's words on there, but it's very much in the same vein of everything else that's on the shirt. And so you almost like don't even notice it unless you like pointed out specifically it promotes something a band and it shows off in the case of this shirt specifically they're a band from Gainesville Florida so it has an alligator on it and all the colors are I don't know how much of the shirt you can even see it has a alligator on it because they're from Gainesville Florida the colors are all very nice even if you don't like the colors themselves you can admit that it's very nice and they all work together. It promotes the band in an aesthetically pleasing way. A very nice design. Colors work well. It's 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 just a nice shirt, and that's why I bought it. Because I was like, I don't buy band t-shirts, but you know what? That one just looks stellar. I like that. I would need something like that for me, you know? I would need something like that for me. If I was going to have, like, the, um... If I was going to have, like, merch for myself, I would want something like that. And also, okay, so that in itself is a fucking really hard thing to do. You have to find and pay an artist to do that, and then hope that they do it to the standard and specification to your liking. Then, you have to reach out to an outlet that can make and sell that merchandise, and you have to hope that the quality is good enough to justify... The actual production of the shirt. You know, I don't want to wear a shirt that fucking sucks. And it has to be not non-cost effective for you. I'm not even saying you need to make a whole bunch of money doing it. What I am saying is that, you know, you should probably, like, make it worth your dollar to do so as well. Those are, like, the five reasons why I don't have merch. Is because you have to meet all that criteria. That's a pretty high standard. Now, not every streamer and YouTuber has, like, that standard. I do. 
I, I have a high, I hold myself to a high standard when it comes to a lot of things. And I guess merch is just yet another one of those. I... Yeah, that would be hard. That would be hard. To do all that is, is quite difficult. Needless to say. And also, I don't even want it to be a Animal Crossing associated. Like, I really don't. If you have, like, a small reference to Animal Crossing, like, that's okay. I don't want it to be Animal Crossing themed. Because I don't- I, I hate the fact that I am, like, associated with this game. Unfortunately, it's just kind of, like, how it is. I don't like the fact that I'm associated with this game at all. The, le the less I'm associated with this game, the better. So, um... No. Like, no to the Animal Crossing. Like, maybe- maybe throw, like, a little something in there that's vaguely referencing Animal Crossing, but, like, nah, not really. So you don't want it to be a giant picture of D.Va. Well, there is a use for a giant picture of D.Va on a t-shirt. Um, Firestarter is a good one. Yeah, like a, a, a turnip uh, or somewhere. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a nice, like, subtle nod to it. Yeah. That's a nice, like, subtle nod. Damn, quite a weird position you put yourself into then. I haven't put myself into shit, dude. I haven't, like, committed myself towards doing anything. I haven't committed myself towards doing anything. That's- that's why I haven't done merch. To not put myself into that situation. I think it'd be fun to try to come up with something. If anything, it could be a portfolio piece. Yeah, but I don't want, like, to say, Hey, guys, make something for me. And then, like... And, and then, like, not pay you for it. I also can't pay, like, a hundred people to do it, though. So, you know. A cream-colored shirt with the turnip or a furniture leaf at the end of the words and just says, This is Diagonal in a typewriter font. That's genuinely what some of you would come up with, and then you'd hold out your hand and be like, $20, please. That's, that's why I don't really want to do that. Another competition? Yeah, but the first competition I never even, like, did anything with because I was like, ugh. God, it's so much effort. Would Nintendo sue your ass if you had a custom turnip plushie? Um, joke? Real answer? No, because a turnip is not a copyrighted thing. It's a vegetable, as you'll happen to know. Um, also, no? No, you know what? No, I, I don't even think I have a joke answer to it. Well, the joke answer is, uh, yeah, I, they'd probably fucking break me and they'd send goons to my door. But, um, no, I don't think so. Bro, obviously the AC one, dog, come on. I don't think... I still don't think so, right? I don't know. I'm already, like, monetizing their likeness by playing this video game and making money off of it. How would it be any different if I made money off of a t-shirt with their turn up on it, you know? I don't think so. I make and sell video game merch full-time, like AC and H and Pokemon stuff, and they haven't gotten my ass yet after a few years. I'm kind of like, they have bigger fish to fry than people like me. Because, like, if anything... I only serve to promote their games, which I think is a realization that they made along the way. That's like, oh, people who like play our games and put them on YouTube and encourage others to buy those games because they watch their YouTube videos and go like, hmm, that looks like a pretty fun game. It's really just free marketing for us, the Nintendo Corporation. And they sort of realize that like, yeah, we don't really have to worry about these guys. They're kind of like not doing anything other than promoting our game. Yeah, they make money off of it, and we could technically, by law, take their videos down, but, uh... Why would you? At some point, they learned that along the way, and they kind of realized, like, they have bigger fish to fry than, you know, laymen like me. So, no, I don't think that they would care too much. What if it was a plushie of you holding something AC-related? I, I don't want a plushie 
of me, really. I don't want my likeness in any merchandise whatsoever, and I also don't want them holding something that's animal. That's like the two sins of what I don't want. I don't want my likeness, and I don't want Animal Crossing's likeness in my merchandise outside of subtle references or nods or whatever it is. That's kind of like exactly what I don't want. I don't know, I'm also a very picky person. You guys ever just like want something and you just, you can't put it into words what you want and you're, you're trying your best to explain to somebody. Like, I want this, but like, God, I know I'm being like fucking difficult. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I can't like, I can't, I can't spit it out. I'm trying my best to tell you what I want, but by golly, it's just too hard to explain. You might I sketch some things out and post it to the Discord. Yeah, that's that's fine. Just don't expect anything more than that, you know? I guess that's all I'm trying to say. Okie dokie. Furniture? Or two bees to kill me? Or like a real life person who shows up at my door with a gun and like kills me? All, all these are acceptable options. My clients every day of my life? Okay, but have some forgiveness because like... They have an image in their mind of what they want to give to you. And they're trying so- and I, cause I do this all the time. I, where I'm like trying to describe something. Trying to describe something. Trying to describe something. Trying to describe something. Like, I have a picture of it in my mind, and I'm like, I'm just not making any sense right now. Urgh, this is so frustrating for me and for you. Because I know you want to know what I'm getting at, and I know I want to communicate what I'm trying to get at, but I just can't. And I'm not a good enough artist to be able to put it down on a piece of paper and say, This is what I want. Please have some mercy for the idiots out there, such as myself. It hurts being me. What's an item from all the games you like in a kind of diagonal core way? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know anything that I like. I don't like anything. Bidet. Yeah, don't put a bidet in my merchandise, please. No, nobody's making merch. None of you motherfuckers are making merch for me. Who am I kidding? You like Hamburger Helper in F1? Yeah, okay. Th this is funny because, like, this is the only thing you guys know about me is, like, that. I don't feel like none of you can make merch for me because I just don't think you, you, you're picking up enough what I'm putting down. And that's okay. Furniture in any of these? This is such a tiny area that I have to start. This is the tiniest starting area I've ever seen. Like, this is ridiculous. I have, like, nothing. Even want merch is the real question. Yeah, I do. I just want it in such a meticulous, specific way that I don't know if anyone would ever be able to, like, properly fulfill. Any artist would be able to pop properly put down into a design that I'm perfectly happy with nor a retailer that I would be happy to work with, and me, who is happy with the whole process, to where I would be able to say, yes, I want to do this. That's what makes doing merch so hard. Folks, it's not as easy. I mean, it could be as easy as just plastering whatever the fuck you want on the cheapest fucking t-shirt that you could ever find, and just do it as a heartless way of making a buck out of your viewers. But I don't want to do that. You understand? I don't want to do that. That's exactly what I'm trying not to do. I've seen enough examples of that, where people just stick whatever the fuck on whatever the fuck. And they use whatever the fuck to sell it to whoever the fuck. And that just doesn't seem right to me. I don't know, it's not how I would do it anyway. That's why making merch is hard. Because I'm picky. I've been majorly disappointed by creators' merch. Yeah, me, many times. And that's why I now just- that's why I, like, don't buy, like, merchandise. I don't buy band t-shirts anymore, because I'm like, it's so easy to just stick your logo on a t-shirt, and yeah, a lot of people will eat that shit up, but... Mm-mm, not me. 
I do patterned Hawaiian shirts. Is that something that you would like? Yeah, I don't know if I'm a Hawaiian shirt type. But I don't know. Who knows? Problem is you have a PFP, but you don't have a really logo to work with. No, my problem is that I'm fucking, like, extremely specific and picky about what I want. No, that's my problem. I know what my problems are. And also, like, who needs a logo? I'm a guy who streams Animal Crossing. We, there's no logo necessary. Yeah, I don't want it to even look like merch. If it makes sense, to put it in a very broad way, I want somebody to look at a shirt of mine, my merch, even though I just said I don't really want it to be seen as merch. But somebody looks at a piece of merch of mine, and they say, that's a nice design. That's a nice shirt. Cool shirt. They don't know it's Dagnall. And they're not going to, like, look at that and be like, oh, who's Dagnall? They're not even going to know. But they just look at that, and they're like, cool. That's nice. You know? That's that's what I want. Like, obviously, it has... Hoi! This is a fucking Temmy from Undertale shirt. Obviously, it is my merch. It does signify me in some way, but, you know, if somebody who doesn't know me sees it, they'll still be like, hey, cool shirt. I don't know who that Dagnal fella is, but whatever. Maybe it doesn't even say Dagnal. I fucking love Undertale. Calm down. We try not to use the F word too much in this stream. Piece of fucking shit. Um... Okay, catch catch fish now, right? Ow, my ureter! Urgh! It hurts. First guy to ever catch every fish in Animal Crossing New Horizons with a kidney stone. I'll tell you that. Gotta be, right? Maybe. I guess maybe a lot of people did it without even knowing that they had one. I suppose. You want it to transcend your reputation. I don't have a reputation. As soon as people think that they have a reputation, they start getting a big head about themselves. They start thinking really highly of themselves. I don't do that. I'm weird. If I see a shirt that makes no sense to me, I want it more. Yeah. Yeah, no, I kind of get that. I do. Uh, Flomax. I'm going to be right back. Uh, don't go anywhere. Be right back. Time to catch fish. I think there's some like Nook Miles things that I should be doing. Like, yeah, did I not? Yeah, I didn't do the custom design. That's right. <coughs> Diagonal, oh, Diagonal, how the hell are you? Hey, Patrick, how the are you? Pretty <laughs> good, SpongeBob. I did he just say? I ah. Anyway, anyone been feeling like uh, they want to die lately? <laughs> anyone want to like just fucking just ah yeah? All right, let's fucking go. You know, actually, if somebody were to ask me to describe, well, you know, it just catch it. You have to get to 100. Eh? I'm like, I already got the sea bass. Who cares, dude? Just catch it. You need to get to 100. If somebody said, can you describe, like, how life has been in, like, two words? I say, who and we. Put those together, folks, and you go, who we. Or maybe even like a who doggy. I'd probably say some shit like that. 
That's probably what I would say. I can't die before I 100% that next Stardew update. I guess that's true. Whatever keeps you going, right? Or like an oive. Yeah, maybe like an oive. That does sound like a... Yeah, you know, maybe like an oive too. It does sound kind of nice, actually. It would just show that m meme of the cat screaming with its arms up. Oh, are you talking about the... Oh, I love that one. Assuming we're talking about the same thing here. You know what I'm talking about? That little, like, kitten that's, like, grabbing his head and he's going like... And it can have, like, the caption, like, the voices. Oh, the fat one? I don't think he was very fat. I think we must be talking about two different things. You guys know the one, right? The one where the cat, little kitty's going like, ah, he's, like, grabbing his head, and it's just like, oh, my God, please shut them up. Ah, the crying cat with the thumbs up. That's a good one, too. Yep. How's your day going? Pretty eh, eh, good, Spongebob. What's this guy? Crucian Cart? More like idiot. <laughs> if you like that joke, can I have $50? <laughs> good one, man. Thanks. No pay up. you have a favorite neighbor yet or no one? I have lived here since August. <clears throat> I've lived in this apartment since August. I have not talked to a single one of my neighbors. Which you might look at that and be like, that's a good thing. Like, ah, yeah, hell yeah, brother, true that. Let's fucking go. Uh, no, actually, it depresses me greatly. It actually, it depresses me greatly that I have not met a single other person that lives... I, I'm literally surrounded at any time by, like, 20-ish. Like, people? At any given time, I'm surrounded by, like, 20 people. They live right next to me. They're like, most of them are around my age because they're all like med students and haven't talked to a single one. Haven't talked to a single one. Not since the first day I moved in when I apologized to my downstairs neighbor like, hey, I'm going to be moving like a bunch of shit around here. Sorry if I'm making a bunch of noise. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. And I don't even think they live there anymore. And some people might look at that and they'd be like, hell yeah, fuck those people. I'm like, please, I, you want to hang out? But you can't just walk up to somebody and like be like, hey, you want to hang out? There's always some ultimatum to it, you know? Like, oh, they want to like, I don't know. What's this fucking creep doing? You're very old school? I, I don't really think so, but like, in a sense, like, I have a much easier time talking to old people because I feel like I can, t I can walk up to an old person and like say something and they're not going to think that I'm like weird, you know? Because yeah, maybe, maybe like that's just kind of how it was back in the day. I've, I've, I have, I've, at any time, 20 people within like a 100 foot vicinity of me and no, I haven't talked to anyone. I haven't talked to anyone. And they're probably, like, they're all, most of them are around my age. Probably have, like, a lot of, like, interests similar to them. They might, like, do things. Like, I don't go to med school, but, like, they probably do things that I would probably enjoy doing, too. But, like, I don't talk to them. I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I don't find, I, I can't find an avenue to, like, get to know anyone. I really don't. I have to wait for, like, a, you know, very, like, rare instance of that avenue opening up to me. You know, and then and then and then, then it happens like very rarely, like at never, ever, 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 ever does this happen. Where I like 
where, where an avenue is opened up to me. This, this doesn't happen. But, like, the avenue opens up to me, and I'm like, okay, cool. I, like, got to know this person. And then maybe you hang out with that person. Maybe you don't. But you could at least be like, hey, it's nice to have gotten to know someone. But that just doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. Everyone here, like... They have friends. You know, they're not really looking to, like, say, hey, let's go talk to the guy who's in 18B over there. See what he's up to. Dude, is it fucked up that if somebody, like, knocked on my door and said, like, hey... It's like, thanks, Dribble Drab, for the Prime. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. What happened to attempt four? Oh, I, I lost it, and I, so I moved on to the next one. Context clues, folks. Come on. If somebody knocked on my door and said, like, hey, do I hang out? And I've never met this person before in my life. I've never met this person before in my life. And they say, hey, do you want to hang out? This would never happen. I want to be clear. I don't... This will never happen. This doesn't happen. I'd be like... Yeah? Let me go, like, put some clothes on. Sure. I, I wouldn't even ask, like, what we're going to do. I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? What's the worst thing going to do? Kidnap me? Thanks for the raid, Muge Akayama. Appreciate it. Hope your stream was good. Help, Muge, force me to be in a raid. I don't want to raid anything. Oh, you can leave the raid. It's fine. Hey, Dad, come out to play? Dude, fucking Pennywise would love my ass, is all I'm saying. Fucking Pennywise? He would love my ass. Massive YouTube fan. Hope you have a good stream. Thanks. Appreciate it. Hope your stream is good. Craving the kid thing where your neighbor's kids come over. Can you play? Oh my god. Yeah, is, wasn't that awesome? I mean, that never happened to me either, but still. Yeah, I, if a guy came to my door and said, oh, thanks to the Prime, I'd close the door on him. Okay, well, you, you weren't getting at what I was trying to get at, but that's okay. But like... Dude, if somebody came up to my door and they said, Hey, do you want to hang out? I, I, I would be like, yeah, I don't fucking care. Uh, fuck it. I, I literally don't care. If I have nothing going on, fuck yeah. Is that weird? Is that weird? I don't know. I don't care. I don't care if it's weird. I'm, I, I'm just happy somebody would want to, like, talk to me, you know? Somebody just came up to me and they were like, hey, that dude seems cool. Why don't you ask him to hang out? Like, geez, man, really? You think that? God. I start, like, crying. What if they're not cool? Dude, who the fuck am I to say whether they're cool or not? Who the fuck am I to say? Seriously? It's not my point. It's not my position. Am I at 10? No, I'm at 9. What if they're not cool? Who gives a fuck? They're cool enough to have knocked on my door and asked like, Hey, can I hang out? I don't give a fuck. That's cool. That is cool. That makes you cool. Hey, do you want to do crack behind the McDonald's dumpster? Can we hang out afterwards? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, I'm in. Yeah, kind of. Sorry I'm not at your door to hang out. It's just a prime, but maybe next time. Hey, no, it's, it's cool, dude. I appreciate it. But I understand why nobody would do that, because the people my age always try to seek some ultimatum out of, like, uh, this person wants something from me. And don't get me wrong, I understand the skepticism 1,000%. No, I do. I'm, I'm the weird one for being, like, gung-ho about being like, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Whatever you want to do, dude, let's do it. Let's just hang out. I'm the weird one. No, I understand that. I understand the skepticism. Where somebody would be like... What's this, what's this 
He just came up to my door and asked me if you want to hang out. Hello, three. Have the kidney stones returned? Hope you're okay either way. Hydration is key. I know. I know. Thanks for the 17 months, tier one. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Next time you go out to buy groceries, you knock on your neighbor's door and ask if they need anything. There's a 90% chance I'm going to get a weird look. And they'll say no. Maybe a no thank you. There's like a 5% chance they shoot me with a gun. Which, I mean, that makes it worth it just in itself, but... There's maybe like a 1% chance that that would work out in a way that I would say, yeah, that was worth it. Not enough. That's not high enough, me personally, to do that. People my age, you sound like you're 50 years old. Well, the fact that you don't know how the right usage of your is tells me that maybe I might be old to you, but that's because you're like half of my age, which is barely old enough to be on Twitch.tv, so I would watch it if I were you. Try a note under the door. Dude, 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 no, 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 no. You guys, there's no, I, I promise you, every avenue that you could use to try to approach an unknown stranger is seen as, by people my age anymore, weird. That's what makes it so hard, okay? These suggestions kind of sound creepy because they are. Because maybe... Leaving a note to the fine dame at uh, apartment 18B across the hall might have been a good idea back in the days where everyone talked like this. But not in 2024, because, well, people have developed a lot of trust issues over the years for very good reason. Normal people wouldn't really react too well to that, and it's very understandable as to why. Slip a note under the door. I'm not doing that. Place I live got a Facebook group where they arrange things? That sounds like a good idea. I don't have Facebook, and honestly, it's probably good. But, um... I don't think such a thing exists for my apartment complex. It's a big apartment complex, but, like, I... <laughs> Everyone in, like, 70% of the people in my apartment complex are, like, med students. They're young, they're probably already have, like, friends. They're, they're not really looking for that, you know? I'm the weird one. I'm the outcast. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a problem that I swear, like, only I have. Sometimes. Sucks. Bold of you to assume med students have time for friends. Dude, I literally will hear my upstairs, my downstairs, and my side neighbors fucking hanging out, partying, whatever the fuck. I mean, it's Friday. God, I'm gonna hear it later today, for goodness sakes. Dude, I'm literally... I can hear ten reasons later tonight proving that that's not true. A lot of people are of age have problems making friends because of trust issues. Yeah, and, and, and I get it. I do. I do. I, I wouldn't blame anyone. That's why I, like, don't even bother, you know? And that's what makes this whole cycle just the worst. It's the fucking worst. It's the worst fucking shit ever. Truly, it's like a living hell. Does no one else visit the communal coffee machine? Not really. Hey, Dag. Good luck on your fifth attempt. Thanks for the, uh, two months, Moo Moo Chan. And thanks for the good luck. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for contributing towards the Partner Plus push. Appreciate it. Thank you. Feels different. Eh. Yeah.
My therapist recommended the site meetup.com. Not sure if I can post links for meeting people. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe that can sound useful. People looking for friends. Every um, website, app, whatever the fuck that I've used to like meet others has always degrades into to the surprise of nobody, a hookup site. Is the 14 out of 80 indicator how many fish you caught? Yeah. How many unique fish I've caught. They always turn into hookup sites. So... I don't know if that's your thing. I haven't caught that yet, somehow. No one there is actually looking for friends. Yeah, I, I don't think that that's... Like, I have never even seen that website, and I feel like I already can tell you what's on it. It's just such a miserable, like, life. Maybe try greeting them sometimes. That could lead to conversation if they feel like it. Dude, even, like, greeting somebody is weird anymore. Like, trust me, I don't think so. I think that if somebody greeted me, I'd be like, oh, hell yeah, brother. But I, I'm, like, different. I'm, I'm the strange one in that aspect. There needs to be some, like, mutual bond, you know? There needs to be some, like, reason why you two are talking to each other, you know? And, and, and like, that's the... And that's the part I don't agree with, necessarily. Like, no, I don't agree that there needs to be a mutual thing between you two for you to have initiated conversation with each other. I don't think that has to be there. But, like, in order to not be seen as, like, a weirdo? Yeah, it kind of does. Like, I can't just walk up to somebody and be like, Hey, what's up? Daniel. What's your name? You're seen as weird. Not rightfully, necessarily, but kind of true. Needs to be some mutual thing that you both enjoy. So, for example, let's, let's say, like, you're at a concert together. You have that bond of liking that same band, right? There's a conversation starter. Somebody's just walking by your apartment complex. No indicator of anything that they like. No mutual bond that you know of. I'm sure there's something there, but nothing that you know of. You say, hey, I'm Daniel. Strange. Weird. I can understand why somebody would be like, why is this person talking to me? Because I would probably be like the same thing, even if I would, you know, still exchange my pleasantries. Do you go to concerts often? Nah. So that avenue has closed for me because I don't like concerts. Rarely, really, I don't go out and like do much. Really, I, I, I am my own worst enemy because I don't have many interests. But like, I mean, I can't force myself to have interests, you know? Like I, uh, sorry, I'm not making this, I'm not making, this, am I making this stream therapy? Ah, uh, God, I hope I'm not. I really, I'm, I'm not. I hope that some of you are just, I'm not looking for advice. I hope that some of you are just listening to this and been like, you know, he's spitting facts, you know? I, I promise. I'm trying not to make this like therapy. I don't want advice. I'm, I'm, I'm hope that if anything, I'm just being like relatable in some way. Um, no, not a little. Don't say that. Uh... uh. I guess I just don't have enough interests, you know, to like, it's my own fault, like in many ways, you know, I need to have more interests, more things. I need to go out and do more things that I enjoy because if I see someone else there and I'm like, well, at least we already know that we both enjoy this thing. The problem is, is people's interests in this town specifically are, uh, in order, uh, drinking, Uh, getting drunk. 
And, uh, it's kind of about it. Getting that paper? Yeah, but we all like that. Yeah, an interest finds you. You don't really seek it out too often. Although, I don't know. I guess it's possible. You go to sports games? Yeah, it's a sort of chaotic environment. Oh yeah, people also enjoy beating elderly. Yeah, I could walk up to an elderly person and be like, yeah, uh, being old, right? <laughs> uh, I'm Daniel. And they'll be like, what? Sorry, I don't have my hearing aids in. And I'll be like, ah, forget it. Ah, forget it. Where are you sitting for bingo? You got a stamper or do you just mark the numbers out? No, I'm saying, dude, I could I could talk to old people. I am a fucking old person charmer. I am a fucking... You guys ever need to, like... You guys ever need... You, you guys ever need me to, like, stand in for you at, like, a social event? And the social event's filled by, like, old people? Dude. For a modest fee, I will be there. You guys ever need me to stand in? At like an at an a place where that you need to be present and it's amongst old people, I'm there. For a modest fee, I'm there. I am a fucking I'm not gonna volunteer in an old folks home. That's not what I'm asking. I'm not I don't wanna talk to old people. Guys, I don't don't interpret this as like I love talking to old people. I love talking to old people. I'm just saying, I can fucking talk to old people like it's fucking nothing. It's easy to me. Old people, I don't know what it is. I am a fucking elderly whisperer. I am an elderly whisperer. I don't know why. Old people love me. I should be that. That should be like my, my, my side gig. Hey, uh, do you need like somebody to like talk to a fucking shit ton of old people for you? Yeah. Call me. I'm your guy. I unironically play Bloxy Bingo on Roblox every single day. It, bingo is kind of... Dude, you guys ever... Your grandma ever invite you to bingo? And you're like, I don't want to go. Ah, call up Dagnall. He'll go for me. I'll be like, dude, I get to fucking play bingo? And at the price of what? I get I have to talk to old people? I don't give a fuck, man. I don't give a fuck. I do not give a fuck. That sounds like a good time. That sounds like a win-win. I'm getting paid to play bingo? Shit. And I might win. You will win. Yeah, no matter what, I'm walking out a winner, right? I'm just I'm saying, man. I don't know. I don't know where my calling is in life. It ain't YouTube. I just stumbled into that. It's someone... Somewhere being... A fucking, like... I don't know. It's being like a mingling of some sort. I don't know. M mingling. With my crowd. I don't know. Thanks, Jazzy Potato, for the Prime. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. All this talk makes me want to go out and join a Magic the Gathering tourney in person. Yeah, you, dude, you're going to walk into that building, you're going to take one big whiff, and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's why I didn't like doing this. You're going to walk into Friday Night Magic, you're going to get one whiff of the joint, and you're going to be like, shit. Hell no. I'll just wear a mask. Dude, that penetrates a mask, man. 
You think bad B.O. don't penetrate a mask? You've never been around bad B.O. Remember the, yeah, butt crack guy? Oh, yeah. Man, that's like 10 years old at this point. It's ancient on the internet. That shit has been curing. That has been stewing for a while. Shit! I finally caught you live? What, did you want to catch me dead? Me too, man. Well, tell me to make chocolate milk? Do you take milk, take Hershey's chocolate syrup? It's, I don't know. Mix it. You're not talking about doo-doo, are you? No, you're probably not. Smell like McDonald's hamburger? Dude, McDonald's- if- if the average person smelled like McDonald's hamburger, I'd be hungry all the time. Dude, this thing smells good. Like the- like the weird mixture of like processed meat and salt is- ooh. And onion and ketchup and mustard, like ah, ooh, god, don't say that. Don't say that, man. That makes me want it more. Ah, uh, god, it smells good. What the hell- what the, what the hell are you talking about where that doesn't smell good? Ugh. Why'd you have to say that now? No, oh, I don't have a headache. I have a life ache. I was at the library yesterday. Working out my brain. I saw the most fuck-ass paragraph in a book. I saw the most fuck-ass par- Guys, can you tell me something? Can you tell me whether this goes, like, hard or whether it's corny as shit? I need you guys to tell me so. You guys gotta be the, the judge, jury, and executioner of this shit for me. Can you guys tell me whether this goes- Whether this paragraph that I saw goes fucking absolutely ridiculously hard or not? I took a picture of it because I was like, wow, dude, what the fuck? Uh, uh, Okay, specifically the line that goes like, and I quote, Many are accustomed to holding a sword called the First Amendment in one hand, and a shield called the Fifth in the other, all the while forgetting that to do so is to deem human relations a battlefield, the First Amendment being your right to free speech, and the Fifth Amendment being the right to plead the Fifth, being to not say anything at all. You guys think of that? Does that kind of go, like, insane? Does that go, does that kind of go hard? Or am I like, look, or am I like, fucking like, wow, so like, edgy for finding that like, kind of like, hard. Like, it's kind of like a hard line, right? That's kind of a hard line. I took a picture of that shit, because I was like, wow, what the fuck, man? What are you spitting? Kind of goes hard, right? Of course, you have to have like, a fair understanding of the United States Constitution to understand what it even means. But, no, like... Kind of goes like that. Guy just that looks like it. I was like, damn, damn, Dale, what the fuck? What the hell's wrong with you? What book is that? That's the How to Win Friends and Influence People in the Modern Age, in the Age of the Internet, or something like that, by Dale Carnegie. It's like an updated version of an old book of his that speaks to uh, the days of the days of current. In the online world, because when he originally wrote that book, the internet didn't exist. Because so it was like, you know, the 60s. But it, either he or someone updated it for the modern age. And that was a paragraph specifically, or that whole chapter was more specifically about how we're very quick to use our right to, uh... To speak on matters that don't necessarily need to be spoken about. We don't hold our tongue when sometimes it would be best to not do so, or to do so, rather. But then other times, you know, we plea the fifth, we instead of actually speaking up for, you know, whatever the fuck that we should. I don't know, I don't know exactly the metaphor. I have the old version of the book, the pre-internet version of the book, that I've been working through very, very slowly.
I don't read? Well, that makes you really cool, actually, to not read. Actually, I, I, you're, you're really cool, actually, for not reading. Because reading, actually, you're right, it is kind of like for nerds. And um, not reading is really cool, actually. You're, you're, you're actually pretty cool. I actually think very highly of you now. My dad made me read his public speaking book. Hey. Okay. Is spangled even a word? Isn't that like a type of dog? Yeah, covered with spangles or other small sparkling objects or like. Or, or lights. And, and what's spangles now, you may ask? Well, those are uh, a small, thin piece of glittering material, typically sewn as one of as one of many on clothing for decoration. A sequin. I don't think the United States flags have sequins on it, though, does it? Not that I know of, anyway. So, bedazzled? I guess with, like, stars and shit. I guess it's bedazzled with various stars and stuff like that. Dude, it's a creative liberty that they took on a song that is probably one of the most iconic in the world, okay? You can forgive them if they took a little creative liberty by saying that it's the Star Spangled Banner. And I think that it doesn't have sequins on it. I think that they're implying in the Star Spangled Banner that the stars are the one that are spangling. Like, they're glistening, they're whatever the fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Don't think about it too much. The stars, they do be spangling. Yeah. And don't, don't be ignorant, I guess is what I'm trying to say, okay? Don't be ignorant. You're being ignorant right now. Like, fucking, I, I don't know, I'm trying to think of, like, a song title that's misleading. Like, in the song Juicy by Notorious B.I.G., you'll happen to notice that at no point in the song does he mention the word juicy. Does he ever even imply that he has, like, juice in his fridge, really? You know, he says, like, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, when I was dead broke, man, I couldn't picture this. And I'm like, this has nothing to do with, like, ocean spray or something. I don't know. Juicy juice. I think that's because it, 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 he's the juicy one, right? That shit fucks, too. It does. It's a good song. But I'm just saying, like, at no point does he ever mention juice or what he is describing something as juicy. I don't know. I actually didn't know that Tupac died until two months ago. Oh, okay. You know, so songs aren't always necessarily indicative of the contents of that song, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That happened the year Diagonal was born? Let's see, was I alive for Tupac? Tupac died... September 13th, 1996, when I was, uh, three months old? And then, Biggie died not long after that. No, not Binding of Isaac Reddit. Biggie Smalls. He died March 9th, 1997, when I was... eight months old. So, your boy was around for a very brief period of the East Coast and West Coast hip-hop feud that took the lives of Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac. I, I remember it well. Did you do it? That's a loaded question. I played the fifth. Were you involved? What's up with all the questions? Yo, you're only four months older than me. Really? I thought I was like the youngest one in the stream. 
Were you driving the white Cadillac? Dude, I'm 27 and I still don't drive anything. What's with all the questions? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get off my ass, alright? I wanna put a bumper sticker that's on, like, says some shit like... If you love my riding my ass so much, why don't you just, like, fuck me in the butt? I don't know. Like, what if, like, if somebody, if you pulled up behind someone and they had a sticker like that, you'd be like, this guy is fucking, like, this guy is fucked, right? Like, in the best way possible. This guy is, like, fucked, right? Like, I want to hang out with this dude. I want to hang out with this dude. Like, I don't want to fuck him in the butt, but I want to, like, I want to hang out with this dude. He seems like a good time, right? This guy fucks in the butt. You pull up behind someone that has got a fucking bumper sticker that says that. I want to hang out with him. I want to be like, this dude's probably, this dude's fucking full of it. This dude crazy. This guy in my neighbor has a lot of wee bumper stickers. Yeah, you make a lot of assumptions about somebody who has like a lot of bumper stickers, right? Like I do. Like I saw somebody that was like bumper sticker that said like, don't honk at me, I'll cry. And I'm like, that's so relatable. I see somebody with a bunch of anime bumper stickers, and I'm like, okay, you're not allowed within 500 feet of a school. So, some bumper stickers I imply the positive side of it. Some bumper stickers I imply... I, I judge a lot about a person. Not rightfully, I'll be honest. It's not right of me to make assumptions based on people's bumper stickers, but... I do. Uh, in a positive manner, I'd be like, this guy seems like a fun time. You know, that's a very relatable, funny bumper sticker. I feel like I can get along with you. I thought you were going to clown on my... No, you got funny bumper stickers. In a positive way, I judge your bumper stickers. Sometimes I'll see, like, <laughs> you know what's always a good one? You know what's always a one where you're like, oh, this guy's a questionable character? Is when you see the fucking, um, what's that skull? What's that fucking skull? Where it's like, dude, if you are ever wear that anywhere on anything of yours, the Punisher, yeah. If I see the Punisher bumper sticker on you, I'm like, oh, okay, I already know all about you. I already know all about you. I know everything about you. Mmm, I don't even need to know anything else. I, I soul read you. I already know everything about you. I sold crack to myself. Say no more. I know everything about you, Buster. Flaming skulls with the middle fingers up. That says, yeah, I fuck cops. Yeah, I would suck off an officer. Yep. Cops, pull me over. I'll suck you off. Or some shit like that. I don't know. Lifted tires. Big ass suspension. Monster energy. Punisher skull. Bright ass LEDs. I can just, I mean, sometimes you can tell when somebody lives in the U.S. Because you have to know all that, right? You have to have seen that. I see that every day. Same, same with the ones that are like, girl jeep, a girl drives this jeep. I saw a jeep with the fucking tire on the back, the spare tire cover. It said they must have liked dogs because it said J, instead of J-E-E-P, the E's were replaced with dog prints. And it was J, dog print, dog print, P. Looked like jupe. I said, jupe? What's that? Ah, the jupe. Ah, I love jupe. I think about that, like, once a week. Guy who just had jupe on the back of his jeep. I'm like, is this idiot not... I, I'm not gonna say they're an idiot. Does this guy not know that that looks like jupe, not jeep? Ain't no one reading that as jeep, my man. That is jupe. I hope you know that. They probably still got that thing on there. I wonder if I can... I, I, I remember where they lived, actually. Because they lived very close to me. I kind of want to pull it up on Google Maps and be like, they still got, like, that jupe car there? And I want to show you guys. Dude, I mean, I'm going to look at you. 
Haha, <laughs> a girl just passed you was a gem I saw today? Dude, I'd be more offended if a dude passed me. Jeep, tire, cover, dog, print. Yeah, this one! This fucking dude! Ain't no one seeing this as anything other than Jupe! That's Jupe, man! That's not Jeep, that's Jupe! Ain't Jeep! The fuck you mean? That's Jupe, man! You read that as, how can you read that as anything else? Somebody had that, and I'm like, Jupe. Every time I looked at it, Jupe. That's Jupe, man. That's for sure Jupe. We, like, usually they'll, like, try to vaguely make it into, like, the shape of an E or whatever the letter there is they're trying to, you know, you know what I mean. That one doesn't even, you didn't even try to make it look like an E. You just juped. I'm juping my shit right now. Come on now. At least try. Saw a jeep with the sticker four doors for more whores. <clears throat> Which like true? Yeah, but don't they make doorless jeeps? What's that say about people without doors on their jeeps? Well, no whores for you, my bucko. Fucking idiot. Got no hoes? Holeless? No whores. My whore wife! I saw a Jeep with a big four-wheel drive sticker, and I was like, thanks for the info. Yeah, are Jeeps not just, like, always four-wheel drive? Isn't that the appeal of the Jeep? Is that it's a four-wheel drive car that you can take on any terrain? Because that's kind of what it was built for. It was like a World War II-based machine. It's kind of like what they're for. We don't really need to put it It's got a four-wheel drive on it. It's a Jeep. We know it's four-wheel drive. You shithead. What are you doing? Four-wheel drive. Yeah, of course. It's a Jeep. Dag, what color are your eyes? Green. I don't know if you can really see, but maybe if I, like, got real close here. Maybe I got, like, real close on the full cam. And I have really close. Can you see? You can see that I haven't shaved in a week. Sir, that's gray? Those are not gray, man. I can fucking pull up the RGB value of those pixels, and it'll tell you that it is mostly made of green. It's not nightmare fuel, dude. Imagine, like, somebody, like, getting, like, showing uh, your face to somebody and having them, their first thought be nightmare fuel. Yeah, that would really, like, make you feel good about yourself. Just, you know, like, just a thought. My nail curing light making a high-pitched whine as Dagnal stares into the camera with dramatic lighting. You think that, like, I got, like, a... Hang on, how do I do this here? Maybe I have, like, a an energy. If I go in here... Alright, yeah, 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 here we go, here we go. Um... And then I pull up... Okay, here we go. So, like, I took a screenshot, alright? Hear me out here. Can you see this? You can't see it? Why is it just black? I got paid so I can renew my sub. Thanks, Shraylin, for the five months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. What the hell? Why is it doing that? I have like a fucking... whatever. 
All right. And then we're going to pull up here. We're going to go here. All right. And we're going to go here. And then we're going to go here. And then we're going to go here. And we're going to say... Here... How the fuck does it sort all this shit? Here. Okay, and we're gonna say... What the hell? Okay, there. Alright, now how do I, like, pick, like, the, the color picker here? Wait, okay, no, 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 hang on, hang on. I gotta pull it up in, like, no, 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 hang on, actually. Change of plans. Pull it up in paint.net instead of paint the, you know, stupid app. It's not a jump scare, guys, come on. Alright, and then we pull up in here. Okay, this is paint.net right here. And then we say, where's my color wheel on paint.net? Oh, you don't see it. For some reason, you don't see the color wheel. I think because it's a whole other window entirely. Alright. We pull this up here and we go color picker, okay? Tool, <clears throat> color picker. It's a lot of effort just to, like, get to this, but I'm going to pull up, like, this color right here, all right? I've picked the color. And it's come up with, like... Let's, let's get, like, a more accurate one here, like, something, like, right here. All right, and then, like, the color wheel, you can't see it, but, like, it's got, like, a... If you look at, like, where the... Okay. There's only one way to, like, show it to you. The color wheel... Says... It says this. Which... That Hmm. I don't know. That's green. You like kind of, right? Like okay, if you look at the wheel and you look at like the colors, like what are the most common eye colors? You got like brown, blue, green. That's closest to, like, green of any of them, right? Yeah, it's like an olive, right? It's like an olive. Yellow? Dude, I'm not, like, a fucking, like, skinwalker. If that's anything, if it's anything, it's green. Take it in front of your window, it'll be more accurate. It'd be kind of hard to swing. That's green, all right? Gavel, I, that hurt. That wasn't really a gavel. Gavel, smack, green. Now shut the hell up about it. How many fish are we at? Not that I'm fishing right now. 44. Case dismissed, yeah. Order in the court. Nah, 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 nah. We're done. We're done here. Go home. I hit that wooden block with my gavel and I say, case dismissed. I object. Get out of my court. Shut up. The judge should just say that. I object. Fuck out of my court. Get the fuck out of my court. I don't want you in here. I object? Dude, you're literally only complicating the process for everybody. Sir, madam, whoever the fuck, 
Nobody wants to be here right now. Don't nobody want to be here right now. The judge, the jury, the plaintiff, the defendant, don't nobody in here want to be here right now. So by objecting, you realize you're only keeping us all from being in our fucking jammies right now, curled up in a ball watching Netflix eating spicy nacho cheese Doritos. By objecting, you are keeping us all from that with which we all desire right now more than we want to be in this courtroom. Shut the fuck up and get out of here. I object. I move for a bad court thingy. You mean a mistrial? Yeah, that. Fuck out of here. I'd kick you out of my fucking courtroom, and I do not give a fuck. I would have no- I would have no sympathy for your cause. I would boot your ass out of my courtroom so fast, you don't even know. I love arguing even if I'm wrong. I have a great website for you. It's reddit.com. Twitter. Formerly known as Twitter, now x.com. Great alternative. Really, you'll just do good on the internet. You got a long way to go. Sometimes judges lose their cool during cases, but it usually results in a mistrial. Yeah, a bad court thingy. No, I mean, as a judge, dude, you have to be impartial, right? I'm just gonna be honest with you, for like, not prejudice reasons, but I would be like, I would be not a partial judge. Not because I'm prejudiced, but because like, what if like, we fucking just like, somebody comes in here and they're just like, what if they like, walk in with like a clown nose and like, mm -hmm. I'd be like, dude, that's funny. I'd be like, I, I, I would be like, dude, I'm gonna like, of course, I'm gonna favor this guy who walks in with a clown nose. And he's wearing, like, a big, like, fucking diaper or something like that. Like, over all of his other clothes. And he's got, like, giant-ass shoes and a clown nose and a big red wig. And I'd be like, dude, I'm gonna... What the fuck? You want me to be impartial with that guy? Of course I'm gonna fucking rule in his favor. I can't be impartial. What are you talking about? He's literally... Literally, this guy's comedy. This guy is just straight comedy. What do you mean, impartial? Well, yeah, I... No way. Ace Attorney is a great game for you. Yeah, is there like an Ace Attorney for people who don't like fucking reading? I don't think so. That'll be the day. I'd be a bad judge because I'd read the case and immediately take sides. I mean, I feel like you kind of can't not do that, though, to an extent, though. I don't know. That's the entire point? Yeah, that was the entire joke. Like, Ace Attorney, but you don't like reading? Yeah, it's a reading game. I asked in the ACNH Discord about my dad's island, and I got in an argument because my dad's trans and I used she, her pronouns. I'm not touching that. I was reading a book, and during closing arguments, the judge kept walking out of the courtroom, and that resulted in a mistrial? Like, duh, of course it's a mistrial, you gotta be there. Yeah. That's interesting, though. The judicial system is fascinating, if you actually, like, give a shit. Yeah, like, visual novels, exactly! Dude, yeah, give me, like, Ace Attorney. I mean, that's what I was talking about this guy earlier. The Legal Eagle guy, on YouTube, where he talks about, like, boring-ass trials and shit like that. And, like, I don't give a fucking shit about any of that. But I'm also, like, when you do it in a way that's, like, engaging and, like, actually, like, explains a lot, it's very interesting, actually. There's nothing like somebody... I just have the incessant need to just, like, walk away and, like, run away. Like, I don't know, like, the forest or something. He just explains, like, mundane shit in, like, an engaging way. It's nothing better than, like, somebody explaining something that you don't fucking care about in, like, an actual engaging and effective manner. That's why I always like professors who were always, like, really passionate, you know? Take your chance? Like, I was just- it was a- what do you call that? Uh, an impure thought? A, um, an intrusive thought, yeah. People say, like, 
My intrusive thigh drop. Dude, I dropped this one at bowling yesterday. I thought it was pretty funny. I don't think anyone else found it very funny. I dropped this one at bowling yesterday. And this is why I think nobody talks to me at bowling. I'm just kidding. Well, I did. I'm not kidding that I told this one. But, uh... Somebody said something like, ah, my intrusive thought is doing this. And it was, like, pretty tame, all things considered. Like, my... My intrusive thought... I'm just going to give an example. This isn't what they said at all. They said, like, my intrusive thought is I want to pet a raccoon. I don't care if I get rabies or not. And I was like, oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, you want to know what my intrusive thought is? Uh, and I looked him in the eye and I said, killing myself. They didn't think that that was very funny. They didn't think that that was very funny. That's... To me, though, that's comedy, dude. That's comedy. You know what? Fucking put her there. Fucking put her there. That's funny, though. Yeah, it's funny. I think it's funny. Of course, humor's subjective. He'll say, I don't know why he killed himself. And I'm like, you don't? What do you live in? A fucking cotton candy house or something? What the fuck? I wanted to laugh but held back. Oh, you can laugh. It's fine. I said that to my roommate once and she didn't think that was funny either and she made it really awkward. You know what? <clears throat> if you found it funny, that's all that matters, right? You stare- oh yeah, yeah, you gotta stare and smile, you gotta be like... Yeah. Not everyone gets it. Not everyone gets it. You gotta learn. Not that I'm a comedian. I mean, I do make a living off of entertaining, but hardly a comedian, really. But you have to learn at some point that if your jokes don't make others laugh, they should at least make you laugh, right? Oh, dude, I dropped that to my therapist once. Dude, my therapist is cool. Because I can say shit like that, and I don't have to be like, oh, man, I hope that they're like... And, look, I don't know if, like, what the... I don't know what the rule of therapy is, but, like, uh... I don't know what the rule of therapy is. I don't know what... I don't know what the therapy guide says when somebody's, like, makes a... Makes a joke like that, what the right course of action is, but, um... Yeah, I can say shit like that to my therapist, and they're like, I love your sense of humor. And I'm like, thanks. I... I I'm glad somebody gets it, you know? I'm glad somebody gets it. I'm not like most therapists. I'm a cool therapist. Yeah, exactly. I imagine they see a lot of clients my age, so it's probably a pretty, pretty common occurrence. Oh, it's all about the delivery as well. My mom has lectured me multiple times about telling my therapist jokes instead of, like, my problems. Well, that's when you have to tie in your problems and jokes, like I just did. That's when you have to tie in, like, the truth and also, like, the humor, you know? That's where you have to start, like, mixing the two in there. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you how to do therapy. You know, do it in whatever way you feel comfortable. Don't let your mom do it either, though. But at the same time, it's like... You can do both. I think that's what the best comedians do. They make, like, relatable jokes about, like, life, and they do it in a funny way. The easiest thing to joke about, honest to God, life. It's the easiest fucking thing. You ever want to, like, make a joke about somebody? Joke about life. And everyone will be like, hell yeah, brother. It's 
most easiest thing to joke about. Why am I doing this with an axe when I could get a shovel today? I don't know. I guess that's just my intrusive thought. Well, I'm gonna hit that rock with an axe instead of a shovel. <laughs> well, just me and my... Wow, intrusive thoughts win again. <laughs> Where's the museum? Where did I build that? Right here. Hey, Dag, looking eclectic today. Thanks. Oh, just me and my silly thoughts. I love the inside of Blathers' tent. It... He didn't have to put a whole ass, like, mahogany desk in here. But he did, you know? And that's kind of, like, that's kind of crazy. Like a tent, you wouldn't expect, like, a desk in a tent. He's kind of crazy for that. Dag, no more Kenny Pickett. Do they trade him? I know we got Russell Wilson, but, like, do they trade him? Pretty sure Russell Wilson was supposed to be our backup behind Pickett. What do they do? Now you got me fucked up. You can't say that. Now you got me checking the fucking Steelers subreddit. What the hell? Oh, fuck. Really? Once Pittsburgh signed Russell Wilson, Pickett preferred to move on. Wow. Oh. Russell would not sign to be a backup. <laughs> With how he fucking has been playing, yeah, he would have. Otherwise, he wouldn't have found anywhere. I'm surprised. Pick it to the Eagles, huh? Wow. That's surprising. He said, no, I ain't gonna be fucking... But I don't think the intention was for him to be a, a backup. I thought he was gonna be the starter. And then Wilson is the backup. But dude, Pinkett hasn't fucking done anything either. And then he's gonna be the second string behind Hurts. What the fuck? I don't know. Whatever. Football. Yeah, and then Mason Rudolph was traded, and I'm like, gee golly, I kind of wish we would have kept one of them. Because, you know, Russell Wilson and then who? Um, Who's our backup at this point? Am I stupid? Do we have a, a, a backup? Mitch Trubisky? No, we got rid of him. And also, please, God, thank God we got rid of him. Who the fuck? Who the fuck's our backup? We don't have anyone. We better have someone. Do we draft someone? Mike Tomlin. Yeah, fuck it. Throw him out there. How bad could he be? Well, that's interesting. Um, right. Chop. What team are you talking about? The Steelers. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, Streamer, I don't, I don't do this whole sports thing. Why don't you talk about the game some more? I don't like sports. Let's talk about something else. All right. All right, you got me. Yeah, sports ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got bullied by jocks when I was a kid. I didn't play sports. Uh, it's the time I'm going through seeing this. He's just a yapper. Now I gotta go. At least I already got the wood for this guy, so I can skip having to gather it. Not the iron, though. No. Absolutely yapping. Honest to God, don't fucking do challenges in games where they have long, long, strung out dialogue points. Don't do it. It's the worst thing you could do. It's honest to God, the worst fucking thing that you can do to yourself. Because every time you have to go through it, you've seen it like a hundred times before, but there's just no way to skip it. Honestly. 
You would hate Yakuza? Yeah, I would. I would. Yes, I would. I'd like to think that... Maybe there's even, like, a skip cutscene... Like, ability in Yakuza. But, yeah, no, I would. You're right. I don't think that... Okay, so they didn't design this game to be done in this way. But... On, it's, it's like I don't, all this, which is to say that I don't think that they should have like a skip dialogue option. I don't think it's necessary because God, this is just not how they made the game to be played. But if the Switch had like a fast forward feature, who? Like a yeah, God, whew, that'd be nice. I have to say that that would be stellar. That would be swell. You would hate Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog would hate me. Hey, one, two, three, four bells. Wait, one, two, yeah, no, 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 that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's how you get, yeah, yeah, numbers, bitch. <laughs> that's my Jesse Pinkman impression. Guys, if you like my Jesse Pinkman impression, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there in the uh, bottom right corner of the video player. Um, if you want to hear more impressions like that in the future, make sure to give me a follow. I'm big on impressions. I do them all the time. Uh, make sure to give me a follow. And uh, stay tuned. Well, we'll all be, oh, got a bunch more impressions for you guys. Hey, guys, would you ever play horror games on your stream? I'm living a horror game, dude. I don't need to be playing them on stream. All right, so I don't need axes anymore. Well, I might want to get a little bit more wood, but a little bit. We don't need much more. Who is Jesse Pinkman? Have you played any horror games on stream? No. In real life? Yeah, I played, uh... Well, I did play Lethal Company. I would call that a pseudo-horror game. Me, personally. Played a little Lethal Company. Got a, got a couple good screams. It's nice, that game I played. I mean, I'm also, like... It's more than just horror. I wouldn't play a pure horror game, because I'm, like... I don't really understand the point of wanting to go into a game and being like, yeah, scare me. Fucking just, yeah, fucking make me like, make me, make my like fight or flight kick in. Please, I want that out of like the video game. I, I don't see it personally. I don't really get it. Me personally, I don't really get it. Did you ever play any of the Hitman game on stream? No. <laughs> no. Not until I become a purely uh, variety streamer. When I'm at the point, if I'm ever at the point, where I can just hop on and have thousands of people watch me no matter what the fuck I play, then I'll play Hitman. That'd be a good time. Not right now. Play girlsgogames.com. Is that the one where you can, like... Is that, like, the one with, like, Pregnancy Simulator or some shit on it like that? No. Ah, I'm not a fan. Oh, yeah, I gotta make a shovel and shit, too. What's up, Pot Kumi? Ow. I don't have to make a shovel. I can buy a shovel, make a vaulting pole. I can't believe you wouldn't want to play Pregnancy Simulator. I don't need to know what it's like. I mean, people say, ah, yeah, it sucks. Pregnancy, it sucks. I, I believe you. I don't need a game to... I, don't, I, I believe you. I don't need a... I don't need a game. To, 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 to give me an idea of what it's like. I get, I get it. I trust you. I understand. I mean, in a way, we've all been through pregnancy, right? Like, whether we were the one pregnant or whether we were the one that was inside, right? It wasn't that bad. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, I actually never bought anything. That's crazy. Then you should try The Sims 4. I have played The Sims 4 on stream. Like, I gotta be honest with you. I've had one experience with pregnancy where, like, I was on the, like, the inside. And, yeah, that wasn't that bad. I mean, in fact, I liked it so much that I was, like, kind of upset to, like, 
be done with it, you know? It's kind of upset. What was it like? I don't know. It must have been pretty sweet, though. Kind of miss it. The whole, like, idea of it, anyway. You're wrapped up in your little cocoon, and you're... It's, it's warm. You get sustenance for free. Pretty sweet, really. And then, like, you get... Yeah, it's a cushy job. And then you get ripped out. You get fucking yoinked out by your, like, feet. Wait, your head's supposed to come first, right? You get yoinked out by your head. That's even worse. And it's like, welcome to the real world. And it's a cold, sterile hospital room. And it's like, geez, this sucks. What the hell? I don't want to be here. You're an embryo. Life is good. You do not know what taxes are. Yeah. All you know is cry and shit your pants. Well, you weren't wearing pants, but, you know. The only time we've never actually had to decide what to eat for dinner? Dude, I never decided what to eat for dinner until I was, like, in college. That was a hell of a transition, really. Because <clears throat> I was, like... what? Like, honestly, one of the most, like, uh, biggest transitions in life is going from, like, Hey, Ma, what's for dinner tonight? To going to like, hey ma, what's- oh, fuck, it's me, I have to decide. I am the one who decides. Oh, shit. That's- that, 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 that's tough, you know? Going from like, pre-planned meals, aka whatever the fuck mom makes for dinner, to- Oh, it's like on me now, I have to be the one to do this. Oy. Uh, chicken ten- well, at first it's sweet, because you're like, chicken tenders every night. And you're like, I'm tired of chicken tenders. Also, I've gained 20 pounds. Um, maybe I should, like, eat some vegetables. All right, let's get some vegetables. Oh, shit, I hate every vegetable. Oh, shit, the vegetables I do like, I don't really know how to prepare. I don't make them like how my mom liked. My, my mom always made them. Oh, fuck. Hmm. That's tough. It's a tough transition. I'm at the point now where I can feed myself on a, you know, semi-semi-healthy se basis. I'm not going to say I don't eat an entire bag and that family family size nacho cheese Doritos. <laughs> Guys, I'll be honest with you. I got out of the ER yesterday, no, not yesterday, day before yesterday, and I said I didn't eat anything before that. Like, I was fucking starving. I was fucking starving. And I, uh, I had beef stroganoff that my mom made me, leftover beef stroganoff, and a giant fucking bag of spicy nacho cheese Doritos. It didn't feel good. It felt great. Who the fuck am I kidding? It felt great, but knowing that, like, the doctor would be looking at me, the doctor that just treated me for my kidney stones is just, like, looking at me being like, what the fuck? Dude, come on. You're gonna wind back in here at this rate. It's just... He's probably, like, looking at me. And he's like, What the fuck are you doing, man? You're just gonna end up back in here! And I'm like, Yeah, but I... I haven't eaten anything today. I'm hungry. And I have Doritos, and I have beef stroganoff. So? Sorry. It's what I'm gonna eat. You're allowed to treat yourself? Yeah, but like, what's it called when like, you live, uh... A life where you don't really have like, a job... That like, you have to like, go to, and so as a result, like, you have too much free time, and you end up like, doing too many things for yourself to where it kind of gets to be a, a hedonism? Is, is, actually, is, is this actually like, the word that I'm trying to get at here? The pursuit of pleasure, sensual self-indulgence. Okay, no, no, no. That's not quite what I'm getting at, though. What I'm getting at is that I have too much free time. I don't have a job that I have to do for more than but, like, a few hours a day. And that job in itself is playing video games. Trust me when I say it's a little bit worse than it seems. But overall, it's pretty cushy. I have too much free time. I'm in a position in my life where I have too much free time. And I have every outlet with which to be able to like treat myself like to a degree that I probably shouldn't and as a result the only like 
regulation of my poor habits needs to come from me. And when I know that I will often choose the simpler, easier, more pleasurable thing versus the harder but better overall thing for me, I will usually choose the former over the latter. And that's kind of bad. I kind of need like somebody to be like, hey, dad, eat some vegetables. I, dad, get some work done. Quit sitting on the couch doing nothing. Depression. Overindulgence? Maybe. Rate kidney stones on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, if I have to use whole integers by the definition of what you said, and I cannot break the confines of that, of your request whatsoever, I would still do so and say minus 17. Kind of human nature. Yeah, but like... I don't know. I don't know how I'm trying to describe what I can describe. I don't know, man. I'm like, sometimes I'm like, how am I depressed? Honest to God, I live so high off the hog, you know? You take an objective look at my life. This is what's sad, truly. You take a look at my life and you're like, man, he does like a sweet job. Is that new? No. He does like a sweet job and he makes good money doing it. Lives by himself in a nice place. How does he, how is he sad? And I'm like, yeah, you're right. How am I sad? And now I'm like sad that I should like, shouldn't be sad given my circumstances. I'm like, man, if my life is a lot worse, geez, my life could be a lot worse and I'm still sad. And that's sad. You're allowed to be sad? Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're so complicated. We're so fucked up, aren't we? We're so fucked up. I'm fucked up. How many fish am I at? Is it worth trying to get to 100 today? Nah, let's try to get to 50 at least, though. Try to get to 50, I guess, is a good goal. It, yeah, like, making your own structure. That's a good way of putting it. Making your own structure. When it's not set by, like, your job. When it's not set by, like, any outside force. Is really hard. When it's up to you entirely. Really hard. That's why I say, I miss having like a real job sometimes. I really do. Just lock in. I'm trying. Good God, I'm trying. Opinion on the Animal Crossing game rumors for 2026? Yeah, somebody break those down for me. I saw, like, a tweet. It was in Spanish. I didn't understand it, really, but... I saw somebody saying that there were some rumors for, uh... An Animal Crossing game in 2026. Somebody want to break that down for me so that I can properly digest why none of it's going to happen? cast master and yeah i think that's a good place to leave off eh, there we go. 
Uh, yeah. Pause the timer, I guess. And, uh, like I said before, this will be, like, my last attempt. Um, because I don't know how much longer I can really do this. Let me check as well how many fish. Dai, are you okay? No, but what have I done in the last 30 seconds that would indicate that I wasn't? 18 of 20? I'm angry. I'm, I'm mad. I'm very mad. Man, I'm pissed. Really mad. Hi. New on Twitch, what are these gold coins? United States dollars. I'm playing Minecraft, I thought you were a pillager. That's like the wandering trader, isn't it? And then they always got the llamas that go like...
Uh -huh. I don't know. How is your weather today? It's, it's pretty nice, actually. It's it's sunny. It's a little, little chilly, though. I'm tired. Like, I'm fucking, like, falling asleep in my chair. I could go take a nap right now if I wanted to. I'm tired, man. Wandering Trader is just two free leads? Oh, you're so fucked up. You're so fucked up. They have some good deals. Like, five emeralds for a piece of blue glass. Oh, what, are you not gonna take advantage of that? Will you be streaming the Stardew update? Yeah, probably. And by probably, I mean, yeah, definitely. The fish anxiety will wake you up. Well, it, you explain this, then, liberal. I'm always anxious about not just fish, but about everything. And I'm still tired. So, what do you got to say about that? Wise guy. I think it's Diana with two N's for the tier one. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for contributing to the Partner Plus push. Thank you. And thanks before the stream started, Sir Reginald99 for the Prime. How's the kidney? Stoned. Hi, Mom. A oh, wise guy. Why I oughta... Why I oughta... Thanks to Awkward Lauren for the raid. I appreciate that. How was your stream? Why I oughta... I mean, I'm stomping my feet on the ground. I'm fucking steaming mad. Holy fuck, you're making good progress towards Partner Plus this month. Ah, it's going all right. Pretty good. I figured that if we can do um, February, we can do any month, right? Opa, diagonal style. Hey, sexy raiders. Thanks, Core Wampus, for the Prime. Appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Happy birthday. Thank you. It didn't take you guys... Th this year, last year, it took you guys, like, two hours to remember that it was my birthday. This year, seven and a half minutes. Seven and a half minutes. That's... Thank you. I appreciate it. And thanks for the 25 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks for the birthday wishes. It's the big 3-0. The big 3-0. Every 32nd birthday? Nope, the big 3-0. Full of shit? I'm not full of shit. I'm full of a lot of things, but shit is not one of them. Happy 50th? Go fuck yourself. I'm spry. I'm young. I'm good. I'm full of sprunk and vigor. I genuinely thought you were 27 this whole time. Take a look at me and tell me if I actually- if I look 27 to you. Do I look 27 to you? Huh? What about me looks 27? I'm old. I'm dilapidated. Every day I get another pain in my ass. And I ain't talking chat. Hey, thanks, Menev, for the 690. The tip. Appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> it doesn't show up on stream. I'm sorry. But I see it. Thanks for the 690. You look 20 max. My name's Daniel. Thanks, Bebastrum, for the Prime. Appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes 
and enjoy your ad-free viewing. The message said happy birthday. I see it. I, I see it. No, 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 no. Trust me. I see. Yeah, this is how I have to do my fucking donation alerts. This is how I have to do them because they don't show up on stream. So I gotta, like, every time somebody donates, I gotta, like, fucking do this. Watch. I gotta, I gotta... I gotta go here. I gotta go here. I gotta go here. Oh, it's this whole, oh, it's this whole, whole mess. There you go. And it pops up on the screen. Blong. Ding! Thanks for the 690, Manev. Happy birthday. Thank you. And there you go. And that's how I'm going to do my, I guess, my donation alerts now. Da at 27, Daniel has more kidney stones in his urethra than you have years on Earth. Give him more respect to the elderly. What are you fucking talking about? What, what the fuck are you talking about? Anyway, thanks for the birthday wishes. Um, yeah, the big three zero. Are you not 20? No, I'm not 20. I'm not, my, my, my age doesn't even start with two anymore. My age doesn't even start with two. Guys, here's how my day is gone. I got up at like, all right, I don't even need to explain it to you. This this will tell you that I'm that I'm 30 that I'm elderly. I woke up at like 6:30 in the morning and I did some stretches, and then I got a cup of coffee, and then I went down. I checked my mail and I brought the mail back and I sorted through all of it and that took like 30 minutes. And then I opened up the New York Times, which I get in the mail, and then I did the crossword. I did the crossword puzzle. I did the Sudoku puzzle. It was like a four out of five star difficulty Sudoku puzzle this morning. And that took like my entire morning. And then I went bowling. And then I went bowling. Guys, I act my age because I, this is just me. This is just who I am. This is just who I am. More like 83. Well, no, I'm not 83. If I was 83, wouldn't you think I'd say some shit like... I'm 83. No. Alright, anyway, we left off on attempt 5, and we were at 18 of, uh, 80. Happy 83rd birthday, Peepaw. You don't, you don't call me Peepaw now, come on. I'm nobody's Peepaw. I'm nobody's peepaw. Saturday bowling? Yeah, it was fun. What, you, what, 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 what day do you guys go bowling? 2.06.13 is where we left off. What day do you guys go bowling? Attempt 5? Yes, attempt 5. I'm going bowling tonight. Yeah. The disrespect in this chat is unreal. Thank you. Thank you. Bro's Meemaw, straight out of Young Sheldon. Bro, Young Sheldon viewer, you just exposed yourself as a viewer of Young Sheldon. I wouldn't go around doing that personally. I went bowling last night. It was pretty fun, but my hand hurts now. Yeah, it'll do that. Me, personally, I don't know what it is. Y'all ever, like, do something and, like, for some reason or not? Um... Like, you, 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 you're, you're sore... After doing something, but you're like, man, why is that part of my body sore? Because I go bowling, and for some reason, the left side of my left ass cheek is sore. I'm like, what am I doing where only the left side of my left ass cheek is sore? What the hell is this? Oh, it's 5 o'clock. Do you know where your ki children are? What was it? It's 8 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Some shit like that. I don't know. Hey, don't diss young Sheldon. I'm dissing young Sheldon. I don't give a fuck. I don't like it. I think it's not. What do you mean, what? What? You don't remember on TV where it'd say some shit like, it's 8 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Oh, is it 10 o'clock? Dude, if you don't know, if it's like 9.30 and you don't know where your kids are, I would still be kind of concerned. Why is 10 o'clock the cutoff point where it's like, ah, oh, shit. I forgot the Rugrats. Where are they at? Why 10? That's strange. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Dude, you should have known where your children are like two hours ago. 
like their my bedtime when I was in like school was not even ten o'clock. I don't know, whatever. I thought Young Sheldon was a respected show, minus the Sheldon aspect. You can't say minus the Sheldon aspect. It's literally in the name of the frickin' show. What do you mean minus the Sheldon aspect? That is the show. It's about Sheldon. Young Sheldon. Is this harder or easier than the bug challenge? I don't know. I could tell you one thing, and you're gonna you're gonna you're not gonna like this, but I can tell you one thing, it's a lot fishier. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, well, where did we leave off? Total fish, I think we left off at 50. Yeah, and then 18 of them unique. What do you mean? <laughs> Big Bang Theory is a respected show, except for the Big Bang part. Yeah, I'm big on theories, not so much the Big Bang. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Did I did I build the sh no? I didn't build the shop because I didn't get all the iron. That's what I gotta. That's what I gotta work on to start anyway. Ow! Hang on. Okay, I'm good. I went out to eat earlier, and so I'm a little. I'm a little gassy. I'm a little gassy. I did bowl today. Um, not competitively, but just casually with some buds, and we went out to eat. So I'm a little gassy right now. Thanks, Liquid Cobain, for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. Just yawned and my dog side-eyed me. Well, then you gotta do it right back to them. My doll dog used to, like, yawn like... Which was worthy of a side-eye, I think. I think that was worthy of a side eye, a a a, 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 a little sus side eye. Thanks, Olive, not you for the prime as well. Thank you, and thanks, N N Zombie for the prime. Thank you both. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing uh, to the both of you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Dagnall, do you watch college basketball? Only when the tournament starts. Um, not really much before that, like, at all. The tournament starts, and I'm like, ah, I gotta make a bracket. And then I do it, and then I... It's nice, because then you have someone to cheer for, even if you never watched the entire season before that. And even if you don't like college basketball or have a favorite college basketball team, it's nice, because you fill out a bracket, and then you hope that whoever you pick wins. It's nice. It's, it's fun. Where do you make a bracket? Like, any website ever? I don't know, like a ESPN, if you really want to. How much iron do I need? I need 30 iron for the shop, and I'm at 12, 13, 14. Do you like tornado sirens? Yeah, uh, minus like the tornado part. Your bug video was top notch. I'm excited to see the project of this product of this endeavor. Yeah, we'll see. I'm getting near my wit's end about this one, just as I did with the bug challenge. So we'll see how much more I care to do this one. I kind of said attempt five, and I do stand by this. I kind of said attempt five is like my last attempt. Because I can't be fucked to do this much longer. Because, you know, it's the same thing with the bugs where you're just doing the same thing over and over and over again after you fail an attempt. Which is very, very easy to do. Luckily, I managed to finish an attempt, attempt two, with one miss. So, if I can't do any better than that on this attempt, I can at least say, well, that's as good as I can do. Which I think is pretty good. That's already better than my best bug attempt was, where I missed, like, four, so. Do you have a main island? If so, what's the rating on it? My latest video on my channel is my main island. Uh, a tour of my main island. You should go watch that. Just the tornado part. No, I said I don't like the tornado part of tornado sirens. If I hear tornado sirens, I'm like, oh, rats, the tornado's coming. I don't like that part. The sirens themselves are like, oh, whatever, I guess I don't really care. That's valid. If it's not fun anymore, then don't force yourself. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm, like, not doing it anymore and not forcing myself. Where are all my rocks? I have a pale chub. I have to, right? <gasps> I don't. Okay, well, I mean, if that's not a rock, then it's probably a pale chub. I mean, I gotta get into fishing mode here. I get into fishing mode. Fi 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 fishing mode. I actually haven't practiced. This is bad.
Alright, I'm good. Fuck! I got a rock. Alright, but I'm warmed up now, though. The listen is so real. Yeah, like, uh... I think I even have to, like, turn my game up a little bit. I don't know, maybe that's my secret. Is maybe, like, every time I've failed... No, I think the last couple times I've failed is because I was too slow for something. Which is not gonna be... Is, you're not, you're not, that's not gonna be helped by, like, turning the sound up. Thanks, Hannah Lucy, for the 10 months. Enjoy your emotes, enjoy your ad-free viewing. And thanks for contributing to the Partner Plus push. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Fishing up stones is bad, but not as bad as water eggs. Yeah, I have to make sure that during this challenge, I don't do this in Easter so that I get the water eggs. But it's fine, because I don't really do a whole lot of fishing during Easter time. I don't have it like a lot of like April and March routed. Most of it's in the summer, obviously, because that's just when most of the fish are. Isn't it uh, Easter like this month this year? Holy shit, Shibby Chipmunk, thanks for the five gift subs. If I don't get it, okay, good, that's what I was gonna say. I mean, it's funny, I was gonna say, if I don't get a single piece of iron out of this rock, I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna blow my top! But I did only end up getting one, which is still, like, kind of infuriating. Thanks for the five gift subs to Soparoth, Bookish Alexis, or Bookish Alexis. Unexplainably Weird, Blatsme, and Jube Jubbly. If you got a gift sub, say thank you, and enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Thank you. Is it a couple of weeks? That's fucked up. That was my that was my real life birthday. Sorry guys, it's actually not my birthday today. Did anyone actually I, I do that. That's a that's a little bit here that we do. March 31st? There's 31 days in March? January, February, March. Oh shit. Why do I think that March has like 30 days? Probably because it's such like an insignificant month that I'm like, oh, I Insignificant months have 30 days. Is, is that anyone else agree with me on that one? I don't know what I mean, but does anyone else agree? Hey, you gotta do the knuckle thing. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Anytime a month lands on a knuckle, that means it has 31 days. If it has not a knuckle, if it's the little, like fleshy, flaccid skin in between your knuckles, then it's, uh, 30 days or less. It's your birthday? Happy birthday? Hey, if you want it to be my birthday, then that's fine. But it's like, it's not. But, you know, whatever makes you happy. March is AC&H release month, though. Yeah, that was hype back in 2020. If you think I'm throwing this game a four-year birthday party, you got another thing coming. That's crazy, man. If a child was born when this game came out, they're, like, walking. They're, like, talking to, like, a very basic level. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Can, can we have, like, 50 gifted subs in the chat? I'm kidding. But no, like, that is kind of wild. I mean, I don't know. Like, th I kind of got over, oh, the whole 2020 was X, like, you know, it doesn't feel like it was that long ago. Like, no, no, I agree. And I know it's such, like, a engagement bait conversation on the internet. But it, it kind of is, like, a little bit crazy. I don't know. It was a Jamie fern. Just remember, 30 days has September, April, June, and November from elementary school. I never learned that. I learned the knuckle trick. I didn't learn many jingles from school other than the 13 Colonies song. I don't know. It's... I, I don't know. This kid, the a Animal Crossing, is like walking and talking. It's kind of like... It's potty trained as well. Like, when are you potty... Well, no. You're not potty trained until you're like seven. Right? So, no, it's not, like, potty trained yet. In fact, like, really, when you're four, you're, like, barely... You're, like, kind of walking. You're, like, taking your first steps. And, oh my god, what is up with this iron? You're, like, taking your, like, your first steps. You're kind of walking. You're, like, babbling, kind of talking. And you're not quite toilet trained yet when you're four, right? Yet that All that, like, comes together when you're, like, seven or something like that. I don't know, at least in my experience. Hey, Dag, how's the run? Well, it's uh, still alive. I don't know. Still alive. I 
Okay. How many iron am I at now? I feel like I've gotten like four iron from the past like four rocks. That's so sad. Yeah, pretty much six, seven, though some people never get it. No, some people never quite pick it up, and that's fine. That's fine. Some people never quite understand. It, it's hard to get the hang of it sometimes, you know? I'm at 25. Dude, it's hard to get the hang of it sometimes. I understand. My three-year-old cousin's talking in full sentences and running and stuff. Dude, that thing's like a prodigy. It's like a prodigy, dude. That, that thing's gonna go on to win like a Nobel Prize or something. If you're talking and walking that young, you're like, I don't think that that's normal. I think that they're like an outlier. Hello, Dagnation. Yo, what's up, Dagnation? Welcome back to another live stream. Uh, I don't like it. I don't know. I've been trialing like intros and stuff like that, but I, I'm not a fan of that one. I taught her Pythagorean theorem. No, the fuck you didn't. You don't even know what a triangle is yet, dude. They don't even know what a triangle is yet. You didn't teach her shit. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they know what a triangle is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it was going good. I'm going to be one short. That's hilarious. Teach you how to play Animal Crossing next. Based on the average age of my Twitch viewers, I think that four years old is about the age where the average person is starting to play Animal Crossing New Horizons. My cat is getting pretty good at partial differential equations, and he's only like three? Yeah, yeah, but, but that, like in cat years, that's like, what are you in cat years? When a cat's three, it's like, what, 12? No. When a cat is three... What is the, what's 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 your guys' equation for dog years and cat years? I was always taught dog years. One dog year is like seven real years. So if your dog is like three, it's twenty one. It's like starting to get like old turnt, you know? That's what I always heard. I never heard like the formula for cat years though. I'm sure it's not like a year is seven years. It probably like like because a dog is an adult considered, right? An adult when it's one, right? An adult, so the first year is basically like 18 years, and then every year after that is like a little bit less, right? So I don't really believe that personally. I don't really believe that personally. I believe that it works on like a curve, where like the first year is like a lot of years, and then every year after that is maybe like, you know, less. Apparently cats is on a curve, so it's not as direct as one times is one is seven. Yeah, no, like... But I think that, like, the dogs are, are that as well. You are yapping. I, you're right. You're right. I'm yapping on my Twitch stream. You're right. You, you're right. I'm yapping on my Twitch stream. Holy shit. Guys. I'm yapping on my Twitch stream. What else would he be doing? Well, I mean... I don't know. I, I, you're right, but I, you're right, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, yapping. Yapping Yolanda over here. Yeah, dude, like... First, that was the first Y name you could think? Not like, Yvette? You're right. I, 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 you're right. I think it's time, folks. For a silent stream. I think you're... I think it's time for a silent stream. I... I... I it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be tough. But... I think it's time for a silent stream. Please, no. God, no. People always say, Dag, you subside the voices for a while. And I'm happy to do so, but... Uh, Hell. Sorry. I guess, um... Guess let's play the quiet game. I, I, I feel like I should even just, like, turn off the webcam and, like... Truly just shut up. Thank you. 
Hang on, I need something here. Alright, that's enough of that. That's that's enough of that. We're good, we got enough uh, iron for the shop. We got enough iron for the shop. Uh, also, time that person out that told me to stop yapping um, for three hours. The person who told me he's yapping, time them out for three hours. The entire length of the stream today. Was somebody really arguing or did you play in the background? Um, I searched family arguing in background on YouTube, and that was the first result. So... No. No, nobody was arguing. Luckily. That would have been extremely awkward. But, uh... Yeah. We're good. Banish them to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, get them out of here. Bit late, but I made it? Well, luckily you didn't miss anything. So, that's good at least. That was a risky search. What about that is a risky search? Risky? Really? It wasn't that bad. POV. Your parents are arguing in the other room because the financial recession of 2008 is causing a lot of stress on your family. Meanwhile, you're in the living room playing Wii Bowling on your Nintendo Wii, having the time of your life. Thanks, Froggy Ezra, for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. What do you tell people you do for a living? I tell them I make YouTube videos and Twitch streams. That's what I do for a living. And if they say, I don't know what that is, then I say, okay. All right. Good. If I really want to be vague, I'll just tell them I'm self-employed. And then, if they want to clarify further, I remember I had to tell, uh, when I was at the ER, I had to tell them what I do for a living, and I just said, self-employed. 
And they didn't really ask any follow-up questions, which was nice because I was like, I don't want to explain to you right now as I have a kidney stone working its way through my ureter. I don't really want to explain to you exactly the intricacies of my job, but um, luckily they didn't ask. Thanks, Unicorn Poop, for the Tier 1. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. And thanks for contributing to the Partner Plus push. Thank you. I tell people I'm a professional fart smeller when I ask. I'm a CNA. What is that? Certified, uh, nerd? A? I don't know. CNA? What is CNA? Certified nursing assistant. Okay, so you are a fart smeller. See, me, I'm a smart fella, but, you know, we can't all be like me. There's a thing called Animal Crossing. Rarely, you know, usually when I delve into detail about what I do, if the person is still invested in what I'm talking about, um, I just, not, I just lost all motivation to, like, keep breathing. I'll keep going, though. Usually when people, um... Usually when they ask and I go into detail, I, um... You know, they will ask, like, uh, like what, what kind of stuff do you do on YouTube? Because they understand the concept of YouTube pretty well most of the time. But then they ask, like, what do you do on YouTube? And I do, I like, I like video games. And then, honestly, I should be more blatant about it. I should honestly just be, like, straight up just tell them the truth. Not that I'm lying to them, but more like just not even, like, try to skirt around the details. Because usually they end up asking for all the details anyway. And so it's sort of like... I don't know. I might as well just give them the whole thing from the start. Because they'll say, what do you do for a living? And I say, I'm self-employed. Well, I, like, I'll do YouTube and Twitch. I basically, I, I, I try to, like, get the vibe from them first before I do that, though. I'm like, does this, I try to clock this person. I say, does this person know, do I think that this person knows about, like, Twitch? Everybody knows YouTube, but do they know about Twitch? And if I'm like, that, eh, they probably don't know Twitch. Then I won't even mention the Twitch part. I'll just say I do YouTube. And then they'll be like, oh, okay, that's cool. Sometimes they stop there, but sometimes they keep going. And they're like, what do you do on YouTube? And I'm like, gaming. And then they pry even further, and they're like, what kind of games? And I'm like, Animal Crossing. Sometimes they pry all the way to me eventually saying, like, yeah, I just play AC and H. But sometimes they don't. So a lot of the time, I don't even, like, bother saying AC and H. But eventually it gets down to that point anyway. I wish they sold fish bait at the shop. Yeah, I think Prometheus agrees. I think he said something like that like 3,000 years ago. You worded it very well. It's like explaining to people that I take personal art commissions, and I don't understand what people don't understand what a commission is. If you did, dude, okay. <laughs> If somebody said that they did personal art commissions and then didn't, I, like, I'm just going to give you my perspective on it, okay? And I don't want this to, like, sound bad, but, like, if you told me in a very vague, broad sense that I take personal art commissions and then you didn't clarify further, I'd be like, oh, they're not clarifying further. That means that they draw, like, I don't know, furry porn or whatever. That's, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm fucked up, probably, that, that, yeah, that means furry porn. It's exactly what that means. I wouldn't really ask any further because I would be like, yeah, I don't really want you to admit that you do furry porn, you know? Because, like, I want to save you the embarrassment, really, so I'm not even gonna, like, ask any further. Wouldn't you just say that you're an artist? Yeah, and, like, me personally, I wouldn't delve any deeper than that. I wouldn't be like, oh, what kind of art? Digital art? Physical art? Painting? I would be like, okay, that's cool. And they're like, do you know what kind of art I do? And I'd be like, I had, no, I don't need to know that. And they're like, yeah, I draw animals. And I'm like, okay, that's nice. Do you know what those animals are doing? No. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make you say anymore. Honestly, I don't care enough about other people's jobs. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't care about your jobs. I know they make bank. I, I have great respect for furry artists, furry porn artists. I, I understand. I also just don't care. In the same sense that I don't care that you're an accountant. I just don't care, you know? There's a guy in my design class who openly admits to taking furry character commissions. Yeah, 
I would be open to saying that too, because that tell tells other people I'm making fucking bank. I'm making bank. I'm making buku bucks. Yeah, I'd be flexing that too. Everyone understands bartender. You know that image that's like, it's a real job if you can describe it in one word. Or three words or less. Yeah, I'm a feminist, feminine dance therapy, and I like to work with, yeah, and then it's just like, no, that's not a real job. And then there's the image of the guy that's like, I catch fish. Real job. I don't know. Yeah, bartender's an easy one. And, 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 and you know, like, I, I respect it because, first of all, it's just kind of a cool job. Second of all, it's, it's easy. And, and, and I bet you, like, no, and, and nobody, like, ever asks for more details. Nobody ever needs to, like, clarify, like, oh, what kind of drinks do you serve? Drinks? Alcohol? Nobody ever, nobody ever asks for more other than that. I sort of envy that job, you know? I sort of envy the job of someone who's just like, yeah, I'm bartend. That's easy. You don't need to go into any more detail. Attend bars. Never admit you have a lot of money. People will expect tips. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't flex it personally, but, you know, I could understand maybe taking a sense of pride in it. All right, I got the bridge built. Now we got to do the plots. Plots. Same with social worker, which is crazy, because that shit can mean anything. Yeah, like, social worker begs the follow-up of, like, oh, what kind of, like, social worker are you? Because that's very vague. That's very broad, you know? Bartender? I tend bars. The only follow-up question you might get is, like, where do you bartend? But then I feel like they're just prying, you know? Like, that, that you don't need to answer that. You could just tell them, like, I don't know, fucking down the street or something like that. Did you just say bartending is easy? No, explaining to others that you are a bartender is easy relative to what I do, which is YouTube and Twitch. Oh, what kind of videos do you make? Uh, gaming videos. Oh, what kind of games? Animal Crossing. Oh, what do you do in Animal Crossing? Shut the fuck up! God! I don't care! Stop! The questions! I hate, honestly, as I get older not even as i get older but as the days go on do you know what i just realized that i fucking hate i hate being asked questions i hate being asked questions i hate being asked questions stop this isn't fucking 20 questions man you don't need to know more about me i don't feel like telling you more stop Leave me alone! Let me just live my life! You don't need to know all this shit about me. Dag, why do you hate questions? It's like, kids, man. My niece is gonna grow up one day and she's gonna start asking questions. She's gonna get to the questions phase. She's gonna start being like... How does a car run? And I say, gasoline, honey. And she's like, oh, what's gasoline? And I'm like, well, it's a chemical compound of various things that you find in the earth. Where in the earth? Like, dirt? Well, it's below the dirt, and it's kind of like, you know, buried way underneath there. You know, you find, like, oil wells, and you get the oil from there, and... What's an oil well? And I say, ah, fucking shut up. Shut up! Eat a Snickers. I don't know. Yeah, it's going great. Why? Yeah, isn't there a Louis C.K. Uh, bit about this? Why? What makes this? What? Ma why is the sky blue? Uh, it's a bunch of chemicals in the in the sky that makes it appear. Why? Well, I I don't fucking know. Shut up. Never have a toddler. Yeah, you don't gotta tell me, man. I can't. You know, I have a niece who I will very much cherish and enjoy the company of, but. No doubtedly will ask me annoying why questions when she gets older. And that's fine, you know, whatever. I can tolerate it. Hey, dude, the way I see it, if I can tolerate a Twitch chat, I can tolerate a fucking niece. I gotta do something. Watch, you guys wanna see a magic trick? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera off and, um... I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna have my shirt off. Watch this. Wow.
My my sweater, I guess I should have said. I'm not gonna take my like fucking whole shirt off. Just my sweater. How did you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets. What? Yeah, uh, no, I, I, I explain. No, I, a magician never explains his secrets. Drip check. It's um, it's my palm leaf shirt. It's got leaves. It, uh, palm leaves on it. And it's it's good. I like it. All right, we can make a ladder now. That's all the story progression we have to do. That bug being scared fucking made me shit my pants. Hey, Dag, I can see you're still here. Well, where the hell else would I have gone? Hell? Maybe. Ow. We get it, bro. You love summer. Yeah, I do love summer. I love vitamin D. I love fucking getting... I do... Guys... It's the summer of Dagnall. I keep saying it, and I'm going to keep saying it. It's the summer of Dagnall. It will be the summer of Dagnall. I am going to do so much fucking shit this summer, it is going to be unreal. It's hot dag summer. It is. Autumn better? Yeah, autumn would be great if it didn't last, like, two minutes. Autumn would be fucking awesome. If it didn't last, like, that. It's the summer of Dagnall. It's supposed to be the summer of George! It is. No, it is. I, I tell, I'm telling you right now, it's the summer of Dagnall. I'm a fresh, young plant, and right now, I'm, I'm underneath the dirt. I'm being watered and tended to. But eventually, I'll bloom into a bright, beautiful flower. I'm telling you. I, I'm being for real. You guys you guys are saying, no, no, it's not a summer of that. It's a summer of that. I'm telling you. You guys aren't even fucking ready for it. You guys aren't ready for it. And that's, you know, whatever. That's fine. Okay, so, here's the thing, bugs. You fucking dumb shithead. What's my uh, clam beach? Is it this one? Doesn't look like it. it. Looks like it'd be the other one, which is fine as long as I figure out which one it is. Yeah, it's, it's all right. You know, what? let me skip ahead a day so I can at least utilize the bridge. Have your little plant babies grown anymore? No, they're still little sprouts, but I'm taking care of them. I'm watering them. Still little sprouts. Zero of eighty. Oh shit. There we go. Oopsie, me and my stupid fucking dumb stupid fucking asshole. Clams can only spawn on one beach. They are more common on one beach versus the other. Which I, I, I don't have any like game code to back that up. Anecdotally, I have just noticed so many more clams spawn on one half of your beach versus the other half. What plants are these? Um, Celosias. And I got them in a little planter box next to my windowsill. Bless you? What did I do? Oh, because I said Celosias? Oh, oh, okay, I don't get it. They tried to bury you, but they didn't know you were a C- That- that kind of goes hard. Ah, wait, 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 no, no, no that kind of goes hard. Did you- did you just come up with that off the top of the dome piece? Or, wait, hang on, that goes insane! I gotta Google this, man. Did someone, did, did someone, they tried to bury you, but they didn't know you were a seed. I'm Googling that. Oh, apparently it's a, uh. It's a Greek phrase, apparently? Oh, this, um, website that I have, uh, found a result for that might answer that question is now asking me to buy a subscription to that website. So, therefore, I will never be on that website ever again. It's from Dinos Christianopolis. 
which, if that's not the most Greek-sounding name, I don't know what is. He's a Greek poet and novelist. Oh, okay. Oh, that kind of goes insane, actually. They tried to bury us, but they didn't know we were seeds. That's, that's insane, dude. I'm surprised nobody's put that in, like, their rap song or whatever. Yeah, that old rap music. You guys know the old rap. This is a flimsy f fishing rod. Yeah. But now that we got the, uh... The shit built, so we can drop all of our extra stuff, like clay. And I'll keep iron. Don't need stone. And let's make all those empty spaces into fishing rods. I need four, which means I need 20 sticks. Okay. It does go- it goes hard, actually. Like, waffles or pancakes? Waffles? What's your opinion on marriage? Are we doing- is this 20 questions again? My boyfriend is unsure, and I'd like other men's opinions. Don't feel obligied to answer- <laughs> Why did I choose to mispronounce that word? I don't know, I just do that sometimes. Don't feel obliged to answer. Also, any chatter with experience, can you help, please? Was my opinions on marriage? That's pretty broad. That's pretty, like, uh... Like, marriage as a concept? Yeah, that's- it's great. It's a, it's a wonderful thing. I think a lot of people around my age are... And this isn't always true. Um... I'm not gonna say this is the case for everybody my age. But, uh, a lot, of, a lot of people jump into marriage from quite a young age. I mean, around my age is probably around the time where you probably are getting married and have, like, a good understanding of each other. But a lot of kids got married very young, uh, especially where I grew up. Not where I grew up, but, like, where I was, like, you know, in my early 20s. A lot of, a lot of kids got married, tied that knot really early, and I'm like, you're, you're, like, young. I don't know. Even when I was young, I was still kind of like, you're young. Like, I'm too young to get married. And now that I'm older, I'm like, damn, you were, like, way too young to get married. But some people make it work, you know, whatever. Some people make it work from a young age, and it's like, I don't know. Marriage is an extra layer to your relationship that adds a lot of paperwork. And should you decide at a future point that things aren't going to work out, that paperwork added a lot of extra shit that you have to go through, you know? In practice, a bit of a scam. I don't think it's a scam, I just think that like, you know... I don't think that you getting married to somebody that you love should change a whole lot, you know? I don't think it should change a whole lot. Other than making mostly a formalities sort of thing, you know? That's, I guess that's my thoughts on it. I, I don't know, it's sort of like a broad question, though. Is there, like, a specific aspect you want to know? It's only good for tax purposes. Okay, well, you shouldn't get married for tax purposes, though. Like, that's just not a good thing to do. But, you know, whatever, I'm not gonna tell you how to live y'all's lives. Y'all live your life, I don't give a fuck how the fuck you do it. All right, is this my clam beach? Are we clamming? Um. Um. Uh, it's just shy, right? Oh, this is a tiny ass dog. Holy shit. Saying my bitch wife is fun. The wife told me. You know what the wife told me the other day? I think I don't have an anchovy yet. Good. The old ball and chain. Like, what's up? Where's, where's the clams at? Is this not my clammy beach? Maybe it's not? But I didn't see anything on the other half of the beach, so... I don't know, maybe I just got unlucky. I mean, I got that one. Second attempt was Tiny Dock Energy 2, Blessed Dock Phenotype. Yeah, okay, now that you mentioned that, I forgot that Tiny... I forgot that my second dock was quite tiny. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good. Clam down diagonal. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I 
I don't get it. I just got out of an abusive relationship. Anyone know how to cope? Yeah, maybe don't ask Twitch chat. <laughs> maybe don't ask Twitch chat, man. Maybe don't ask Twitch chat! Not the place! Really not the place! I've already gotten that. Am I a magnet for these people? Have I caught a sea bass yet? Yeah, I think I have. Heavy drinking, Sailor Moon, NASCAR race in 2003, Season Cup 90 mod. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, brother. I'm a sleepy Sally today. I said it before the stream. Well, I said it like as I started the stream. I'm like, guys, today I'm really tired. I honest to God, I. I kind of just want to, like, end stream and, like, go take a nap, and I don't, I, but I'm not going to because naps always, like, fuck me up. I do the thing where I go and take a nap and I'm in, like, another dimension. Personally, I hate that shit. I can understand why other people like that. I don't like that. I caught that. I have. I don't like that, personally. I don't like going on to a nap and then, like, waking up and being, like, my entire day, my entire circadian rhythm has now been thrown off. Why did I do that? I'm not a fan, personally. Go AFK and just nap. Well, some people do that on stream. I'm not going to say it's a meta, but it is something I'm noticing a lot more lately. Where people will leave their stream on like 24-7 while they like do anything. Sucker fish. They'll, every, whatever they're doing, they'll leave their computer on, they'll leave their stream running to, like, earn that passive ad revenue from people who decide to watch. Oh, shit! Antibiotics time! Actually, I have to use the bathroom as well, so... It's probably a good thing. I gotta go take my antibiotics. I'll be right back. Hey, Dad, looking ceremonious today? Thanks. I'll be right back. <laughs> 